uh, countdown over the weekend. Fred Norris' bachelor party was number 10, and for those of you who missed it, uh, number one was Cookie Puss. Number two, Artie's cocaine in a pig suit story. <laughs> oh, wow. I just knew that was going to be number one. I got calls from my buddies like I had won an Oscar. You have no <laughs> idea. Like the kids I grew up with, they're like, dude, number two. Number three was Billy West as Marge Shot apologizing uh-huh. during Christmas. Uh, that's not an easy one to beat, Artie. <laughs> But Artie's, is, uh, that pig story is so good. Number four, and I got to say, I agree, High Pitch Eric and the Fish Show. That, <laughs> oh. that had me pissing in my pants. This is great. I didn't hear the whole ten. This was awesome. Yeah. Number five was, of course, the Gary Tapes. Number six, Stuttering John versus Cabby Fight. I was surprised listening back to that, how good it was to listen back yeah, to it. Yeah, that was a fun day. Uh, number seven, Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf. Always weird hearing that. And, and number eight was Jesus Twins, which I heard the replay of. Always funny. Yeah. Really? They made yeah. uh, the top ten. Oh, they That's were amazing. great. And number nine was the Debella funeral tapes and number 10, the Fred Norris bachelor party story. So uh, those were your top 10. Wow. You know, I got to admit, I, as a fan, the cookie puss thing, I had never heard the whole thing. I knew it was a situation where Fred got his uh, mother cookie puss, you guys busted his chops. I heard, uh, you know, segments of it here and there over the years on right. Best Of. But it's just so funny how the fans think, like, they love tension and arguments and negative shit. Yes. Because I finally heard the whole thing. <laughs> and God, the tension between you and Fred is, un- oh. that is unreal. <laughs> I mean, it's fascinating. But why, why were you mad at me? I mean, I was fascinated. You got your mother a cookie puss. Yeah. And uh, I think you know still what? Angry. It's, it's so many years <laughs> ago. Still angry. All right. Here's the deal. When did cookie puss happen? Cookie puss happened at, at, at uh, let's see. It was probably in the 80s. Yeah. Right. I'm going to guess it was 86 or 87. Jackie right. was That's there, like, right? Because uh, Jackie, yes, Jackie. 20 be, years ago. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. 20 years ago. Well, yes. How do I remember? <laughs> So what, why are you so upset? I mean, it was, you have to admit now, 20 years later. That, that was an odd present. That was just bizarre. It was supposed to be a goof. No, it wasn't. No, it was. That's what where do you I, mean? No, no, that's why I got mad. Because it was supposed to be a goof. It I thought a I goof. was sharing. Yes, it was. You got your mother a cookie puss and As a, a goof on who? Look, I uh-huh. actually got, no, it was, well, I just thought it was a fun, silly thing to do. But what did you that's really get your mother? I really <laughs> got her, I actually really got her earrings. Bullshit. I will go to my <laughs> grave. Bullshit. All right, whatever. See, this is how it started. You said you caught Fred in a lie. Right. He got offended right. by that. I know he's still lying. You know what? You, you know what? what? You, you, know, you know what? Go. You know what? Here's, here, I'll, dead, I'll say, I'll say, serious. I'll say one thing. You were dead serious. You can say whatever you want, dude. Thank you. Well, I well, was I there. We because you're you lying right You got now. your mother. You I'm not said lying. Yeah, you are. Puss. You weren't there. I'm telling you, you the don't truth. know. I, this is my feeling. But why that's your feeling, you? but it's not the truth. I know you're lying. It's not the truth. It's your feeling. Can I tell you why I think you're lying? Can I just tell you why? Go ahead. Okay. I know you. You're not. But you don't know me that well. You think you know me. If you don't know me by now, you will never, ever, ever know me. I know you. <laughs> and I, I'm going to go to my grave saying that you did not mean it as a goof. And that will be happening when? your mother. Why would you go find your mother? Your mother's not going to be... I know it your mother. was She's supposed to be woman. silly. See, you don't understand silly stuff. No. When people try to do silly things, you come in and you don't understand the point Fred, of something silly. You weren't seeing your mother that much at that time. I mean, you would go no, home actually, on, I was. You would go home on weekends and stuff, and you would love your mother. Yeah, but we, I, you know, and, I always goof around. It. Oh, it's so not a goof. All right, he ladies and gentlemen. Told See, us but, but you're so, earrings, you know, you come from. Told us about a but you come price. from a very. I guarantee there were no earrings. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I guarantee it. Take a polygraph test. Artie, what does one do when you're telling the truth and everybody says that you're lying? <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> ask an outsider. Uh, you know what? It, what do you, you get, do? You get frustrated like you're getting. I don't know what to do. Thank, I wish thank you. I just, I just wanted to. I wanted to check with a real person in the room, not these two liars. I mean, I don't. See this one. What was? What was amazing about? that bit to is Howard has his ability on the air. If you get somebody mad, you think, okay, fine, he's going to back off. Then he Never. went into that voice. Yeah. <laughs> What voice? Oh, the his cookie mother puss. Cookie puss voice. and his cookie puss. Oh, you did the cookie puss voice. Yes, and it's does. like you feel for Fred because you can tell he's so mad. <laughs> and then Howard's saying, "I'm afraid to get out of this voice." <laughs> you know In the voice. <laughs> it really was. And Jackie, I got Jackie had such a fucking awesome line in the middle of it. Uh, you, you, in the cookie puss voice, you said, "Jackie, uh, you." <laughs> How come you pissed in your mother's face? Remember you said Jackie urinated in his mother's face. Right, right. right. Got, that's all you did. How come you, you? How come you just pissed in your mother's face? And Jackie said Carvel was closed. <laughs> 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 and then you were afraid to get out of the voice. I had never heard the whole thing. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, it was tense. But but the fans love that negative shit, man. Oh, they do. Oh, they yeah. eat it up. 
And, you know, I just know Fred. I mean, Fred's right. I mean, we don't have a lot of time. We're circling this. back down to that, uh, circling back around on that line of thought, aren't we? You know, I, I mean, I, I'm just telling you. We're just going to keep going around. I now. never heard earrings before today. It's 20 no, years it later. Was, no, it's 20 years later. But Guaranteed you know what it was? He didn't get it. Was the, no, it was the same reaction. It's like, you did not. You're lying. You are. All right. I know when you're I'm lying. lying. <laughs> you gave her a cookie puss. And, you and the serious. cookie puss. No, because everybody was coming over. My nephews were coming over. It, it was just a silly thing. All right. Okay. But let's not rehash it. I remember it being <laughs> I very sincere. We've only done that over the weekend. <laughs> it's been rehashed. I only remember it being very sincere. I gave my mommy a cookie puss. Okay. Hey, uh, and, and it was sincere. <laughs> and, and Robin gave her mother an arsenic cookie puss. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was just straight arsenic. She's a grown woman. <laughs> uh, do they still make cookie puss, I wonder? Yeah. I'm yeah. sure they do. That's a And Budgie anyway. the Whale and... Fudgy the whale. And then you were goofing on Fudgy the Whale in the voice you're saying, I hate Fudgy the Whale. <laughs> I do. Oh, that's great. Fudgy the Whale is bad. And you know, in fairness to Fred, since it was the number one bid, too, just to go back, I finally heard the whole thing. Robin is the one who said, Fred must have said it to you earlier in, in life at some point, uh -huh. because you said, remember Fred used to get his mother cookie puss all the time. Uh -huh. That's how you got into it. So Fred must have confided in right, you or something. Right. Oh, that right. was a mistake. Fred's, Fred's gotten... Like sort of more He's sophisticated socially now. normalized by his wife. He's a sophisticated Allison Norris, who you know has a, a normal sort of background sensibility. sensibility. Right. Well, but she's Fred, from this planet. I mean, that's really where the whole Fred is from Mars thing sort yeah. of stem. No, this thing from Mars came from a very angry joke man. No, the thing from Mars comes because it's a like very you're, angry, bitter. It's like you're from mean, another planet. Nasty little fucking troll. It's named like Jackie you don't Marley. know the customs of our planet. Right. <laughs> I love how Robin acts like no, she's now she's got the boats and everything else like that. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean, Fred? We <laughs> all came from shit. Fred, the simplest thing. But now, Rob, now all of a sudden, Robin has reinvented herself as Dame, you know, Edith Evans or something. I love she that shit. She always could fend for herself. You were like, oh you come were like, on, you were like Kyle XY. I had to take you around. Really, we weren't you sure. You weren't much better, you. bud. Oh come on! <laughs> I at least before you were like king a, of all media. No, I at least could you were carry a slob on. like the rest of us. Mm. Oh, it wasn't the slob thing. It, it was wasn't just, slob. He's missing the point. You seem to not know. I things. miss no point. I, I'm getting the point right account. now. You were 25 years old. I'm getting the point. This is we're rehashing history. <laughs> no, it was just that you were 25 years old, and and my wife and I had to take you around and, and teach you how to like open a bank account and how to get an apartment. You know, there's even a statute of limitations on like you know murder and things like that. There's there's no statute of limitations on these stories. No, you are much more sophisticated guy now, and I am contending. <laughs> That oh, stop wheezing! Wait a minute, no, the cookie come on. push. I am contending that the cookie push was a legitimate gift that no, you thought was, was a nice gift. That's you know all what? I'm contending. Howard. It's not, and I will always think that. It's a, it makes he's, a better story to do it the other way. A, remember, you know how we laugh at Richard because he says he goes to the same restaurant right. every night. That's Fred. Who did that? Fred. You know what? This is like talking about somebody when they're five years old. It's like it's twenty <laughs> years, guys. You were. Give it up. 25. You, were, you were, yeah, you were 25 years old. And guess what? I'm not 25 anymore. And we're talking about, it's like, you know, it's like. You know what? At least Richard went to a Chinese <laughs> restaurant. Fred would go across the street <laughs> to his, what, what was it, like a deli? Yeah. What were, you, were you afraid to venture out on your own? That's what it was. Right, it was no, close. No, I went to a lot so of them. Was... That, that's a place I went every day because it was right across the street. I would get my coffee there every day. It was like a Vietnamese place, right? Uh, it might have been. But it was owned by a foreigner. Yeah. Oh, and, everything's owned by a and foreigner. You'd go in there, <laughs> and you'd go in there and talk to the dude every day. and You were yeah. a regular. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> and you have like a hero every night right, or something. Right, right. What did you get there? What did you order? I ordered a cup of coffee and uh, whatever. You know, I was smoking at the time, get a pack of smokes. Yeah, but you got your dinner there. Every no. Time. It was like your kitchen. No. It was. He's no. lying. Not. See, now he's going to make oh, he's here we revising go. I, history. I love this. It's like, you guys are nuts. <laughs> He'd be in there for all three You guys meals. are insane. <laughs> what do you want? Fred, do you want the same? Fred? <laughs> if you want to have a conversation, we'll have a conversation. That's where he bought, his, just that's where he bought his mom's earrings. For the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the deli across the street. Uh, Fred, I got some nice earrings. <laughs> These fell off the back of a truck. <laughs> Finally, good joke. Fred, Fred, what are you on road dinner tonight? Do me love again? No, that's 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 Hindu. <laughs> just uh, we just got a shipment of real human ears. You could eat <laughs> barbecued ears. Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> well.
I, I think Fred was just very frightened back then. When he, he had never been out of that little community he grew up in. This is beautiful when people have a conversation with you. When you're sitting in the room, it's like, <laughs> you the, feel like a fucking, you know, anthropology rat or something. The big city scared him. Yep. Hey, I understand. Wait, you know. Is this the woman that I knocked on her door one night because I thought I was having a heart attack when I opened the door? I was much better, Fred, but we're <laughs> talking about you. Why wouldn't she open your door? Wait a minute, but he was knocking on my door because he had been splitting logs that weekend. No, no, and no. no. Let's, 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 no let's not divert. Let's focus on the task at hand. And the he task at hand is was, this was I tried down. calling someone, and then you tried going over and talking to him. I ended up having. He was so funny because he had cut down a tree. <laughs> no, I hadn't cut down a tree, yeah, Robin. Did. He's like, Boy, hey, is, Christ, is it my life or is it not? He's like Abe Lincoln who's splitting rails. <laughs> this, there's nothing more frustrating than when you tell somebody what's going on. No, that's not what happened. I feel weak. I haven't been eating. I wanted to lose weight. God, I'm so damn thin right now, but man, I don't eat anything. So the weight you put on, you, you took off. Yeah, I got inspired by Beth. She's doing a lingerie shoot today. Right. Uh-huh. So uh, she goes into this mode, you know, she broke her foot so she can't really exercise although she's been going to a gym anyway she doesn't care she told me she was going to try pilates to yeah, she, herself, doesn't, yeah uh... she doesn't care and then like she had to shoot so she had to get real thin for it so she just doesn't eat like literally Ooh. doesn't eat for days wow. i go wow. what day are you up to that you haven't eaten she goes i don't know <laughs> she hardly can lift her head off the pillow yeah. <laughs> that was i was reading in one of the tabloids that's what it keeps ending renee zellweger's uh, relationships they say she is so obsessed about her weight and dieting that she she makes every guy she's with crazy that's why they can't stay with her really yeah they say she she'll starve herself to the point where you know she's weak and tired <laughs> and cranky Passed out. <laughs> i told beth banging me is so many gr it's such great exercise i told her how many calories you lose when you bang me <laughs> it's a good move you know that's right. That's all the exercise you should need. That's right. Want to work out a little more? That's right. Uh, I met, come back to the gym. I met a cousin of Beth's in Cleveland uh, this weekend. She was at my show. She's very, very pretty, very pretty yeah. family. Yeah. They all are pretty, huh? Yeah. Good. Which cousin is that? I probably don't even know her. Uh... Her, she said she's a second cousin, but she has Beth's last name. Oh. And, you know, you look in her face, you could, you could tell. See you know, a resemblance? Yeah. Yeah. She was very nice. Do you think that there's any chance the two of them would go to bed with me? <laughs> I don't or know. Or maybe Artie, where you were trying to work something. You're a single guy now. <laughs> yeah, Artie, we could be brother-in-law. You brother could be dating Beth's cousin. That would be great. <laughs> Have <laughs> fun. <laughs> Our doors nightmare. <laughs> no, I like that. Yeah. That would be hysterical. You two in the same family. Oh, right? Christ. Did you hit on her? Hey, what's the story? Did you get I did not hit on her. Okay, listen to what I pulled here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, Forget the commercial. The... the <laughs> I found out that I sort of have a, I definitely um, relate more to a loser guy who gets blown off by a chick than uh, you know anybody else because uh, I'm I've always been that guy, <laughs> but through show business you know sometimes you can get abroad you know right. so at the this was a, a theater in a, a Cleveland um, outside of Cleveland uh, 1,500 people sold out great crowd really energetic and uh, I had a couple of drinks on stage I did about an hour and. Um, uh, at the end, um, you know, the, the crowd sort of really came towards the stage and I was signing autographs. And there was a lot of hot chicks, but I, I, I was a little lit and I said, fuck it. The security guys were so cool. I was signing autographs and the security guy said, listen, point to a hot chick. We'll take him backstage if you want. Nice. And I said, uh, I said, you know what? It was beautiful. Fuck it. I'm going to be David Lee Roth there. You know? like David Lee Roth. <laughs> when, when John Belushi died, he had girls crying and Playboy Playmates fighting over <laughs> Right, I mean, you know, so uh, so I said, you know what, fuck it, and there were, and there were a lot of, like, really, hot, like, the, those Midwestern blonde, like, really... Corn-fed girls. Yeah, yeah. Corn. So, uh, and I was being ruthless, dude, in my head, I was being ruthless. I said... Uh, it was evil arty. I pointed, I pointed, I, I go, her, and, and then they start going, we can come back, and say, yeah, and they, yeah, and they start jumping around, and one of them had a friend, so a couple went back. How old, like, real young? Uh, well, well, I'll get I'll get to the part where the the two <laughs> chicks that came in the limo with us back back were both twenty two years old. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, you ain't that old. You're thirty five. I'm thirty eight. You know, oh, I mean, you? you could work. I that. tell people you're thirty five. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should start doing that. It's show business live. Uh, but a really hot, really hot brunette chick comes up, and uh, during the show, she had brought me a drink on stage too, and uh, she was real sexy, like my type. And I was like, "Fuck it," I said, "Yeah, her, definitely her," and uh, she goes. My friend's with me, too, and her friend was really hot, too. I go, yeah, both of them. So as they're, 
Mm. As they're going backstage, security guys, let, I see out of the corner of my eye, she's with a guy oh. who, who looked like a really nice guy. Just like a guy, you know, a fan of ours, typically, right. you know. Right. And, uh, and um, he looks at her and he goes, what are you doing? And she goes, <laughs> I'm going backstage. <laughs> And uh, and she just she keeps walking. Now, the corner of my eye, I'm looking at the guy, and I feel I feel so sorry for the fucking guy uh, that that I go I, I go, dude, dude. I, I called him. I said, you can come too. You can come oh, too. No. And I, no. I, I don't know what the guy. Didn't, I mean, it was like a, it right, was really, she was being evil, you know, and I really busted his balls. And again, I relate more to that guy. All right, that's good. Turns out the other chick was with a guy too. Oh, <laughs> so you are no, you, you know have what? no luck. I'm not You're smooth. I'm not smooth at all. Oh, so my so God. I, the same. I said to the guy, yeah, both of you guys can come back. But now I said, fuck it, fuck them. You know I'll what find- both He's guys backstage come- with a bunch of guys. Yeah, bo- both guys come back and the girls go home. <laughs> I'll find, well, listen to what happened. So I, I said, fuck it, I'll find a few more hot chicks. And uh, I- Somebody's got to be single here. I pick out another four. Right. And then what happened was <laughs> the Stern Fan Network guys were there. And uh, they had come to my DVD signing earlier in the day. And they made me promise they could come back. Uh. But they're four guys. And I was like, all right, you got, cause that's Stern Fan Network. You don't want to get them mad at you, man. They're like, I'm fucking the mafia. About you, yeah. Right. So, so I said to those guys, you can come back now. So, uh, what were their names? Like, what were, did they have special uh, handles? Yeah, what the fuck were their you handles? Know, like, I forget the handles. I was thinking about the chick. But so, listen to this the full loser story here. Yeah. Uh, yeah so I now, know if you got laid. So now I go backstage, and now it's like a gaggle of people there. And I was with uh, Nick DiPaolo and these two other guys, and. Uh, Nick Nick is uh, uh is married and he's he, Nick is very faithful to his wife which you know he's like so he was like I don't even want to see any of this I'm walking outside because he was just like I'm gonna have a cigarette you say he must fuck around I mean no he doesn't he's being a very like faithful guy he like made a commitment to this marriage thing because Nick years ago how long has he married man two uh, years or so far he's been married a couple years right. but you know he seems happy him and his wife are perfect for each uh-huh. other actually a very good couple so he's being a good boy and he just walks out to have a cigarette because he doesn't want to see a guy way uglier and fatter than him get laid I guess. <laughs> So uh, now I got to deal with the fact. So the hot chick with the boyfriend, though, was being super aggressive, wow. like the way I wanted some of the other chicks who were single to do. <laughs> but they were sort of laying back. She was coming up to me and going, uh, I'm originally from New York, Artie. I'm taking you out. We're, we're partying. And, and the, the guy is looking at her like, what are you doing? <laughs> and uh, she, she goes, I'm going to party with Artie. That's what I'm going to do. She, she started hugging me. And like, like it was really awkward for uh-huh. me. And again, because I'm not used to being that guy that the girl wants, you know. Right. right. And the other guy was the other guy's way better looking than me. And I'm thinking showbiz, man. It's unreal. It's the greatest. So uh, yeah, right. No. So uh, so she's being more aggressive. I'm like, well, I don't know. The story doesn't end with you getting a load on your chest. Does it? <laughs> oh. No, it's not right. quite that bad. Good. Uh, so uh, <laughs> so uh, she's so finally I go to her. I go, I don't know. You guys going to a bar? She goes, We'll take you out. And then the guy sort of gets her aside, and I see out of the corner of my eye, he's getting a little tense, and he goes, yeah. You. You are married. That's what he says. To oh her. my God! Oh. He married her. And I guess if I, either that or he's talking about her husband that he knows. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, right. You're married to another man and you're cheating on both of us. It was weird. He goes, "You are married." So now I'm going. Okay, this chick is bad news. All right. Uh, so I don't want any part. Bad yeah, news is the kind I like. Well, you know, yeah, I don't, but the guy's there, Howard. He could shoot. Him. I don't want to get I, shot. I've, I've done that move. But go ahead. Oh, you for have? You. Oh, you, you yeah. better With than the me. guy there? Oh yeah. Oh look. At oh well, wait. You. We'll hear that you story after do. this. I had a mean. Streak. Really fucked the commercial after this. We'll hear that one. Um, so now uh, I'm like I'm like just trying. I got to keep her away from me because I don't want to get shot. So these other <laughs> these other two girls they talk about a part of Cleveland called the West Sixth Street part. There are a lot of great bars. She goes, we're all going to a bar. It'll be real fun. It's great. like a college bar. But I go, I go. The bar's gonna be nuts. And you try to make that creepy move where you go. Well, <laughs> you know, my hotel my has a bar. Yes. <laughs> no, that's the hard part. Uh, so uh, so they were kind of not into that. And I was like, okay, I don't want to creep them out here. So I said, well, where's this bar? They go, all, my, all our friends are going. Dude, and you're then, wasting time. You just say to one of them, listen, man, let's get out of here together. Well, here's, so, yeah, so now yeah. they go. This is getting crazy. Let's yeah. get away from it. We had a really big limo, and I, they say, can we come in the limo with you? So, so what, all the dudes, too? No, 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 no. Just, just these the two, two girls. other girls. The other people, I just, Good. I had to focus on a couple. You Good. know what I mean? Good. So I like this. Because <laughs> me and my other buddy who was there. you got the two girls in the limo and got rid of these guys. Right. Me and the one other comedian that was there is single as well. Was, was like the other four, chick four pissed? Of us. The, the one who was with the guy was she all pissed? I don't, they, you know what? They went off to their own domestic squabble. I said, <laughs> "Fuck it." It looked like there was going to be a major argument on there going on over there. So uh, the two chicks, like twenty-two-year-old chicks, both really, really hot. Um, you know, 
definitely solid eights, come in the limo with us. And uh -huh. they go, we'll go to the bar together. So they get in the limo, and then it's... Uh, it's me, the other comic who's single, who's trying to rap with them, too. And uh, Nick, again, still miserable, smoking a <laughs> cigarette. Out the, and uh, the limo driver. So now it's like you're talking to 22-year-old girls, which is, oh, my God. You know, it's like, who cares? <laughs> right. So, so I, I realize I have nothing to say to them. Uh, we pull up to the hotel. Uh, uh, we drop Nick off. He gets out, Got and he it. goes, you know, it's good luck, fucker. <laughs> well, Nick's, and, a, Nick's a bummer at this point. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, so he leaves. But he was cool. He's like, I'm going to get out of your way. Go nuts, you know. So he leaves. Uh, the other guy leaves. now. So now it's just me. My other friend and the two girls, perfect uh -huh. man, perfect. You know, and both of them. Did it you wasn't care like, which one you got? No, both no. were hot. How rare does this happen? Either one was you fine. You didn't even right. care which yeah. one. Oh, this sounds good, man. So we drive up to this bar. Go ahead. Now the most conspicuous <laughs> thing ever. Picture like this entire row. Well, dude, of now's Cleveland. the time you say, "Hey, you know what? Why don't we just go back to the room?" See, this is why I need some advice yeah. because I got to figure this out. You say, you know what? I don't want to go to a bar. I just did a big show, and I got you know, and Howard needs me tomorrow. I was trying to believe me. I tried to pull yeah. all that. That shit and, right. and first of all, after I come off stage, I looked. I had. I was sweaty. I had to look grosser than ever. I mean, they really had to take a bullet for the team. These two. <laughs> so I mean, this is bad. where you need coke. And also, oh, absolutely, <laughs> that helps is, everything. Howard, why does he even stop at at four girls or six girls? Why doesn't he have no, twelve? Well, girls? No, you got to right. focus no, on a gotta, couple. You, you got to like girls. You know what I mean? Girls, no, he, he's right. He's yeah. got he's got this down right. Except, like now you go. Well, listen to what you happens. Make the creepy move and go. But, you know, but let's go the back girls to the will room. start competing for his attention at that nah. point. Then you know who to go with. L -l listen to what fucking happens here. All so right. so mm -hmm. now we pull up to this this whole this hot area of Cleveland. All these like great bars, lines of kids outside. And again, you know how huge you've been in Cleveland forever. Big limo pulls up. Some people who had been at the show were at the oh, bars. Right, of course. So the limo pulls up and they know it's me right away. I'm the only guy with a limo in this town, I guess. <laughs> and uh, so as the town limo, right? As the limo's pulling up, they start screaming Artie and everything. We get out of the we get out of the thing with the two girls. Forget it. The lines of people, a bachelor party, guys had been oh, at the show. Perfect. No. Uh, uh, right. Shock the push shirts. Major Stern. Good. Fans. Get, say, let's get out of here. I don't want to deal with this. So, uh, so this one kid, it was his bachelor party. I get out of the car. He like. Elbows the two girls out of the way, gives me a big sweaty bear hug. It goes, it's my bachelor party. Sign my forehead. And uh. Gives me his magic marker. I'm like, dude, I, you know, I gotta do this. So she, they want to go into this bar that is ground zero for this to meet their friends. And I go, I, I walk up to them. I go, girls, listen, I, I can't do this. I can't go in. You see, it's crazy. And they're like, yeah, we get it, we get it. And I go, you know, uh, there's a bar back at the hotel. I may go have a drink there. And they're like, ah, you know, no. we, we got to go meet our friends. Oh. We love that, you know, oh. you know that type of. Thing. So, so I go, uh, and the one girl goes. Sorry. The one girl goes. I come into New York all the time. My friend like goes to school there, and she goes, "Can I give you my what number?" School? High school? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She goes, "Can I give you my number?" And I, yeah. I, I, I got her number. I got both of their phone numbers. They, they gave them to me, and the it was, it was weird. And then I said, "Well, I really gotta go." She goes, "And the, you know what? I would have tried to bite the bullet and go, but there was no way to go in one of these bars. It would have been impossible." No. Right, you're not gonna so make any time you, in that bar. Dude, when you had him in the limo, you say to him, "Listen." We're going. Fuck this bar, man. Right. Let's well, go. I tried to hint at that. It was like, I mean, the hint, they were. This is what I'm doing. They weren't stripper types. They were like, mm. you know, just nice regular girls. people. Yeah, it was it was so they were creeped out mm. by the hotel. See, thing. that's what I'm saying. He needed more people. That way, you say yeah. to the girls, "We're having a party at my you room." Got, so you any, got a shitty selection of girls. Anyway, they, they Robin they, might be right on this one. You know, I'm still drunk. They give me their numbers, and then I leave. And my buddy goes with them, and I'm like, dude, <laughs> dude don't even call me if you fuck one of them because I'm gonna be <laughs> living. Uh, no, he didn't. He, he talked to me the next day, and he was like, "Ah, you know, we got in the bar, and they sort of blew me off, and uh, and 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 everything." But um, I got into the limo, and it was just me and the limo guy going back to the hotel, and he was laughing his ass <laughs> off. He goes, "Hey, man, you know, you, hey, you loser! You came close." So of course, I go back to the hotel. Ooh. I get a cheese. I take a shower. I get a cheeseburger, <laughs> and I jerk off. <laughs> why didn't you just tell the girls, "Hey, why don't you go to the bar?" Right. And, uh, Come back to my room later, and we'll party. So your move at that point would have been in the, in no, my the limo. Room, my, my, room, my move is clear. I'm very direct because I have no fucking patience. Right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a nut. He's not going to any party. I ain't right, going to right. any party. The party is right here. <laughs> right. Where I am. Uh -huh. And I say point blank. I go, hey, 
Let's go back to the hotel and party there. Right. Remember Period. Bingo when she was here the other day? Yeah. Even the old hippie knew, yeah, there's going to be a whole happening at my house. The only happening was Bingo. Well, here's there a weird... Nobody there. You, you could have even said there was a party in your room. What happened that was weird was the chick... Like, sometimes you get a vibe a chick is rare and a go. And the only one that was that aggressive was the one with the, the married right. one. And that's the one you go to. You know, and if I tell you what, man, I don't but know you what... you did the right thing. You if don't want to do that in front of her man. Oh, forget Because like, I, I would have felt like... Did you say thing. you did that well, to some I, guy? Well, I, I did a thing where this chick I knew was there with her husband at some event. And she came up to me and said, hey, I want to fuck you. And I was oh. like, well, you know, it looks like you're pretty busy. She oh. goes, you tell me where to meet you. I'll meet oh you. Oh, my God. So I and said, that's sexy, too, as wrong as it is. Uh, so yeah. I said, listen, I don't agree with you, but uh, you know where I am. If you hey, want to come visit it me. Your, it I got problem. home 10 minutes later, the doorbell rang. And I was like, okay, what the hell? And I would never do that again because it was yeah, wrong. Yeah, but at least you weren't taking the no. guy in your limo. No. I felt so I bad. I felt that. so bad for this fucking guy. He really had a look on his face like, what are you doing? And I got a feeling, though, if I was a fucking dick and I said to the security guys he can't come yeah, back she would have been in there by herself you never nah, know you did the right thing yeah. you had a heart you had a heart yeah. and you're a guy and you got to do the right thing and, and not only that uh there was a um i remember in washington fred will notice I, I did a record signing once a chick walks in walks up straight up to me with her boyfriend and the boyfriend says this girl was the hottest thing i've ever seen i'm right. telling you she looked like fucking carmen electra right he walks in he's like a biker dude and uh -huh. he says to me uh hey my girlfriend likes her you want to kiss her no. So I go, uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know. He goes, do whatever you want to her. I go, wow. really? He goes, yeah. So uh, then she goes to the bathroom in the record store, and she walks away. <laughs> oh, no, I know what it is. He walked away to go to the bathroom, and she's standing there with me, like, waiting to make out at the record store. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and no one was at my record sign. It was unbelievable. How it was weird. It's you and this girl. It was just me and this girl. And she's super hot. And then he comes back, and he goes, hey, man. He goes, you know what? Any other guy ever even looks at my fucking girlfriend, I'll kill him. Oh. He goes, but you, you're, I mean, I'm a fan of yours. I, I, you do what you want with her. And I just said, nah, I said, hey, thank you. She's a beautiful girl, but, you know. What city all, was this in? Washington, Washington. 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 I said, first of all, I'm married, you know, which I was faithful. And the sec and secondly, it was like weird. Like, I mean, this guy probably going to chop me up at some right. point. <laughs> right. He could get yeah. pissed off at you one day and come back. I said to I said to my one buddy who I work with on the road sometimes, I go, I'm like, okay, if we're going to do this now that I'm single here or whatever, and we're going to, our, our objective is pussy at these gigs, we got to figure out a game plan. Right, and look. it is try to get a private party afterwards right. somewhere. And Look, you just let us you select you got you got to let these guys you got to get somebody in charge, right. like a Ronnie type, uh, like a trim. Who, uh, one guy, one band had a trim coordinator. Yeah. That's uh -huh. what they call it. Oh, you got to get like a Ronnie type who gets it, <laughs> right. and, and uh, he'll, he'll like, who's like a complete brazen guy. He just goes up and says, uh, "You girls want to come back and party?" And they go, "Yeah." And they go, "Come our boyfriends come." And go, "Fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> We're not looking for boyfriend night. Yeah, he, uh, yeah they um, take care of that before they ever get to you. By this... the time they get to you, is pretty good shot. Right. That it's like five chicks who were. Probably one of them is going to blow you. These security guys, the Palace Theater in Lorain, Ohio, they're security. They they so get it. They were fucking men, men's men. They were yeah, like, but Dude, you, you broke you down the system. I know. He goes, you point to a chick and and the, no, the, and, no, and, say to them that embarrasses me. I don't want to point to any chicks. Right. Use your judgment. In fact, in fact, you got to get a guy who says to those guys, listen. Artie can get laid a lot. <laughs> you don't need a bullshitter. <laughs> yeah, don't embarrass Artie. Right. And don't ask Artie if you, he doesn't care about stuff like that. <laughs> but if I'm telling you, here's what we want. Right. Here's some backstage passes. Yeah. Yeah. We want, you know, this right. is Right, that's want. what you need passes right. to give out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like Gary's a Gavone. In the old days when I was single, a hot chick would be in here and, and I'd say to Gary, you know, ask her uh, if she has a phone number and this and that. Do me a favor. And he'd come back and he goes, oh, I didn't know you were serious. Uh, <laughs> uh, remember that he did that a couple of times. The, you really wanted that? Now, now, Ronnie, the limo driver, is a different story. You get a type of guy like that who walks up and he says to these... He knows what he's doing. He says, listen, yeah. get us some fucking single girls who are hot. Right. You know what? Maybe you need to hang out with Ronnie so he'll yeah. go with oh, you. Yeah. Bring things. Ronnie with you. He'll <laughs> I, I, I made, the, I made a, a bad choice in the chick who was with somebody because that, that started an avalanche right, of negativity. Right. And the two girls that came in the limo, they were very nice, but they're not stripper, like, crazy girls. Uh, but, oh, come on, Artie. You don't know what those girls are like. Yeah, you're right. You're right. A couple of drinks in them. Bag yeah. of, you know. And these were not the kind of bars like New York clubs that have, like, a private area. I mean, they were just, it would be hanging I mean, in a bar. Like, like college bar. Right. They were. That's what they called them. They said college bars. Like even so, when Ralph and I would go out, he would he would say to the like Ralph would say to the bouncer dude, bouncer guy would be like, "Listen, sectioning off your area, no one will be above the bother." Ralph would walk over and he'd say, "Listen, 
We don't want guys coming over, but if you see a hot chick, she's yeah. allowed in. Bring her over. So before you know, I never did anything, but all of a sudden, only hot chicks were in your area. <laughs> you know, you start. Uh, guys would come by, and I'd go, "Oh yeah, come on in." And yeah. then the guy, then the bouncer would go, "You're not. You, you get out of here." Right. And Artie doesn't understand that exclusivity, that idea that only you can get here, heightens your right. appeal. Appeal. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah. yeah, and take a shave. <laughs> <laughs> That's why that uh, that scene at the the Hard Rock Pool a few years ago that uh, <laughs> that uh, whatever they call it oh, the uh, rehab, rehab on Sunday. Yeah. Oh God, what a scene! Are that you is. bringing that girl to the premiere? The one who called in the other day with the flat stomach? I'm not bringing her. I mean, she'll she's be coming, there. Right? I'm not taking. She said she's gonna what blow you. What about Siobhan's daughter? I'm not I mean, taking. Are you gonna call her? I might, you know what? I'm really thinking about calling her. You want to know something? But, Siobhan but, keeps but, calling and saying, oh, "When are you gonna call oh, the daughter?" Oh, oh, I, again, which worries me because I'm afraid the girl is grossed out by me and Siobhan is forcing her on me. Mm-hmm. But um, dude, who cares? I'm not. The, I'm not taking a date. That would be. That's disrespectful to Dana. It's very. It's too oh. soon. I'm not taking a date what, to Dana the premiere. Die? What are you? No, but no, I mean, we just We just broke up, and it's disrespectful. The, that, are you going out with her or not? Who Dana? Dana. Right now, no, absolutely so not. So what are you worried about? But it just happened. I'm not gonna go. It didn't flaunt. just happen. This has been happening. It's been nah. happening for a year. I'm sick of it already. No, nah, I, I wouldn't do that to her. That's not right. <laughs> You're so crazy. I'm not saying I'm, I'm against getting laid in a hotel later in the night. <laughs> I'm not taking a date. Uh, know, that I understand. You know what I mean? I yeah. understand. Well, on the night of your premiere, Artie, you should get laid. It's gonna be first of all. If you don't get first laid, of all, oh. Dana is in the movie. How oh, hard is this no. gonna be? I don't know. Oh. If She's you in for two wow. seconds. We put her if in the background. Get, or something. If you don't get laid, if you don't get laid the night of your premiere, what's the point? The premiere of Artie Lang's beer league at right. the Zig Fountain. You gotta get laid that night. You don't get laid, you can't get laid. <laughs> hey, Allison, you're on the air in Cleveland, and oh, then we got to get to Lisa G, who's here with the headlines. Go ahead, Allison. Oh, hey, Artie, I was the one that bought you a shot at the end of the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, we we wanted you to come out with us so bad. Wait, was this the girl who uh, came backstage? I did. With with your boyfriend? Well, he's actually my husband. <laughs> 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 but, sweetie, what was going on there? Like, you were going backstage, we, and, and you weren't taking him, though. Oh, well, <laughs> this is so funny. He and um, my friend's husband, they wanted to go get the T-shirts. They were like, oh, go meet Artie, go say hi. And we just, we really wanted to take you out, get you out of Lorraine. And go out. <laughs> we See, this is what girls home. don't understand. Yeah, but it didn't I know, look. No, that's what my husband said. Uh, you like, don't understand. My Artie doesn't, husband. Artie doesn't want to go out. He wants to fuck you. <laughs> I know. You know, he doesn't want to go out. He can go out anytime. He's not right. looking for a good time in Cleveland. Howard, this chick is. This chick is hot. Don't get it. Yeah, she she thinks I want to go out to gonna, find the bar. He just got out of prison. Honey, were you going to have sex with Artie at any point? No, I know. My husband said that. He's like, you're going to cock block Artie. Just let him be. Go Your husband is so right. And I'm glad, you know, because, I mean, look, honey, you're, 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 you're really hot, you know. And, of course, I was thinking you were a little lit. I was lit. I was thinking I might have a shot. Could he have gotten a shot with you? No, no, no. She's and married. It's already just because I'm married. Yeah, all right. All right. Yeah, you read the situation properly. Yeah, you know, it would have been. Are you coming back to Cleveland soon? These uh, girls are so. Girls are. So, I'm, I'm hanging up on them. Yeah. They think you want to hang out with yeah, them. She, the girls she really thinks I want to find the bar to yeah, drink. Yeah, <laughs> like we could show you such a good time, yeah. me and my husband, and it'll be so cool, Artie. You we'll be hanging hu- out with Artie. You and your husband. And you could talk about the show. <laughs> Yeah, broads don't get it. They really, oh. as, as, and this chick seemed like a chick who's, you know, she's not naive, and even even hip chicks, they don't get it. Guys want to <laughs> hook up, although like like possibly if you went out with her and her husband, like maybe you get laid. But wait, if you can't get laid at your own concert, where the hell are you going to get laid? Right. I mean, you're the star of the party here. It was uh, it was a very yeah. awkward situation, yeah. and you know, you need some help putting that all together. I can see what's going on there. You do, you don't have people. I got to get people. Yeah. I mean, even Gary the retard called up. This I don't know who put him up to this, or he did it on his own. He's, he was at first I didn't know what he was talking about. I think he's saying he's going to go out and bang Dana to who talk got, to Artie. Gary he, the retard. Yeah, because he you know he hates you. Cause he was good for now what if that happens? <laughs> hey Artie, you son of a bitch! I tell you, talking about Dana, you asshole! I'm going to fuck Dana, you retard! I'm going <laughs> to fuck like a fireman and stick the fire hose up and piss and let it all wet out. Oh. Oh, you asshole! <laughs> that would be good. Wow. He's ruthless. You find out Gary the retard's banging Dana and behind uh-huh. your back. Hello, the- Artie. I just want you to be the first to know. I didn't want your friends to tell you or you to hear it on the air, but I hooked up with Gary the retard. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it would be like Gary going, yo, yo, uh, uh, Artie, you know, that voice I put on on the show is bullshit. <laughs> you know. <laughs> 
I'm All right. really a smooth guy. Ken right. and I really love each other. All right, Gary, it's it's war, motherfucker. You just you just cross. I'm gonna fuck that chicken. Just say, you know, just introduce yourself. Let, let the fans know who you're here. Please, man. I ain't got right, enough right. fucking problems, man. No, man. No fucking problems, man. Just if I can get you to just say... Please, man. I'm just got... up on uh, Beetlejuice and I'm down here at Howard Stern tonight. I ain't got enough fucking problems, man. Please. No fucking problems, man. Just say, just say hi to the camera, man. That's all I need you to do. Real quick. Come on, man. Just leave me alone, man. It's enough fucking problems, man. I just want you to introduce yourself. Just leave me a fucking alone, man. I don't give a fuck about nobody's friends. Just leave me the fuck alone, man. Pete, I'll leave you alone in two seconds. Just, just, just say leave hi to, me alone, dude. Just say hi to the camera. Just leave me alone, dude. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone, man. He's still messing with his camera? I just want Richard to do an intro. I mean, how many times does he got to tell you? Oh, man. I just want him to do an intro. Not fucking problem. Oh, man. No you fucking problem, man. I just want him to say, hey, what's up? It's Beetlejuice. Who cares? Who gets your shit? Leave me the fuck alone. The fans do, man. Tell him to leave you alone, too. Give me a fuck. He's crying. Please, man. Please. All right, all right. All right, I'm done. He's going to deal with world peace and fucking bombing. Give me fucking peace over here, man. Damn. And while you're at it, get the camera out of my face, too. I'm tired of it. Richard. Why We're just trying to hang. Oh, I'm right right. Get, it get it out of here. Get it out of here. Beetlejuice is here. He wants to say hi. Uh, Beetle uh, has... Uh, the guys told me out in the uh, in the green room that, quite frankly, Beetle's in one of those bad moods. Uh-oh. Right? I really just... Uh, I saw him... I saw him with Mike the Driver, and man, he, he gave me shit, Beetlejuice. Yeah, really? He's in a really bad mood. Yeah, what I was that, said, Gary? Smells bad. Hey, Beat. How's it doing, pal? Hey, how you doing, man? All right. I said, Beat, hey, man, come on, let's go inside. Said, yeah, yeah, go in, go in. Whatever, yeah, you go in. Yeah, hey, Beat. Hey, Beat, long, long time no see, pal. Not much, not much. Not much? I haven't seen you in a while. What no, you, I'm doing good. I'm what have you been good. up to? No, I'm done. What have you been doing? You working? I'm just working, you know, you know. Right, right. You're working hard? <laughs> you gave me shit coming in. I just want to say, fuck you, fag. <laughs> You know what I say, right? Faggot. <laughs> like, oh, I'm mad at you, but I still fuck the Jews. I can see what's going on. No there. gist okay. in that. All right, let's let, 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 let's have a real conversation. I wanted to get a dialogue going with him about me, and he went right to the Jews. Yeah, guys, uh, leave Beat alone for a second. Yeah. Artie, what were you saying to Beat Jews? No, I was just going <laughs> to... We say again? I was say, you know, you gave me shit coming in here, oh, but you know I what? You you're shit a words? faggot. We're, we're, we're a faggot or you're we're a, asshole? You're a faggot fuck so. for fucking giving me shit. Oh, I'm giving you shit. What the so hell do you got? Fuck what you, you got? motherfucker. Fuck you're you a little what? asshole. Oh, I'm a nice asshole. What is your jackass? Fuck yeah, you I'm what? a jackass. Oh, that's Beetle. good enough. Okay, Call him you a win. greasy Italian. Right. <laughs> Kind <laughs> cocksucker. Why are you in a bad mood? Greasy Why are you in Italian. a bad mood? Everyone said you were... Hey, that's the way I am, baby. Really? What happened, Beat? Anything happened recently to set you off in a bad mood? Oh, a little bit. What happened? Tell the me. Jews. Just a little bit, they the will. The Jews. Just a hey, little guys, bit. tell the guys to stop talking in Beetlejuice's headphones for real, please. Yeah, he's because clearly distracted. He's so distracted, and also it, we can hear it right through the uh, microphone. Okay? okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm quieting the voices. He's yelling. Yeah, yeah. You're yelling at yeah. Beetlejuice in the headphones, and, and you got to stop. You know, I'm think, asking for real. Stop. I don't think Beetle has ever... Well, that's a wrap, bro. Well, that's it. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think Beetle has ever seen someone talk to the voices in his head before. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I got too many things on my mind. That's what makes me you crazy. Know, yeah, we get it. It makes yeah. me nuts, man. Right, I we agree. Can. Some of the guys were speculating that before you came in here, that you might have like they amputated me. You know, yeah, I don't like that. They amputated you. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs Just a little. Some of the guys were speculating that perhaps you smoked some weed this morning and it puts you in a bad mood. Oh. Uh, Sometimes it does. When I smoke weed, it don't even bother me. Did really? you smoke this morning? Weed well, don't bother me. Did you smoke this morning? Me? Yeah. <laughs> nah. No? Because Gary, Baba Booey, you know, he thought you smoked weed. He thought you smelled like weed. Me? Nah, I don't yeah. smoke weed. Yeah, I mean, you know weed. I is... hate weed. Do really? You? Yeah. I thought you smoke a lot of weed. I hate weed, man. Really? You know weed is illegal. Oh. Some people do. Some people have it. Yeah. I don't. 
Because I don't seen, deal with that stuff. I don't. I, I've seen you smoke weed. I've seen you really? with the joint. Well, maybe some, maybe two days, 12, 12 days or something. Sometimes I don't even smoke it. Right. I don't even deal with it. Why are you in a bad mood today? What? Why is everyone saying Beatles well, is down? I mean, I know you're my pressure is up too too high. You Your know? pressure. Yeah. What what kind of pressure you under? What's going uh, on? Talk I'm to on me. medication. You know what I mean? Oh, I didn't know that. What medication are you on? Um, uh, Paxils. Paxil. Yeah. Oh, that what? helped me once, Paxil. Artie was on Paxil. Yeah, antidepressant. Yeah. It really helped me, Beat. Why Beatle are you depressed? I mean, A, well, you're, you're handsome. You're, well, you're... sometimes I'm not depressed. Sometimes I go a little higher, but my pressures go a little higher, though. Don't you think these doctors overprescribe Paxil? Well, some of them do, but some of them don't. Yeah. Who would prescribe Paxil for Beetle? Yeah, who, who? Give us the name of this person. <laughs> I mean, I think... I don't know who scribes it, but the doctor scribes it, but I don't scribe it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, how long have you been on the Paxil for? Just a oh, little bit? for like three months. Three months. And does it affect your sex life? I know that some ah. some people say they have trouble getting it up if they're on Paxil. Oh, me? Sure. I get it up every single day. Yeah. Artie, what happened to you on Paxil? I mean, now, Beetle must be a real man, because uh, when I took Paxil, I did have trouble, uh, you know, getting it up sexually. Really? Yeah, it took a while. Um, well, well, actually, I could get it. It don't take me a while, but it don't take me a while. Th well, I, I could it get it up. It takes me like 30 seconds, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I could get it up, but it took me a while to, to come. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, like uh, I would have sex well, for like an hour. If we could and... do that, I could probably do that for 12 hours in one day. Yeah. That's not good, babe. Yeah, you don't want to do it for 12 hours. Yeah, though. I mean, it, w it would take me a while to come, and, and the girl, quite frankly, would well, get annoyed. Well, I could come annoyed. with the girl in like 12 minutes. How's that sound, pal? That's better. Well, right. let me tell you something, uh, Beetle. Uh, I don't know uh, what happened to cause this depression. Now, I know your manager, Sean, was ill. How is well, Sean? How is he? Oh, he's doing fine. Is he able to walk? And, and Oh, he's walking. He's doing okay. He can talk all right? He had a stroke, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fine now. He's oh. okay now. Is he mellower in a well, sense? Well, he's doing okay, but he's just sitting in the house all really? day, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I make him, like, do things, you know, like, go out. Uh, Is he depressed, Go outside, too? let him do the lawn all day long. Is he depressed as well? Uh, after? Well, not, not really. He's not on Paxil? Well, sometimes he does, but right. sometimes I straighten him out a lot sometimes. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it doesn't seem to me like you're in a bad mood. It's just a different oh, mood. Well, yeah. sometimes when he's when he's not doing nothing, that's when I'm in a bad mood. Are you getting laid a lot? Or do you have anybody in your life romantically uh, right now? No. No. Nah. No one. Uh, you're single right now, flying solo. I'm just a man myself, that's all. Yeah. You know, Beetle, it's funny. All the years we've known you, and I think now we're going back. How many years would you say we know uh, each other? I've been here for what? What? 14 years? All right. I'm going to ask one of the guys in the studio who's always in here when you're here. I'm going to ask him to stand up. Uh, and I, I want to know if you know his name. I, I don't think you even know this guy. Oh, name. I know this Artie. I know he's a No, that's yeah. Artie. And you know who that one is, right? <laughs> oh, no, I know it's Robin, so Robin, I ain't got nothing know. to do with the lady. So. All right. And you know my name, right? <laughs> I know it's your name, Howard. So, All right, right. But, but this guy, stand up. Uh, you, over there, uh, stand up. I'm not going to say your name. T take a look at that guy behind you. You know him? Oh, Richie Rich? Richie Rich. 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 Yeah. I knew you didn't know his name. Nice I, to meet you, man. Yeah. You know who that is? <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. That's Fred. Yeah, I know who it is. Yeah. But do you know his name? I know it's Fred. I know. You knew that. All right. I also call myself Richie Rich. So. <laughs> well, they used to call Richie Rich, because right. I know you made a movie named Richie right. Rich. All right, this guy's standing over here by the microphone. Uh, you've talked to him before. Do you know who this is? Oh, this guy here. What's his name? Ah, uh, that's a, he's okay. S How say hello to Say hello to Beetlejuice, sir. How you doing, Beat? We talk. <laughs> I see you every time when I was smoking. We used to have, we used to smoke together. Remember? Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. But you've seen me before, right? Well, I saw you in the hallway last time, right? But you see me in the hallway every time for like fifteen years. Oh, it could be. What's my name? Like that. Hmm? What's my name? <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't gonna say it. What's his name? Come on, <laughs> I know the naughty. I. That's Artie. not Artie. That's, That's Artie. 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 I know. I just fuck with him. Uh, <laughs> do, you know, do you know his name? <laughs> I know. That's Saddam. What's his name? Saddam I know, I know. Hussein. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that name, though. You didn't know that was Saddam Hussein? Nah. Do you know who Osama bin Laden. Who? Do you know who Baba Booey is? Baba Booey. I don't know. Hmm. Never heard know. that before? That's a fucking French name or something. It's a French name, right? It's a fucking come French out name. Yeah, the first pie or something like that? Uh, well, this, this, that's Baba Booey right there. All right. Baba Booey, you know I'm fucking with him. All right. Baba Booey. All right. Beatles, sometimes I think you um, are a narcissist. You don't pay attention to other people's names. Nah. 
You know, it's really. all about Beetlejuice sometimes. You know I'm what all I mean? by myself. That's all I'm thinking Does about. Does he know myself. the two guys who would be speaking into his head? Because they've traveled with him. all I'm thinking about my own self. Yeah, That's but it. bring in those two uh, wackos. Uh, let's talk to um, let's talk to uh, Sean while we're waiting for them. Sean, well, you're on the air with the great Beetlejuice. Th not your Sean, a different Sean. Go ahead, Sean. Hey, Howard, how you doing? All right. Uh, yeah, I was wanting to talk to Beat about. Uh, he was at a stag a couple weeks ago, and uh, him and his uh, driver, there, Mike, were bad mouthing you. D Beetle was bad mouthing me. Yeah, he said you owed him oh, money. Oh, that I owed Beat money. Yeah, Who, me? Honestly, he's yeah. lying. He's lying, right, Beat? And, and, and his driver Mike lying. there was calling you a cheap. I made bastard. it all up. He's a liar. Oh, so you said it, but it was not a. You weren't oh, serious. You were joking when you said it. It was a joke. He don't know what a, he don't know what the joke is. Yeah. Come on, B. <laughs> B was joking, sir. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, B was joking. He's pretty upset. Now let me see him, B. This guy right here, he's worked with you a bunch of times. Do you know his name? Oh, he knows that he's joking. He knows I'm joking. Say hello, sir. Hi, what's how up? are you? What's up, man? You remember so who me? Is that? Oh, I don't know about that, but I got you your coffee this morning. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you don't know who I am I? Appreciate it. What's my name? <laughs> I can't. I can't even think about it. His nope. name is piece of shit. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. <laughs> nah, he's a, he's all right. Asshole. My cool. name's asshole. Your guys are cool, so uh, ain't got no. But the, you know, Beetle's a big star. Guys, I guess you know? he can't take uh, time to learn names. Well, listen, Beetle is a star, and a lot of the stars don't know everyone's right. name. Right. He has yeah. people that that worry about that stuff. Right. Uh, I, I that's Richard. I had to deal with. Remember you, know what you mean? and Richard worked on the song together? Yeah. Do you guys made that song yeah. together? Remember your great song? We got co-writing credits. I don't even credits. remember, man. Yeah. I'm too old for that, man. Listen. That must be something different. I'm sorry, what was that? Maybe something different. You don't <laughs> remember this? Mind your little clear, so Who I was don't singing know. that song? Who sings well, that? Well, that's, it could be me, but it's a little different. Hmm. All right. Well, Beetle, uh, there's a lot going on, and it's a lot to understand. Uh, I know that you're starting a stand-up career. Uh, is he? Yes, I've heard about that. The Beetle is is doing a stand-up thing now, and uh, got some. You tell jokes. Yeah. What? what how long you been doing that, Beat? Well, stand up. Yeah. Well, I've been doing it for what nine years. Wow. And then we just found out. Yeah. <laughs> Nine years. Now, I'll tell you a funny Nine story. Years ago, B, yeah. Tell me if this is true, because I hear so many Beetlejuice stories. You know, everybody right. talks. Uh, supposedly, you were at some job. You were doing some kind of function. Right. And um, the, the, some girl there pissed you off. It was her house you were at. Right. And, right. You, and your friend said, Beat, shit on the floor. And you shit on the floor. Is that true? Do I have a shit on the floor? Nah. You never. didn't shit on the floor? Never. I, I heard that you story. You didn't do that in somebody's well, house? I would never did it. Never. Never. See, Never. these legends are started this Never. way. I did see his video, though. What, what is that? In his video, he wipes his ass with a napkin and gives it to a Chinese guy for a tip. Mm. A What's delivery that, what guy. that got to do with it? That was just a joke to play with the fucking guy. Mm. Right. Uh, some joke. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. was that. a good joke. <laughs> I think it's funny. I love it. I, I love my ass That was a good joke, so I, I made it all up. I felt bad for the guy that he had to handle your ass oh. uh, shit on his uh, tissue there, but uh, I felt bad for the well, guy. Well, I feel bad for the guy. Yeah, but I guess humor. Well, did the guy ever find it. I don't think he did, unless wow. he bought the tape. <laughs> you know what, Pete? <laughs> they probably didn't love it after he started laughing. So right. what if that guy, you know, got your shit on him, hepatitis C? Tell him to get a fucking sense of humor. Right. Right? right? That's true. Hey, he he can't had such a humor, he couldn't help himself. Now, do you do that kind of stuff on stage when you do your stand-up? Do you do well, I don't know. I've never been there. Never been there before. Never. Scott, you're on the air in Philadelphia. Want to say hi to Beetlejuice? Go ahead. Beetlejuice, by the way, this Friday night from... Oh boy, uh, what what are you wearing on your head? Do you have what? What? what who's making that noise? You That's him. He oh. bumps his coffee cup every time oh, he takes exactly. a drink. Okay. Let me. Okay. You want me to move his mic so he doesn't do that? No, leave him alone. He's doing okay. just fine. Um, fine. We fine. like hearing that. Um, <laughs> go ahead, uh, Scott in Philadelphia. Hey, how what's going on, buddy? Hey. Um, I just wondering if one of the reasons Beetlejuice is upset is because he got arrested about two months ago. Now I did hear about that. You a had an what? altercation with the police. You got arrested a few well. months ago. Kind of yeah. way. Yeah, what happened? Tell me, well, please. Well, I came in for a sandwich, and the next day I know he was arguing with the other guy. He said, he said looking at me, he thought I did something to him. I didn't do anything to the guy. Oh, wow. I heard so, you went into a so store. So I told the guy, why don't you just come on outside? We can handle this for ourselves. Yeah. 
Well, no? I heard you were in a convenience store, and the guy oh. accused you of stealing a sandwich. Me stealing a sandwich? Yeah. Nah, I would never steal. No, I know nah. that. I know no, you. No, I came in there to get a sandwich. I bought a sandwich, but I didn't steal anything. Right. So why did he say you stole it? I didn't steal anything. Yeah. I can't steal... I can't steal something, I'll pay for it. So is that why the police you know were called? I mean? Yeah, why were the police called, Beat? Well, I told the guy, go right ahead, because ain't, you ain't got nothing. So, Scott, what hey, did you know hear what about happened? It? Finally, know what? The judge let me off. He said, know what? Scott, what did you hear happen? So how did he say hello? Like my uh, my, my uh, buddy, is a uh, state trooper, you know? the one that showed up on the uh, site. Yeah, and what he happened? Well, I did what I had to do. He ordered a sandwich and some other side, and he only had money for one, and well, he had money for both, so but, he was craving a mine. disturbance because he couldn't get all his food. Well, so uh, my friend is a big fan of the show. He showed up, hey. he recognized mm -hmm. Beetle, tried to I calm him down. Mine, pal. Uh, another I officer was there, mine, and uh, you know they were going to take him home because he's uh, pretty drunk from after one of the shows. Yeah, well, doesn't sound good. No, what happened there when they were you drinking that night? And he uh, took a the tongue. the officer, so they had to arrest him and bring him in. But right. they never charged him because they, uh, they realized he's not all the way with it. Right, right, yeah. Uh, so I guess be, re you really stood up for yourself and you I beat the charge? I stood up for myself. Right, you didn't have to do any jail time. Nah, I stood up for myself. Were you, right. were you drinking that night? No, nah, I didn't go to jail. I only went to jail once and still got out. <laughs> they got on Bill. All right. The heck is he now, talking about? another story I heard, Beat, and tell me if it's true or not, that you and High Pitch Eric were somewhere working together, <laughs> and High Pitch Eric, some guy paid for well, a uh, Oh, well, High Pitch Eric was working by himself. I wasn't even there. Somebody told me you saw him getting a blowjob. A guy paid for a, a blowjob for High Pitch Eric, and you oh, saw it? Oh, High Pitch probably got it from himself while he was in a limo. You didn't see him getting a High Pitch? Uh, oh, that's on him by himself. But you saw him in the limo well, getting a blowjob. Well, we was in the limo, but... That was on him. And a girl was sucking his penis, right? Oh, yeah. That was him. That was on him. And you saw it? Well, everybody was just sitting there. That was that's him. Right, right. By himself. He was aroused and, and getting a blowjob. Oh, yep. Yeah. He, me and Mike were just, Mike was driving the car. He was sitting on the floor. That was him. That was him. Not you. I'm not saying it was you. I'm saying it was him. You oh, saw yeah. it, though. It was, yeah, it was yeah. Pitch by himself. Yeah. Right, right. With a girl. Right. And she was blowing him. Oh, yeah, she was, yeah. And you watched. Oh, I watch it. I was yeah. just watching. Did you didn't join in or anything? Nah. No. Well, you didn't want to. You didn't want to blow a high pitch arc? Nah, no. not right. me. All right, good for you. You're a real man. You're a real man. I respect that. Well, you know the good times don't stop with B. Uh, how come the girl didn't give you a blowjob? I don't deal with that no more. Oh, no kidding. You're not getting sex. Me? Uh huh. I don't deal with that stuff no more. With, with what prostitutes? Nope. Right. All right. Or pussy in general. I hope it's just prostitutes. You, you don't get pussy? Most prostitutes, because I don't, I don't deal with shit like that no more. What, right? about, what about pussy, though? You still get that. <laughs> pussy ain't mean nothing to me. Really? Whoa. What's going on? Is Beetle becoming a priest? It's Whoa. the Paxil, I'm telling you, man. Really? It's affecting his sex life. Paxil's turning I, you fruity. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Yep. No, I sure don't fuck with my body, buddy. Do you like cock? Don't you like cock? No, you like you, cock. Bro. It sounds like you like cock, you homo. <laughs> oh, then I eat pussy and leave, pal. You say you don't like pussy. That's making me a little nervous. I'll be honest with you. I don't like to hear oh, that. Oh, I'm not nervous. You I'm sound just like, like a man. I'm just, a, I'm just a man just like everybody else. I you mean, sound like a little fag. Yeah, I never well, I'm not you. a fag, but I'm just a man just like myself. All right. All right. But you know? I just never heard I'm you say you don't, myself, bro. you don't care about pussy anymore? Me? Wow. That don't even fade me no more, man. Wow. B, when's the next time you're sucking a cock? When's the last time you suck somebody's asshole? No, nah, I wow. mean, <laughs> when's the next I time you're out. getting when's the next time you're getting fucked up the ass by a guy? Hey, Artie, what, what are you, you saying, what man? The fuck I'm you saying talking about, you, Artie? you 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 sound like I can't like hear what the hell are you talking Paxil about. Paxil turned you into a homo. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I you say everyone, you don't like pussy. I, I, what I the think, hell are you talking beat, about? Beat, I think everyone is shocked. As I am too right. to hear you say you don't care about pussy. You love the lady. Oh, pussy don't even fade me, man. Wow. You used to love it. <laughs> Pussy don't even phase you. Do it. That shit don't even work, you. man. Pussy phases every real uh, man. Dwarfy style. That's I'm still a real man, you but don't do hey, it, you don't do that it. don't even fade me. You don't do it dwarfy style anymore? No. I'm what? too big now. I weigh like 400 pounds. I'll rip my fucking back off. All right. All right. So, uh, so when's the next wow. time you're getting face fucked by a guy? <laughs> yeah, how about you getting fake by a woman? Well, I'd well, love it, because I like women. It. I mean, well, there, I, well, already. That's you, then. <laughs> All right, so I like women, and you like dudes, sexually. Hey, you probably like dudes, but I don't like dudes. 
You don't uh, like I him. don't fuck with dudes. All right, this All is right? getting crazy. All right, Crazy Alice is on the phone. She wants to speak to Beetlejuice. Like go ahead, Alice. What do you want to say to the great Beetlejuice? Oh, who is this? <laughs> uh, Beat, you mind answering her? She wants Hello? to know who. Yes, Alice. It's Beetlejuice here. Oh, who is this? Beetlejuice. <laughs> Yeah, Alice, what else do you have to say? She's a stupid shit. <gasps> wow. Whoa. What'd she say? She said you were stupid shit. She's a stupid Ain't shit. Ain't no shit shit, honey. Go back and suck on your fucking You body. got your own life, I got my life. Don't worry what about who I am. bitch. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> honey, I changed my name, so what the hell are you talking about? Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> I, got, I changed my own life, baby. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> yeah, what are you, a fucking freak? Oh, you freak, dumbass. Well, Alice. I wanna fuck your sister. I wanna fuck that bitch before I fuck you, pal. All right. Uh, Goofy, pal. All right, Alice. If you have nothing nice to say, I'm gonna hang up on you. Faggot. Ooh. <laughs> Ain't no faggot here, pal. That fucking nigga. Look like a fucking Ooh. snake. Look like a snake. I'll put my fucking pimple on your ass, boy. I fuck my pimple, my pimple ought to rape your little ass. Ooh. Ooh. Know who they used to call me? I used to fight pitbull for a living, motherfucker. <laughs> did you ever did that? Huh? You ever been in pitbull fight? Yeah, oh, I've been in that, pal. <laughs> I make my dog eat your ass. Your mama's a cunt. Ooh. Uh, Remember that. Talking about your mother now. When you say you fought pit bulls, uh, beat, what was that about? You, you... I fight pit bull for a living, but hey, I got lots of pit bulls. Really? Have you ever? Actually... I make money, make fights with pit bulls. Wow, I never, <laughs> never heard this. Know. I didn't know you were into that. That's another oh, thing we that. learned today. You never know. Well, I got to congratulate you. I have you. friends, not pit bulls. So you own the pit bull that would fight other pit bulls, or you physically would fight a pit bull? I don't fight pit bulls. I kill pit bulls. Oh, okay. Don't you ever fight with pit bulls? Because I used to... I had a shirt that said pit bulls. And I used to bet on pit bulls. You I what? I put pit bulls and people bites on it. Yeah, okay? he used to bet on them. Uh, you say you, physically, you would physically fight a pit bull with your bare hands? Wow. Nah. What would you use? I used the dog. No, oh, I see. The dog yeah. would. Yeah, dog fight two other ball. dogs. Oh, yeah. how many? I thought you would actually fight the pit bull. Uh, I had pit bull fight other dogs. You how trained many? pit bulls to be killers. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's how you make money. Yeah. So you made a lot of money? Maybe. <laughs> oh, okay. We got IRS it. might be listening. I get it. Well, I think Smart uh, man. pit bull fighting in general is illegal. <laughs> what, what, um, Let's go to John. How many pit bulls you own, B? I can't tell you that. That's oh. personal. Oh. <laughs> John in Hartford, uh, you're on the air. Hi, Howard. Yes. Hey, uh, I know I know Beetlejuice is a little slow and everything, but how, how is it possible that he doesn't even recognize Perry? It's like it's like he didn't even know who he was. People are shocked you didn't recognize Baba Booey. <laughs> Anybody can recognize Bob Bowie. All no. right, we're going to bring three people in here. You pick out Bob Bowie. All right, three. You know, it's, it's weird. I was just accusing William Shatner of this earlier. He just knows uh, <laughs> right. no. you, Robin, and me. He's a bit of a star fighter. Hey, hey, Beetle, you keep knocking your microphone with that uh, glass. Your cup. The yeah. drink, yeah. The cup. Not even there. The glass. The cup's not even there. Oh, okay. All right. I, I must be hallucinating. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? When you when you put it in your mouth, it knocks into your microphone. Oh, there. no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, your no. mic is right uh, there, Beetle. Yeah. It's your microphone over there. No, I'm probably the microphone, but not me, though. Okay, good. All right. I, I made a mistake. <laughs> All right, which one of these three guys is Baba Booey? Take a look at those three guys. I know guys. it's Baba Booey. T he turn your head. Look over there. Look over there. I know it's Baba Booey. Which I one is Baba Booey? Which Pick one out is Baba Booey. Pick out Baba Booey. I know it's Baba Booey. That's right. Oh, You're right. right. There it is. Right. Okay, good for now. you. I'm just concerned. That's all. I want you to know who Baba Booey is. Hey, how you doing there, Howard? This is Boba. Listen, I sat on I the plane behind mean. Beetlejuice on the way to Vegas, and Beetle's sitting next to Sean. He stunk up the whole fucking plane. Oh. He shit his fucking pants. What are you saying? You were on a plane with Beetlejuice, and he shit, a, shit his own pants? Yeah, it stunk what the whole plane out. What is he talking about? He's talking to himself? No, I'm telling him it's you, man, because you left your <laughs> dirty fucking diapers. How can you say me? And I wasn't even there. Yeah, you what are you pampers, talking about? Don't you? Don't you <laughs> I've never been on the plane. All right, what that's the heck ridiculous. is you talking about? Beetlejuice is a grown man. He, he, you don't wear a diaper, right? Me? He probably does. Yeah. Right. What are you saying about a diaper, Bobo? What are you saying about a diaper? 
He wore diapers on the plane. He wears the diaper like a baby? <laughs> That's right, you're a baby. What do you wear, a baby hat like All a right. diaper? Let's go to Mark the Bagger, okay? And uh, let's see what he has to say. Yes, Mark. I like a masalami, my brother. Oh, isn't that nice? He says hello to you. I'm Mark. Do you, know, do you know Mark? No. What do you want to Get say to... Come out of here, and this is what I'm trying to say to you. <laughs> dick liquor. <laughs> Ass wipe. Oh. Well, go fuck yourself, dickhead. He's talking, about. he's talking to you. He's saying dick liquor. Mm. You won't believe it. I don't it. know what the hell she's she talking about. A black cock fell out of my ass. What? what? Sounds good to me, asswipe. Love the show. All right, Mark. Thank I you. I need your advice. Go what ahead. What is it? I just have one question. Go ahead. How do I get a Michelob bottle out of my ass? <laughs> All right, thank you. Beetle, do you I know how to get a question. Michelob bottle out of your ass? Well, Beat, isn't it great uh, that you are here, your your career is thriving? What was the announcement? Did he make it? Yes, I'm going to make it for him. Okay. Uh, this is the big announcement that Beetlejuice, the reason he is here. I think it's that he's a fag. <laughs> hey. I didn't know which was the oh, big one. I don't one. pay no attention to this guy. I don't even pay no attention to Artie either. <laughs> right. Not that guy or Artie. Why's he got to keep saying that? Just because you don't like pussy? Yeah, man. I don't even listen to him. I can't believe you don't I like pussy. I can't even hear him. I can't believe you. I can't even hear him. If when, we brought I don't him. Pay no to him. When's the last time you got laid? I ain't get laid a long time ago, man. Really? If we brought a beautiful woman in here, mm. you wouldn't care? <laughs> a long time ago, honey. Really? You don't even care? He doesn't care. See, this is the big wow. announcement. Beetlejuice. I don't pay no attention to him. The man's evolved. He transcended pussy. <laughs> I don't pay no attention. That's an advanced race. Wow. Wait, Blue Iris is the on the phone. The only thing I do is get drunk. Uh, I don't want to even pay no attention to him. Blue Hi. Iris. Hi. Go ahead. Oh, come on, piece of Harder. shit. How are you? Hello? He wants to know how you are. She wants to know how you are. Why don't you fuck me? Who the hell was that? Well, That's a girl. Blue Iris. She's coming on to you. Listen. I love a black cock. Oh. I don't understand what she's talking about. Oh, this is making me so hot. She's coming on to you, man. I'm massaging my breasts. She says she's massaging her breasts. She's into you. I love you. the That's taste of about. ball juice. She loves the taste of ball juice. All I know what she's talking about. Are you stroking I don't your mean cock? I don't mean what was that, Blue that Iris? Can you repeat that? Are you stroking your cock? Are you stroking? Answer It's her. a sex phone call. I don't understand what she's talking about. She wants to know if you're stroking your genitals. And you, you I don't know what she's talking about. Talk to her. Talk back dirty to her. Can I put my finger in your ass? I don't understand what she's talking about. Oh. Uh, Blue Iris, can you say that again? Can I put my finger in your ass? What's put her finger in your ass? That's her business. I don't have nothing to do with that. <laughs> oh, God. What size no penis do you have? Let's know your I'm penis sure. size. All right. Thank you, Blue Iris. He's, he's, he's very confused. He, this is... he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Uh, uh, hey, I'm uh, not uh, up, Listen. Uh, uh, She's wow. She pleasuring uh, herself. That's uh, a Paxil, I'm telling you. It's pa yeah. Paxil's turned Beetle into, like, neck hair. A fruit, basically. Uh, she look like a damn fruit. Mm, Woody, you're on the air. Hey, aren't you the guy that stole my wallet last Saturday? <laughs> Shouldn't you be robbing somebody right now? Go fuck yourself. Jeez. Oh, my. Go fuck yourself, nerd. Oh, nerd. Beetle, are you going to let these people talk to you like this? I'm Get this fuck wide off the air. I don't air. know what the hell is he talking about. <laughs> you ain't no nerd, Beetle. You may, you may be he a He called homo. you a nerd. Yeah. He told you to get the fuck off the air. <laughs> hey, whatever you say, hey, speak English, motherfucker. Can you okay? bear with speak me English. for a Okay, pal? I just accidentally speak pushed English. my saggy balls down the toilet. Speak the tiny, okay? Speak right. English. And to hire Beetlejuice for all types of parties, even let's say you're just having a couple of friends over and you want to hang with Beetlejuice, you go you to... You could invite him to any little gathering. Right? You'll go to any party, big or small. Or oh, anything. Yeah, go to jollydwarf.com. Beetle will be there. What types of things do you do? You, you sign autographs? You uh, All different stuff. Sing karaoke? Oh, uh, something like that. Sometimes karaoke. Not on the Saturdays, but not on the Sundays we don't do it. Do no you, Sunday. Do you do dwarf tossing at all? Oh, uh, 
Nah. No, that you're done with that. Nah, I'm done with that for twelve years. All Somebody right. else does it. All but right. I got a dwarf. I got a dwarf little. I got a midget girl to do that. So right. yeah. Good for you. Now, do you? If you just get hired to hang out, would you? Oh, like I just a, have a midget that's hanging out with us. Oh, you'll take a midget. To I hang have it. a working though. Uh, beat, uh, Mike Walker <laughs> wants to talk to you. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah. Hello. Mm. How are you? You're getting very, very conservative. What's going on with you? What Beetle. happened to you? Beetle. Oh, but it used to be the most positive, biggest winner. What's the going on with you? What are you talking about? I don't, I don't fucking stand. He's trying to talk to you, Beat. What <laughs> happened to you? English. I don't understand. What the hell are you talking about, man? Mike, How would you... you like to come to American Idol and meet everyone? I don't know what you're talking about, man. Speak English, man. What Speak is the story here? Thank you. Sorry. He's farting now. All right. Um... um my I don't know. Uh, can mother. you hear the phone callers? Yeah, beat my mother wants to talk to you. <laughs> okay, will you speak to her? That's all you, all brother. Right. Go ahead, Mom. This is Mom. Hi, Mom. This is dreadful. What's dreadful? What, what, are you crazy? I'm not crazy. She says you're crazy. It's crazy? just too I don't dreadful know. for I words. Don't it's just too dreadful for words. Yeah. All right. I agree. It's, it's Mom, very what do you, it out. Mom, what do you want to say to Beetlejuice? Cut it out. Cut it out. She says, what could I say in four lines that's so important? I don't understand. All right. I'm very upset about it. She's upset, Beetle. She doesn't like what you're saying, I guess. They did a terrible thing. All right. A little Russian. I don't know. All right. Well, thank you, Mom. <laughs> I'm not sure. We... Dreadful, I'll dreadful thing was going through. <laughs> wow. wow. She's upset. <laughs> you really upset my mom. I should have known. Hey, that I'm not complaining to nobody. Yeah, I'm not saying no for nobody. All right. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not complaining. But hey, oh, I know you I'm not, do. I'm not I know you do. For nobody. I know how. All right, mom. Thank you. All right, beat. It was a, an emotional appearance. A lot of people called in and wanted to talk to you, and you talked to all of them, and that's great. Uh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not upset. Please say something nice to my mom. So it's straight. Oh yeah. yeah. Hello. How you doing? All right. Good. Nice. Well, that was nice. All right. Will you suck my dick? You suck your own damn dick. Oh fuck you. You I suck ain't it. Ain't gay, motherfucker. I want you to suck. I ain't it. gay. I heard you're gay. I ain't gay. No, you're not gay. Me, pal. You're gay. <laughs> I'm a Harry. I'm not gay. Pal. You announced you're gay hey, just before. I ain't gay, motherfucker. You said you don't you like women. Bugging. You don't right. like girls. And to hire me. Hey, you probably do, but I don't. <laughs> wow. And to hire B. Uh, I don't like girls. Artie, yeah. well, I don't know what you're talking about. You probably does. I like so girls. What are you talking about? I do like girls. He likes girls. Yeah, you like girls? I well, do. You're a fucking polar. What? A what? A what? I said it. Hey, B, what, what are you saying to me? You you don't like no, girls. No, I just said to you, you're a fucking poet. A poet? A poet. A poet. I'm a poet. <laughs> yeah, that means you're a dumb fucking asshole. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, B, uh, l <laughs> why, let's end on a good note. <laughs> What's the greatest thing? <laughs> to hire Beat for all types of parties, go to jollydwarf.com. And Beat, good luck on your appearances. And Thank I, you. I find you delightful today. I do not right. think you're in a bad mood. I think you're in a good mood. And good luck with your Paxil and, and all you. of that. Yeah. Hey, Beat, to hire you, I'm going to go to uh, jollyfag.com. <laughs> Jolly, you asshole. That's what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly, ugly. Hey, Artie. <laughs> hey, Beat, Artie's on the phone. He wants to talk to you. Hold on. Oh. Artie? <laughs> yeah. Artie, go ahead. You cocksucker! What the hell are you talking about, Artie? You piece of shit. What the hell are you shit. saying? Talking you to your phone over there? You're a fucking loser, uh, faggot. Artie, what are you saying over there? You're saying speak, stupid Speak to little Polish. I, I don't understand you. No, you're saying... Speak to the English. I'm called Polto. Don't be to, huh? Huh? Shout out to, huh? Capito. Who are you, you zero? Okay, Capilato, okay? You cocksucker. <laughs> Understand that. Are you speaking <laughs> Italian? Piece of shit. Italian, Puerto Rican, honest. All right. Pitota, Pitota. Yeah, right, Okay, Compata. Right. <laughs> All right, Artie, thank you. <laughs> All right, there you go. Pete, do you remember when I fell off the stage drunk? Uh, what did you do? They roll your ass off the chair? In the wheelchair, yeah, that's what you remember. Right. Yeah, yeah, they must have rolled your ass right off the dead table. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, Beat, you sound great, and you're in top form. You're always quick with the comebacks. You're a I poet. Love you. I love you, brother. Uh, you're the best. You really Thank are. You, you really Howard. are. And uh, do you want? To, you have any desire to speak to Crackhead Bob? Huh, crackhead Bob, forget about him. Right. <laughs> Let's say a quick hello, <laughs> Crackhead. Yeah. You're on. Crackhead on the air. Bob, hello? thank you. Have yeah. a great day. Hi, Crackhead. Make sure you. Do you like to have done in the facts that your life in Tennessee? Think about yourself, pal. Right. All right. It's it too. That you. Bunch. That's up. 
Right? Thank the thoughts. And two up on the three. You believe this guy, Beat? Huh? You believe this guy? I don't um, even fucking know uh, this guy. What he's are you, talking you shit. Fucking believer or something? What are you? What are you? Jesus Christ, fleeting or something? I'm a faggot. You're a saint motherfucker. I'm drunk. Oh, he's drunk. Oh, uh, that's oh, why. Yeah, yeah, I think you you've been see fucking drinking. Drink too much. Uh, some of that throws. What is somebody uh, rolling down the steps or something? All right. Ba Bob, you said enough and you're aggravating uh, Beetlejuice. All right, B, thank you very much. You look Welcome great. Out. It's good to see you. And uh, see you, you are my good friend, and thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, see you guys. Go, um, yes. Thank you. Yeah, you're good, good to and, see and, you, And best to your family, your sister and your mom. Say hi to them for oh, a bit. I will. And say hi to Sean, your manager. Oh, I will, I will. Please do. we got to take a break, B. You know how the business is. Uh, and to hire Beat for all types of parties, go to jollydwarf.com. Thank you. You're welcome. Give me thumbs up. Give me a smile. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Thanks, Pete. Yo, Pete. Went pretty well in there, man. You had a good time? Yeah. Good. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks. Where are you going? Yo, Pete. Talk to me real quick. Huh. How come, uh, how come well, you told Howard you're not in for ladies anymore, man? Because. I'm not. How come? Because I don't feel like it. You used to be the Beatle uh, pimp, though, man. Well, I don't so feel like it. I gotta get going, man. I got You're things right, to really do, man. Where are you going? going? Uh, don't worry about what I'm going. Now. B, B, you don't smoke weed anymore either? Nah, I don't. How don't come? That, hey, I don't deal with that. Hey, B. How's it going, not man? Not good. Hey, B, come on back in, man. I'm not coming back in. I got to do. I got things to do, man. What about Artie? What's his problem, man? I don't know, but I don't know. Well, I speak a little Russian, but I don't want to deal with that shit. You're done that's his business. Him? That's that's his business. I don't deal with it. I don't want to deal with nobody's yeah, business. Man. That's for sure, man. Yeah. I can't deal with that. Right, right. So, B, good. Next time you come in, do you think you'll be more experienced with the ladies, or are you done? No, with I'm done with that shit. Is it because of the packs in there? I don't, I'm don't, think, I don't deal with that. I'm, in, I'm in a building. I'm, I'm probably going to lose are you glad you came out? Uh, I don't have your number. All I came when I, when I came up out. here just to do what I got to do, man. I'm not, a, I'm not up here to anybody just to scream my ass, but hey, I, got, I, ain't, I ain't got time for that. Hold on, tell me some more. I ain't got time. Uh, you know, all y'all are giving me no problem. Pete, that's it, man? That's the no problem. See you guys. All right. Good. Thanks cool. for coming down, Pete. Yeah, we're having to. Thanks for staying. See, cool. you next, see you next time, Pete. Take care. Have a nice day. So we have a delicious cake in the office today. Somebody brought a cake and uh, it smells delicious. I'm going to have some and then I'm going to go see if anybody else wants to have some. I'm I'll just offering you a I bite. Dude, you're going to get it in the face again. You're going to get it in the face again, I'm telling you. Try it, it's good. Right. I'm just trying dude, to I offer you some. I already tried it. Tell him to smell it. Maybe he'll smell like it. it. I already tried the cake. Dude, I'm going to fucking you smell it. it. You I'm going to smack it, it right you up at it. you, man. Just like Phelan did. Oh, it's I don't want to have to oh, clean it up. So so I don't want to have to clean it up. Dude. Don't I just put a little bit dude, on your whiskers? Dude, don't do it. I'm telling you. I just want to see what your whiskers don't, look dude, like with cake it. on them. Don't do it. Can I just put a little frosting don't on your whiskers? Don't do it, man. That I'm perfectly telling you. Because you're going to wear the rest of that whole cake that's left out there. <laughs> Did you smell this fucking cake? It smell smells it's amazing. What do you think I was born yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> it's good shit. I already smelled it. Benji, did you smell, you smell this, this cake? <laughs> Benji will smell it. I'm, I'm afraid of what Benji will do to this cake. He'll, he'll rape it. <laughs> I won't. You can if you want. I'll consensually fuck it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. What the hell is wrong? He's so gay, it's, just, it's ridiculous. No, he's not, he's not, he's just sick. He's mental, look at the eyes. He's got, got Joe's that killer, Joe's uh, not going to yeah. He's got the same eyes as that killer. Dude, what are you doing? Get away from me. Yeah. Give him some cake. Get out of here. Dude, I have a Hey, you'll get, you're gonna get the carpet off. I don't messy. care. It'll be worth it. You're gonna get the carpet messy. Dude, it'll be worth it. You're lucky that this carpet's new. Right? I mean, if this yeah. was, dude, if this was K Rock, it would have been on your head. Well, you smell ago. the whole cake. <laughs> <laughs> Robin wants to go down, but it's funny. Robin wants it. Have some cake. Robin, you want some cake? <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Mmm. <laughs> 
Ronnie, Ronnie, this cake is so good. If this was cake, what is wrong with you? It would oh, it would have been in his face ten minutes ago. Forget it. It would have been over his head. Just smell the cake. Smell my mouth. Ronnie, smell my mouth. Go away from it. Smell it. Kristen. The cream, the cream looks like the, the cream I had on my thick mm. Kristen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he's missing out. He doesn't know what he's missing out on. Can we get some beer all day? Mm. Hey, what's wrong with you? What is your problem? Like, what are you getting what out of this? What's wrong with you? You're sick. I'm putting on a sex show. Hey, you want Smell my piece to see if it smells like yours. Um, can I lick it? I'll give you. Dude, Wait. what is your problem? Dude, you're mm. a psycho. You are a psycho. Oh, man. Ronnie. What is your problem? Like, dude, now it's not. Dude, now go, it's, now go it's away scary. from me. Now it's now it's ridiculous. Yeah, now it's stupid. Mm. JD, you want some mm. cake? Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, uh, mm. Get away from me! <laughs> I'm just feeling sexy today. Ask JD if he wants a bite. Not for your mouth. No, thank you. Get out of here. Turn around. Eat it. Yeah. It's better than McNuggets. <laughs> what are you doing? Just have a little bit. Sal, so, come try this cake. Again? Try try some of mine. It's good. <laughs> Him. <laughs> Me. <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you have cake up your Smell it. No, I'm not smelling it. Smell what do you do to the cake? Nothing. Get away. Stop. I'm full. There's a lot more left. No. Go away. Don't say I didn't ever offer you some. What's his problem? He's sick, man. That's his problem. He really is. Don't forget to clean your nipples off. Nugget's trying to figure you out. That's for Sal for later. No, I'm saving that. Ah. Who made that cake? Give my compliments to the chef. Cake man. Oh, that was good shit. Dude, I will throw it in you. Don't. Look at those watery. Yeah. Uh, dude, he's, well, like, dude, he's sick, man. He's putting it on his nipples. He's out of his mind. Who? Him! The cake? Yeah, he's crazy. He loves that, though. I do love it. Put on your cock. I it in my mom Rub that red, that red cake on your cock so you look like a dog. What's up with that cake? What, what exactly did he do to it? He was like rubbing it on his nipples. Were you? No. <laughs> no, that's it smells right. it stinks. I can imagine. <laughs> Robin? Hi. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Don't you know up here she's not gonna be nice to you? Nobody is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I didn't smell. I'm not gonna smell. Because what's it? I've smelled enough on this guy. I don't need to smell his cake. The cake itself stinks? <laughs> you asshole! <laughs> Stupid douche! Who falls for that anymore? This is <laughs> Asshole. Enjoyed this cake. Um, I don't know if anybody else enjoyed it as much as I did, but uh, we had a little fun. You know, anything we have in the office, we can find a way to have fun with it, so. Thanks for the cake, whoever sent it. What are you looking for, B? Uh, coffee, man. Coffee? Yeah. You want some coffee? Yeah. Should we go make him some coffee? No, down there. I don't know. You know how to make the coffee, right? Yeah, I know how to make coffee. Sure, I do, bro. Look at these coming in with cake. Look at this. 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 Look at there's the cups and uh, there's a uh, the coffee machine. No problem. Damn, man, what are you looking at me for with that shit, man? The fans want to see the beat, man. I don't know. I don't want to see nobody, Let's get man. This coffee, man. 
I just just getting this coffee. Man, I know. What? I know, but the fans, they, they want to see it. I don't care about no fucking fans. They want to see all beat all the time. I don't, don't want to see nobody. That for sure. All right? I don't want to see nobody, man. You got to press a little harder there, B. Yeah, I know. What's up with this coffee machine, man? It's not working right. Things fucked up, huh? I don't know. Who be? Huh? Maybe you're not pressing it hard enough. I pressed the hard that I could. You gotta hold your finger on there for a while. Ah, uh, probably. It's a little warm now. It's warming up. Long, man. <laughs> Here, I think it might have something to do with these. I think you gotta put these in there. Those are your different types of coffee. Are you a French roast guy? Or are you like hazelnut cream decaf? Or what's your favorite kind of coffee, B? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't I think he's looking just see what you like. You like a, a Nantucket blend? Here. This is good. I, I would use this. That's the coffee. Coffee blend? Yeah. Coffee some shit. Yeah. Where the fuck is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this shit. Man. What are they talking about? I don't know. You look good. Here, yeah. here, let me help you out a little bit. Put that, put that in here. That goes in here. Oh, this whole thing goes in there? Yeah. Just reach up there. No, it, it goes on top there. Oh, I don't know how to do that shit. Can you reach out? Nah, I don't know how to do that shit. No, 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 no. I don't know how to put that shit. Here, no, 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 no. Here okay. just, you just got to put it up like that. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what that is. <laughs> No, put your cup up there. Oh, no, no, press it. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. 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 Uh, oh, what are you doing? You taking the shit you want? Hey, you may, may want to put that in another cup so you don't burn your hand. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. Yeah, no, here, put it in another cup. There you go. A little double cup. There you go. Double cup it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Be careful when you drink. Do you need any half and half or sugar? No, I get it, kid. I'm all right. How you been, B? Not much. Not much. Yeah, everything good? Yeah, everything fine. Yeah. Man, get that can about my face, man. Why do you get so mad at me, dude? Just get the can about my fucking face, what's man. What's happening, yeah. baby? Man. Peter, what's south, happening, south, man? This guy's fucking up his personal space here. Yeah, yeah, get out of here, man. Get out of here with that camera. What the fuck? Yeah, Howard wants to see Pete, though. He told I me. don't want to see no fucking camera, Howard told man. me. He said, he, fucking said, everything. he said, you you make sure you record everything Pete does. I don't give a fuck. Get that shit out of my face, man. Dude, he's a star, man. He don't need yeah. no cameras and shit. But Howard wants to see a lot it's of just, I just don't want that shit in my face, He's man. just making his coffee. I mean, can't the guy do that? We should have left him alone. Say, Howard will see me when Howard sees me. Tell him. What Howard? Who are you here to see today? Nobody. Oh, you just here for coffee? No, I'm not here to just to see. Just here to see? Oh, I'm not here to do shit. I'm just here to take everybody else, bro. I'm tired of my fucking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I don't, you I don't have your coffee. Yes, you do, right up there. Oh, coffee. man, you got me. You got me, You got me, I'm sorry. Don't tell fucking you around, yo. You think you got to be fucking slick? That ain't that fucking done. You got it in the back of your hand, nigga. Oh, you got me, dude. I'm sorry. You want some milk? Nah, I don't You know take that. it black? Hell yeah. What color is that coffee? Fuck it, I take it black. What the fuck, man? What color is that cup? Oh, it doesn't fucking matter to me. Tell him to get that camera out of your face. Come on, man. Get that camera out of here, man. Please, man. Fucking kill me with that shit, man. I don't need all of you Come on, man. Get that camera out of my face, man. Yeah. Johnny is 
stopping by for an interview. I couldn't believe that when I saw I I read that and I said, they couldn't mean Yanni. They mean Yako or somebody. No, Yanni. Yanni we're having in here? You were at the meeting. You were like, yeah, we got to have Yanni. I, no. Yeah. No way I said that. Yeah, no. absolutely you did. I, I got tape of it. Now, Robin said, I'm yawning. <laughs> That's oh. what it was. <laughs> I hate Yanni. Yeah, we all don't like Yanni's music, but... We're not going to play any of that horrible uh, music, are we? But Yanni, Yanni is the guy who was banging Linda Evans back in the day, and then he... Uh, so he owes me money. Linda Evans is the chick who got me to sponsor Minor Salazar. Right. And there's some other stuff in there. I don't know. He's well, done... he had that whole battery thing with me. <laughs> Yanni knocked around his girlfriend. That's good. But then he wants to defend that, I'm sure. I don't think he, uh, he yeah, feels he was... Yeah, he claims that that didn't happen. Right. So, uh, yeah. What... But we're not playing that music, are we? No, I just read some really interesting things about Yanni yesterday. Like, what did you read? He lost his virginity when he was 13 in a whorehouse. Yeah. What and else? He, and he used to bang tons of groupies when he toured with Chameleon. Wow. What is Chameleon, by the way? I don't know. I was trying to figure that out myself. <laughs> they had groupies? <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Yanni, and I'm here to see Howard, and I'm looking forward to it. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. I am a little nervous. Howard is a little too quick for me, but I think he ended up being nice to me. Howard, don't beat me up too bad. I got my flak jacket on. <laughs> you know what's going on with Howard's show, so yeah, you're a fan? Uh, absolutely. I'm a big fan. I've been watching him for years, yes. So you're going to try to be a little careful in there? Uh, gonna actually, no. I'm going to be open, and I'm going to stay open with him and see what happens. I think we're going to end up becoming good friends. Yanni is here. You can feel it. <laughs> yeah, the excitement is just you know, palpable at this point. Greg, we're bumping uh, you for Yanni. <laughs> I've actually been to a Yanni concert because uh, Mr. X is a fan. You've got to be yeah. gay. He's gay. <laughs> he didn't strike me as gay, Mr. X, ever. <laughs> this is the one thing I just look at him and I say, what is wrong with you? He actually showed me Yanni's um, a tape of the, the, the show at the Acropolis, and he's sitting there looking at me like, don't you love this? You know, you might you know, not like Yanni's music, but the guy got a lot of pussy in his time. Yeah. And that's what we're here he's to talk about. He's a good-looking guy. Yeah, he gets tons of punta. I don't that. know what he looks like. And the whole time he was with Linda Evans, she was like, oh, yes, he's a musician. And I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> he yeah. looks like uh, Doug Henning, the magician. Oh, uh, does he? Yeah. The other wow. thing I really dislike about him, do you know John Tesh was in his band at yeah. one time? So he gave us himself and John Tesh. John Tesh ripped off Yanni. <laughs> <laughs> Leave John alone. <laughs> John, right. Tesh, John Tesh ripped off Yanni's whole act. You know oh. what? It's funny. They, they should have done a movie about those guys on the road, oh. you know, instead of like Metallica or Zappa. Right. It would have been Rock's version of Dane Cook's Torgasm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, look. You're probably funnier. <laughs> oh, Robin says I'm crazy to have booked Yanni, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to Yanni. Uh, you know, I just, I really object. I object to him being here. He's got to love hearing that. Of all the guests we've ever had. He banged Linda Evans when she was hot. In the ass. <laughs> Not really that hot. Yes, yes he is he very hot. He was, he was 12 years Ooh. younger than her. He banged her when she wasn't that hard. <laughs> and he banged. We'll see, Ben. Oh, man, I'm in trouble. <laughs> it hasn't started yet. <laughs> he says he banged tons of groupies. That was the only real name. <laughs> and he's good to children. <laughs> And he's good to children. I'll tell you who he fucked. He fucking fucked Paris Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> Me and him double... Can I tell you a quick story? Yeah. Me and him fucking double team Paris Hilton. I swear to Christ. On the fucking space shuttle, I fucking hand to God, hand to fucking God. <laughs> Him, me, my lily white fucking son, and Casey Armstrong, swear to Christ, what is fuck it, Yanni and his fucking wife. Why don't we just go to break and then we'll bring him in? All right, great. The fucker. I'm you guys ever lose now. a guest? Yeah, I'm about to. <laughs> No, he said, I listen to the whole thing. I was like, one more minute, he might leave. No, he's, he's, got, he's, he's got a good sense of humor. He's laughing. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Yanni's been on our show before, I think. When? No. Not, not, not since I've been here.
<laughs> yeah, you've been here forever. We call that pulling a Rachel Hunter, Greg, when yeah. someone leaves. She's just fleeing. <laughs> Rachel Hunter left. Yeah, wow. she did. No, she, she stormed out. Yeah. She didn't want to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's a supermodel. Yeah, as a model, she was unaware she might be shot. I'm like, look at me did and Benji look like the Grimace she, and McDonald's she, she, were on camera. Look, she yeah, didn't yeah. want to be on camera. Uh, we try to book as many guests that have few places to go. Like, yeah. Yeah, like where do you have to go? No, no. I got, I'm here all day. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, was, <laughs> no, no fear of losing cabbies to someone else. Yeah, you'll be on wrap-up show. This fucker. All right. Fucking on the wrap-up show. Yanni's here. Greg Fitzsimmons is here. You mind paneling with Yanni? Uh, it's been a dream of mine for a lot of years. Right. I think it's an insult, Greg. I just met Yanni. He's very nice. There's the guy. <laughs> hey, Yanni. How you doing, Don't man? tell him where I am. He's a good-looking dude. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yanni, hey. Come on, man. Sit down and relax. Don't worry. We won't bust your balls. <laughs> Be nervous. Actually, I want to shake your hand. Smart move. How you doing? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Disarm the interviewer. You're smart. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. Yanni, I... Uh... Fake accent. No. <laughs> you think Yanni's from Brooklyn? Is that... That's I a good move. Robin always had a theory that you had a fake accent and that you were really from Brooklyn. Uh, yeah, he's just one of the guys. That would have been a good move, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, would have been... The best move, I, I, I mean, to me, and tell me if I got this wrong, the best move for Yanni... Because mm -hmm. let's face it. Excuse oh. me, Yanni. The, the, <laughs> let's, He's always like this, isn't he? Yeah. Always, always. Uh, I didn't hear him burp during the McCartney uh, interview. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, think about that. It's hard to get a musical career together. Mm -hmm. I mean, any, there are many great musicians out there, but they break through. Right. It's very difficult. And in a sense, I remember... When you hooked up with uh, Linda Evans, yes. it was good for you career-wise because she brought you with her on Oprah. You know, that was a very good move back then, yeah, but Linda helped me emotionally, emotionally as a human being, yeah. brought me up, supported me, you know? Well, how did you uh, hook up with her in the first place? She was a fan. Nice. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, she's kind of whacked out. Wasn't she into Ramtha? She Ramtha? was in Ramtha. Yeah, she remember helped that? her, she too. She was into something, yeah. <laughs> I remember that, man. I was freaked out by that, that, that brought... Were you, were you into Ram Thought, too? No. Hell no, right? You saw Linda going over there, though. Well, what's Ram Thought? Hey, she was alive. You remember what that is? <laughs> no. There was a broad. She was famous for like 10 minutes. She claimed she could channel. A thousand, three thousand year old. A, a three thousand year old man who died, and he had all this wisdom. Now, first of all, the guy when he was alive was a friggin' barbarian. <laughs> Why yeah, would he, he now know something? He people up the hill. He was, you know, I thought that was a Mel Brooks movie. The, the, the theory being you die and suddenly you know something. Yeah. So all of a sudden she'd go into a trance. I saw her on TV. She'd go into a trance this broad. Her eyes are rolling back in her head. She goes, Lalu, I'm Ramtha. <laughs> and I'd be like, what she the fuck? She had a funny accent too. Right? Wow. And Linda Evans was into all that new age shit. Yeah, she got her oh, sure. on yeah. like a prime time, like 2020 or something. Yeah, you know, yeah, she was, she was into her that. A lot of exposure. So did, did, when you were dating when you, you know, when you were giving it to Linda Evans, did Ramtha used to come over to the house? No. No, you wouldn't allow it? <laughs> no. No, oh. no Ramtha. No. You never met the Ramtha lady at all? Actually, I did. You did. did. What's did. it like to fuck Ramtha? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Who said Benji, that? Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I got people behind me. I'm like, this time. Right, right. You're surrounded. This, this that's right. fucking surrounded. guy right here. <laughs> but you? wait a minute. Didn't Linda have Rantha build a house near where you guys live? You guys know too much stuff, man. That's a long time like, ago. Yeah, but, but Rantha and yeah. Linda were so close. That yeah. she had to live near Ramtha. Actually, the woman who claims that can do that and Linda were close. Right. Did you ever say to Linda, listen, I love you and everything, but you're, you're fucking going crazy here. Mm. I need you to stop with this Ramtha because no, you're scaring I, me. No, I let you. No, that doesn't scare me. You let it go on. Yeah. Who cares, you know? You're so right. she no, was like, Linda is a great human being. Come on, guys. Cut it out. What happened there, though? How come you guys aren't still together? She got too old for you. You were 12 years younger than Linda. So what? We were uh, together for nine years. What happened? What happened with your wife? You say she's the love of your life. <laughs> but, I mean, you say your Linda is the love of your life. Yeah. What happens there? I mean... It I, just... We just... Sometimes, you know, human beings... I'll tell you what happens. You're a good-looking dude. Your career took off. No, your I'm career took right. off. You got a lot of your money. Come on, Howard. <laughs> Come on, man. You know, you got... And you uh, you're always... You're a guy. Come you're on. a sexual man. Your music now, this, is sexual. The, the voice, I'm sitting next to you. I feel like putting my tongue in your mouth, and I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this dude? Sexy That's man. Greg. Greg. Greg, nice, nice to man. meet you. He just did a shot feeling on Letterman. It. He's feeling very full. He feels yeah, he's worthy of being yeah. on the couch with you. But wait a minute. He <laughs> says that Linda Evans was a fan, so she's coming to your concert. Yeah, actually, she called me. She called you. To say she liked my music. Can't wait. She would nice. 
And I said, thanks. Well, actually, it was gorgeous. So I wanted to meet her. You're goddamn right. And so go. you asked to meet her? Yes. And, uh, and we met. And the, wait, what are we talking about? This you stuff? banged her right behind. old. Did, hold it. This Did is you, old but, stuff. I got on this. Of course, it's, it's old to you, not to us. <laughs> yeah, we just got <laughs> you. We just met you. <laughs> what do you want to talk when about? You, the Yankees relief pitcher? <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait a second. I'm going to come back. That guy, guy, yeah, guy, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get you. It's that guy, Benji, over there. Fucking when piece you, of shit, yeah. Benji. Well, yeah, Come shut up. <laughs> thank when you. you, thank you. Uh, yeah. yeah, just shut up. Right. Shut up, Benji. Okay. Right. So anyway, <laughs> I got to understand the move, though, because, yeah. you know, I'm not a musician. You can see this. Mm. I have no musical talent. My <laughs> piano teacher killed himself when I was <laughs> while I was taking lessons. Honest to God, true story. <laughs> but when, when, when Linda Evans comes backstage and you're Yanni and you're doing your concert, you go, wow, beautiful woman. Knockout. The do pussy you... meter's hitting red. <laughs> 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 do, you, do you sit there and go, I could get her? Or do you, you yeah, how do I make do this you move? Because you've banged groupies backstage at your concerts, even in the middle of the concert. Yeah, you read my book. I yeah. did. The only one. The yep. one in first. That's nice. Thank you. Yeah, I did. When I, but that was when I was a kid, you know. When you were a kid, you were on stage. Mm -hmm. you saw, rock and roll band. You played rock and roll band. You saw a beautiful groupie. While drummer the drum, was doing drummer was doing a drum solo, or two, or two. Oh, or <laughs> did two. I say that? <laughs> Wait a minute, oh, you had two girls out there? <laughs> no kidding. No, I never have that now. <laughs> never. Did that. No. And, and during the drum, <laughs> and during the drum solo, you bang girls. Uh, backstage. Uh, yeah. How yeah. long was this song? Yanni would tell guys, drum, to, drum till I come. He's hot. He's hot. He's on fire. He's hot. Yeah. He's hot. But when you when oh, I think Linda man. Evans. <laughs> I, I, I have flak jacket on. I'm ready. I, I feel Linda Evans mm -hmm. definitely fell in love with you because she's so, like, new age and stuff. Do you have to keep up the whole Yanni persona? While I mean, you're... is there a Yanni persona? No, absolutely. Persona? There is no Yanni persona. No, Come you're on, guys. spiritual. Are you? No, I, when, I, when, I was, when I was with Linda, see, Linda is very real. Yeah. Very, a real human being. I mean, this is great. See, I always thought you were, like, one of those super spiritual guys and, like, you know, peace and love and everything. But you're, you're a fun guy. I mean, you, you did a lot of coke, right, and stuff like that. Yeah. Were you doing coke I, while you when were... When I was 25 or so, I had a little bout with it, and I yeah. realized oh, very quickly, okay. very quickly, I understood it's deadly. Yeah. And I got out of it 20 years ago, 25 years ago, and never touched it again. See, you're it's a wild crap. guy. You're, you're smarter not, than Artie. That's yeah, Artie, you're out of it, right? <laughs> I haven't done it in, I haven't done it in, uh, you know, uh, years, too. Yeah, years. That's <laughs> 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 But, I mean, uh, that's it's got to be great when you, uh, you know... You can work your magic on a Linda Evans. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I would like gorgeous. to I would like to bang. Well, and I don't I mean, know where now, you're from, but, but Linda Evans is not a real person. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin's a roofer. His wife, she's real. I'll introduce and you that. In Yanni land, she's a real person. I think when you're Yanni, you don't even have to do foreplay. You are foreplay, yeah. so you can just get right to fucking. <laughs> right. Uh, did you have to, like, service her, or could you get right to right to the fucking, as he says? Uh, it's, he's very crude, it's, but... It's nine years. Nine. Well, you do she, everything. You was do it she all. very you giving? Did Linda Evans, you know? Oh, yes, yes. She she's would great. Give you everything, huh? She's yeah. great. Full she's anal, great. everything. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> everything. I well, I can't. <laughs> I use, uh, in foreplay, I'm good at uh, using my fingers at the, at the ATM. So who are you with now? You got, you got a wife or? Uh, no, 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 no. No one. No one. one. Right. You just He's supposedly gun no, shy just, at this time. Yes. Not supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that asshole John I've Tesh. just been a little girl. Leave John alone. Everybody's picking on act. him. He ripped off your whole act, uh, man. Right? Were you pissed? No. You had the whole Yanni thing going, now he's muscling in on it. No, come on. Yeah. What, is that enormous-headed you know, nerd? He plays good uh, volleyball on the beach. We used to hang out. Is he a better musician than you, or are you better than him? That is no better than him. Are on. you There's in some no, kind of a competition because he wrote for the Olympics, you write for the Olympics? Absolutely not. Yeah. You know, is Michael Jackson in competition with Prince? Those songs, yes. Yeah, of course he is. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. The really? songs you write for the Olympics, those have got to bring you major money, right? Because every time they use them, they got to pay you. Yeah, they have to. So what do you do? You like a paycheck just like 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 that, right? Yeah, big big nice. money. Did Wait they, a minute. Good. Did you write dun, 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 That's the, it. The that's it. Yes, I did. The Olympics <laughs> theme? Is that yours? What was that? Did you ever put um, lyrics in any of your songs? Sometimes. Very rarely. Rarely. Uh, Why is that? Well, you, you, because you, there's no need. You don't there's need no it. There's no need. It's this it. music it's speaks for itself. <laughs> Gilligan, go ahead. You're on the air with Yanni. I just want to tell you, well, what's up, Yanni? Uh, what's up, um, Gilligan? I, 
Back when I was single, I mean, my favorite music is actually like Tool and Seven Dust, but I bought some Yanni CDs and, and tell me I got shit from my friends big time. Mm. But uh, you can take a nice girl, cook <laughs> dinner for her, yeah. mm -hmm. and you put Yanni on in the background, <laughs> and it's you're over. You're going to get laid. I got that. <laughs> Your music is sexual. It is I an am, aphrodisiac. I'm in glad sense. I'm good for something, guys. <laughs> you're very, very good. There's no question about it. So, so um, you know, you, you think about a career. Yes. You must be multimillionaire at this point. You must have a nice Close. house and Where are you living? Private you got a pool? You got a pool? pool? What do you got? I, yes, tell I us do. everything you got. Yes, I have a little pool. You have an in-ground pool. <laughs> <laughs> in-ground or above-ground? Uh, <laughs> I was the only guy in L.A. with an above-ground pool. For uh, you. <laughs> You've got a beautiful house in L.A.? Actually, no, I moved out of LA. Now I live in South Florida. No kidding. Where in South Florida? It's called Manalapan. It's a little island. A little oh, town called nice. Pussyville. Nice. <laughs> you got that a private way. jet? No. No? How do you no. travel? You travel I commercial? Simplify, yes. I'm shocked. Well, sometimes. When I'm on tour, I, I have a jet. A private right. jet. Yeah. Of course you do. Beautiful. But uh, most One. of the time. <laughs> Just always be on tour. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the guy, the guy behind. Yeah. That's right. Benji. And and is it a great life being Yanni? I would imagine so. First of all, you're a handsome man. That's number one. Thank you. That's number nice two, you. you got uh, your whole music career. You can go with the groupies and do whatever you want uh, backstage. Yeah, you've all... Have you ever been married? You've always been single, right? Yes. I've yeah, always. so he's just spread yeah. it around. Why didn't you marry Linda love? Evans? Hey. <laughs> why didn't you why didn't you marry Linda Evans? She is the love of your life. Uh, we were it was as if we were married anyway. We were together for nine years and I stayed faithful for nine years. Did you really? Mm. Yes, I did. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Benji again. <laughs> your buddy Benji back there. Shut up, yeah. Benji's man. I can't say this with a straight face. Yeah. Now, I, I, stayed, I stayed I, I stayed faithful to her for nine years. What is faithful like? No blowjobs too? That, nothing. <laughs> Nothing. nothing. You nothing. were getting blown. <laughs> nothing. Come on. You had something. Out of here. What about? Unless it was over a thousand miles away. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you grow up? Mile rule. Where'd you grow up? Uh, in Kalamata, Greece. Okay. So it, it said in your book, you lost your virginity in a whorehouse. That's right. How now, does how does that, that happen? And how old were you? 14. How do you get into a whorehouse at 14? Does I, your father bring you? No. Some fathers will some do that. Good, some really good friend. Uh, <laughs> how old were these guys? Uh, you hanging out with older guys were, or something? Yeah. How much it, it's, it's almost a tradition. Really? really? Yeah. How much is a whore in Greece? Because at 14, I, I would have to go to my dad and ask him yeah, for money. Uh, I was money collecting money for six months. <laughs> 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 I was saving all the money. I broke the piggy I'd, bank. I'd have to bring him like two turkeys. And trade. <laughs> what, a good, what a cool 14 year old. He's, I, mean, I was saving up money to buy, like, you know, a Mattingly rookie right, card. Yeah. Yeah. He's saving up for pussy. That's nice. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I guess you can put it that In way. In a way, that's the end of innocence at 14 yeah. to, to, to be with a hooker. And, and it wasn't very good. Either. No? It wasn't. No. Why? You blew your load very fast, right? Uh, no, actually, I lasted for a while. Hey, it really? wasn't very good. Hey, maybe I'm a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did that hookers know you were 14 and it was your first experience? I I, they knew I was young. It was my first experience. They didn't realize I was 14. I looked a little older for my age. And was this a good-looking hooker? I imagine if we, as a 14-year-old, you couldn't afford... She looked like my aunt. Oh. Oh. Like, uh, no teeth, the whole thing. <laughs> I know your aunt, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Yanni, we happen to have the hooker right here. She's coming out. Yeah, this is your life. Yeah. This is your life, Yanni. Oh, there she is. Yes, what is that, honey? Yeah. Oh, Can I put oh. my finger in your ass? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you please remove it? <laughs> I'm massaging my breasts. All right. Easy does it. All right. All right. So uh, now no drugs. No drugs. Right. Now, you why? drink a little bit? Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay. You do drink a little bit. Yes. Thank God. Because uh, what would go to be me and Yanni if you don't drink? You couldn't have a little fun. You got to have a little fun. Yeah. No right. drinking, yeah. no yeah. drugs, and what the fuck are you here for? Was it, <laughs> was it a personal low point with you when you had to go on Larry King and explain to him that you didn't beat up your girlfriend? Absolutely. I saw that. Absolutely. You know what? You, what you seem devastated by that. It was. What I'm yeah. reading yeah. here. Hurt. That hurt. That hurt. really hurt. Yeah. Is that the girl was so upset that you broke up with her. God bless you. This, I'm like, she did not want you to go. Why were you breaking up with this one? 
Uh, Another beautiful she girl. She was a pain in the ass. It just just didn't work out. It was one of those things. You and know, so uh, you tell her, I got to go. You got to go. Somebody's got to go. Right. Well, it's and his house. <laughs> like, leave. <laughs> I think he should have left. <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, it's my away. house. <laughs> he said, I'm not into but, you. You got to leave. A normal person would leave and say, it's, I'm sorry. It's terrible that they didn't work out. But yeah. you say she started fighting with you because she didn't want to go? She started throwing she her... She just got a little upset. She just lost it for a few seconds. Well, you must have banged her good. Baba Bowie walks in during the uh, commercial. She says, you know, he must be a really good lover because nobody ever... Fought with him? Fought with me when I try to break up. I go, yeah, I mean, look at you. What are you losing, yeah, no, Baba no, no. Bowie? But you know what? I've learned my lesson. Now, from now on, if I ever break up with another one of my girlfriends, first, I'm going to send in the accountant, the lawyer, and oh, a yeah. sheriff's deputy. Your deputy, they're going to go in and announce to her that I'm thinking of breaking up with her. Uh. Before that, I would have moved to a foreign country. Yeah. You are absolutely right. As a matter of fact, the great Joe Theismann, I think it was, who uh, was a legendary football player. Joe Montana? No. Jo was not it Joe Montana. Theismann. I think Theismann. it was Theismann. Oh, yeah? He sent a, he sent a fax from his accountant to his wife. <laughs> the accountant I'm not kidding. The, the, oh, the yeah. accountant broke right. up with his wife. I'm not kidding. Because yeah. I knew one of them. Montana left like a note on the fridge or something. Yeah. But Stallone, <laughs> Stallone left a, uh, sent a fat ax also. Right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what did Kid Rock do? Kid Rock was actually dating somebody and got back together with Pam Anderson and married her. And the girl found out, I think uh, it was either a fax. I think Sylvester Stallone was the fax. And I think she got an email from Kid Rock. I'll tell you what I did. Can I tell you a quick story? Yeah. What I did, I'm fucking this chick, yeah. and I start fucking another chick. Just out of the fucking blue, I'm fucking her. All right. And I send this chick who I'm fucking to break up with the fucking chick I was fucking. I'm looking for some Yanni music here. Gary, where is it? Where's the new stuff? It's under sleep. Come on. Oh. 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 Okay, where's that? Okay, we're going to throw something. Hold it. Wait a second. Hey, hey, Gary, where is it? Preview page two. The other thing. I gotta ask Howard is you know like the 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 mug shot. Yeah. Oh man! Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I mean that's tough to live down. That's you got painful. an image. You were in prison for what? Uh, Twelve hours. Twelve hours. Was, no. Were people giving you a hard time because no. you're Yanni and absolutely you know. not. No, no. Oh my God, man! I'm sorry about that. That you know that kind of really does suck. What if you don't like beat up some chick and she attacks you and you hold her down and then right. she claims you beat her up? What do you do? Right? That was yeah. the story. All charges right. were dropped. And, and the girl has a yeah. fat lip when true. the cops come along, so they listen, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, Actually, man. the lip wasn't even fat. It wasn't? No. You would have yeah. liked that. <laughs> <laughs> she was fat. That's why I broke up with her. It oh. <laughs> wasn't the lip. No, <laughs> actually, she's, she's very attractive. Woman. Well, you got to be careful. I mean, because of yeah. your fame and because of that whole image, I mean, you know women are going to be a big pain in the ass when you try and break up with them. Yeah, well, let me ask you something. Being a successful musician, when you hook up with a woman and move her into your house. Yeah. First of all, I did not move her into okay. the house. That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. That's all right, that's all right. The little you thing. didn't move her in. You got to know no. abroad real well. Yeah. Yanni woke up after a year and said, this is a long drum solo. <laughs> 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 I love that. Right. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, let's hear some long of the new drum music. Solo. What the fuck? This is like Tom Sawyer in Rush. <laughs> Nice accent, by the way. Yeah. And no one is sleeping here, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. All right, that was my see. Neil Pert. Let me see here. Let me hear what you're up to Did lately. Did you find anything? She puts a vibrator and a pair of socks in your drawer and says, I live here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck her. This song is called Rainmaker. Yeah, there you go. All right. And uh, what is this about? Making rain? Yeah. Uh, you listen to it. It's a right, let, let me hear. Australian guy playing. All right, hold on. Mm. Armenian guy, the best in the world, playing the violin.
money. Are you oh, really oh, moving? Nice. Wow. <laughs> you got, feel it. You feel it. Man. Man. Right into homosexuality. Yeah. Yeah. He, got, he got a little too close. Everybody salsa. <laughs> do guys ever uh, sit and write lyrics for this stuff? They get moved and they say, hey, Yanni, you know what? I, I heard your new song. I'm going to write Yes, they do. In fact, yeah. yeah. yeah they do. I'm and do they, do you ever, have you ever found good lyrics from the uh, fans out there? No. Some very little. On Sacred Ground is another one of your new songs. I'd like to hear a little of that. That is Thunder. I did very well with that one. Huh? Yep. That's a hammer dulcimer. How do you sell your music? Seriously, is it hard because like MTV is not available for this kind of music? So what do you do? Like very difficult. Only, only on television uh, through PBS, long yeah, form video. Yeah, what they usually yeah. do is put out a video, a DVD yes, of yes. the entire concert That's performed the only way. live yeah. somewhere. No, you're right. It's very difficult to introduce this kind of music. Yeah. But usually it does well, when I hear this well. music, I'm trying to give them a Seuss a twenty dollar tip for a hand job. <laughs> 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 it always works. A lot of times they do like. When when you get a massage, you'll play kind of nice music like this. I like this one. This is good. You, do you hang out with any uh, cool celebrities and stuff? Like, do you? Uh, uh, not, not, a not, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Kenny G. No, I well, I've met him at right. the airport, but uh, when you were dating Linda, though, you probably hung out with all like Victoria uh, Principal, all those hot chicks. I've met a few people. Yeah, yeah I bet in your time. I bet you your time. Is Linda Evans the only um, famous chick you ever banged, or do you get other famous chicks? Uh, I wouldn't talk about it. Really? <laughs> no. But you've banged other famous chicks. Uh, I wouldn't oh, talk yeah. about it. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's a yes. <laughs> no, no. Why won't you talk about Why? it? Why? Because I'd be so yes. proud if I banged a famous chick. Yeah. Well, you're not yeah. telling us any of yours. Yeah. Well, it's different. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very private person. Yanni is an open book. I <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, who comes to your concerts? Like, who's out there? Is I told everybody? you, my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, you, yeah. You, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. The guy made you go, huh? And he oh held you down? He, he loves it. I, I know him. I sit there looking at him. I go, this is, you know, you're going to say this is a joke, right? The, oh. <laughs> and he's a black guy, her boyfriend. It's cool. Do you have a lot of blacks That's, in your... Yes. You do? I do. I do. Oh, absolutely. I, I have everybody. I had, when you look at the audience, it's like uh, 12-year-old kids to 80-year-old people. Okay. And it's all kinds of... Um, religions and colors and uh you have colors colors well that's because sometimes <laughs> the colors well i know the reason for that is sometimes a judge will give a choice jail or this <laughs> <laughs> yeah boy george will be at the next concert <laughs> let's go to sean sean you're on the air say hi to yanni yanni's new album yanni live the concert event is available in stores Today and are you going to have this on uh, PBS? Yes, it's, yeah. it's actually been on Howard? PBS. Yeah. It has. Yeah, yeah, Sean, go ahead. You're on the air in Stockton, California. Uh, good morning. I'd like to say that I'm a happy man today to hear both of you together. Uh, you guys are the legends. And uh, Greg and Benji. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, Howard. Yes, and Yanni. Uh, I love you guys. And uh, like I said. I'm lost for words right now. I'm wow. the happiest man in life. Well, oh, there you go. To hear Howard and Yanni nice. together. Is nice. You guys are both oh, yeah. in a lot of people's top eights on MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> well, Yanni, I want to tell you something. Uh, congratulations on your new uh, uh, CD. Congratulations on the new DVD. Thank it's you. a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is mine, Howard. Robin didn't want to have you on the show. I never said that. I oh, was Robin. shocked at the booking. <laughs> she didn't think that Yanni and Howard should be together. I disagreed. I believe we should be together. And uh, I hope to work with you in the future. I'd love to come back. Maybe you I'll two come should back. do some was, music You guys together. are so much fun. Right. And you bring in some of your women that you bang. And you right. bring in, you know, some pictures of you and Linda Evans naked back in the day. And yeah. let's just clear up one thing. Where is the case now with you and the ex-girlfriend? Yeah. That Hopefully, old Hopefully it's finished. It's, right. uh, it was thrown out. Over. But do, what do you have to do when you get rid of a girl? Do you have to, like, tell, tell her you'll support her for a little while? or? Yeah, not, not necessarily. Robin, so. you, know, you know Yanni's motto. What do you say to a girl with two black eyes? <laughs> What? Nothing. You already told her twice. Oh. Oh. I think in the future, in the future, Yanni, if you want to get rid of... <laughs> really? Yeah. What in is your future, advice to Yanni? I don't know. Just put on one of your albums and just drive them out. Oh. Oh. I'm kidding. I love, love music. Low, 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 low. Love, love, love. Why you got to be like that, man? Why are you, why you, why you, what are you saying, man? It was, a, it was an easy joke, and I took it, and I apologize, because honestly, that... that 
That shit was nice. I enjoyed <laughs> Thank it. You. Thank yeah. you. You lap dance Yanni and then you say some shit to the guy. Oh, man. Yeah, a lot of people who are into rock and roll can get into all different kinds of music, yeah, too. You right. don't always, only, you know, you gotta be open minded right. about it. You music. have to have different that's moods, right? right? Yeah. So yeah. every right. once in a while. Well, has your mind changed in the last half hour? Look, I, they, they're excellent musicians. I yeah. can say that. It yeah. was, uh, musician wise, it was a great concert. Yeah. You're hearing really, really good musicians. He gets yeah. good people. All right. right. Um, that's and, good. I appreciate it. That's <laughs> nice. And Ron from Missouri, you're on the air. You can have a word with Yanni. Hey, Howard, uh, I was just curious. When are you going to have Zamfir and his goddamn flute? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what about Zamfir? Is he a hack, Yanni? Uh, well, I don't understand I don't him. like saying bad things. Right. About it. You're, you're kind it's to all people. Uh, Rich, go ahead in Boston. Hey, Yanni, you wife beating coke blowing. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Jesus. And, and you know what? Honestly, this has been a great interview today because I, was, I don't know all that much about you, but I got to admit, any shit that you get from, like, you know, young guys, you know, like, oh, Yanni, Yanni, that's bad music. Cause, <laughs> you know, you do get shit like that, I'm sure. Mm. It's jealousy, man. It's jealousy Thanks. because you have done incredibly well for yourself. Yanni is the guy. He's Yanni the guy Dale. who got the attention for this kind of music, and he started all this. These other yeah, guys are wannabes. That's and all. as a musician myself, uh, man, you blow me away. I got to admit, it's not something I listen to all the time, but it's great to get laid to. It's great to get a massage to. Right. But even you, 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 you Yes. You don't listen to John Tesh. No. Wait. <sighs> <laughs> Bad mouth again. Come, <laughs> Come on. on, guys. Like it. it looks like Frankenstein, right? <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't, game. No. He's really funny, actually. John's a good guy. <laughs> Next time uh, you come on here, I want you to call John Tesh a fag. I want you to go crazy. <laughs> oh. next time, you to, name I mean, your next album, John Tesh is a fag. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, this for an idea? Hmm. Come back on here and box Zamfir. <laughs> the two of you in the <laughs> ring. Yeah. 12 rounds of great boxing That action. sounds like a good idea. Uh, well, Yanni, I've enjoyed meeting you. I want to recommend that everyone go out. Yanni's new album, Yanni Live, the concert event, is available in stores today. How many uh, CDs is this for you? Uh, how many? Uh, I yeah. think it's the number 14. Number 14. And you've how many sold yeah, 14. How many, you, sold how many, 14. you sold 14 of these? <laughs> how many CDs have you sold in your lifetime? A total amount of CDs. Hey, it's over 20 million. Over 20 million. Wow. That's pretty damn good. Holy shit. That's great. So there's nothing to laugh at there. All right. Yeah, yeah. All you guys are jealous. Shut up, Benji. Why are you jealous? <laughs> no, I mean, look at guys like Sting and Peter Gabriel started doing world music. It sounds yeah, yeah. not even as good as that stuff we just That's heard. Right. It's nice. It's Thank nice. you. Hey, you look, know? I should switch. I've never gotten laid at a docking concert. So <laughs> there, I you there you go. Yanni's DVD is available in stores September 19th, and uh, we'll go out on some Yanni music right now. This is Sacred Ground again, which, of course, I talked over half the time, but there you go. And uh, we'll be back after this. Hey, thanks, Yanni. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Great to meet you. We'll my take a little break, and we'll be right back. My pleasure. How'd it go in there today, man? That was a hot seat. But you know what? Howard is a very nice man. A very nice man. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. They kicked my butt around for a while, but... They did, but you took it pretty well, though. You took, yeah, took it all in stride. But, but they're very nice people, though. They, so you had they, a good they, time? They, they, yes, a great time. I want to come back. I want to come back. This was a lot of fun. Even with... What about that guy, Artie? Who's, uh, who's sitting behind Artie's me. funny. Artie's funny. Next time I come here, you should give me one of those long things I can hit him with. Once in a while, <laughs> he just reach. I couldn't reach him. You needed like a beating stick to go yeah, back at them for a little bit. Something. Now, what about some of those callers? Some of those callers were pretty brutal on you. you know, they, you know. Actually, most of them were very kind. But you know, you and you have to realize something. When, when you do art, you got to take it in stride, you know? No matter what it is, no matter what kind of music you do, some people are going to like it, some people are not going to like it, you know? Uh, some people find the classical music boring. That doesn't mean Beethoven is nothing. And even some of them brought some things from, from your past and, and some yeah. some allegations that were brought against you, but you, you were okay with it, though. Yeah, well, it's part of life, you know? I'm in the public eye. I'm susceptible. I'm at target. It's... Um, you know, it's there's difficulties in being in the public eye. It's part of the job. Yeah. It's part of being funny. But even with everything that went on, you uh, you you come back again? Absolutely, I come back. He's a great man, Howard. I didn't, I you know, I never realized the, until you see his eyes, until you see him from up close, you don't realize what a nice man he really is. I can say, I saw it in his eyes, and I'm not just blowing smoke up his, you know what? He's really a good guy. He's genuine. Yes, yes. All right. Well, thanks a lot for stopping.
stopping by. My pleasure. Hey, tell Penny to come. They're out there. And the Penny puts on a whole show outside the door. So What's she doing? She wants to get in the studio. So Always. She's fighting with people out there. The guys goof on her every day. They told her Eric the Midget's in the bathroom. She's been out there for an hour waiting for Eric oh, the Midget no. to interview him. And she falls for all their bullshit. She definitely wanted yeah. to be the person who came in and read the headlines. Yeah, you want me, Lisa? Well, Greg wanted to do something with you real quick. Penny, what's going on? Do you want me? Can me and Richard go in? Do you really want to talk to Penny alone? Oh, oh boy. I'm not talking to you alone. This is all... No, 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 no. 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 I, I'll leave you guys alone. No. I'll leave you guys alone. No. I don't talk to women alone in, uh, in the cell office. There's too many dildos. Penny, I don't have a... I don't have one. No. Well, are we going to be able to record with Penny first before you talk to her? Penny, we got to get in there. Go in the fucking studio. Talk to her because we got to get back in there. Lisa, I'm, I mean Liz. What's your name? She's your boss. Go in there and talk to her. I'm not going in there. Penny, I'm not. No. I'm not either. You come out here. You want to talk to me? Talk to me. Yeah. Come in front of the kid. She will talk to you privately. She's your boss. Penny. No. Guess what? Firstly, you're fucking pointing at me, which I fucking hate. No. No. You want to fire me? Fire me right here. I don't want to talk to you in Sal's office. Why do you have to make a spectacle? Talk in private. Let's talk in private. No. What's your problem? Get over here. Penny, seriously. Seriously. Come on. Penny, don't get her upset. Penny, Penny, she's going like this. Please, please. Brian, you need to go to the Penny, come, Penny, Penny, I'm not joking. I'm pointing. I am pointing. Come on, I'm not joking. What? They get hit over the head with cords. Well, good. Come here. Come hit me over the head. In here. I'm not a fucking dog, Lisa. Please. Come. She has a two million dollar apartment. Come on, Penny. Come on, Penny. What if you guys Let's go? Meet, like right here? Yeah. Could thanks, you right there? The peacemaker. What's wrong with you? Could you? Me right here? She's got. I, I don't. Agrees, I don't want to make a spectacle. But if she agrees to meet oh, you're here, doing, you're, you're doing a fine job. No, of it. you are. You are. You are. Yeah. No, you are. Shut up. Penny, Shut up. Talk to her. Penny, Penny can I go in there? I'm not talking to you. Talking you. What's your problem? Penny, give her five feet, at least. No, she gave me. She, she pointed at me. I don't want to five feet. I'm back now. What do you want? We need to talk. I understand that you cannot do that piece that you want to do. Do you understand that you can't do that piece? The fact that Sal and Richard are going to blow each other with dildos? No. Yes, that's the piece you can't do. I can't do that. Why not? Because Sal said so? No, because Steve Lightfoot. Honey, I just talked to Steve Lightfoot. Steve Lightfoot did not do what he did. Steve Lightfoot isn't doing the piece. Eric is here, and we want Steve Lightfoot to follow up with me and Richard. Cool. So, but talk to Lisa about it. I won't do it. Done. Penny, here. It's there. Here. It's Don't hit her with it. Penny, you can't. Here. You Consider can't. it done. There. Oh. Okay. Oh. Is, is, this, is this what you did at Fox? Is this how you got fired at Fox? Whoa! Oh. 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 <laughs> hey, 20 years at Fox, pal. What did you do? Free One, Emmys! Clean the oh bathrooms God. at MSNBC? I, so. uh, I worked in yeah. national television, oh, yeah, not that's local it. television. With a three rating and 600 people watching. I can't do this. Give me my goddamn card back. Yeah, now you can't you threw it. She's getting, yeah. Come in here. She's giving this. You come in here. Nobody. Don't give your boss a finger. She's not my boss. Yes, I am your boss. Oh, you are? Yes. What, you woke up this morning and decided you're my boss? Guess what? Nobody's my boss. Nobody. You're my boss. son isn't my boss. My husband is my boss. And you're sure as shit not who's my your, boss. Who's your boss? High pitch mic? Yeah, baby. Okay, okay. Oh, really? Because he had a tranny on his face? Guess what? Because he has a tranny on his face? Is that what it takes to have Oh, that's not. That's nice. Make fun of his face. That's I didn't make fun of his face. I made fun of the tranny on his face. The mangina on his face? I'm cut it out already. I'm done. The piece isn't getting done. This? I'm taking the... Do you, you believe this? this? You're, you're being... What are you doing with the recorder? You never reported a story in your fucking life. Yes, I have. Oh, you have? I covered 9-11. Hey, talk to the girl. What are you being so upset about? She wants to talk to you privately. Why are you ripping her apart? For real. I mean, I'm embarrassed for her. I mean, she's trying to talk to you. your boss. What's your problem? What is your It's terrible. You know my problem, right? I've been dealing with you for 20 years. What's that got to do with me? 
Because you're a piece of shit, too. Thank you. I think I should just quit. Good Who's idea. Sabian? No, you have a, do you have a $2 million apartment to pay for? You can't quit. That's not very yeah, much. Yeah, let's go. Come on. You want to leave? Let me show you which way to go. Is nobody here on my side? I'm on Exit. side again. <laughs> Stage left. Kenny, if I don't point you, will you, will you talk to me? Please, I am not yeah, going to sell. Why? Studio and talk to you. Why? I have nothing to say to you. I have nothing to say. Well, then say it. God damn it. Maybe she didn't want to say it in public. Which well, is fine. Well, why can't you just go in there and do the right thing, Penny? Why can't you cooperate? You're a little why piece you... of shit. You and Richard are screwing each other 24-7, and you're... I'll walk What's wrong no, with I'm that? I'm not going in there with her. No. Be I'll go in girl. there with you. I'll go in there with you. Ooh. I'll go in there with you. Uh, we'll take... Me and Richard will take you in. And no, no. And then you'll stay in there with me. No, why? I'll stay in there with you. What is it, a breast exam? You need a fucking witness? Yeah. I'll stay in there. Ronnie will stay in there. Ronnie can stay in there. Security can stay in there. She's best friends with Lisa G. Go call Lisa G and go in there with Lisa G. Ah, so there it is. Come on, Penny. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so don't put your mouth take around. Take two again. Say, say, what is that again? Yeah, take two. No. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Yeah, at least, uh, this is a mental. Get another tape. This place is mental. Uh, before we pull a Fox Five on you, go ahead. Go in there with Lisa. I'm not right, going. going. Come on. We'll come walk on, in. Yeah, we'll no. walk in. Come on, just me and you. Can he come in with me? Yes. If he walks out, I'm gonna I kill you. I, I will not walk out. But what do you think I'm gonna do? Right. All right. Wait, who's gonna have the camera? What? What? Go in there, Lisa. Go in. Go in the studio. Go in. Yeah, you piece of. Come on. No, I'm not going. Oh no, she's not going in. Come she's on. a big chick. Go, go in there. I'll go in. I'll go in. This is what she's been waiting for. I'll go in. That's what I'm waiting for. I want to go in. <laughs> now to go. You're carrying on out there too much. No, 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 no. What's going on? Lisa Z is... What? She's... Where's everybody? We're here. Lisa Z is a producer, okay? She's going like this to me and pointing at me and telling me to get in Sal's and Richard's studio because she wants to talk to me alone. I don't want to talk Who to her. Who is Lisa Z? Who the hell knows? <laughs> it's her boss, Howard. It's her she's boss? A, she's a news producer. Yes. Yeah, it's, she, it's, she's Penny's boss. Where's your head? I don't know if you're ever on, Sal. He's, so, she's, why are you doing that in front of us? Uh, uh, no, no, because Sal started it because everybody lied to me and told me Eric the Midget was here, he is here. in the bathroom in He's his here. wheelchair. He's in the bathroom. And I've been standing out there for an hour trying to get a good news story, and all of a sudden, Lisa Z is going, you're disrupting, right? And you know what? I'm the only damn news person around here. How's that? I'm Eric, the only one that covered real news. Did you get the interview news. with Eric? No, me and Richard decided, she, well, he's going to leave. Penny, stop all this and go get the interview with Eric. The we can't, no, we don't want her to. That's the whole argument, Howard. Why? We want Steve Lankford, who's a better, uh, uh, he's a better newscaster, to do the story. She always screws up the names and everything, so we took her off the project, and we want Steve Lankford to cover it. So wow. right now, Eric's with Jerry, and when he's done, we're going to do our bits with him. Steve Lankford is a better newscaster. a better. And then Lisa Z says to me, now, when did they fire you at Fox with your behavior? What? How dare her? 20 years at Fox. <laughs> 20, no, you're laughing, Howard. I'm really pissed. <laughs> off. And I'm tired of that SFN, these idiots saying that I cry all the time. I ain't crying. I'm going to punch her in her mouth. And I don't see oh, her in here. Oh. And, uh, Artie, do you see her in here? I saw it. Let, let, let her Penny. come in here. Stop it. This is like watching uh, all, Lewis Penny, Black and drag. Get, first of all, i got to tell you something. Uh, Who said that? You? Hi, Greg Fitzsimmons. Hi, Greg Penny. Penny. Nice to see you. First, first of all, I get, first of all, these guys goof on you every day. Eric the Midget isn't He's here. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid asshole. <laughs> oh, stop it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Howard. Go ahead. Continue. Oh. Please. Penny, That's terrible. don't listen to Sal. Let your news director assign you things. He's, he's goofing on you. There's no Eric the Midget here. He's he made stopped. you wait outside the bathroom for an hour waiting for Eric the Midget. Oh. <laughs> that is funny, Penny. you got to admit it. <laughs> and every time somebody that's my boss, which everybody is my boss, Michael oh. Morales is my boss, everybody, Shuley's my boss, Sal's my boss, <laughs> every time they say they want to talk to me alone, they fire me. All right. So, I mean, it, w where is she? Stop it. Go out and deal with her like a professional. Yeah. How do I do and it? Do I go in there and talk to her alone? on in the hall. What? I don't even know what you're talking about. She's no. saying that I'm... Sal told her that I'm disrupting Penny, the hallways. tell the story about when you were at... Uh, oh, that's a great story. Saw Jones? Great. Katie what? Couric, um, you are Katie Couric's Jay husband. Jay Moynihan. You are Car Katie Couric's husband's funeral. Jay Moynihan. It was a uh, Campbell funeral home. Katie's a friend of mine. And forget about it. The lines were like three blocks long. Everybody was there. You don't know Katie Cork, but go ahead. 
Yeah, I do. How's that? All right, I don't think you, you know. Do. I don't walk around and brag about my appearances like oh, you on, do, Artie. You know, oh, I'm flying. The, the state cops took me 120 miles an hour to, to LAX so I can make the show. And they should have gone 140 because then you wouldn't have been right, late. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get. Eddie, what's the guy's name again? Jay <laughs> Moynihan. One more time. Jay. Moynihan. Because I thought it was Jay Monahan. Oh, excuse me. Such a good friend. It's Monahan. Uh, it is Monahan. It is Monahan, yeah. yeah. Moynihan, Monahan. It's Monahan. All right, so. <laughs> So we're in so line. She was at this stranger's funeral. <laughs> no, Robin. <laughs> all right, I'm going to continue. So I'm with Rosanna Scotto and John Rowland and all the guys from Barbara, you know, uh, Tom Brokaw. Everybody was there. Right. The line was down the street on right. Madison Avenue. Yeah, together. Here comes Barbara Walters and Star Jones, right. right? I swear to you, may God strike me dead right now if I'm lying. We're standing on line because, you know, you can only let so many people up for the wake. Right. Here comes, uh, here <laughs> Here comes uh, Star Jones with her neck like this. Yo, yo, yo. And we all look at her, and Barbara Walters is standing next to her, and I go, what's up? She goes, I ain't waiting on no line. Do you know who I am? I swear to God. Wow. At which point, Barbara Walters, and this is a man's, you know, wake, kind of disappears. I'm not standing here. I am not standing here. If I don't go to the front of that line, I ain't going. So good. Don't go. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what ever happened to her. Wow. And I will never, ever forget that. Here's your boss, that. Michael Morales. Uh, oh. Penny, I just wanted to interrupt. Eric the Midget's outside. Can you come interview him? <laughs> Wait, there's a toilet bowl out there that Penny should interview. <laughs> Eric was sitting on it. Penny, anyway. did you, well, how come you didn't come to Ga Gary Delafiore's uh, father's way? <laughs> you know why I didn't go to Gary Delabate's uh, father's way? You were a Jay Moynihan's? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Artie. You're All right, just go ahead, Penny. Go out and work things out. And don't, don't call people names. Come on. Ask, I didn't call her a name. Come on, stop it. You're going to ask her real quick about Gracie Mancino, because I heard some wild stories. I don't want to go there. But, um, right. Anyway, oh. would you please tell Lisa Z no, no, no. to get off my ass, because I don't see her in... I don't know anything about it. I, you got to deal with you got to deal with your superiors anyway. You have I got to. 900 fucking superiors here. No, well, I don't know what to tell you. The Easter Bunny's at Del Fresco's. Go get the interview. Uh, <laughs> You're just mad because I made fun of you. What is it, Ron? <laughs> yes, Monahan, Moynihan. They're carrying on like a mad woman. I know. That George Flowers is not a newsman. He that isn't. He's the only news person here. I am. Everybody sucks here. Even Sam Simon was just she, like, that's the most appalling mind. display of losing it. Are right. you all right? all right? Penny, go out and deal with your superiors, please. Go out and wait in a for nice Eric. Way. He's by the men's room. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There goes Penny, and do a report. Rank everyone on the news team. Who is good and who is bad? Thank you. Man, she is nuts. Yeah, she's she's out of control, but I love her. Yes. <laughs> what happened was they all they said to me. <laughs> Scares me. You realize that. Nothing scares you? Nothing. I'll get something to scare me. Let's lock her in and not let her out. Hey, I got something to scare Penny. Where's Penny? I got something to scare her. Where'd she go? Penny, I got something to scare you. I think you do it. Oh, not not really. So, Penny, come here. What? What's going on with you today? No, it's not. Where's my Where's my um recorder? You don't need one anymore. You're fired. But, Lisa. Lisa. Lisa, I'm sorry. All the names are flying. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on with you? Today? I wasn't um, part of it. You know, sometimes you have to get tough with your reporters. And Penny is not somebody that takes kindly to that. I, know I wanted to speak with her in private. Didn't want to make a big spectacle out of everything. You know, it became a big issue because, uh, I don't know, I pointed at her or spoke in a tone that she disapproved of. And then it became a personal attack. So what happens from here as well? Well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take care of this behind closed doors because obviously this can't continue. I shot. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm I'm queen of the I'm in charge of the nut farm here. If they're well, we'll see. We'll see. Seems like she's uh, you know, she's not upset. 
She's Penny, crazy. I don't know. Just a night Penny, you two minutes ago, you were really upset. What, will, you, will, you, will you let me talk to you now in the room? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Just How did you ask that? I'll come in with you. She's like a volatile person. You know, maybe, maybe, uh... I don't know, maybe we have to get George Flowers involved with this. Maybe he has to be a mediator. I don't know. So this is the type of things you, know, you deal with on a this, daily basis? This is my life every day with these reporters. Why is the Howard Line News reporter so dramatic? They are, you know, their personalities, they're crazy. They're all, they're all a little, they're all a little crazy. You think that's what makes them a perfect fit for this stuff? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. No. They're, they're covering the nut farm and they know whereof they speak, believe me. They are, yeah, from within. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. And you always gotta get your fucking two cents in. You know you love me more than anybody. <laughs> Did you ever hear me say that? Sal. <laughs> All right, go talk to her. No, now. I'm done. I'm done. No, talk to her in private. Now I don't want to talk to you in private. Good. Excited to be down here. I'm excited to be down here. Are you excited to be down here? I'm excited you're here. You're excited I'm here? Yes. Don't don't walk into the wall. Oh uh, no. Hi, Hi there. Dear. How are you? Good, honey. Good, good. good, good. You? So so you're excited. How excited are you? Oh, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, well, I don't want to know about that much excitement. Think about it this way. Which way? Oh, I'm still following you. Yep. So what are you gonna talk to Howard about today? I have no idea what Howard gonna talk to me about. Oh, definitely uh Got some all I want to talk to Aaron about is where's the coffee? <laughs> we can get you some. Where's the damn coffee? That's all anybody keeps saying is, we, we, yeah, we'll get you some. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not interested in getting me some. I'm in, interested in getting it. And actually drinking it? Yeah. So you're excited? No, I'm just waiting on Howard to talk to me. So you're just ready to go? Just want to talk to Howard? I'm just, yeah. Well, Howard wants to talk to me, now, doesn't he? Yeah. Absolutely. So that's it. I that's mean, it. You know, that's the uh, intro. That's the intro. All right. Howard wants to talk to me. We'll have fun with Howard today. Well, you have fun with Howard. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you, boy? Get the camera off me. <laughs> Gary, what was that you were just telling me about meatloaf? Meatloaf sold how I think many I albums? Read that, that, that Bad Out of Hell 1 and 2 combined sold over 42 million records. And then the... But 1 sells like... It's just one of the... Bad Out of Hell 1 is just one of those records that just sells every year. You, you know, know what I mean? I know what I've heard about that. I heard it. Thriller was number 1. Number 2, believe it or not, is Eagle's Greatest, greatest Hit. Right. That's right. Yeah, that's another one. Which is sells an, and sells and sells. An yeah. amazing record that yeah. I bought five times on every different CD yeah. cassette. And then I think Bad Out of Hell was like third or something. Oh, there he is. There's Meatloaf. Why are they asking wait, wait, wait. Put on your headphones. Meatloaf. Right. You're right. We're talking in front of your back. <laughs> we like talk. You know what? Rather than talk to you, we'd rather talk about you. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, you look good. Hi, Howard. What's happening, brother? How you doing? Last time I saw you was at Russell Crowe's house. How's that for name dropping? Man. Oh, that's right. I saw you like a million years ago. Yes, you're yeah, yeah, You're like yeah, half I mean, a loaf now. Yeah, you're no, no. I'm, in, I'm enjoying standing up. Is there a reason? No, I you could stand do up. Do I intimidate you standing yes, up? Yes, no. absolutely. Oh, I love that. Isn't that good? I just wanted <laughs> to give you a place to relax. No, I'm good. I'm good. But if you're going to ask questions, you know, and you got some, who was giving the answers in here? Gary. We were just well, bullshitting. How many well, albums? Yes, you were. We were guessing. <laughs> how many albums did uh, you know, both Bad of them, hell and one and two. About 52 million. 52 wow. million. And doesn't it still sell like an inordinate <laughs> amount of albums? I don't know what it does anymore. I just know what it did. And you, th you of course, perform good. and Steinman would write it, right? Yes. I would be the emotional connection to the song. Right. But Steinman... He did you, all the writing, he, though. I, I never understand something. You guys, are, like, you're suing him now, right? But yet you'll appear with him in places. Like, if I'm suing a guy, he's my enemy. You know what I mean? What's no, that it doesn't about? work that way. It doesn't work that way. No, you, Steinman you, wanted you, to own Bad Out of Hell, the words Bad Out of Hell. You wanted to own Bad Out of Hell. The words Bad Out of Hell. Right. So you sue him, but you guys are still friends. Yes. And Do so, you co-own the words? No, no, no. He wants to own the title Bad Out of Hell. But does, do, who owns them now? Steinman okay. thinks he owns them. Okay, that's a long, complicated answer. I, they're, they're, they're my trademark in Canada, England, Germany, France, Norway, Sweden, uh, Spain, Italy. Uh, Not the U.S. Everywhere but, right? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Steinman has the U.S.? Yeah. 
So it sounds like you guys were like madly trying to copyright <laughs> Bat no. Out of Hell. What happened was and he I had these the US. fabulous copyright attorneys. Right. And, I mean, spectacular copyright attorneys who made a mistake on their application for the United States. And it came back to them and they, they were, said, look, you have made a, a clerical mistake here right. on this application. And so what we need you to do is fix this little tiny, replace the word the with an and and, and, and rescind it. And it was right before Christmas. Well, when they came back after the holidays, they forgot. Oh. <laughs> so now what does it mean to own the words bat out of hell? Like, why do you need that? I don't even understand why you need to own that. Um, what could you do with that? Make a soft drink? Really? Like Bat Out of Hell soft drinks? <laughs> That's right. Bat Out of Hell Cola. Come on, babe. No, and if you want to put out an album called Bat, Bat Out of, of Hell, hell you got to yeah. go to Steinman. Well, you have to, Well, he would have to go to me if he wanted to, you know, he have to go to me if he wants to put it's it out. It's a stalemate. In, it's a stalemate, baby. It's so fucking complicated, man. It is complicated. It's a business. But how do you get to copyright Bat Out of Hell? Because I am the one who is the bat out of hell. You're the vessel. <laughs> well, hey, between you and me, Steinman doesn't have shit without you. I mean, honestly, I mean, great to write all that stuff, but you got to deliver the goods, right? I, that's something, it has something to do like that, yeah. <laughs> I like that we put throw pillows on the couch. And now nobody knows what to do with them. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I knew what to do with them. I sat on them. Is it comfortable? <laughs> yeah, it's more comfortable than, than sitting. In, because I, I felt like if I went into this couch that I wouldn't be able to see you. Right, and you'd and, fall asleep. And Well, I don't know about falling asleep. It's kind of a bright color. Right. And so I, I just wanted to see you. I, I didn't want to see you like so you me, know, looking up like I was a little kid. You've got a third album coming out now. And yes, you we want do. to call it Bad Out of Hell, right? Is it Bad Out of Hell? It's Bad Out of Hell 3. And and who owns the name? And did Steinman write the lyrics and all that? He He's written seven songs. It's produced by Desmond Child. Okay. And and if you're going it, it, to... It's produced by seven... It's, God, it, hang on. I, hang on. Take a shot of coffee. Mm -hmm. Or whatever mm. that is. <laughs> okay. Mm. It's produced by Desmond mm. Child. And Steinman has seven songs. Right. And the rest were written uh, by Desmond with... Uh, People like Nikki Six or Marty Fredrickson. He, he brought in the uh, he, Desmond brought in the Bon, jo bon Jovi Aerosmith group that they write together. So. Here's the question I have: So if Bad Out of Hell's one and two sell like 52 million records, yeah. So does Steinman get really all the money because he wrote it, or you know okay. what I mean? Like, like let's say tomorrow I go out and buy Bad Out of Hell because I just want a new copy of it. Do okay. you get any money? Do you get anything? No. Who's who gets the money? Go ahead. Steinman would get some money, right? Okay, because he wrote it. Mm -hmm. The publishers would get some money because they publish it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but who's the record the company? Wait, the record company would get some money because they're stealing it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what, and about, what you? about you? Where are you in this equation? I'm getting a lawyer to go after the people that steal the money. Uh, you want to sue the record company? Well, I didn't say that. I just said I will. If I had to, I'd go get a lawyer to go get the money. But we, isn't we it got true? Some money, but but not enough. But isn't it true the record company promotes this thing and puts out the product, and they're the ones behind it, and they even pay you up front to go and record it? And you had a deal. Yeah, I mean, you made a bad deal. So no, I didn't blame... make a bad deal. I didn't make a bad deal, Howard. What what happened was, you see, they do little things. This is like the old record label, right? Right. And this is not just me. This is everybody. Right. Um, the deal I made was fine, but the, the, they have a way of not wanting to pay you. Uh -huh. Right. They they like to do math. Yes, it's their. They have handicapped handicapped Cub Scouts doing math for them. What you're saying is whatever profits, they have a way of not showing the profit. Right. That's exactly what I said, I think. So here you are all these years later. You're still looking for a payday from these guys. Isn't that yeah, sad? Yeah, but every artist is. What do you tell these artists now coming up? What do you tell a young artist? Get all up? your money up front. Up front money. You don't want to participate in the back end because you'll never see it. No, they got, they got too many ways of... Uh, but isn't the back end where most of the money would be? <laughs> well, you would think. Right. So, so why don't you tell them uh, you want to be paid on the gross rather than on the net profit? Ah, they don't, they don't like that. They don't like that. They no, see, that's like, that, huh? listen, the, the game in Hollywood or anywhere is this. Howard, we owe you $30 million. Okay, well, they don't say it to you. They go, okay, I see here in the books we owe Howard thirty. Let's uh, Let's see what happens. So Howard goes, I think they owe me $30 million. 
Right. I'm seeing what happens. Nothing happens. I got to get a lawyer. Right. You pay a lawyer, you give a lawyer, and he goes, well, all that retainer is $100,000 to go fight this case. And you say, forget it. No. You go, okay, they owe me thirty million. So you give the lawyer $100,000. $100, well, now the lawyer, a few weeks, comes back to you, goes, Howard, look, I can get ten. Right now. Right. <laughs> I can get you $10 million right now. Go ahead. And it won't cost us another dime. Good. So that's exactly what you say. I see. You've paid a hundred grand, And he says, if you, you, you can fight it if you want to, Howard. You, we, can, we can fight this. And, and, but you never know what's going to happen in a court. Right. You could win or not win. But right now, for this hundred that you gave me, I'm getting you back $10 million. So the record company plays that game. That way and they don't have they, to stick to their deal. And, and so you leave, you leave going, well, at least I got $10 million. And the record company goes, we just made an extra $20 million. So you don't take the $10 million. You meet Lowe for saying, I'm not going to take the $10 million. I'm going to go to court with you guys and get my full 30 Well, I, at one point, I did take the 10 Right. At 10 Good. And then say, you know what? I lied. Now I'm coming back and getting you. <laughs> That's exactly my plan. Right. I, like I just that. needed the money to fight you in court. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I'll take you ten, and now I'm going to get more. You've given me lawyer it's, fees. It's, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it, it's harder now for record companies. This was this was back in the in the '60s, '70s, and '80s when they were really doing this. The '90s, it kind of tapered off a little bit and you kind of get it's like I like we put out a DVD and I actually got a check which I wasn't for for a large amount of money for a DVD that went gold in Australia and we like I got money and I was like shocked I'm going I got that much money and then wow. you didn't have to go to court to get it no I was like <laughs> so what do you do what do you do I mean, for a while you were really heavy into the movies I mean you were doing a lot of movies for a no, while y- yeah I still I'm still doing I mean I just did I just did one that almost killed me on what day is today? Uh, is today Monday? Yeah. A week ago today, because I agreed to do this movie, and my schedule got all crazy, and they lost their schedule. And I think it was like originally, I had about 22 pages, which is about a third of this movie. And we were it was spread out over six, seven days, something, seven, eight days. And, and they lost their time, and I lost mine, so we had to condense it down to, it's called Urban Decay. They're going to... They, they told me to mention it because they're going to try to sell it in, right. in, in some place. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so I had to condense it into one day. I had to shot 22 pages in one day. Wow. Is that responsible filmmaking? I mean, can you <laughs> yeah, really I do mean, a good job? What does job that look like in when one you do day, it? 22 pages? Usually they shoot uh, a page a day or yeah. a half a page. Oh, listen, this was the most <laughs> ungodly moment in my life. We're talking I have no in idea. wood territory, aren't uh, we? I, I don't. It's with so it's got some other good actors in it. So I just happened to have me on twenty two days. So you're still doing acting. Twenty two pages, yeah. And uh, what are you doing for fun? I mean, you lost a lot of weight. How'd you do that? I don't have fun, Howard. You don't? I, no, I have no fun whatsoever. That's how you lose weight. You stop I having refuse. fun. What do you mean you have, have fun? fun? I don't have fun. Is that true? I don't what do you know. do? Why, then? Why, what's the point in having fun? <laughs> do you? Uh, you never had fun in your early life. You had a shit fucking upbringing, yeah, didn't no. you? You've always I, got no, kind of screwed fun. over. You know, I have fun. I have fun playing with my dogs. You got, you're still married? I, I met your wife a couple of years ago. What, she well, gone now? you got a different wife. You got a different wife? Yes. Not the one I met? No. Yeah, well, I had I, a feeling no, you were going to be on the outs with that hey, one. you didn't even know about the divorce, and he's already got somebody else. <laughs> no kid. You got married again in that short amount of time? Well, I haven't got married yet. No. Oh, you got a girlfriend. Yet. Yeah. You're yeah. getting married? You're engaged? Well, we yeah, I'm engaged. What happened to the last wife? Um, what was wrong with her? How, was that your first wife, that one? That was my first wife. 25 years, right? Yeah. And, two, and a couple of just, daughters, Just right? kind of, you know, you she bored? just floated above the bed one day. What do you mean? <laughs> she cheated on you? She's an exorcist. Did she cheat on you? It was no, the exorcist. No, she wild or crazy or something, according <laughs> to him. She just couldn't live with her anymore. She just floated above the bed are you, are you, and you, all you, the way to the ceiling. Broads do that. Did you yeah. have to give her a ton of dough or did you have a prenup? Oh, the, the prenup went out because we were married 20 years. So, so the prenup what? Went out. How oh, you long did the prenup last? Why didn't you make a, 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 a prenup for, for eternity? I don't understand. You mean a prenup can well, expire? Well, see, now I'm talking to you, the man of, of good advice, aren't I? No, I don't have any good <laughs> advice. But no. I didn't know that prenups run out. I thought, I, as far as I know, they did. They uh, don't. I don't yeah. understand. You had a prenup, and then all of a sudden it they runs out. They ran out at 10 years, yeah. Oh, I see. You had a choice at 10 years to either stay married uh, or make a new prenup or something like that. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Who advised you on that? And what did you, you do? Just let it lapse? Uh, the same people that advised <laughs> me on the trademark. They, and you, yeah, no, they got it to them over Christmas, and they forgot about it. And, oh, oh, man. They so, forgot about no, that I'm one, No, I'm just too? kidding. Oh. So you got a pony up half? Uh, no, no, because uh, I made the play that what was mine before we met was mine. Really? 
Yeah. So what did you make after you met her? Not much? Everything. Yeah, I had $42 yeah. before we met. Yeah, before we met his wife, he had $40. <laughs> I, got I got to got, keep $40. I, I, got, I, kept that, I kept that $40 damn dollars, let me tell you right now. Okay. And I went down to Starbucks with three of my friends. We had a hell of a time. <laughs> so, I was going to say, she was glad to give you that $40. You, you, I mean, so mm. the wife, tw- 25 years, she's gone. You meet a new broad. Would mm-hmm. you meet her on a movie? No, I met her in Barbados. No kidding. So nice you do looking. have fun. Hot chick? Yes, Howard. Would you like to talk to her on the phone or something? No, I, I just want to know what you're doing with yourself. That's all. Oh, uh, no, yeah, no, no. She's great. She's fantastic. Well, if you want to know, uh, see, now I'm getting lower. Is she, is she the right age? How old is she? Is she a lot younger than you? Uh, she's 12 years younger than yeah, me. All right, now I get the math. Yeah. And you had yeah. a couple of girls, right? You had daughters. Yeah, you bring them up. Yeah, yeah. one, I t- since we're sitting here. Uh, yeah, you got a real hot daughter. I do have a hot daughter Who's named an Pearl. Actress. Yeah, uh-huh. I have two daughters. One, uh, per- Amanda, was on Carnival for Home Box uh-huh. Office. Right. And she's got a new movie called Pledge This, a new National Lampoon thing coming out uh-huh. right. uh, this year. And then Pearl, uh, a lot of people have seen Pearl on that um, VH1 yeah, band yeah, yeah. thing what was with that? Scott Ian. That's her fiance. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone yeah. was giving her some shit. Uh, Ted Nugent or something? Oh, Ted, or, yeah. Or, 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 oh, sure Ted oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. you got some good-looking daughters. Yeah, and so Pearl also sings, if anybody's in L.A., on Wednesday nights at the Foundation Room up at the House of Blues. I know. Nugent actually gave her respect because she was your daughter. That's what yes, it was. Yeah, that's now right. Now I remember. Now I remember. So, and, and, and I say you had a crappy life because... Your uh, your dad used to beat you and stuff. I mean, that, there's nothing worse than that. That's got to give you like no I self-image. Didn't really beat me, just threw me through windows and doors and things. That's oh. a beating. <laughs> then no problem. <laughs> yeah, that was a piece of cake. You were close to your mom. <laughs> yeah. You were close to your mom. Very close. Your mom died at a young age, right? Very young. Why? Fif- How did she 52, die? Fifty-two. Cancer. But she was sick. She died of cancer. But she had been sick uh, from the time I was twelve. You think wow. your old man drove her crazy, like in a sense? You know, I don't want to say that, but that's kind of how I feel. Yeah. I mean, he was an alcoholic, and there would be he he was an alcoholic, um, and be and be gone for days, not just drink at home, be out, yeah, left, and for you three loved, or four days at a time. And you loved your mom so much, like you even tried to pull her out of the casket. I read this was from your book. Yeah. You tried to pull her out of the casket because when you got your dad at home who's a drunk. You don't want her to go. You're a little kid. It's like, Mom, don't old, leave me. But he was pretty old by the time she uh, died. I was 16. 16. Yeah, trust me. At 16, you don't want to be locked in a room with an alcoholic father. No, but I'm just wondering, what does that feel like when you try to grab somebody out of a coffin? I what don't remember it, really? dear. I just am, I, I, I don't remember it. It's like, it was, it's one of those stories, I think, that people just go, he did that. And I don't really, I remember being in the church, uh-huh. and I remember walking up to it, but I don't remember actually doing wow. that. It's a bad scene. I've just been told that that's what happened. And you can't even remember your mother's face. You say you've blocked no, your mother's I really face. No, I, I can see her face because we have pictures, but I get, like, the, I, the, when you try to get memories, you know, it's like you have memories of, of your mother and th- I, don't, I don't have any. You might be afraid to remember your mother because if you did, you would just lose it. You would just start crying. Howard, I might lose it now and here you keep talking about my mother. You're getting upset, right? And I am getting upset. Yeah. 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 Is, this, is this, this what you do? We spin this the wheel of I fortune? Do. Yeah, I'm, I'm going into a new <laughs> career. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this is your life. <laughs> so what about your dad? Is he still alive? No. He but, died uh, four years later. But he gave you beatings. Four years later? Yeah. Wow. In a way, that must have been a blessing, I guess, because you didn't want to be well, around the dude. N- no, you know, it's like he he didn't have a great childhood. It's, you know, his mother died when he was two. Right. He was raised by an alcoholic father, so it kind of, you know, went around. It, that circle goes around in circles. That's that's kind of what that went. Yeah, and you so, ever- so now, you know, we've kind of stopped. Well... I've stopped that. I my there my daughters aren't being raised by an alcoholic father. Did you, you you don't drink at all? Very little. Very little. And you and do you ever wish that your parents, especially even your old man, you you were he was around so you could show him your success and say fuck you? No, I don't know. No, nah, no bitterness. Nah. nah. Nah, I don't no, it's fine. Because you, when I was on Motown, years, he <clears throat> I was on Motown. Uh-huh. And uh, and he died in 71 and we had that hit uh, on Motown, call what you see is what you get, uh, Stoney and Meatloaf. And so he had all, I went to the house uh, about a, 
seven months before he died, and he had meatloaf stuff all over the just from Stony and meatloaf. So he knew. So, so he knew. So it's not you know it was like, and he was proud of it. So uh -huh. that must have felt good. Though. Was he still drinking at that time? Or was he? Uh... I I don't know. I don't think so. I, he was so ill because he was a he was about six foot three and and as we were growing up weighed about two hundred and ninety pounds. Hey. And when I saw him, he probably weighed about a hundred and fifty. Wow. So he was a skeleton. What's that thing with with you saying that you know who killed John F. Kennedy? That no, you, I don't know who killed John F. Kennedy. Wait, you know that Lee Harvey Oswald didn't kill him? No, I, I have no... No, I didn't Hold it say a that. Did I, you say in your book <laughs> that somehow you walked by... You no, were no. there? No. What did you do? Like Jack Ruby, you saw him that day or something? No, no. Okay, hang on. Whoa. All right, go ahead. Whoa. Right. Getting confused. No, we were at Mickey Mantle Bowling. We we got out. Everybody got out of school. Did you I shoot a, John Kennedy? Yeah, <clears throat> that's what I. Figured. No, Woody Harrelson's dad did, I believe. <laughs> From school, he knows who Wait, shot John F. Kennedy. What happened? No, what and happened? Talk about the book suppository. In uh, in <laughs> the <laughs> suppository. In, in, I had my driver's license because my mother was ill when I was fourteen years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so they let us out of school. We were. I was a sophomore in high school. They let us out of school. And uh, uh, some friends of mine, you could get out because Kennedy was coming. So we went down to the airport. Right. So you must have been in Dallas. They were like, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, so we went down to the airport, and a friend of mine's father worked at, at Dallas Fort Worth. And he told his son he knew where they were taking him out, which side route they were taking him out. Right. So we didn't go to where all the crowds were, we went to this little gate. And there was like two Dallas policemen there, and, uh, and Kennedy came through there. Right. And he stopped. He stopped the car, and I wouldn't. My two friends, uh, Bill and uh, Jimmy, were their names actually. Right. Went up, and Bill went up first and shook his hand because Bill had the the balls of the group. And I stood on the I stood on the curb like ha ha ha, and and Jimmy went up and they shook his hand, and he actually stopped and they drove on, and my friend Billy said. The oddest thing, he said, what would you, to this policeman after he left, he goes, what would you have done if I'd have told you I had a gun? And the policeman, I wouldn't have done a damn thing, boy, as long as you don't take it out. Huh. And so I just went, what was that conversation? That was weird. So we got in the car, and we went to Mickey Mantle's bowling alley for lunch, and we were going to go over to where he was going to give a speech because we knew the guys at Market Hall, that, right. like the security people mm -hmm. at Market Hall, and we were going to sneak into the building at Market Hall. And so we went to Mickey Mantle's bowling alley. As we're going into Mickey Mantle's bowling alley, there's a receptionist sitting there. And she says to us, the president's been shot. And we start laughing at her. Right. And no, Thinking no, she's no. joking. Yeah, thinking she's joking. And my friend Jimmy listens to her little radio headset and says, it's true. And we start running across the parking lot. Screaming, the president's been shot, and everybody's yelling at us, going, You kids, cut it out. That's not funny. When we're going, No, it's real. So then I get in the car, and we decide, Where are they going to take him? They go, Well, they got to take him to Parkland. Right. So we get up on the road going to Parkland on this uh, um, freeway, little freeway, and there's a guy in the middle of the road waving his hands, jumping back and forth across the lanes. And I'm, maneuver, I'm driving, I'm trying to maneuver the lanes, and he's waving his hands. And I finally, he's, I'm going to hit him, so I have to stop. And he puts this thing up on the window. It says, Secret Service, scoot over. I'm taking your car. Wow. And he, we, I go, okay. So I scoot over. He gets in the car. We drive into Parkland Hospital with this car, with, with my car, my Buick. <laughs> and he says, and he's got this, we're going through, and there's, I mean, guns everywhere. Right. And he's got this, whenever he's got credential on the window, side window, he's driving like this. We're not saying a word. I'm sitting there like, oh, I'm going to get my head blown off. And we go through, and he, he, he gets out of the car, and he says to us, do not get out of this car under any circumstances. Wow. So we sat in that car for two hours. Easy. And, and we were there before Kennedy's car got there. Wow, Kennedy's car pulled into the uh, pulled into the lot. 
We saw uh, Jackie stand up. But wait a second. How come it says here? It definitely wasn't Lee Harvey Oswald, and that's not my theory. I just He didn't see a thing. He can't say. Wait, wait, wait. You go, I just know things. But I well, can't say anymore. That, I've been threatened, so I've got to keep very quiet. Well, I didn't see the assassination, because, but I was at the hospital when he, JFK, got well, there. Well, that's because as years go past, because I was interested in the thing. Right. I said I was at somebody's house, who I'm not going to mention because it's not mentioned in the book. Okay. And, and I said to... To a certain group of people that were at this house, so I, I'm, we, we're having, you know, we're having a good time. We're, it's, it's in the, it's in the early 70s, so there's, there's things being passed around to right. have, for people to have a good time and make people talk, a lot. Yeah. And and I turned to <laughs> some guy and I said, so, uh, so listen, I'm not you. Who killed? Who really killed JFK? It was in the 70s. And he sits back and he says to me, don't you ever ask that question again. Don't you ever ask that question again? What kind of fucking answer is that? Because if you do, you might get asked to the wrong guy and you'll be sorry. Oh, the hell is that? That's nothing, is what hey, that is. That's nothing. <laughs> hey, it's, it, was a, it, it was enough to scare the hell out of me, and it would have scared the hell out of you, too. Howard, it would have scared the hell out of you, too. I don't want to know. If you would have seen the face of the guy saying this to you. Did you get a lot of pussy when, I mean, I'm talking at the top of, the top of your game, <laughs> when you were on tour, singing your brains out? Was it well, like uh, one listen, blurry? Listen, well, I can just tell you this. When I was in high school, uh, I didn't. You know, I'm not coined with the name sex god for anything. Right. Robert. And and people used to say to me, how does that fat... Can you say anything you want? Yeah. You can, okay. How does that fat motherfucker get all these good-looking women? Did you get a lot of famous women? <clears throat> I had, yeah, well, I dated some famous women. No Baby, Baby you date? D'Angelo and... Who? Beverly D'Angelo. Beverly oh, D'Angelo. Oh, I think she's hot. Um, I'd like that. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of uh, the soap soap stars here in New York. No kidding. Yeah. Beverly D'Angelo, very loving. I mean, at her, at her height, she was some looker with the big boobs and the whole thing. Yeah. My, and then my, my wife, when I got married, my wife found a picture of Beverly in, in the bathtub. Oh. oh, man. I would love to have played hide this along with her. And then um, just, uh, just, you know, Broadway actresses. Man, you must have gotten them all. Well, I had the best. I had the best looking girl in high school. No she kidding. was voted best looking. That's who I took to the prom. I thought all. The, I thought when you were a kid, you were morbidly obese, and no one was allowed to play with you. Well, that's when I was a kid. But when I got into high school and playing football, and you slimmed down. I slimmed down my senior year. And how fat a kid were you? Oh God, I was huge. Like, like, how old were you? Like, when uh, the kids weren't allowed to play with you? I, weighed, I was in the fifth grade. I weighed 185. Seventh grade, 240. So, what? All the other parents were like freaked out. Like, you yeah, might be some yeah, sort of freak. yeah, yeah. You can't. My kid, you you can't come play with my kid. <laughs> oh, that's the they most painful thing. They didn't want you in the thing. house. No, they didn't want me in the house. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, you might squash the kid or something. Yeah. Or break the furniture. What were they afraid of? Well, it pissed me. It used to piss me off. I used to break the furniture then. <laughs> Man. I did. I broke out. Some woman wouldn't let me play with her son, so I took a big stick and broke out her plate glass window. Wow. Were you told that to your face? Like the people go, you can't yeah, play with yeah. my kids because you're fat? Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> terrible. You've <laughs> yeah. been in psychotherapy over all this? Uh, Between your dad beating you and none of the kids being allowed yeah, to play with well, you? Well, I was in psychotherapy because of bad out of hell, but it probably stemmed from... Uh, all of this other thing. Yeah, because I remember you had like a breakdown after the oh, big did you? success. Oh, I had a major yeah. breakdown. Oh, did you? Yeah. Like, oh. like lay in bed like Artie over there? I mean, oh, like I not get out of bed? I was climbing, <laughs> like me. I was climbing ledges on 77th Street. No kidding? Yeah. Almost kill yourself? Oh, twice, yeah. How'd you do it? One time I took an overdose of some pills that Steinman had. Uh. And they took me to the hospital <laughs> and pumped my stomach. And wow. the second time was they pulled me off a ledge over in 77th Street. And I don't remember being on it. You were going to jump. Yeah, I don't were you remember. On acid this or is when that you say how can people kill themselves? It's real simple, man. I didn't know. No, I wasn't on anything. I had no I didn't I don't know. I don't remember being to this day on the ledge of 77th Street. How do you explain that? How do you explain not knowing you were on a, on a ledge trying to kill you? Yeah, what was happening uh, happening directly before that? I I don't know. You mean you went into a rage? I was in a great, in a huge depression. 
Wow. Well, I could see why. The old man was just totally... Well, it, what really depressed me, I think, you know where I think it's... And now you see we're doing psychoanalysts here, so uh, I think it's coming from that when this... Due to my childhood, that success of bad out of hell, probably what I was thinking was I wasn't deserving. Mm-hmm. Right. You weren't good enough. I wasn't good enough. Can't but, imagine you being that fat and the parents telling you you can't play with the other <laughs> yeah, little kids. I never kids. heard of fatness being the reason you couldn't play with somebody. Oh, but you know, well, I kind of get you. it. I mean, like if you see some really big kid, and you probably looked older than all the kids because you were I so was fat. Bigger. I mean, I was a lot bigger. You're probably shaving in the fifth grade. You know what I mean? Because it fucks your. I don't shave up. now, really. So. <laughs> Back then, you were. That's weird. I would have played with you, Meatloaf. Thank you, Howard. I really would. I had a lot of fat friends. But your mother, well, your mother get... might not allowed it. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe when they were did scared. Did he get the nickname Meatloaf? Was that as a, a kid? He hates his real name. No, Meat. My dad called me Meat when I was nine Is months old. Is that right? Yeah, but I thought you hate your real name. Well, I, I do. So that's why I went to court. Yeah, what are you like, Darren or something? Uh, I was Marvin, and Marvin. this was the other. See, here's another. Here's another thing. This is enough to destroy anyone, and now right. we know why I'm completely out of my fucking mind. <laughs> are you still so, out of your mind? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. But it's fun now. Right. Um, uh, the uh, they, Levi's had a commercial when I was a kid that said, poor fat Marvin can't wear Levi's. Oh, no. oh shit, you're kidding. Even no, I'm commercials, not kidding. the commercials, the TV was calling you fat. And then the kids at school would probably go, poor fat Marvin uh, and, can't and wear the, Levi's. And the problem is that Levi's, unless I went down and got men's size Levi's, and that were way too long, and then they had to be rolled up funny and uh. or cut off and sewed. That they weren't the real Levi's anymore. Right. You couldn't wear them. Thank God you got into football. Yeah. That's when you got your acceptance, right? Right. Because I started playing football in the fifth grade. I mean, thank God you weren't like a pussy, you know? I mean, yeah, you, you could get up play there and some play. sports. Yeah, yeah. And then, I, then I had a reputation for you don't you didn't want to fight with me. Right. Because you'd be a maniac, <laughs> Well, no, right? I, I used to take, in third grade, I used to take on the entire class. Yeah. You know, it was like a, it was like a, a, a Chung Chan Finn Lee movie. So you would movie. get so fucking depressed that you would, would you curl up in a ball? Like for a while, we couldn't get Artie out of bed when he had to do his movie. Yeah, he was over there crying. Remember that, Artie? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was me. That's tape of me. <laughs> what would you do? Would you just lay in bed? And, Does like... Artie live in a very large cave? <laughs> yes, that's what the echo. <laughs> that's not actual tape. Yeah, it's a very large All right, so cave. now you got a new album. That's why you're really here. Meatloaf well, is here. You know, I'm here. I'm, I'm here to see you. No. I, re- I don't. You know what? If you don't talk about the new album, I don't really care. You don't even care. I do not care. You don't care. No. It's like f you album. Yeah, How long no. did you work on this album? A long time. This is so a lot of pressure. So maybe you should talk about three? the album. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you better you better talk about it. This yeah. isn't Bad Out of Hell three. It is. Yes, oh, it, it is. is. Okay. Bad Out of Hell three is due out in stores in Halloween on Halloween rather. Mm-hmm. Where do you promote out? Like like will MTV MTV won't give you support? Will they or or won't they? Have you talked to them about they it? They might. They might. Yeah. They did last time around. That's true. They might. They mm-hmm. might. We music have music business a, a lot different than when you put out Bad Out of Hell one and two. Oh, business is much different. So you have to just. Do it different. You could go out on tour? Of course. Any big duet in this? Do you have any birds? There is. Yeah? That's why MTV might play it. Yeah. There's a really lovely 22-year-old. Uh-huh. No kidding. Catherine yeah. McPhee. How no, how'd you no, end no, up no, on no, American no, Idol? Catherine McPhee. Uh, I uh, fucked the crap out of her. I don't care. Mar- Mar- Marion Raven. Were you turned on by uh, Catherine McPhee? You like her? No. Not particularly. No, you don't like her. No, you don't the like girl. Her. No, I didn't say I didn't like her. You asking me if I would go to fuck her, oh. and so she she didn't turn me on in that way. How uh, how'd she do singing with you? Did you think, in your opinion, she, she didn't get it? She didn't. No, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't get me. She didn't understand it. I, I really, she, I thought it sounded pretty good. Actually, no, it, it did sound fine when they turned my monitor on. Finally, yeah, that oh. was a problem. I thought I was like, what happened to Meat Love? In the first three lines, yeah. yeah well, I had no music, oh. and I was already. I have major performance anxiety on television, right? right. And yeah. I'm already, and I so I started sounding like the cowardly lion on acid. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> really, I thought you sounded fine. I'm Robbins. No, no. it's the vibrato. Was out of control. <laughs> yeah, I said, "What meat looked and, sick uh, or something?" I couldn't and, tell. And, what oh, was going I was on. sick. Okay, <laughs> I was sick as a dog because I'm like freaking out before I go on. I'm walking down, going, "Don't trip and fall." Okay, now you're walking out. You got all these people. Look cool. Okay, I'm looking cool. They're gonna start the music before I get to the mic. <laughs> 
Okay, there's no fucking music. Really? What do you mean, no music? You mean in your monitor? In, no, no yeah, music I have a, in... one little earpiece. Oh, and, shit. And, and the monitor system in that building, because that's not the building they perform in all the time. Mm -hmm. So they moved into the Kodak building. Mm -hmm. oh, so, I see. So I, and that's the one thing that I, I don't know how those kids sing every week. Well, the, I didn't see the monitor system they sang to every week, but the monitor system they had in that building that night was horrendous. Mm -hmm. you got to be able to hear the music. That's the bottom and line. And so what happened was the music was supposed to start when I'm halfway to the microphone, and so that when I get to the microphone, it's time to start the song. Right. Well, I get to the microphone, and I'm going, how long are they going to make me wait? <laughs> and all of a sudden, I've got one monitor in and one, one's not in, and I hear in the house, I'm hearing this piano. And first of all, the piano doesn't come storming in. It's just really light piano beginning uh -huh. so you don't hear anything and so i finally go you watch if you why if you see it again you'll see my head jerk to the right because this ear is trying to pick up the music and i got it right i was like about two beats late uh -huh. picking it in and right. so i was out of time because i'm out of time with the thing and so now I'm trying to get in time, and I'm not paying attention to what I'm all I'm trying to do is figure out what I'm doing. So after, wait a second, so after you get off the stage, do you blow a fucking fit? Do you, like, go berserk? No, no, because once they turned on the music, it was fine. Right. It sounded it sounded really good mm -hmm. right, so you after got the over third it. line. Right, you weren't, you yeah, didn't yell but, at them. Yeah, but I did try to run off stage there at the beginning. <laughs> I don't know if you, you noticed should have just that. just left. But, so, uh, no, I ran up stage trying to control myself. No, but now, she what do you didn't mean understand. She doesn't, yeah, what does that mean, well, she didn't she, understand? She you. didn't understand the focus of the duet. In other words, I had had her in a certain we were we were pretty good and then at the end she broke the focus that of the duet and went and sang it to the camera which 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 makes it's no about sense. the two of you yeah it's right, about it's two of us and she balance, she sang it yeah. to the audience right as opposed to me and and it like broke it she it, didn't understand it clipped it broke the moment it it took the moment away did you rehearse with her at all yeah did you say to her bitch what happened here no, no, no. Nothing. She's 22. 22. Well, that was what I thought her problem was, the whole competition. She didn't really understand anything she was singing. Well, you right. got to... No, I, that's... You know what? I, 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 I think that holds true for a lot of them. They're just singing notes and not paying attention right. to words. Yeah. So when you uh, are singing with a girl and she's not making the connection, does that bring you back to the fat Marvin days and all of a sudden you're like transported? No, it, it just brings me back to the point of, okay, she's not making this connection... I'm just, it was her, so for that particular moment, I'm going, look, I'm a guest, it's her thing, go right. sing to the camera, I'll stay behind you. When you're banging a Beverly D'Angelo. But, but if it was, if it was, if we were on Leno. <laughs> right, that. You would have wrung her neck. I, if we were on Leno and, and, and this young child to pull that number on me, I would have stepped right in front of her and, and grabbed her and flipped her around. Wow. So that when, <laughs> she has to stare at yeah. you. When you're banging a Beverly D'Angelo. Do you then say to yourself, look, they called me Fat Marvin in fifth grade. Look at Fat Marvin now. But look at Fat Marvin now. <laughs> well, I've been, because I've been sex god ever since, you know, like it's 65. A long time. Yeah. You got over it. Yeah. Nice. Let me ask you something. When you're in the studio, and you, I guess you're working with Steinman, he comes in and he tells you, here's the song I wrote. Do you say to him, listen, cocksucker, why do I have to sue you for the name Bad Out of Hell? Do you, do you get him alone in a room and uh, yell at him? No, he hasn't been alone in a room with me for, for a while. You man. guys can't you talk to each other? Along? Can, huh? you, can you talk to each other? Yeah, I, okay. yeah, we can talk. I, we, we, we're still friends. It's just, um, we, you know, there, there's, there's, there's problems with other people that and around uh, myself and Steinman. Really, the problem is not with Jim and myself. It's with management. That's them. Yeah, but it basically is you too. You got to come face. Yeah, because you're saying the things to the management that you want to be said to him. Would well, you ever have Jim Steinman no, over your house for dinner? Rather, what? Would you ever have Jim Steinman sure, over your house for dinner? Sure, absolutely. In a heartbeat. Have you guys ever gotten together socially in the last five years? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. it would be sad to me. I mean, here you've had tremendous success. Oh, together. I wrote him an email. I just sent him an email last night. Okay. So it's it's all cool. Yeah. All Even right. though there's still the legal stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. but that's all right because okay. he he's. Uh, he uh, he heard the uh, CD and. Do I not have the CD yet? Does, is yeah, that what, yeah, I do. I have the it. CD. Where's Gary, the where's the CD? CD? How come I don't have a CD? 
Well, why would you keep it out there? We just He's listening. What do you mean you just got it? Just a second? Makes no sense. That's not you? That's not part of the new album there, huh? <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Did you ever take music? Like, were you ever in chorus in high school? Or oh, yeah, but I took chorus to get out of study hall. You did? And did you ever take, have any musical training, like uh, opera training? Not until this year. Really? And I went to a vocal coach this year because it just I wanted this, the vocals on this record to be great. And when we started, they were they were good, but they weren't great. Wasn't so what I, you wanted. It wasn't what I wanted. So I, I uh, Desmond Child, who produced the record, said, "I know this unbelievable vocal coach." And I said, "Well," he says, "Give him a try." His name was Eric Vitro, and we did. And, and it worked out. It worked out unbelievably. I mean, I'm a ha I'm like a. A pig and a poke over here. Irish John, you're on the air with Meatloaf. Hey, Howard. Hey, Meatloaf. Big honor. I'm a big fan. It's really nice to talk to you. Um, question for you. In your song, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. What exactly is it that you won't do? <laughs> I think uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Howard answer that question for me. I think lick. Lick the uh, vagina. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It's anal. Anal? No, he, don't, he doesn't want to toss a salad. You don't I want to toss the chick salad? <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> I, I just was waiting for you guys to... <laughs> you don't like the smell to, of to, ass on to them? Make those, to make those answers. You because, can't handle ass? Uh, because you know what? That's exactly what everybody thinks it is. Did you give Beverly D'Angelo anal? because it's the only radio station in the world where you can actually say that. Did so you, I've been waiting for somebody to say this. Hallelujah. That's not what it is. But it, if that's is what it, it works for you, act? no, it's not. No. In other words, uh, I'll never forget for the love, way you feel right do now and do anything for love. But I won't do that. I'll never, um, uh, well, I'll never do it better than I do it with you. I'll never do anything for love, but I won't. I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that. I'll never stop dreaming of you every night Forget of my it. life. You won't marry her without a prenup. I won't marry yeah. you without a prenup. <laughs> That's what it is. I think you won't have a threesome with a black guy and her. <laughs> no, I think I think when you say you won't do that, in other words, you can't make the full emotional commitment. It's the line before every chorus. Right. That's what it really is. But but tell me what it is. What is it's it? It's the you... line before every chorus. Okay, but what, what, what won't you do? <laughs> I'll never stop I mean, why do you have dreaming? to keep it a secret? And maybe there is no answer. I ha I'll never stop dreaming of you, Howard, every night of my life. I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that. Howard, it's like Suck oh, my dick. I see, I see, I what? got What do you mean? It. I don't I understand. It. Now I finally figured it out. All these years, I never tell me. realized. Well, tell us. He's saying, um, I've been dreaming about you every night of my life. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. I won't Stop. give up Stop dreaming. dreaming about you. I don't even understand. <laughs> That's okay, Howard. You know what? I'm not a songwriter. Howard, I don't know I, you just go back to what you think it is, and you're fine. All right. Does Robin have it right? Is her interpretation good? Robin is correct. Okay. Let's go. I, and I don't understand what Robin's talking about. <laughs> Gary, go ahead. I, just wanted, I saw something weird in the notes, and I want to know if it was true. Is it true that Katie Lang once refused to meet with you? Because she's a vegetarian and she doesn't like your name? Absolutely true. Oh, that is my insane. goodness. That <laughs> is insane. Crazy. Yeah, that is certifiably crazy. Oh, that is insane. That is absolutely crazy. Do you think she's insane? She should be arrested. I was so excited. I was so, I saw her. We were at a, a, the Brit Awards in, in the U.K., and I saw her two tables over, and I... And I said, oh, man, there's Katie Lang. I love the way she sings. Man, she sings fantastic. Right, she's a great I would, singer. I, I, you know, I just like to go over and pay my respects and, and meet her and say, wow, you're great talent. And uh, so the, the record company president sitting next to me said, oh, oh well, okay, let me go over and, uh, and tell him you're going to come over and, you know, it's, do protocol. I said, okay. He comes back and goes, <laughs> she said she doesn't want to meet you. I said, <laughs> What? I just want to tell her what I think she's a great artist. I, what? Uh, she goes, well, your name's Meatloaf, and she doesn't want to meet you because your name's Meatloaf. Oh, she's a fucking asshole. Really? I, 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 Did you say you're a fucking asshole? Uh, no, I no. just kind of like went, wow, the world is fucking strange. Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Go ahead. Oh, uh, Mr. Meat. Yes, quickly. Have you ever had a threesome? I would imagine you've had a threesome. Not with you, Jeff. No, but uh, I bet yeah. you've had you've had two girls at the same time, right? I sure have. Yeah. What's I, the most amount of women you had at one time, orgy wise? Four. Four. Really? Look at you, tremendous appetite. <laughs> Look at you. And they can, the and they can, and that's exactly what they chanted too. Meets our man. Meets our man. Were you I'm not kidding. Were you? I really? swear to God. That in was the bed. Good. In the bed. <laughs> Hot chicks, four of them, and you, you banged them all. You pleasured all of these. 
these women. And they were, they were, it was like cheerleading. Meets our men. Good for you. It's not, 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 not kidding. Aren't you something? <laughs> they weren't offended by the name Meatloaf. <laughs> no, they weren't. You know who, uh, they ate meat. You know who's a huge Meatloaf fan? I didn't know this. Penny Crone. She dressed up in a sexy outfit for Meatloaf. Penny today. Crone got dressed up for no. Meatloaf. Penny Crone, our reporter from Howard 100 News. Oh. I might even persuade her to One come in. One of your and... biggest fans, Meatloaf. Let me see your outfit. Oh, look, he's showing you titties. I can't believe it. You have no idea what a crush I have on you. <laughs> oh, my God. I want you. I need you. Oh. But you there ain't no way I'm ever going to love you, so let's just go to bed, right? So don't feel bad because three... Oh, my... And Tell Paradise Meatloaf. My dashboard lights. I went to his concert. I'm Tell like having Meatloaf. an orgasm. Tell Meatloaf how many <laughs> cops you blew in your lifetime. <laughs> go ahead. This will turn them on. Maybe 20. 20 cops. <laughs> 50. Is that how you got out of tickets? You did, I got dressed up for you today. Look, oh, already. No, you look fantastic. Penny, can I tell you something? Howard, how do I look? You got Robin, nice. You that got, was dressing up? Can I tell you something? Well, that's nice. what I was thinking, but I, didn't know, <laughs> but I didn't know how she normally dresses. You understand? Honey. It's like I thought the same thing, Robin. I'm going... God, I would hate to see the way she normally dresses. Can I give you one bit of fashion advice? And believe me, I'm the last guy to get oh, fashion. Oh no, I'm wearing old lady pants. Yeah, untuck your shirt. You got your pants pulled up to your tits. It's crazy. That there you go. Now you look. Oh, okay. Then can, I give him a, can I give you a hug? Yes. Really? <laughs> really? You show me love? Like, I wouldn't hug her. <laughs> Why? I, I don't know. She's, <laughs> She's learning to. Do you have to be you. that forward to the guy? Go I ahead. love you, and I thank you for making my life so happy with his music. Can you, I mean, it's, all right, all right. Stop the gushing. Stop I was going with, and he never, he, and I loved him. Artie's falling asleep. Would you I loved ever? him to death, and he broke up with me. And he broke my heart, and he never said he loved me. And when that song, when you sang that song, I've never forgotten. Have you ever blown a cop to bat out of hell while the music was playing? No. Never. No. If but, Meatloaf said to you right now, I want you, I want you to put me in your mouth, would you do it for him? No. You would not? No. You would not? But if he wanted to get naked in my shower and sing, I'd let him do it. That's right. All right. Thank <laughs> okay, you, Pat. Thank you. Ha <laughs> you still have the mojo, Meatloaf. <laughs> Good for you. I, I, you look great, Meatloaf. Yeah, well, you know what, Meatloaf? You better smooth. hope she doesn't throw her panties at the stage. She'll kill you. Uh, That's right. <laughs> wow, you really still have it with the broads. Right now, right now, Penny's oh, yeah. panties are at Shea Stadium in, in case there's a rain delay. <laughs> what did he... <laughs> I can't believe I met Meatloaf. He's, oh, my God. He's so cool. I saw him in concert, which... Truly, in the microphone. News reporter, you don't know how to talk in the mic. I know. I don't want to be a, flustered. You're, I don't want. I know. I didn't want to be in the like mic. Travis school, is yelling. Like a giddy schoolgirl. I just love him. I love him. I'm going to start crying. What? What is it about? It's music. His, you know, Paradise by the Dashboard Lights. Um, two out of three ain't bad. Oh. And I hugged him, and I kissed him. What was that like? What was running through your head? I don't want to sleep with him. Howard goes, you want to sleep with him. I don't want to sleep with him. I just want him to get naked in my shower and sing. <laughs> So you want him? You really do. I just want to see you him lust naked. After him, don't you? No, I don't. I just want to see him naked. Wait, so you're, you're gonna look. You're gonna have a naked guy in your shower singing, and you're not gonna bang him. Well, I guess if you started singing uh, "Paradise by the Dashboard Lights," like right, you'd be deep throat in that yeah. shit. <laughs> you're Fuck, right. are you kidding? <laughs> Check out Meat Loaf's "Bad Out of Hell 3." It's gonna be out in stores. Halloween. And October 31st, yeah. Yeah, but I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you doing oh, so well. Howard, I, listen, I'm glad to see you doing well, too. You ain't doing so bad, son. Yeah, look at this place, huh? Look at this place. Yeah, not bad. This is a far cry from the last time I was in your studio. That dump. It was a dump. It was a dump. It was a dump. Man, am I talented to be working in an environment yeah, I, like that? You were totally embarrassed to have you I was there. embarrassed. You know why I haven't <laughs> seen you in a long time? I wouldn't even have you in there. It was a dump. It, it was really a dump. was a dump. Me and the poor Robin was in some booth in another land somewhere. <laughs> And she's still in a boat. Well, well she's, but at was. least you can see her now. Yeah, I'm yes, in yes. the room Before, somehow. all you, you had these eyes that you saw. Like, this, <laughs> like it was a, you know, nighttime was an owl. Well, you it's know, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. No, we haven't seen each other for a while. Yeah, Since I, Russell Crowe's party. Well, Mary McCormick, who worked on a movie with Russell Crowe, yes. invited me to Russell Crowe's house when I was out in L.A. Now, this had to be nine years ago. This was when he was doing the hockey movie. The hockey right. movie, maybe eight years ago. So she invited me. I get to go to a Hollywood party, and who's standing there? Thank God, is Meatloaf, <laughs> who's like a normal human being, who I can stand there and talk to everybody for a while. Everybody else was ignoring you? Is um, that what you're saying? No, I mean, I don't know. I didn't know anyone In there. Hollywood, everybody ignores everybody <laughs> unless you can help them. I and, then, and then Meatloaf, uh, you know, we're talking and talking. Finally, I get the word, Russell Crowe wants to see me up in his room. 
Oh, he's at, his, at his own party. He's own, up in yeah, a room? He's up in a room because he wants to play me his music. Oh, God. The, the, the 30 You're talking odd to me, oh, oh, he did. Yeah, so I went oh. up there. And, and Russell wants to play you his music. And then I get up in a room alone with Russell Crowe, and he's staring at me, and he's playing me his CD. Which ain't that great. No, nah, it, ain't, it ain't no meatloaf. <laughs> what do you do while he's playing? I mean, where do you look? You I can't look at him. I looked down at the floor, <laughs> and then I got the fuck out of it. And that was did the you, last party I went to. Did you have to comment on it? Hell no, I didn't even get to say goodbye to meatloaf. I ran out. I go, oh, oh I got to get out of here. And all Russell Crowe was, and all Russell Crow did to me was run around and ask me if I wanted something. You need anything else? You need some potato chips? You need a hamburger? He was a nice guy. He, he was mean, a very nice guy. He asked me if I needed a, a Diet Coke six times. Yeah, he didn't throw a phone at me. No. And did you say, he what do you mean Diet Coke? Wait, you think I'm still was, heavy? And that's the that's the third time I'd been around him. He was always really nice. Yeah, yeah we had a good well, time. Well, see, you're not the concierge at a hotel. Right. Who won't put his call through. Right. right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that was my big experience at a big party. That's and I got funny. to see Meatloaf there. And uh, that was the end of that. That guy ran out and I never went back. <laughs> but uh, thank you for coming in here. Thanks, and, Howard. Uh, lots this is of, great. Yeah, we love and you, Meatloaf. And congratulations on your new uh, Thank you. And new, congratulations. New, uh, on the new thing. album. Sounds good. And your studio and just about it's just about the security getting into this building. I kept telling them I don't have any ID. Yeah. I don't want a security pass and I don't care. Stop me, sucker. <laughs> and stop asking people who killed Kennedy. That's my advice. <laughs> but uh, I did that a long good. time All right. ago. All right, the great meat <laughs> You brought it up, I didn't. Thanks me. <laughs> okay, we'll be bye. back right after these words. Hey, me. What? what are you guys doing there? We did fine. You guys got pretty deep. Howard got deep. I just scratched the surface. Was that tough, though? Was it tough talking about things from your childhood and you know your father and everything? It's tough now, okay? <laughs> I want you to shut up! <laughs> so, did you have a good time in there, though? Yes, I did. All right, thank thanks you. for coming by. Okay. I just want to thank you. You're welcome. You know, because I've been a reporter in the city. I've yes. won three Emmys. I'm very important, and I love you. you. Are. <laughs> I'm glad that you're important, and I've met such an important person now, today. No, seriously, you have made my life. So, I, well, I, I know you get that. You've won three Emmys. I touched no, you. No, I'm serious. No, I'm spinning. I mean, I've I'm never, busy. ever flipped over anybody. <laughs> ever. <laughs> I went to your concert. I Are got you all your music. Your reputation? No, but you're beautiful. You okay. look wonderful. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. I can't believe I said that. I can't believe I said I won three Emmys. I wanted to impress them. Ngắm nhìn biển rộng bao la, một màu xanh biếc cho ta say lòng. Lắng nghe sóng vỗ di dâm, như lời du thua ta nằm trong nỗi. Ngắm nhìn mây lượn lờ trôi, bồng bềnh là lướt như thời đôi mươi. Nắng vàng như miệng ai cười. Cho hoa đùa đó Cho người thêm xuân Ngắm màu xanh thẫm núi ngàn Chúng Chúng was the best drama I've ever seen in baseball. Good vibes, man. Good vibes. Good vibes. <laughs> hey, so did you read in the paper today the, um, the, the uh, Minneapolis uh, Twins? Yeah, I heard that. They're Which claiming. Get away man? from you. Yeah, they're claiming the only reason you pitched a perfect game was because they were at scores till four in the morning. They were mesmerized by boobs. Yeah, <laughs> didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> so after you pitched the game, I, I read in the paper today. What'd you do? You went out and you drank some champagne. Had some champagne. Then Got you a headache from that stuff too. Yeah, you drink beer. Beer is better. Yeah. <laughs> a lot better. Well, any kind of wine or champagne will give you a headache. Yeah, it's nasty. It really is. Oh, listen to Jackie over there. <laughs> Jackie's oh, bonnet. always get a headache from champagne. <laughs> oh, you can't let that headache get out of the David, let me handle this part of the conversation. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Yeah, Sorry, he's David. absolutely right. Any mention of beer or wine. <laughs> they break my balls if I, I open my mouth. I am the They break my balls if I don't open so them. So, um, so then you, you go out, you get a little drunk. And where'd you go? You went to scores? No. I've never been there. Oh, I'm going to take you there. What's that? You want to go there with me? No. And then we're plastered all over. They, I hear they dog you over there. Dude, dude, I go there, I have a private party. Oh. 
Word up, then. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take you. You know what? I'm going to let. I'm going to really help you celebrate. <laughs> Is that right? You have no idea how much fun that place can be. A dance here and a dance there, huh? Yeah, a little dance here, a little dance there. Oh yeah. Very and beautiful. The funny money flows. And the funny money. <laughs> let it happen, baby. Pace, pace it to your forehead. You're not kidding. <laughs> so. Then, like yesterday, this is unbelievable. I mean, you are the talk of New York because I was walking around I yesterday. I think he's the king of New York. Yeah, I you mean, are. It's just hysterical. What are they doing? They giving you the keys to the city? Yeah, it's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that uh, when they were interviewing you after the game, you were going to say, you know what? I went on that Stern show Friday, and then I pitched a perfect game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll buff you out today, and then I'm going to uh, Regis and Captain this morning. Oh. Ooh. They invited me over there, so I'm, I'm very excited about that. So, Howard, you will get some air time. Oh, yeah. wow. Wow. I'm going to tell you something. You bring up my name, you might as well be bringing up the Antichrist. <laughs> That'd be a oh, bigger oh yeah, that's perfect. right. That's right. I forgot about you that. You should have told him. He would have been an innocent. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Hey, one of the things I thought was really funny, did you see your picture in the paper and you're wearing a feces T-shirt? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I, was, I told Robin yesterday at the uh, at, at the Master Square Garden that I had it on when uh, the pre when I was with the Orioles and the president was coming in and we were meeting. I had it on. They're saying no, 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 take that shirt off. The shirt says feces. Feces. <laughs> the funniest thing I ever saw. Feces peanut butter cups. The sick bastard. <laughs> you know they're writing in the paper today that you. Normally, if you pitch a perfect game, which has like never been done, like only 15 times, right. that you would get so much endorsement money, but because of your image that you're like this wild man, uh -huh. that they won't, uh, that there's not going to be any endorsement money. Oh. Doesn't that suck? Are you getting calls? You know, that, that, that's, you know, being stereotyped like that, uh, you know. That's absurd. What, Dennis Rodman gets endorsements? Yeah. Not All that right. many. <laughs> no, he doesn't? <laughs> not that many. It yeah. doesn't matter. I'm just going out and have fun. I love the game that much, so anything else, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, really? Nobody's calling? Um... My my just got a, had a couple calls from. Well, I hope so. Yeah, there's a tailor in the Bronx that wants to use you. A tailor. <laughs> <laughs> Get one of them spiffy ads you see in the New York Post. Yeah. No, but you know, I mean, why can't you do like a beer commercial or something? <laughs> that's it's not good to promote. I wouldn't think. Really? Yeah. Beer? That's, that's why they don't have those light beer commercials and stuff anymore. Oh. You know, they took all the sports figures out. Yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah. Why should you make any money? Yeah, I mean, with that, you can understand that just for with the. Today's uh, world with the younger kids and all that, it's kind of a bad idea. But it, you, can, you can respect that, though. Has it hit you yet? I mean, like, this is a major accomplishment. You know what David says? Yes, he says, I'll probably go out the next time and, and really tank one. <laughs> I'll really have a rotten... No, I have a theory about your next one. When are you pitching next? Saturday. Okay, I have a theory. What's that? I think you're in some kind of groove right now, like you figured out how to do it. Uh-huh. I'm serious, because... I was, I was listening to the announcers during the game, uh -huh. and they're going like, you know, David got into some groove in the game before, and now he's still in that groove. Uh-huh. I think, think he's going to go on. I think you've hit some sort of new plateau. Wow. What do you think? I think you might throw another perfect game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh... Well, Howard, you know he broke another record, too, because he had put out the 10 people in the previous game, right? That's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, so it's 37 people in a row he retired. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying you might be in some kind of groove. The streak's still going. Hey, well, let's see if it happens. I'm all for it. Do you think, is there any weird superstition going? Like, I thought the funniest part of watching the last two innings was all the superstition. Man, I tell you, I was going, I was going nuts. Then all the guys, like, walked away from you and wouldn't even talk to you. Like the pardon of the Red Sea, huh? Yeah, it was weird. It was like, it was like you had, uh, I don't know, leprosy. leprosy. <laughs> would you, wouldn't you rather have had... That would have been a shame. Yeah, wouldn't, it, wouldn't you rather have sort of been talked to during that and, like, keep your mind off the uh, fact that you might be pitching a perfect game? Well, David Cohn, he, uh, he he's the uh, the tension. He was over there talking with me, telling me to knuckle balls and, you know, and just tell me he's been there before. He knows what it's like. So just, you know, go out there and do whatever you can. Hey, personally, I thought, I don't think he wanted you to pitch a perfect game. Who? Oh. Cohn. David. David Cohn. Is that right? Yeah, I think, like, you know how he You're was... You're dogging my boy. Yeah. You know how he had, like, his uh, jacket up and everything on all that? Oh, that was awesome, wasn't he? Look like cousin hit. Yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking. Hey, he doesn't want you to do it. Oh yeah, he was pulling for me bigger in life. You think? That's my homeboy. Really? Yeah, he's a great guy. How weird was Joe Torrey, man, keeping his hands in the jacket? I don't know what was in the jacket. I think I, I, I think like he has a hole cut right into his pants. <laughs> I think he was, he was doing himself. <laughs> 
Uh, if I saw a game like that, I'd probably be doing it too. Yeah. Did Tori <laughs> did Tori kiss your ass afterwards? Good. No, he was he was very uh, cordial and you know shook my hand just yeah, like, like he does every game. You know. If, if I was a manager, I'd be like, you should do this every time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like why 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 don't you? What you did today? That's what you should do every day. <laughs> yeah. Easy as pie, huh? Now let me ask you something. Daryl Strawberry had his finger in his uh, nose. Now is that part of it or? Uh, did he really? Are you making that or, up? No, maybe that's a superstition. <laughs> you're, you're having fun. <laughs> Well, man, I tell you what, the next time I pitch, when you're watching it, stick both your fingers in your nose. You're not kidding. <laughs> did Stein, see if it works. Did Steinbrenner send you a car or anything as a gift? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Yeah. yeah that'd, be, that'd be nice. So you're going to mention me on Regis and Kathy Lee? <laughs> I'll bring you in. I say you were a good luck charm. Really? Yeah. Right. Let me tell you something. That's going to be bigger news than the perfect game. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean... Hey, you... well, hey, when you're the man, you're the man, right? Hey, Kathy Lee's a piece of ass, man. I'd like to do her. <laughs> well, he had quite a gorgeous lady with him last night. Oh, did you? Yeah, who is Nina? Who is Nina? Uh, Nina's a uh, girlfriend. Oh, okay. Did you have Did you have sex the night of your perfect game? <laughs> no. You didn't? <laughs> she, was down, she was down in Florida. Are you serious? Yeah. So what did you do when you went home? Did you just, like, did you play with yourself? Oh, <laughs> absolutely. You did? How many times? I'd go at least twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just, just did what I did, you know? I just have fun. No, seriously, like, you're all charged up. When you up. have a babe, you don't have to do those kind of things. Yeah, but I mean, like, you just went to bed that night? Went after it? Yeah. No, I went out and had some fun. All right, but then when you with some of the boys. But then when you came home, were you like were you aroused? <laughs> no, I was tired. Really? You just went to sleep? Yeah. I had to get up early, go golf. And you, yeah, I saw that. Man, you don't worry about a thing. You see, well, I am that's so what I'm saying. since he did this, I think he's just been running around yeah, everywhere. If I was a pitcher, I would like to sit at home nursing my arm every minute. Uh -huh. Worry. And I would be the worst pitcher in the world because all I do is worry. I think right. the key is yeah. not to care. I couldn't believe that he was out last night. I mean, oh. after his whole day, the, the next day. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Um, you, I got some good sleep last night, so I, everything is, is sunken in. I'm a little more relaxed. I'm not as nervous as I was. I can't believe you didn't even fool around with yourself. But let me ask you. What at, least, your... at least at least, stick it in the champagne bottle. Oh, stop. <laughs> what is your usual routine? <laughs> yeah. Dipstick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, Robin... What is the usual routine between games? I mean, what do you usually do? Scores. Um... <laughs> yeah, Howard, keep in mind that he doesn't have to play every day. He no, I is, know, I know. But well, in between starts, you know, we just, well, we got to be there every day, of course. But, mm -hmm. you know, work out, just throw, and and uh, just play catch every day. And, and just, so you've been I, keeping that up? Yeah, I, I don't change, you know, what my, my repertoire is. Uh. Did that guy who abandoned you, your father, uh, did he call you? Easy now, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I don't dig that guy. Hey, well, hey. He's back, he's back in my life, and it's a great thing. I don't know. I'd have a lot to say to him if I met him one day. Well, that's what I thought, you know. Yeah. That's the thing is, though, but, you know, yeah, he called me. He was very proud. He was bummed that he wasn't there. So what about I. that Hells Angel guy who raised you? Did he um, Did he call you? No, he, pa he passed he away. A few, oh, he did? He passed yeah. away a few years ago, yeah. You know, me and Robin were saying on the air the other day, the Hells Angels ought to raise every kid. <laughs> Look how good job they did with you. Yeah, but they, they get a bad rap. They sure do. They do. Hey, so... Um, when you did Letterman, what was that like? Was it weird? That was awesome. That was like a dream come true. That was fun for you. Yeah, it was. I was. I was very nervous. And and uh, can I just tell you one thing? What? You should be more nervous when you do our show. We have more listeners than he has viewers. How I feel at home when I'm there. There <laughs> when you I'm go, bro. I can just be myself. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not antsy. I'm just me. What song did they play for you when you walked out? Do you know? Where? But uh, Letterman. I have no idea. Yeah, what? you couldn't even hear the music. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was I was trying not to trip on the stage. <laughs> yeah. It's too much, man. I was so happy for you. I'm sitting there watching the game, and I'm going, damn, I just had that guy on. And you know what's weird about the newspaper? The Daily Newsprints. Um, David Wells, frequent guest on the Howard Stern Show. Did you read that? Ain't that something? Yeah, I mean, like, David was on one time. Yeah. It was really weird. Well, if that's, if that's how they're going to put it, then oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go on every time. If I tell you what, like that. you should come in this Friday for luck. <laughs> and you know what I do? Robin will lift up her dress and let you rub her. Yeah. For good luck. Yeah. Remember when Mark Shot used so. to put the hair on you? I don't special think hair. So. We have special hair for you. Yeah. <laughs> He's got Nina. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you need to cut some of yours off and give me give me some hair. Girl. There you go. Let him carry your hair around. Yeah. yeah. And your teammates. Yeah, you could you could be you could be the next ne the next uh, Mark Shot. You, know? yeah. you, you can shave your head and then keep your hair and then rub it on people. Yeah, that's what she did. Yeah. You know, I was what happens? I was so nervous for that guy in right field, man, when... Um, that last that ball. That last no. ball. Uh -huh. Oh, man, wouldn't you hate to have dropped oh, that? That oh. would have been a nightmare. Oh. That oh. would have been. Man.
Uh, you know, he's, he's a good outfielder. That's what he gets paid for to catch him. You're damn right. <laughs> yeah, and he didn't lose it that day. No, hey, no. let me tell you something, man. I am really happy for you. I appreciate it. I just think it's an amazing accomplishment for, for an athlete to do something like that. Oh, oh. But he's got the right attitude not to choke in the next game because he said, you know, man, I'll probably tank the next game. He says, yeah, what the hell? Laugh them if they can't take a joke. Right. <laughs> That's the way you got to exactly. do it. That's it, brother. That's right. All right, you bring that Nina with you next time you come yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to see what uh, that looks like. Hey, this Nina, she's a white woman? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey, Rob, Robin she will tell you. She seems to be white. Was she really hot? <laughs> she's beautiful. Really? Yeah. How long yeah, have you know every, her? Every blind girl finds a nut, Howard. Yep. <laughs> how, how, uh, how'd you find this one? Um, I met her about four years ago. No kidding. Down in Florida, yeah. We had a bar? But no. Mm-hmm. No. No. Would you see a picture in a magazine? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too great. So where are you on now? You're in the car going to Regis and Kathy Lee? Right. Would they send a limo for you? Um, little town car, yeah. No kidding. Yeah, it's cool. Good air conditioner. <laughs> wonder, what, wonder what Kathy, if Kathy Lee's wearing a little dress. Oh, easy, man. You should tell her, uh, <laughs> she should rub her I hair on you. I ain't going that road. <laughs> she should, you know what you got to do? do? I ain't going that route, Howard. Here's what you got to do. All of a sudden, just lean over and say, you know what? I've always wanted to feel up Kathy Lee and just uh, feel her up. Oh, hey, I'm, I pitched the perfect game. Yeah, what, honey, let me feel you up for that. And see what she says. No. <laughs> you won't do it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to I'm not gonna go that route. You're not going that route. No. All right, man. David, congratulations. But one thing, a buddy of mine, he needs, he needs a little... Uh, a little bar tire. Richboro Pub. <laughs> it's over in Philly. He, <laughs> Look says, at you. he says, anything you want, you got. All right, man. You and the boys. Come by and, and see us. Gals. Come by with Nina, man. All right. Yeah. And uh, if they give you the key to the city, open Kathy Lee's pants. <laughs> <laughs> you know she needs it, brother. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to. She, she might ask me to lock you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. David Wells, everybody, just pitched a perfect game, man. All right, thank you, Howard. Congratulations. All right, Robin. Bye bye. Take care, bye. David. All right, bye. Bye, David Wells. Hey, David Wells just came by with his girlfriend Nina. He's on his way to another appearance. I guess he did Regis and Kathy Lee. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Dying to see him. Look at him, man. I was watching him on TV pitch that perfect game. Hey, all decked up. Look at that, man. Uh-huh. Hey there. Whoa. And look at Nina. Oh, my God. Damn. Hey, guys. Come on in. That's, that's the melon head. Come here. One day I'm going to do something great, and I'm going to pitch a perfect game or something. You, you, you are perfect, man. You didn't know that? David Wells, Nina, and Graham Lloyd. No. No, this isn't Graham Lloyd. It's not Graham. Who's this? This is Jerry Walsh. Who's Jerry Walsh? I, actually, I'd like to know. Who are you, Jerry? <laughs> he's got, he's the a, guy that owns the You're Rich a baseball Pro player? Pro. No. I'm a, one of my good friends. What is Graham Lloyd? Good. I, remember I told you the story during the break? What? He's, what is the story? You, you, you write down things on a piece of... And I told you. I said, what is I said it? Graham Lloyd's not here. Who's Graham Lloyd? He pitches for the Yankees. Yeah, what about him? Yeah. He's the guy, him and David and Graham Lloyd were driving yesterday in the limo. Oh, okay. Here's the, here's the story. Right, hey, okay, hey, got it. Hey, Jerry, you're Graham Lloyd today. Okay. You be Graham Lloyd, <laughs> okay? Right, so I'm sorry. I don't know anything about baseball, man. I'm just like, you know, I'm out of it, man. Nina, hi. Hi. Hey, baby. <laughs> Boy, you're hot. It's hot. Wow. You gonna marry uh, Nina or what? Am I? Yeah. Uh, this is a little early. <laughs> it's a little early. You guys have only been dating for a while. Uh, a few years. Yeah. Yeah. Where were you when the big game happened? At home, laying on the couch, listening to it on the radio. You were. Wow. Why on the radio, not on TV? Because he didn't have it on TV down in Florida. No kidding. No kidding. So you're laying there. You're thinking, hey, that's my man. Uh, what are you wearing that's when you're laying there? Right there. <laughs> laying there. <laughs> and you're laying there alone. I was. What were you wearing? Um. <laughs> Probably the same thing you are. Yeah. What? Sh- little short shorts and uh, where my butt sticks out? <laughs> hey, do you wear do you wear a thong, Howard? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? Can you imagine me in a thong with my ass cheeks? Yeah. <laughs> Women would be repulsed. So what do you think of your man now? I think he's great. Yeah. I always thought he was great. Smart move, hook it up with him. I'm telling you. It's Mr. Bad. Perfect game. Hey, just it's only one. Damn. So when he did it, what did you do? Did you start calling your friends and everything? No, I started to cry. You did? Oh, I was bawling my eyes out. Really? Uh huh. Mm. Oh, I was so You happy must be great him. in bed. <laughs> <laughs> you must really be loving. <laughs> <laughs> you've pretty much had any man you've ever wanted, right? I mean, you're a very good-looking woman. I don't have to tell you that. Oh, thanks. What are you a model? No. What do you do? Well, I mean, I just started to model. You did. Giving mm. it a whirl. No, I'll give you a job. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of job? What do you charge an hour? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you know, I got enough. I've often thought. Is that how you guys met? You actually saw her picture in a uh, magazine? No, no, I just. 
just met her through some friends. Is that Matter right? of fact, the the portfolio I gave you it was through uh, through her. Is that right? Yeah. Oh man, I'd love to get my hands on you. When you uh, and David break up, uh, just call me, okay? I'll be sure <laughs> That'd to be do hot. that. Because yeah, David's gonna, yeah, I mean, David, I trade you. Your yeah. wife's pretty hot. Oh too, yeah, man, I'll definitely do a little swap out there, man. I've had that same <laughs> same woman twenty years, David. So wait a second, this is funny. <laughs> Yesterday, David tried to call us. Yes. Right after the perfect game, the whole thing, it was Monday. We were what talking he... about him. He heard it. Right. He tried to call him. Right. So you're driving in your car with Graham Lloyd. Right. Another pitcher. Right. All right. You're driving along. And what happens when you call our show? I called in and I said, uh, can I uh, can I get the number, the direct number, the hotline number? Why don't she goes, uh, I can't, I can't uh, give that to you. I said, yeah. well, I was on the show Friday. And um, she's like, well, the best thing I could do is or is give you the 1-800 number, and then you can try that way. So I tried and tried. You couldn't get through. Couldn't get through. You wouldn't answer it, man. All those lights were probably going on. I got a guy standing by the 1-800 number, Stuttering John, who's supposed to answer all the calls it, on there. Nobody ever answered. Nobody ever answered that. rang about 30 times and disconnected. Wow. And we told all the interns, Does if, David, David, call, if David Wells calls in, speak to him because we want to get him on the show. But they hung up on him anyway. Boy, it's time to get a new... <laughs> a new <laughs> what? A new crew. <laughs> Everyone works for free here. Uh, oh, man. I would have been like, yeah, 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 you're David well, if Wells. if you pay somebody, then you get the job done. I know. I think we got to start paying people. Maybe that's the way to go. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I was telling Tom that this morning. Like, maybe we ought to pay the help. <laughs> and maybe people would take their job seriously. It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, we can't even fire anybody over it because they, get, they work here for free. Well, you make some pretty good glue. Give them some of yours. I do. I, give, I believe me, I give over lots of glue. Yeah? Yeah, I can't even put two pieces of paper together anymore. I got no glue. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something. With the Yankees, do you pay for the uniforms? No. Yeah, I mean, that's what that's what I'm saying. I mean, I, I chip in, but, man, how much do I have to pay for? Well, we pay at the end. We, we take care of our clubby. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh -oh. I don't know. Robbie Kakuza, he, he takes care of all the boys over there, so... Uh, Is that right? Yeah, so... Oh, I don't know, man. You just give a nice tip at the end of the I day. mean, why should I have to pay for all the uh, help around here? Right? You shouldn't. Yeah. Wow. You guys are harsh. You're turning this into a bummer. Hey, yeah. so what happened to Regis and Kathy Lee? It was cool. I didn't get a chance, but what do you have? Why do you have it in for her? She is very, very cool. <laughs> she is. She's so not cool. Come on. <laughs> to you. It was your to first me, time she was a, meeting she was, her. No, she's no, sweet and everything better. to you, but I mean, she's a total phony. First of all, that kind of broadcasting makes me sick. All yeah. that like fake sort of like happiness and... How can you applaud that? You know what I mean? Well, it's 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 like um, any TV. I mean, you got yeah. they're actors. We're all actors. Yeah, and then entertainers, I'd say. And then you go on, and you know, you know, she talk about Cody and Cassidy. It's like, you know what? Why don't you give those kids a break? They're going to grow up to be nut jobs. <laughs> she loves her children. Yeah, she loves them, but at some point, I mean, don't put them out there in a Winnie Pooh outfit and make them look <laughs> like they're, you know, less than men. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's unbelievable. Man, you two ought to sit down, have a good conversation, smooth the air. The she only problem is she won't come into the same room with him. <laughs> she thinks we'll have a couple of bodyguards there. Just in case. Maybe you can be the mediator. I don't think so. She doesn't want to have any part of me either. She thinks she's more perfect than your game. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you're laying, so no. Nina, you're laying there on the couch. Uh, hey, Jerry, you could jump in any time here. <laughs> were, you, were you touching yourself at all when you were? I'm serious. Were you like thinking, oh, that's my man out she's there? She's got a visual, man. Really? Uh, visual. I, was, right. I was really, really excited. I just was. Uh, Laying there with my hands crossed like this, just hoping that it happened. Were you always into jocks? Um, no. Sports guys? Is this yeah. your first sports guy? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Were you a real big baseball fan, or did you have to, like, get up to speed, learn about the game um, and stuff? Or are you like me? I've just learned. As you've gone along? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. I like basketball. And when you met David, did you know who he was? No, I had no idea. Oh, that's good. I didn't know baseball. God, no. I tricked her. But you knew, she, you knew he was, like, a wealthy uh, baseball player. No, actually, I didn't. Not when we met, no. Oh, that's a lie. Oh, <laughs> hey, he's woke All right. <laughs> you knew who he was. No, really Those guys didn't. from Jersey, man, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be like Yoko and say you didn't know who John Lennon was. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on. I mean, your friends introduced you, so they told you who he well, actually, was. Actually, I, I got real lucky because... Um, yeah, she did. When, <laughs> what do you mean? I lucky. I'm very, very lucky. Um, believe me, you're blessed. When him and, <laughs> when him and I met... Um, the goal was for him to actually go out with somebody else. What do you mean? Another girlfriend of ours who the actually works in for an affiliate really? of you. Oh, yeah. She works for one of your radio stations. Oh, is that right? In L.A. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, man. You're on top of the world. She's hot. Yeah. Um, but he was supposed to have hooked up with her and... And hooked up, up with you. Me. Man, that's not a bad consolation, I'll tell you that. Believe you me, I lucked out on that one. Yeah. yeah. You take her on a vacation yet? Sure. Where'd you go? Uh, went a few places. Went oh, to Puerto Rico last year. Nice. 
Went um, you two in Hawaii. Are you two in the Mile High Club? Oh dear. I'm trying. Are you? I'm trying. Yeah. Can get her in there. I guess I got to rent <laughs> rent a plane or something. <laughs> Why? The bathrooms are so small and my so legs are this long. Yeah, you're tall. How tall are you? <laughs> Six foot. Yeah, you're you're more you're better for me. <laughs> I'll fight you for it. Yeah. I might take you up on that. A couple of rounds? I might get my ass kicked, but it's worth it. <laughs> How much you weigh? About 123 pounds. Girls, that's the way to do it. That's the way to get a David Wells. 123 and 6 feet tall. Mm. Wow. God. <laughs> Holy mackerel. You got, you got a chance to bury him, bury him. <laughs> There's nothing to bury. <laughs> tell him, hey, I'm gonna tell take... him you choke on small bones there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty Howard, small. I'm, I'm pretty small. Show him your buttons, Nina. <laughs> what's the oh, buttons? The buttons. She has buttons. No hey, what's with those rings on your finger? Who gave you those? Me. Oh, yeah, well, David I'm, gave me this one. Whoa. What'd that cost? About a dollar fifty. No, come on. <laughs> but that's why yeah, it's, it's so special. That's major like diamonds. diamonds. No. no. Cubic zirconia? No, 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 it's not. Don't, don't give diamonds. Where'd you get all this fancy jewelry? It's costume jewelry. Is like, it really? Where, where'd you get all this fancy stuff in here? Mm. Mm. Man, she's some knockout. You got real breasts or breast implants? <laughs> <laughs> that's breast implants. When the girl laughs, I know it's breast implants. <laughs> Is that true? We that's how you tell. Yeah, that's how I could tell. I could tell when they when they giggle. I know. It doesn't Robin, matter. He does need the pump, doesn't he? Oh, he does. He I like the implants, man. Does. I dig it. Because you know what it is? You're a skinny, narrow girl. There's no way you can have breasts that big. Absolutely. So you need a little help. Big deal. Sure. I admire it. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with it. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you getting, Jerry? <laughs> Who am I getting? Yeah, where's your girl? My girlfriend's home mad at me. <laughs> really? Because I'm here... Enjoying. I was at the game. I was actually at the game. I took and you my, haven't gone home. I took my <laughs> no, daughter. ain't leaving yet. I got a girl with cancer out there if you want her. <laughs> <laughs> she's got about five months to live. Yeah, wow. yeah I tell you, she's up for anything. <laughs> she's like, yeah, ain't no sex, sure. <laughs> that helps the difference. <laughs> hey, wait a second. There's a guy on the phone says he has an endorsement deal for you. Oh, really? Let's really? we'll see what it is. Guy. Who knows? I'm sure it's lame, but. Really? Hey, how you doing? Kevin. All right, how's it going? Good. What's up? Uh, who's this, Howard? Yeah, what do you represent? Feces, pieces? <laughs> we, we got a uh, company just started up a few months ago called 100% Insane. Get out of here. Yeah, I thought you were a real God, company. The address. You can look it up on the internet now. We have the web page up. Right, how much money are you going to give them? Well, that's what, that's what we'll sit down and talk well, give about. Me a, well, give me a what number. What are they selling? Uh, yeah, what are you selling? We're, we're, we're selling clothes. We're mostly geared at skateboarders and surfers right now, but we're looking to get into a wider market for sports people. Well, yeah, my so cup of tea I serve. He needs at least $2 million. <laughs> I, I, right? I don't know what I can give him, but we can sit down and talk about it. You got it two million? Uh, he doesn't no. have time to sit down and talk with you for nothing. Talk to me. I'm his agent. You're his agent? Yeah. Well, why don't I give you the webpage address and he can... Webpage? I don't negotiate with a webpage. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, I'm going to throw you a scores party for your perfect game. Oh, man. Is that all right, Nina, if he goes to scores? Yeah, you don't care. He, he's I don't mind. I'm in. Yeah, you going? <laughs> all right, you go. You look like a party kind of guy. I'm in. Trust Do me. I get to go? He, he actually, Jerry, you want to come? Drink. Sure. You got to give me a lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't worry, bucks. it won't hurt. <laughs> no, we don't let girls. We don't let girls into this stuff. Oh, okay. You wouldn't. You, you wouldn't want to see this. The guy thing. Yeah. What is about Bowie? Some of the people in the office, you know, don't want David's autograph, so we're wondering what that goes for now. Ooh. Yeah. What's Jackie up? Jackie was telling Same me. Same as it was before it happened. <laughs> you think? No, Jackie it's knows. Nothing. Oh, bull. Jackie, what is it? No, it said in the paper oh. that it went from twelve dollars to three hundred dollars. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. That's great. Wow. Hey, give me about thirty of those. <laughs> <laughs> I need give some quick me, give, give me, give me, give me, give me, man. Uh, everybody. He's got a hand out now. And don't, right? let, I'll you know, give you what you want. and don't let anybody bother David. You know what's really funny? Though. You know who Al Trotwig is? Yeah. He's the Yankee announcer? Yeah, I know. He, um, at the end of the game, he asked for his autograph. He's yeah, like, I saw that. Right on camera. You're kidding. Yep. Yeah. Autograph yeah. my scorecard, please? I got the douche chills when he did that. Oh, man. You like, you like Al? Who, Al? I don't really know him. <laughs> He's not a bad guy. You know, I went to college. Yeah, I've, say, I've seen him bury quite a few people. Really? Yeah, he yeah. trashed you once. Yeah. Did he? What did oh, he say? Really? He got mad at you. He got mad at you because of the way you handled the Cleveland Indians boat accident. Oh, yeah. He's a scumbag. Who cares what he is? He's actually not a bad me. guy. He's not a bad guy. And, he, and he, it was just that one time. Well, excuse me. A bunch guy's of guys get drunk and get their heads skeleton. chopped off. What am I supposed to say? What did I say? That was so bad. I think it was the Gilligan's Island parody. Damn well. <laughs> yeah, David, you better be careful because you're always going out hunting and stuff. I'm telling you, you're going to blow off your legs or something. No, uh, bow hunt. Bow hunt. I know, but even with that stuff, you could mess yourself up. You know what? I, I'd like to invite you up there and really? go hunting. I'll yeah. go with you. Uh, no, you wouldn't. You go? You're just talking. No, I'll go. But I'll bring my guns. No, we got. There's, we got a place where we do some rifle hunting. We got some.
can land up there. Can you mm. shoot a rifle, Howard? Yeah, I've shot Uzis, rifles, everything. <laughs> I, I'll Uzi, tell you what, I'll, ha- I'll, have Kurt, I'll have Kurt Gibson give you the, the... I'll bring you my Uzi. I could hit all those animals. <laughs> no. I won't miss a thing. <laughs> so I'll hit everything. It was my first time. I mean, it was, it was bizarre. I don't it's think fun. I could do the bow hunting thing. I mean, I don't think I'd be good at That's it. That's a challenge. Yeah. It's well, yeah. Would I'll you get you hooked up with a nice PSE bow. Do you guys have any, like, Tonto outfits I can wear? Oh, you want to just get down to a loincloth? Yeah, I want to get into a loincloth and be like an Indian, run around. You know what I mean, man? That would look killer. Be a real wild you wear a cowboy hat, I'll be an Indian. We'll go around and shoot all boys and owls. It'll be cool. Have a war. Hold on. Here's a one. I got to be the cowboy. I don't know. I just want to be an Indian. Julie, you're on the air. Yes. Hi, Howard. Hi, Robin. Hi. Good Hi. I want to congratulate David Wells and also wish him a happy birthday. Is that right? Is it your birthday? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, no kidding. Oh. Nina, tomorrow? what are you. Nina, what are you going to yes. give David for his birthday? I'll oh, give him anything he wants, baby. <laughs> uh, Nina, did it take a long time for you to uh, sleep with David, or was it pretty much instant magic? No, it took a long time. Really? It pissed me off. Really? How long did you have to wait? Wow. Months? <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of an old-fashioned kind of girl. Honey, I would not hang in there for months. <laughs> I would not. You would, and I guarantee I would have got you in bed on the first date. He tried. How do you do that? I tried. How do I do it? Yeah, if the girl doesn't want to go, how do because you do it? Because I'm charming. That? No, he goes, I'm Howard Stern. I just want you. I'm going to do you right now. No, I slip I'll her a roofie. I'll put you on my show. <laughs> <laughs> but I wonder yeah, how, that's it. I wonder how that she's going to handle it now, Howard, because you know what I just heard? That when he went over to Kathy and Regis, there were so many people there that had to back the car into the wow. garage, which they usually don't do. Usually Ball. they can get right out. No, there was some guy over there. Yeah, Yankees rolling number one. And, I mean, I'm going. I'm trying to call. <laughs> and, and he wanted me to sign. I just, you know, I'm making a phone call. And then all of a sudden, Yankees suck. You suck. Right. Yeah, now you're all a good right. guy. Yeah, no, there, exactly. are, there are two. Just because I didn't sign for that one guy, you know, then it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, you'll People see. Like that don't. Now it's going to get nuts well, because of the perfect game. He's going to meet the mayor today. Oh yeah, I dig the mayor. You dig the mayor? He's cool. He's a cool guy. Yes. You know what he did with these taxi cab drivers? They were going to block up the 59th Street yeah. Bridge. Yeah, he they're going to block you. Yeah, <laughs> I heard that. Yeah, yeah. he said he's. I'm going to arrest every one of you. I love the mayor. Bingo. Yeah, I love the mayor. God, I'd I'd like, like him to stop wearing him. the turbans. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're a Jerry, fun guy. You go no in your own <laughs> Jerry, maybe you ought to stay away from the mayor yeah. <laughs> with the turban comments. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the mayor needs a turban. Yeah. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. You don't need much of anything, man. You're on a roll. Nah, I'm, I think just, I'm enjoying it while I can, you know. It's it is fun. Something. It is. It is fun, man. All the it's exciting, and I've never expected anything of this to happen. Oh, you're not getting a little crazy, though. Yesterday, you told me these things were happening a little too fast. They are. That's why I say yeah. it. I mean, it's overwhelming, but, you know. How right do you now, enjoy it? I mean, you know, not in a bad way, but it sucks to be me right now because I'm neglecting all my friends. i got a bunch of calls. I haven't called anybody. I'm doing yeah, but come on. They understand. You know what? Yeah, this but morning, still. I mean, and you know what they're all going to say? Not, that's not the way I am. And they're all going to say, hey, man, you're a scumbag. You made it. Now you're not calling me and this and that and the other thing. It might be rough. <laughs> you but never you know. know. What else is very funny. This morning, you know, I had your uh, number, and I was going to call and just leave the hotline numbers on there for you. Right. And Gary tried to call, and he said your voicemail was full. <laughs> yes, I have. I haven't checked it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll All get right. it. I'll get one. Here's Steve on the phone. Steve, go ahead. Hey, uh, Jerry Walsh. Yeah. Yeah, you ever do any time for bookmaking? <laughs> uh, 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 no, not at all. The phone, Jerry? What are you talking person. about? How much money do you have on the Yankees when David pitches? I don't gamble. <laughs> you don't? Yeah. No. Seriously? The rest of your family does, right? No, that's no. possible. No, this guy's staring that. up some crap. What is hey, going on? What do you do, pal? Hey, what do you do? <laughs> He's not <laughs> you. Are you a pimp? Oh, man. <laughs> a loser, apparently. Yeah. Evidently. Oh, dear. Well, you guys are having fun. <laughs> He's a Jerry Walsh wannabe. <laughs> <laughs> I just pissed because they're not here. Right. That's right. He's not with you. That's it. I'm telling you, I'm going to make one of these scores parties for you. You deserve it. You pitch a perfect game, you get to go to scores. But you know, you know, we have a private party. Very mellow. It's like five guys, 500 women. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. Yeah. Guess you gotta, okay, I'll but bring the whole place is closed for you. And the whole place is closed down. You get to wear a cup. Don't man. wear a cup. Don't wear a cup. No, you don't want no cup. You know, oh, trust me, you don't want to go. I bet you're a pink belt and tongue foo, Howard. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> 500 women, 1,000 fake boobs. Oh, <laughs> Nothing dude. better than that. Pull back the roast beef curtains, then. There I'll you tell you, there you go. There you go. Oh, hey, let me tell you something. Oh. Damn, Nina. <laughs> Boy, I want Nina so bad. <laughs> Jump over. Jump over, huh? Jump over. Just have me arrested. No. Nina, you are perfect. Even your teeth are perfect. Wow. Thanks. God damn, your nose, too. Is that your real nose or nose job? Well, actually, I had to have my nose fixed because I broke it playing volleyball. Nothing wrong with that. I they did a good job. played in an all-men's league. <laughs> oh, and no. I, yeah, and I went up for a block, and I caught it right in the face. What's it like the first time you have sex with Nina? Mm. <laughs> Tell me. Please, don't, don't keep it dun, 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 dun. <laughs> With their bells going off and everything? Oh, yeah, Star Spangled Banner. Really? Are you guys pretty much faithful to one another? Totally. Really? Mm. <laughs> Are you? 
How does she compare to the first wife? Are you? What? Am I totally faithful? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Why are you winking? <laughs> Why are you winking then? Because I'm thinking dirty thoughts about Nina. <laughs> He's winking. Get back to the questions. <laughs> the ones I'm asking. Why do you keep winking, man? How does she compare to your first wife? <laughs> There's no comparison. There is none. None. Wow. Ever have sex with Jerry? <laughs> no way. Look at that. Look at the size of that <laughs> girlfriend yeah. thinks she has. God, he's got a Riddell head. This is too exciting, man. I don't know what to do. They can pitch a perfect game, then what do you do? You know, when I wrote my books, it's like 25,000 people would show up to the book signing. People would say, well, how do you feel? How do you feel? And I'd say, I really don't feel any different. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't feel... You do for a couple days, and then... Do you, are you able to enjoy this? I am now, yeah. Really? I got some good sleep to think about what it, you know what went on and, and what I've been doing. Just Do you feel happy? Perspective. Do you feel happy inside? Very happy. You do? Yeah. It's like a dream come true. Wow. You know, something that well, that's something that can never be taken away. It's not a, just a one-season thing. That's, that's forever. Right. Yeah, it's a history book. Do you yeah. think this guarantees you a place in um, the, Hall of the Hall of Fame? No, just uh, a hat. <laughs> what I, really? What I donated, yeah, I gave him my hat. <laughs> Teach me how to pitch, okay? Because maybe I'll get into this. It seems that people are really into it, and maybe if you teach me, I would uh, become a great pitcher. Forty-five-year-old rookie. Yeah, really. Why not? <laughs> you look like Randy Johnson. You, yeah, you don't think <laughs> it's possible? The unit. <laughs> the unit. The big unit. When you shower in the locker room, do you guys stare at your penis? <laughs> now we're gonna get on this page. Come on, man. <laughs> no, I just I, st I look strictly at the wall and just brush really? myself and leave. You yeah. don't compare yourself in the no. size to the other. Uh, no. How are you compared to David Cohen? You must look. You sound like Bubba now. <laughs> do I? Yeah. Yeah. Who's Bubba? Bubba the Love Sponge. Oh, Bubba the Love yeah. Sponge? They did. They, they asked me about that. I would too. guess that Bubba the Love Sponge sounds a little like me. <laughs> Seems to no, be but the that's the story same question he asked me down there. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah, I've asked that of a lot of uh, players. I'm sure Bubba learned it somewhere. <laughs> hey, so... um, You guys ought to go bowling together. Who? You and Bubba. That's all right, man. I don't get along with other disc jockeys. Why Bubba's about 450 pounds. Oh, is he really? Like I said, go bowling. It's a little painful for me that so many guys have stolen everything I've done and they've taken credit for it. No offense. <laughs> I mean, I'm you know I'm sure he thinks he originated. Yeah, everybody's trying to make a buck, you know. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Well, whatever. he's your colleague. Now this guy Bubba, Bubba sounds like Rosie O'Donnell with a radio show. <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> <laughs> there she is. So, so what are the plans now for the rest of the day? Um, I got to go to City Hall. Right. And, That's next. Uh, yeah. When you, what time are you doing that? I got to leave here in a couple minutes. Okay. Because uh, I have a car pick me up at the house, and then. And where do you go? You go to City Hall, and the mayor will be waiting there. Right. And then he'll make a speech. I don't know. I and then the no media will be going. there and they'll cover probably, it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Do you have to say something? I hope not. <laughs> I know. Thank you. And watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Beware. I've got a key. All this I hoopla. Last night it was really cool because, I mean, just everybody wants to meet David now. So people come up and they say, excuse me, David, the police commissioner would like to say hello to you. <laughs> <laughs> and as right there, and Robin goes, well, there goes Muhammad Ali. I turn around, I'm like, ah! Wow. I didn't get a chance. Yeah, I was bumming. What did you think of the movie Godzilla? Um, it was all right. We just stayed for a little bit. I I was tired. I had some dinner. And you split? Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Right. Yeah. But you didn't like it, did you? No. We got thrown actually, out, actually. Why did you get thrown no, out? No, you know who got I thrown out was uh, Puff Daddy. Uh, Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy, Puff Daddy got, got thrown out? out? Yeah, we <laughs> were walking out, man. Time. There was a big old ruckus behind me, and he's in there screaming on these guys. Why Why was he thrown out? I guess he, he didn't have, have a ticket. Tickets. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were playing his song at the end of the movie. He wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who I am? You're kidding me. Guys, who cares? You ain't got a ticket. Oh, man. Security was very tight there. Yeah, it was. They grabbed us and threw us. They, they tried to boot us. us. And then they wanted David to come in and sit down once they realized who he was. And right. we're no, I said, I got to go. Really, I do. Right. <laughs> no, no, really. We got a nice seat for you. Boy, they got to go. I can't believe they threw out Puff Daddy. <laughs> it was no. classic. And Nina, you were at the uh, premiere? I was. Wow. Mm -hmm. How was that? Being next to David and all that hoopla? <laughs> You've got to be totally in love. If David asked you to marry him right now, do you do it, right? Well, yeah. But yeah. well, he says you never get married again. Probably I didn't never say never, 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 never say never. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. A couple of years ago, yeah. I just have to it's hard it. when you get burned as bad as he did. Right. How's Nina looking in a bathing suit? Unreal. Really? Oh, I need that. Dude. <laughs> oh, thank you. Is that a roll of quarters? Do you have a bathing suit here? You got a roll of quarters working now, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, do you have man. a bathing suit here she could put on? Yeah. Do you have? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> I'm a full um, <laughs> the, the hot leather. I, as a matter of fact, uh, Gary, bring out our <laughs> absolutely. Oh, I think I think Nina should put a bathing suit on right here. No, we have that little number. Look at that. 
<laughs> do you ever do swimsuit modeling, Nina? Um, that's what I enjoy doing most, actually, is the swimwear stuff. Do you mind slipping into a suit? I mind. You do? Really? <laughs> no, because no, I, got a, I, got, I got a boogie. We have Maybe vibrating, time. We have vibrating time. panties. <laughs> <laughs> do you believe we have bathing suits ready? You guys are making jokes, and you we have them. Sick. You are sick. And we are. are. What is it about bowie? We're getting the newest in vibrating panties. I'm going to tell you about this. Oh, they've uh, improved panties. them. Paint ah. your panties? Yeah, pager. 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 You're vibrating, but you page somebody. You can page your girlfriend to make them vibrate. Oh, Whoa. Dear. Man, I like that. <laughs> That's going to Jerry, you want to put on the thong? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's Jerry's. <laughs> Jerry's vibrating panties. <laughs> anyway, listen, David, congratulations. Everybody's on the phone. They want to congratulate you. They want to say stuff to you. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. You care I, if they move? I've, I've got the boogie. Do you care if they move Yankee Stadium? Do I care? Um, it's it's it would be tough, but I think if they were to do it, then they should make an exact replica of of Yankee Stadium, but with some more sky boxes, you know, for uh, you know, because it's a little bit of a money maker and it's a nice yeah. ordeal. But they should never change the dimensions or, or the look. Just add some more sky boxes to it. Do you? Um are you, what are you thinking about Saturday's game? You think you're going to do another perfect game? No. No way? No. That's, that's, that, that's I a, think that's you might do it. Over. That's a, that's what if you started throwing perfect games like every time? <laughs> then How we're getting into Twilight. Twilight. Oh, yeah, wouldn't that be yeah, weird? Sure. And you know what? I'm going into hiding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could have taken much more of this. I'll do one more and quit. <laughs> yeah, it's enough. <laughs> yeah. Has anybody ever thrown back? Did someone throw yeah, back-to-back Johnny no hitters? Vandermeer. Johnny Vandermeer? Yeah. Not perfect games. Back-to-back perfect games. Really? Oh, you got to do that. Wow. And then you got to beat his record. you got to score three perfect. Ah. Look, look, look at all the pressure. You know, freaking out. I might have to be in the dugout with you Saturday. I might have to come. We'll just suit you up. Strap one on and, and go at it. I'll go at it, man. There you go. I would like it. David Wells, everybody. He threw the perfect game. I love it. That was thank exciting. You. Nina, thank you. Thank you. And Jerry, you're the man. Right. I'm going to get you over to scores. We're going to have a little party. Nina, you come too, baby. Hey. You said no already. Right. What, to Nina? Yeah. Hey, she ain't coming. Don't worry. Wow. <laughs> I'm just being nice on the air. <laughs> David Wells, everyone. All right, Congratulations. Man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Right, later. Thank you. Looking forward to the scores party? I'm set. Yeah. The scores party. Never looking yeah. forward to that. You th- oh. Never. You think that's the, one of the biggest perks you got uh, after this big uh, this big perfect game? What's that? This, Absolutely. You know, getting to go to Howard Stern's scores party. Absolutely. Just coming to Howard Stern's is better. <laughs> this is better than scores. <laughs> Why do white guys shave their head? That's a new thing. Mm. Like, black guys always shave their head. You know, that's a recent thing, because black guys don't like the way their hair looks. But now, like, um, Benji, our intern, shaved his head. it's because black guys don't like the way their hair looks. Yeah, they don't. Okay. Oh, you I know it. You say that. You don't know that for a fact. Why do you think they shave their head? <laughs> no they look reason. better that way? Yeah, they don't like their hair. You Does can't no, do anything no, no. with that it. That doesn't mean you don't like your hair. Yeah. It means you don't like yourself with hair. When you shave your head, you don't like your hair. There's a lot less things that All a black right. guy could do with hair than a white guy. Yeah. Does that mean he doesn't like it? Yeah. They don't like it. All right. You talk to black guys and found this Yeah. Well, I don't want to talk to the black guys. But <laughs> You're just guessing. Just guessing. Is what I'm pointing he at. He has me talk to them. <laughs> but Benji just shaved his head. And Benji's not a real good looking guy. Benji now looks like Uncle he should Fester. put on a friar's outfit. No, we should put a light bulb in his mouth. Uh. <laughs> Do anything. Benji, why don't you shave your head? I mean, this is a guy who never gets laid. And then he says, I'll be cleaner in the morning? What is he talking about? Dude, dude. <laughs> and he's gotten fat, so he looks like Uncle Fester? He does. He, he's screaming for The early I was hit his stomach real fast. Dude, did you have lice or something? Was that what happened? No, it's it's to get more work done. I don't have to worry about my hair. Yeah, but dude, what about a crew What are you cut? doing? What's that? It's I'm, not like you're looking for the cure for AIDS. Yeah. I'm trying to put everything into here. Hey, how? And then, you know. And you just want to be distracted by hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think about uh, how much time do you spend a day with your hair? How long before you set himself on fire? It doesn't matter. <laughs> what are you carrying on about? No, I see, I and don't last week how much time did you spend? And last week, your face was all red, like you had red blotches all over your face. You what was that? a lot. I think, I think, is that nerves? Yeah, it's, it's from cold weather and stuff. Cold <laughs> weather, it's hot. It's 100 degrees. No, I don't have a shower where I live. Uh-huh. So it, it saves a lot of time. I where, like, do you, where do you shower? I, I shower at a 24-hour gym before the show sometimes. Yeah. But now I'll be able to save money because I'll be able to go to the city See, his showers. problem is he has no money. 
So he rented. What did you do? You rented a, a business office or something? Yeah, sort of. It's a, it's, yeah. it's it's a, it's like a small office. He and sleeps everything. under a desk. Yeah, like well, he couldn't afford an apartment, so he rented a business office. Oh my god! <laughs> but they don't have a shower in the business office, and he can't put a TV in there. So he goes to the department stores and watches TV, <laughs> and he goes to the library and watches porn. Like I gave him a porn video to watch to get some clips from. Mm. I don't know where do you watch that. Uh, well, I was watching it at the yeah at the library. Yeah. <laughs> He lives yeah, well, all yeah. over the city. Yeah. But this will, I, you'll see, I'll be much more efficient. You'll see. And Well, I did catch him washing his hair in the sink here one yeah, day. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But dude, what about a crew cut? I mean, because you look real bizarre. Yeah. I think it, don't, Robin, seriously, do you like it? You <laughs> saw you, my wait, reaction. Wait. You look odd. Do you find me more sexy now or before? Ah! Benji, she came in here to tell Howard something, saw you, and couldn't speak for two minutes. Yeah. Two that, minutes. That's a result of being turned on. Robert, Robert, who would you rather sleep with, Benji or Gary the Retard? <laughs> Gary the Retard. That's right, he has hair. Do you find me sexier now, though? Benji, you've gotten Benji. heavy. You've gotten I've heavier. I've actually gained 30 pounds since I've... Yeah, you gained 30 pounds, <laughs> now you're bald, and you have hair. This is the, the haircut's for two reasons. One is to, like... I'll get more stuff done here. Mm -hmm. I, won't, I won't worry about my hair. Right. And two, it's like a reminder to get in shape. It's like it's like an incentive. It's like when you start the new year. Really? You get I don't shape. see it. If you I know, had hair as nice as yours or John's, I wouldn't. Yeah, but mine's it. only nice because like, I work on it. What's well, wrong with Benji's hair? I remember his hair was not being it was okay. bad. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. If, it's a little bit thin. But I mean, if I had, it's not as much as a sacrifice as if you guys shaved your hair. But dude, why not like, do a crew cut? Because then I look like a real weirdo and stuff. Oh, <laughs> dude. And now you look normal. You look so weird. You look like Curly from the Three Stooges. You do. You look like a number of people, but mm. none of them very well, flattering. Like, like Sinead O'Connor. Like maybe if you had a couple of earrings or something going on or something. No, I, I couldn't mean, wear earrings. No? Like, nah, nah. Oh, I'm not an right. earring style thing. But you'll see, like, I, I, I'll get a lot more stuff done really? without hair. How long did it take you to work on your hair every day? Because you just had short hair. Yeah, Some days you had to do was wash it in I know, but right? whenever you always worry about it. You know what I mean? When it gets, during the day, it gets greasy and you feel yucky and stuff. Right. So now you'll be able to concentrate on your work. Yeah. But now you have to shave your head. You're just going to grow out. No, I'll let it grow out. I'll let it grow out. You will. Out. And by the time it grows out, I'll be skinny. I'll, I'm going to lose like uh, That's what I said. 40 pounds within a month. Really? Not 40. Like 40 pounds within two months. Uh, I was going to say 40 pounds within a month. How are you going to do that? <laughs> not going to eat. Hey, Hal. Yeah. That, that he has no take money. 40 pounds off you. He has no money and no future. Won't we all throw some money in a pot <laughs> if he loses a certain amount of money? A certain amount of weight. Like, I mean, I do that for me, sorry. so I'll lose some weight. All right. I'll do it. I mean, I'll uh, make him a donation. Money, Jack? Yeah, let's, he's throwing like 50 bucks or 100 bucks. <laughs> 50 <laughs> bucks. What a hero. Oh, what are you going to give him? A thousand bucks? I yeah. I I I I say, right. Robin, you throwing a thousand. I'll throw him 50. Uh, there you go. I got to do a doggy bag. I'll a thousand. Okay, good. A thousand? Well, I will too. Christ. I'll do it. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, How about just a job if I lose a certain amount of weight? Oh, You'll probably get one anyway. You're a good intern. <laughs> well, thanks. He's, thanks. He's a really interesting guy, though, Howard, because he, I'm telling you, here's a guy that can find anything for free. Mm -hmm. He just finds everything free in the city. He's, you know, he knows where to go to watch free TV, free internet use. He goes to the library. He finds where there's like free meals. I don't yep. know. He always knows what's yeah, going on. Yeah, he's good. He's good. He's a good he's kid. Resourceful. He is resourceful. I got a. Uh, you should just grow some hair because it's really disturbing to look at. I got a doggy bag from Jackie's party. It was great. I'm set for the weekend. Yeah, I saw you out there. Yeah, how do, yeah. How do you gain 40 pounds when you don't have any money? Because he eats crappy food. Always can find food. Yeah. 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 Always can find food. You're not everything. digging through trash. Yeah, but he's not I finding heard, heard fat food. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you getting food? Everywhere, like uh, you can, you can get food like like the happy hours at the bars. Right, oh, you go in there. They have free food. They have like, like a free buffet. You know what that is? Like, what? like chicken wings yeah. and fried mozzarella sticks. Yeah, like the pretzels. Yeah, pretzels. Yeah. Yeah. And when I did the homeless game, where John told me there's a place that they give out food there too. Really? And yeah. you went there? Yeah. Oh, Howard. <laughs> where, where is there's this? There's this place that I hang out in front of to do the homeless game that like yeah. they serve homeless people. Right. But you know, so he now he's going there eating. I just told him to go there to get interviewed. How many times a week do you go there? Oh, that's, I mean, like, I just went there once and everything. It's right. just, I mean. You eat there. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's it's nice. It's not like, it's not, it's not like gourmet or anything. What do they serve? It's like olive oil. They had like, no, they had good. They had spaghetti. <laughs> they had rice. Right. Like, spaghetti and rice? What a meal. <laughs> it's a good and, combo. And cornbread. <laughs> and spaghetti, cornbread. Spaghetti, rice, and cornbread? Yeah, and I yeah. got some, like, they wouldn't give you seconds, but some guy didn't want his whole thing, so I gave him the rest. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. You shared food with a homeless guy? Oh. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, that's scary. Hey, Benji, you I know, did. every couple of days, bakeries throw what? stuff into the dumpster. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You Haven't you taken some out of the garbage? Be honest. I've heard that you have. Uh, Be honest. Casey, like you guys said before, he'll throw out like 90% of a sandwich, and he'll just put it on top. <laughs> and he'll take, yeah. Oh, no. So you take a sandwich? Why yeah, don't you just tell mind. Casey to give you what he's not going to eat? Yeah, All that's right. embarrassing. Yeah. Well, Casey, now you know. <laughs> All right. Once a week, I'm treating you to lunch. No, yeah. No, that's, that's cool. Damn. I'll
So you shaved your head. I think it's like ever since black guys started shaving their head, now white, white guys... White guys have been trying it, because there are few white guys who do it. Yeah, because even like the Indiana Pacers, there's um, a white guy who shaved his head. Right, and Billy Zane yeah. has done it. Yeah, I know. It well, is... Billy Zane was losing his hair, so he figured yeah, it's a look. Yeah, but he could have gone to the tube, but he decided, I'll shave yeah. my head, because it's hey, fashionable. Benji now. is not Billy Zane. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Billy and Zane. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> you guys will see, when I lose weight, I'm extremely good looking. Oh? Really? I showed Jackie an old picture of me. He really? Was, yeah. Hmm. Extremely good looking. Like, surprisingly. It's yeah. No, it was a I'm quantum leap above that. what you are. Right, you're not good looking. <laughs> so now do you feel you look better? No, I don't feel like better. I feel I will look better, like, when I lose the weight. You feel like you will look better. Yeah. Right, but so if you can do, like, my eyes, you'll see how my eyes are very prominent, like I always tell people when I get my hair cut. So you feel this is the first step in, uh, in a long line of things to improve yourself? Yes, 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 yes. I, f I know. I, it's like... It's like when you start the new year, you get new notebooks, you know what I mean? You get, like, fresh new paper, fresh new notebooks, and that, that kind of thing. All right, but it's the middle of the year. Well, yeah, but it's sort of like, uh, you know, a new semester and everything. Seriously, don't you think I look good like this or anything? No, I, I think you look scarier than you've ever looked before, <laughs> and I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> You don't like, like seriously. I really, I, know I, asked I, really didn't think, I really didn't think it was possible for you to scare us anymore. I mean, I know, and, and you have. I know, you, I, I know you. You have nice eyes and everything, but don't are my eyes like even more prominent now and stuff? You don't think so? Like, like. No, I think you'd start like, with like, like. Oh, you didn't. You've never heard any girl say anything about me, like my eyes or anything like that. Nope. Never heard anyone say that. Nope. Never heard Amy talk about my eyes look real nope. nice or anything like that. No. By August, I'll be in good shape and everything. By August. Yeah, I'll like, 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 like I weigh about. Give me, give guess how much I weigh? Guess, shape. guess how much I weigh? You weigh. Um, let me see. I would think you weigh a good two forty-five. No, nah, about 230, 230. And my good, you'll start, start looking good around like 185. I'll start looking like cute. And around 170, I'll start looking like really good and everything. All right. So, well, good luck. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, are we going to play this game? Do you understand this game at all? Yes, I do. What do we have to do? We all filled out a questionnaire that had about 40 questions on it that, was really, that were really strange. All yeah. sorts of odd things. Okay. And... Casey took it down, and he pared it down to about 10 facts, and he'll say, okay, this person likes to do this, doesn't like to do that. All right, let's just play. Where well, is wait it? a minute. My question is, won't the person who knows who they are know right away? Yeah, that's what I didn't know. And they'll win. What do you have to do? I mean, I don't know. Well, it's also sort of like name that tune. Like, it's yeah. just give one fact. But we what if I know it's me? We... Uh, we haven't figured out that part yet. You, no, <laughs> actually, you got you, you, you to pretend. Right, here's Casey. That you know it's you, Howard. Say you know it's you. Yeah. You're yeah. going to bet anyway. Yeah, just pretend. Okay, everybody's putting in $20. Okay. You're going to bet anyway. At the end, you get your $20 back. Mm. So, so, you can't, you can't win. What do you mean you get your what? $20 back? Because you're right? Yeah. yeah, like say you win it all. The only problem is 20 back. That that keeps keeps back. This is a dumb game. Let's just play. I don't. Okay, well, assume we I'm all done. have $20. Okay, so, yes. everybody's got $20 in the pot now. Right. Go ahead. Okay. What do I do? Number 10, first person. He explained this to me 20 times. I still can't figure it out. <laughs> I read that it's, note it's so many times. All right, all right, go ahead. This person considers themselves a team player. This person considers themselves a team player? Team okay, player. it's not Jackie. Jackie's out. <laughs> you see, but Jackie might consider yeah, himself Jackie a team was. player. No, he doesn't. He, he does. Possibly. He, oh, I help. I write. <laughs> but he's so not a team player. It's Friday. And that can't be me, because I don't consider myself a team player, do I? I don't even remember. You're the captain of the team. <laughs> but I think I am a team player. Yeah, you're the you team. You are the team. See, I needed you guys to fill this up. <laughs> I, I'll say Jackie said it. Well, what, well, well, no, what do we have to do now? You only get one you guess. Only get one you guess. Get one oh, you only get one guess. guess. You may not want to guess yet. Right. No, don't oh. guess. But do I get Would penalized you? for guessing late? Yeah, no, you, then you're out. You're gone. If you guess, so why don't I wait till the end? Then, because you're, you're betting that someone's going to jump you in first. You want to win. You're taking a chance. You're taking a chance. Oh, soon as I, if I get it right, I get all the money. Yeah. You got it. Okay, go ahead. If you, you guess wrong, now, you're gone. You'd be right. out. So when do we guess? Whenever you want. Does you anyone want to guess this person no. does, considers it's themselves to be a team player? player. No. I need to know more. Nobody's okay. guessing at number 10. No. So we go to nine. Number nine. Out of all the members of the show, this person believes that Howard is the grouchiest. Mm. <laughs> oh. Uh, all right, I'm going to take a guess. I believe it's Fred. Sir, you're wrong. All right, so I'm out. No, you're, you're out. out. All right. Okay. You're well, out. Wait, but now oh, wait a minute. I know who it is now. How do you All know? All right, so take a guess. I just know. You're I gonna, have to guess. You're gonna take your guess yeah, now. But you if you're wrong, to. you're out, Robin. Man. Or you could stay in for another question and get more information and see that too. Do you see why? Do you see why I guessed early? I guessed early because I said it's one out of five. It's me. 
But you it's don't you? like to play games by hey, the Wait, Robin says it's you? Yeah. This is not you. All right, Robin's gone too. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> well, right now. All right. Oh, but, DC, but now you know it's not Freddie, you know it's not Robin. Yeah, right. The odds get better. You guys right. blew it. You guys jumped into it. Right. Yeah, you but I could have won. But you guys actually but didn't I play the game. I swear I've answered that question. Robin. You were the grouchiest, and he's saying it's the only person who did. But, Robin, you got to put on a little poker face now. Because maybe you're not a team player. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. That doesn't necessarily mean that she's the only one to. Uh, right, I mean, everybody could have responded the same way. Robin, you guessed you. Yes. And you lost. And you can't. You, That's what he said, <laughs> but I don't believe you, it. I don't you know, know you me. Well. No, no, I know. You know why? Well, I know me, but I don't. Because the rest of the facts are. Right, go ahead, go ahead. It's like guessing before the question's done. Go ahead. Okay. It to be me. Okay. Well, now if you just guess somebody, your odds are pretty good. Wait, wait right? But you guys are out. Jackie or Fred, right? Did you fill out? No, I didn't fill out. Okay, so it's either me. Oh, it's Gary. Me, Jackie, or Fred. Okay. No, it's not Fred. Fred or you or Jackie? Well, it could be Jackie Howard. or you, Howard. It could be me, right? But if you th- would you think you're the ground? I don't remember what I said. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Right. It could be Howard <laughs> still. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay, number eight. When asked if this individual could kick Tom's ass in a fight, they replied, it would be close. Oh, I know who it is, I think. I'll, Go I'll ahead. guess. I'll guess Gary. Gary. You're going to guess Gary? Yeah. You're out, my friend. Oh. No, sir. So then I guess, and I guess that it's uh, that it's uh, Jackie, and I win. Then you win. That's a ridiculous win. game. That's why, is that, ridiculous why is that a weird ridiculous game? game? It's the seen. worst game because, Casey, because, fire. Get because fire. it's over in two seconds. Fire, Casey. Wait, we, we, we went down to four clues. If you would have waited and, and played a little bit, and you would have Why would I wait? Why? Uh, because you have a better chance of winning. You know why? You could pare it down because we'd all guessed already. There yeah, was nothing the point is, specifically Jackie. why would I wait? I got a one out of five chance. If I wait, one of you guys will guess. But that's the whole thing. This is a terrible, that's, that's game. terrible, oh. terrible game. <laughs> you guys have no patience. How could Gary Gary wins game. just for staying in? Oh. Yeah, but see, yeah, if I waited you for the right amount of clues, right, then he, you would have won. How could we have five games of the most incredible Did things we've ever done on the radio? Did you know that was you, Jackie? Huh? Did you know that was you? No, it could have been anybody's game. Exactly. All right, let me let me hear All some right, more. Here we go. Next one. All right. Next so one. So there's a new we, person. Now. So now we playing for another twenty dollars. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. Right, so wait. So yes. everyone's got to give Gary twenty dollars. Wait. Now we're down to four people because it no, can't be me. No, not true. Not true. You have taken I mean, sixty wait, questions. Was... I've taken ten of them at a clip. So the first six could be you. Right. He could do, he could be doing a fresh ten. It could be oh, you again. Jeez. Oh. All right. Here's twenty bucks. So let's wait. Let's wait. Because I'm in All right. again. Okay. All right. Stick with me here. Come on. Right, everyone has twenty bucks in. I hate this game already. You'll love it. Go ahead. Okay. Here we go. Number ten. The weirdest place, the weirdest place they ever masturbated was in a public bathroom. In a public bathroom, this yes. person did. Yes. See now, this is better. But then Jackie's out. Wait, can no, I? No, no, no. Jackie's in. I want to ask a question, question Howard. But well, we know where. Howard, hold on. All right, I want to make a guess. Howard, you're going to guess at number ten. You're going to drop your yeah, load again. I'm going to guess. You're gonna, you could be out right now. <laughs> yeah, but what if I and win? Then you're going to complain. And then, and then, yeah, he's going to get yeah, mad. No Stop, Howard. I got to ask a question. Go ahead. How do you? Are we going in any kind of order? Like Gary, when J- Gary just jumped in before and said, "So I'm going to say Jackie." Like we can all jump in at any point. Well, yeah, yeah and when you, you know who everybody it is, you was guess. out. Yeah, when you think you know who it is, you guess. All right, all right, I won't out. guess to keep the game going. Okay? okay, no, no one should guess. All right, well, you, no, any, I think I know who it is. How, would you like to guess? You can no, guess. I don't want to between guess. two people. You I'll, guess, I'll guess and I'll say it's me and I'll be right. You can't no. guess yourself. Why can't? <laughs> yeah, I did in the last. Robin did. Because all right, fine. You guess yourself, Casey. How did you, you guess yourself? It's a Casey, game. weren't you a football player? <laughs> Casey, Robin <laughs> guessed. I told you Robin guessed herself and lost. By the way, if you're wondering, if you're wondering who Casey is, I, uh, Casey was an intern of ours. I thought he was a bright guy, so I made him the associate producer, which pissed off Stuttering John because Stuttering John would like to be. Never associate had a producer. title. Yeah, oh, you're mad about that, right? No, not really. I heard you're mad. Uh, well, I didn't hear about this. Oh yeah, he doesn't like it. No, I, I really. I mean, I, he, I think I've been associate you've producer. You've had words well. about it. You're not an you've associate said producer. Something about well, it. Casey's you your boss. You're, John is the executive phone answerer. <laughs> right. So <laughs> Casey I mean, is like your a, boss. It, it diminishes my job title. Yeah, Casey <laughs> surpassed you. Right out of college. Yeah. Well that, and yeah. you put in 10 years. He shot past what, you what, like a bullet. I would, uh, Here's a quick question. Right. What time do you leave every day? W- one. He leaves at three. Yeah, and then I work when I get home. And so does he. Yeah, so what does that mean? It does, I mean, I don't understand the... Uh, I don't know. He all I know you're, is he, you're talking to Gary. I'll throw in 20 bucks for the answer to this one. <laughs> <laughs> he puts in more hours. Right. He does more during the show. You're, you're doing one I'm thing during the show, but he's doing... A, he books guests. Yeah, we can't trust John to book guests. Oh, please. And I've booked plenty of people. Which game no, no, are we he... playing now? <laughs> Why is it John the I think it's break John's I, you know, I don't even care. Let Gary... I just want to point out that John... I, I didn't do it. He did. I, I, I did it. John was surpassed by Casey. All right. There we go. All right. But, meantime, Casey's got us playing this dumb game. Oh, yeah, but maybe I'll demote Casey and make John an associate producer. As far as I'm concerned, I'm an associate producer. Casey's an associate producer. Gangie's an associate producer. You're right. Dog's you're right. No, he's right. right. I mean, he's right. Dude, officially, you have no title. Uh, no, no, but he, all right, I don't care. But, but 
Okay. Yeah, we all say scary. Howard, That's what Howard, we do. John's is, John's Casey is an assistant. John's the associate producer, and Casey is the senior associate producer. No. No, John is nothing, and Casey's associate producer. I'm not <laughs> handing out titles. <laughs> Meaningless titles. Listen, if I was to give out a resume, I would put associate producer. Or, right, let's or continue even the game. Producer. So ah. far, we know that this person masturbated in a bathroom. Ah. Right. But it's right. Jackie. He just admitted it. But you already guessed once. So I'm guessing Jackie. But you can't no, guess No, I again. guessed me. I, I, I know what he's saying. I know what he's saying. You can't him. guess yourself. I know the answer. Wait a minute. Robin guessed, guessed herself and lost. And, and she lost, of course. I mean, she's penalized for guessing herself. So can he guess himself? So I guessed myself and won. Because you'll know. Casey. Jack, you know what you wrote, right? This is this is a major flaw in the game. There's no game. It's all right for Robin to lose, but it's not all right for me to win. Merv Griffin developed Jeopardy. He figured the whole thing out. It works. Yeah. Casey went home and had the pomposity <laughs> right out of college to say, I've invented a game. <laughs> and the game is completely wrecked. No, it is. It can't be. It Jackie can't be. knows it's him. But I'm, you, know, you said Jackie can't vote, so I'm voting Jackie. Can we How's not that? have a little bluff? I vote Jackie. Can we not have a little but bluff? But you didn't tell no. us Wait a minute. Bluff. Why would I bluff to give somebody else here. a chance to I win want like $20? Bucks. Because you're getting your $20 back. The person who no, is gets the whole pot. Why would he want to just get 20 bucks? I guess Jackie. I guess you Jackie, get Jackie too. Yeah. Howard. I'm the first one to get Jackie. You didn't make that clear. I want my 20 bucks. Okay. I told you, you, you there you, are no Who did he guess first? Didn't he guess already? I guess Jackie. I guess, guess no, Jackie. Jackie. Well, no, Jackie. 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 Okay, all right. All right, Howard, you're out. You're wrong. Huh? What? You're wrong. Well, Jackie, how can you be wrong? <laughs> I have no idea. Because maybe more than one person <laughs> answered to... Masturbated in a bathroom? Maybe more than one person answered the same answer to the same question. All right, so Howard's out. Robin? What? And Jackie's Anything out. Anything we should know about? And Jackie's out. So is Gary. Yeah. Who did you guess, Gary? He didn't guess, did he? I haven't guessed yet. He hasn't guessed yet. No, he did, too. I, no, you I haven't. Who's no, in you this can't game and yourself. who's out And Robin now. guessed Jackie, Here too. Again. I'd say it's Gary. Here again. Me, too. I don't know what the hell's going on. Who's Robin, when you know who it is, <laughs> when you think you know who it is, and you want to take a guess. All right, yes, here's the deal. We've can we do it? Can we do it? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Can <laughs> we? Here's what you're saying. I think I know what he's saying. He's saying, if the person knows it's themselves, bluff, because you'll get you 20 bucks. Thank you. I didn't understand what he meant. That's what I was trying to say. My question is, why wouldn't the person want the whole pot? Because you can't win if it's yourself. Because it's right. too easy. You won't win anyway. This we is why I told you this game would not work. Yeah, because, because one right. person will so always So play it his way. On, Let's have a practice round. Let's call no, this no, no, one No, no, hold on, Howard. Let me okay. point out a flaw okay. here. Yeah. I hear that response, and I assume it's me. So do I start bluffing, but... That's but the beauty in it. The, uh, that's but the I can't beauty. guess what is Jackie <laughs> gain by bluffing. Be yeah, because it's, if it's not There's me. There's beauty in this? I, I don't see any. <laughs> All right, quickly, do a practice this round. This is okay. Okay. Benji's Start head. again. <laughs> Everyone's in. All right. Start again. Practice Same person. Round. Okay, right. here we go. Public person masturbated. Here. Everybody's right. clear now. Right. Everybody's clear. clear. Right. Nobody's right. out. Here we're not playing for money. Right. This the weirdest place they ever masturbated was in a public bathroom. Okay. okay. Number ten. And we're gonna take a guess. No. No, because we already No, we already went to Okay, number nine. Who are you, Casey? They have had a gay experience. Gary. Ooh. That's good. Who else? It's got to be Gary. <laughs> it's Gary. It's I be Gary. It. Who's, who's guessing? I'll guess Gary. Me. I'll guess Fred. Gary. Who's the, Fred who's Gary. the first Gary. person? Fred was the first one. You know what, Fred? You're right. And you would win. You would win the Gary pot. Had Gary a gets his twenty dollars back. We talked about it on the air. Yeah. The, one where he, the one where the guy gave him treats. The chocolate. <laughs> yeah. the chocolate. So so now Gary gets his twenty dollars back. Okay. And Fred wins the pot. Okay. Okay. So All right. Now we're gonna play for real. Aren't you curious about, <laughs> you curious about my bathroom experience? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was that? Bathroom was it here? No, not uh, here. So was Gary it? was buffing. What right. was the public bathroom? It was a long time ago. <laughs> it was, it's hard to explain. What, what where place? were you? It was at a it was a company. You know, it was it was a company. Oh, I know where. You were working where? <laughs> no, no, no. So I, I went were you working at McDonald's no, no, or something? I went to visit somebody. This is like. Oh, it wasn't even your company. No, it was like 10 years somebody ago. Somebody else's company. I went, <laughs> I went to go visit this girl I was dating. Yeah. And she started oh. talking about all the stuff that we were going to do and stuff. And then there was a public bathroom there, and it was one of those one-at-a-time bathrooms, and I was like a monkey. I was excited. <laughs> so, you know, I had to go take care of <laughs> Really? Yeah. See, that's weird. You're the horniest so guy Jackie did the same thing. Did Jackie he? couldn't wait to get off the bus. That's a lovely picture. Jackie was <laughs> in Washington. I had an excuse. Bus? Yeah. He'd, He'd been with a girl. Years old. He'd been with a girl You were making out with a girl, right? Six hours, all the way to Washington. Yeah. She played with me, and then we, I got off the bus and almost collapsed from blue balls. <laughs> Jackie ran into a bar that he had no idea where it was. Right. Ran right into the back. There wasn't even like a lock on the door. I didn't do himself. I held the held the door till the very end, and then I let go of it. And the guy walked in at the perfect. Get out of here! Oh, I swear. The guy saw. He no. I was standing at the urinal. 
<laughs> in the urinal you did it? <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Uh, I was scared oh. to open the door. I don't even know if there was a stall in there. <laughs> but, uh, Howard, didn't Jackie do it with a bunch of people once also? Yeah. yeah. That was the, the whole... In the snow or something? Yeah. That, that was, was not his On the side of the road, he got angels. discovered by he, a, he, he was a on, relative. On the side of the road, his yeah. grandmother yeah. saw him? Yeah. At, least I was, at least I was incited by a woman, Jackie. That's six other naked guys laying in the snow. <laughs> my Aunt Janet. <laughs> Paul. She was sexy. You're on the air. Hey. I was just, until that story. I was just going to say, this, I'm ready to. Uh, I'm looking forward to your commercials. This game. I know. I never saw a game like this. <laughs> it's a game where we do nothing but wonder what's going on. Jim, you're on the air. Yeah. Whose idea was this game? Uh, KC. This is this is like the time Gary tried to play a trick on uh, Mike Judge. Yeah. And it totally backfired. It's a, it's a disaster. It just totally backfired. I gave the guy a chance. I thought it was going to be good. Well, put him down to uh, sub associate. All right. Thank you. <laughs> you're telling me. Jackie was he, where were you naked in the snow with five guys there was like seven or eight oh. of us walking home at like in ninth grade or oh, tenth grade or something like that like we used to go to parties and we'd drink. stop on the side of the hill yeah. were you drinking stop in ninth grade this wasn't a one time thing well we did a couple times oh God. <laughs> Jackie's got this and you do it in front of the other guys What's the joy? Everybody's lying. There was no joke. Hang it. No, but yeah, what's the joy of watching other guys do it? Who was watching? Cowboy. I was concentrating on myself. <laughs> but why did you need them around? Why couldn't you just go home and be in your own bathroom? We yeah, would, come on. Without jerks. those guys in a warm place. We were jerks. We were having fun. We didn't help was, each other. <laughs> what's that guy doing? <laughs> you, you, wait, 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 wait. Lie down. No, no, hold on. Nothing there. So hold on a second. This is in the summer or the winter? It is so gay. It didn't matter. All right. Because they did it more than once. You'd walk home it with was seven de guys. It definitely happened in the snow. It was seven guys, and you're walking around, and all of a sudden you guys would get horny. We used to go to the wealthier section, which was down the hill and up the other hill. Right. And then, this is the truth, and then we'd walk back, and then we'd be walking up this hill. Which, which yeah. is on its way to all of our houses. Right. And we would just stop on the side of the and hill. do it. It was and just got, goofy. Yeah. Who started this? Jackie. Uh, <laughs> I had no Jackie, idea whose what, idea it was. Was it a private thing or was it a contest? No, like, no. Was there any con kind of contest? No, well, was it no. a race? Was yeah, was it a race? No, seriously. Yeah. I don't remember that clearly, to tell you the truth. I mean, but, I don't. But when you were done and say somebody else wasn't, when you looked around, didn't you feel gay? I, I can't. <laughs> I swear to you, I don't remember. You realize how long ago this is. <laughs> like, listen, you pull up your pants and there's some guy still doing it. Would everybody, would everybody be done at the same time? Oh, and using leaves. And I was just. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were crazy, man. We were Jackie thinks it by saying there were seven or eight other guys that said it's okay. <laughs> it's yeah. better. Yeah, it's okay. I wasn't the only one. He laughs at George Michael. Yeah. <laughs> and we're all lying there, and all of a sudden the car comes up the hill. Jackie's like a Nazi. stops, and it's my aunt. Hey, we, the, Hitler was she's doing it. So, us. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Wait, wait. Your aunt pulls up, and she sees stops you guys. And this, is, this hill oh. is absolutely steep. It's like a 45-degree hill. And you didn't hear her coming. We saw the lights coming, so we you know, kind of just lied there like we were just hanging out. She stopped the car. And Hi! How you doing? What are you guys doing? And you guys were doing it? Yeah, we're just, <laughs> we're just hanging out, you know. <laughs> Get in the of fresh air! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that is the answer. These are the most bizarre stories. Like, why wouldn't you do that at home? I, I do not have an answer. Like, what was the joy of being with seven guys? We were just stupid. I have he's, no like, he's like the X-rated Huck Finn. Did any of you guys ever, like, kiss each no, other? No, no. Like, talk or, like, touch each other? No! Hey, you have a nice ass! Didn't and no one ever <laughs> said, no, I don't want to do that. For a guy! I know. <laughs> Everybody went along with the program. As I remember, that was one of the less crazy things. After the first time you guys did it, none, one, one of the other guys didn't come up and said, Hey, man, that's like sort of gay. <laughs> Nobody thought it was gay? That word never came up. That is I, so I, gay. I swear to God. That's gay. Yeah, that's real gay. How about cool? I mean, how close were you lying? <laughs> gay guys don't do that. I know. I know I gay guys who go, I'm not going to do this in front of seven guys. We weren't hitting, we weren't hitting <laughs> elbows or anything, Were Robin. they touching each other? No, we weren't. I, I mean, think so. Close enough lying next to each other? Could so you they, look at each other? We spread out like infantry. But no, but could you look out like look at each other? <laughs> I don't remember. It was, it's an incredibly dark hill. That's what we stopped. At. A dark hill. Dark hill. If you guys weren't an acre away, it was too close. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at the dandelions. <laughs> oh. I'll go Major. videotape the spot and show you. Hey, I bought a fork leaf clover. <laughs> Nature makes me horny. I'm sure that out of those seven guys, some of them are listening to it. I I love to love to I'm not going to. Anybody got an extra leaf? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this would be better with a frog. But John hit it on the head. I don't. I don't understand. There is the, nothing the, to understand. The joy or yeah, like the why pleasure. all of a sudden would you go? Hey guys, <laughs> let's all, do this. Yeah. Gary, Someone why, would you, gay in the why crowd. would you go into the bathroom right. instead of waiting until you got home? Because I was excited at that moment, but uh, right. you know, but not as a but, but I don't do it as a group. A what happened to you? You got off. You you went to visit this girl at work. Right. 
And you were looking at her and you got horny? No, no, we, she, she was my girlfriend. So oh. she started talking about all sorts of stuff we were going to do. When she got How home, old were you? Uh, 26. Oh, oh 26. my God. And she said, when, when we get this home tonight, I'm going to do here, this right? to you. This is why you were here. Oh, sure. Oh. We knew you. It was a book company. <laughs> <laughs> One of our publicist friends. Really? Yeah, she, said, <laughs> she said, when I get you home tonight, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And right. And he got you horny. Yeah. He gets I'll horny. you to it. At anything. <laughs> yeah. And you went into the men's room. Well, you've you never went, done it here, have you? Hard. No, I have never done it here. And you went into the stall? Some, for, some, for some reason, I think that would be wrong. I don't know why. <laughs> and you went into be, what, a stall? It was actually one of those one-people bathrooms. Oh, you know, you one person. Doors, one person. Yeah. <laughs> but you're worried about someone coming in, though? No, you, or it's knocking one, on the door? It's one person, you, you lock, lock the door. It. It's a locked oh, door. It's like being in the bathroom at your house. And weren't you nervous afterwards that like maybe your pants would give away a clue? No, no, I'm good at it. Really? No. What, do you wrap yourself up in uh, like a man pond? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've been, try I've, I've been hiding it from my parents for years yep. and my wife, so I'm pretty Me good too. at hiding it. You know Me what I mean? Too. Well, see, that's why I don't understand Jackie lying on the road, how they didn't... <laughs> <laughs> Lying on the road. They get him in the middle of the road. <laughs> the <media trip. laughs> you know, it'll be on the expressway yeah. any minute. <laughs> Track the trailer. Go out he's on the yellow line. <laughs> he's like such trash. Oh. And you notice his story, it's always filled with anger. It's like, we would walk up the hill to the rich people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. rich nothing people to do with the story. Was oh, it a different oh. side of town? No. Like, you got horny walking through the rich section? What? Yeah. yeah. The money making crazy. That's where all the girls were up there. Oh. The girls you were no good looking girls in the poor part. No. It's all the good looking. Well, you know what he's saying. The girls ran over to the rich guy. Yeah. And the only thing, they'd have to go over there just to see them. The hoosers. <laughs> point, no. right, you want to play this game for real? <laughs> you want to get another one? Should I'm we do another 20? Oh. You'll love it. Yeah, let's go uh, one more. I don't even okay. know how much money I'm out. I don't know anything. Yeah, you're out. Um, bucks, uh, no, no you're out 20. Oh, all I know is I'm up 100. Wait, didn't we play two games? No, we didn't count the second one. The second one we didn't count. I'm counting the 20 I won on my No. Because Jackie bet on himself. All right, go ahead. Okay, here we go. Now we know what to do. New person, new person. All right. Are you sure? <clears throat> uh, yeah. And, uh, but it could be one of the, it could be me again, or it could be yeah. whoever it was again. Yeah. Could but be I don't think Casey's smart enough to repeat uh, the same person. Uh, the we'll, same thing. We'll, we'll, we'll right. see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to guess at number 10 again. Right. Perfect. All right, here we go. Number 10. They are not happy with their childhood. Hmm. Oh, that's please. not one of us. <laughs> that could be any one of us. Yeah, that's, that's, okay. that could be anybody. All right, number nine. That could be anybody. <laughs> <laughs> They do not consider themselves sexy. Hmm. Hmm. I think I know who it is. I think I know who it is, too. I say Fred. I say... You wait, I say wait, 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 Robin? Do you want to guess, Robin? I say Fred. You want to guess now? Uh, no, Casey. No, he's making sure. This is your oh. official guess? <laughs> this is my official guess. Well, you would be right. It is Fred. <laughs> oh. it is Fred. Thank you. How I dare you not I think you're something. sexy, Fred? Fred, you're, you're so handsome. Think that. <laughs> you're such a fox. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, what else does Fred, Fred say about himself? Fred says uh, he he or she cannot do 30 push-ups. He or she? Oh, come he on. Or she. Really? <laughs> Eric he or says, uh, I've always been bad at push-ups. Also, when asked if this person missed Steve Grillo, they replied, Grillo who? <laughs> uh, Go ahead. Of all the races, this person has the most distrust of Arabs. Uh? Really? Oh. Now, wait a minute. Wait. Whoa. Why are you reading all these? Because we're done. I'm just, you know, he's oh, just reading oh. the rest of them. I'm learning about Fred. I oh, no, no. Money. That's fascinating. I, I just thought we, yeah. we could play again with these again. Go ahead. Got other okay. questions. I got millions of this. Uh, <laughs> Good, <laughs> hold on. Hey, there's nothing better than the Fred answers. The hell with the game. <laughs> Let's go back to the lawn with Jackie and all his. Fetching. Does anybody want to hear a story about Ralph <laughs> pleasuring himself in a bathroom? No. It, who's no. telling the story? Ralph. We're he's on the phone. We're not what no are you talking about? That's gay, gay squared. <laughs> <laughs> was there another guy? With him? Were you? Where oh, was this? Dwarf. Just a dwarf. No, no, I'd like to hear about Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to meet you on your lawn. <laughs> you know, Jackie sits there and calls me gay all the time, but I've never done anything like that. <laughs> That's why he knows. Yeah, he knows what's gay. Know. Just ask your priest. I'm and, secure. You know, at the other night, Jackie had his tongue in my ear. What do you mean? Like, we, we were at that premiere, and we are just kind of goofing. He was giving Robin a kiss or something. I said, Jackie, give me a kiss. And he leans over and jams his tongue down my ear. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, Ralph went, ooh, Jackie. Oh. Not in a gay way. <laughs> <laughs> you might be gay, Jackie. I might be. See, I've always thought that I don't think Jackie's gay, but Jackie talks about how much he drinks, yep. and in his college days, how wild it got. And I'm sure that there had to be a night <laughs> that, where seen him, and a right. him and a buddy might have had a girl, yeah. and hands might have flown, and right. maybe not on purpose, but something must something have happened. Something must have happened. I will tell you the truth. Okay. That, uh, I used to hang out at the Delta Chi house way, long after I graduated. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And there was a corner room where one of the guys always so had this... this uh, Big bottle of Jack Daniels. 
And there was a couple of us there. And there was an, I remember there was a, a new guy I hadn't met before. This is the absolute truth. I don't care if you believe me. I woke up the next morning uh, three streets <laughs> away in my buddy's house on River Street, absolutely naked, just with a blanket on me. <laughs> And I couldn't remember. I went back to the Delta Chi house, and I re- kind of remembered being with this nice blonde. And I walked in, and there was a guy with blonde hair, and my clothes were at the foot of his bed. Everybody <laughs> doesn't want to remember that. <laughs> we need a hypnotist. Was that the Delta Hobo house? But the gay thing is nowhere near as bad as being three streets away, stark naked. I mean, stark naked. You were three? <laughs> you were how he got there. So Are you saying your clothes were on the guy's bed? No, not his bed. You know, yeah. like a, they were in the room. They were you remember in that being room. with a blonde? They were in that room. You remember being with a blonde? And there were a oh, couple of girls just... there, but when I walked in, the, uh, the guy had blonde hair. Uh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Those blackouts are convenient. Yeah, like yeah. in other words, if Jackie blacked out about that, who's to say he didn't black out <laughs> right. about right. gay yeah. sex? Right, right. Yeah. I, I don't think he'd be. I don't think he'd be sober and say I'd like to do that. But when you're drunk and you're horny and you don't know where you are, I think things happen. Yeah, right. I'm sure you're right. Jackie has awakened with the woman and didn't know she had one leg. Yeah, so. exactly. But it's always a bottle of Jack Daniels. Or, yeah. Some booze yeah. is in the room. There's always alcohol in the room. Booze is in the room. Pot. And he came there specifically for the bottle of Jack Daniels. Hey, when I went to your party on Sunday, Jack, no pot? What was that about? It was flowing. It was? Yeah. yeah. Really? You had to hide from the kids. No. Oh. Is that what we was going on? Jack responsible. Yes. We don't want the kids to We don't want to get drunk in front of them. Because me and Ralph biked over there, and then we're, we, which was long. And then yeah. I remember, all I remember is Ralph sitting next to me going, hey, John, when's the pot going to get here? Ah. Uh. Everyone acts like they don't have pot. Meanwhile, they do. I don't have a buy pot. You know, usually just you don't. What a shock! <laughs> you mean you mooch pot like everything else? Like lunch and everything <laughs> yeah. else. Can I, can I tell you John's really funny story about his finances? Yeah. So you know, John. You know why John uh, got this margin loan? Because he was broke, except for the stock that he has that he won't. Yeah. Sell. By the way, during the commercials, John was talking about how he took out a margin loan. Uh huh. God. Because. He had no money, right? So he margin borrowed money. What? Do you, what? Do you, what is a margin? A margin loan? loan is like if you have X amount in stock, you could buy half of that. I mean, you could borrow half of that money oh. against your stock. But oh. you have to pay it back. He didn't know that. Well, of course you have to pay it back. But what's the percentage rate? <laughs> like seven percent. It's a, it's a great that, rate. But that's what you get at a bank, right? Maybe, but it's a lot easier to do it. It's an instant you know, loan. It's, 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 yeah, it's you quick. Don't have to be it happens in a day. Right. You just get. Yeah, you just right. So it. you know. So how? So how much did you borrow? Oh, I tell him. Oh, no. 30000 oh, oh. But listen to why. Listen to why. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, this is, not, this is Robert, not one of the reasons why. Robert doesn't own a house, so I'm not sure if you know. But if you buy a house, uh-huh. right, in most instances, your taxes and your insurance is part of your mortgage payment. Right. right. So, if, say, if your mortgage payment's $2,000 a month, maybe 1500 of it is for actual mortgage, and the rest is your insurance. They and tack it on, right. so it's sort of matters. Right. So John didn't know that. So John was paying his mortgage payment every month and then sending in a check to somebody else for his taxes. Oh, dear. And his insurance, he was double paying his taxes oh. every well, month. Well, only because they would bill me. I would get the so bill. So when did you I, figure out you were double paying? Like nine months later. Yeah, like about... No. And nobody told you. Ooh. I didn't know. I really didn't know. But uh, actually... Uh, you were know, you there when you uh, signed the mortgage? Yeah, but... <laughs> no, let me just say one thing. Usually, well, like, the first payments you do have to make. It doesn't come... It, it, it that's doesn't, not true. So did you get well, the money back? I have bought yeah. a condominium, and I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> but... I didn't have exactly the best lawyer doing my mortgage. So John was paying I, 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 this, no one explained it to me. John was paying this completely unreasonable um, mortgage payment every month mm-hmm. and didn't understand why. So, so, so don't you get money back now? Why do you need well, money? Well, here's the best part. So now he's overpaid on his taxes. Yeah. And he called the town. He said well, he wants his money back, and they're trying to decide whether they give it back to him. Oh, or really? No. They yeah, might hold it in escrow, they said. Oh. Yeah. Escrow? <laughs> that ain't right. Until I threatened to sue, and they said, Why don't you tell them how stupid you are? <laughs> I think they've heard. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it, it, actually, All right, Ralph, do you want to talk about what happened with you? I've heard it was common. It, it, uh, I was just going to say I did the, uh, it's kind of the same thing as Gary saying in the bathroom. So okay. Thank you. Ladies room? <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we done with this dumb game? Yes, I oh, want some money. Let's what, you know what I like Why do I owe all this money yeah, now? You know what? You know what? How would I have a better idea? What? Okay. Uh oh. No, check, just check it out. I go down from ten to one. At the end, I let you people bet. I stay out of it. How's that? <laughs> okay. How's that? Fine. So try it. All the answers. Jerry, you want to play this? Yeah. Wait a minute. What is he saying now? He's going to read. Answers. He's going to give ten things, and you just you can bet individually. He's scrambling. Did I win anything? <laughs> and if no. it's a person, I don't, I don't if game. it's like me, then I only get my twenty dollars oh. back. Correct. But but then you have to wait till the next one here. Oh. See, just I'm, read it and let's okay. try it. Okay, here we go. Too much explanation. They consider themselves sexy. Uh, hmm. Me. <laughs> <Could be. laughs> 
When asked what ethnicity could be trusted least, they replied, I don't feel that way. If hard-pressed, I could arouse some suspicion of Arabs because I think their hatred for Jews is irrational. Okay. Hmm. Number eight, they could not kick Tom's ass in a fight. Mm -hmm. Number seven, they have admitted to punching a wall. Okay. Number six, this person would trade all their fame for a body like Elle McPherson or Arnold Schwarzenegger. They would. They would. Number hmm. five. When can we bet? We have to wait till no, the end. No, wait till right the, right end. At the end. Right at the end. They have been called a nigger. Number be, the person was called a nigger. Yes. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 no, douchebag. Let it ride. Let go it ride. on. Go right, on. Go no, no, yeah, give ahead. us some more clues, Casey. Okay. Yeah. Right. Go right. on. Keep, keep stroking me, brother. <laughs> what was the breast size? <laughs> yeah. Okay. If they had one wish, it would be complete happiness. Mm -hmm. Number three, they would leave the show for a singing career. <laughs> Please. <laughs> number two. Number two. They would not leave the show to be president of the United States. All right, go ahead. And the last one, this person has taken their temperature in a very bad place. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, the only person on the show who could be called a nigger, mm -hmm. unless there's something I'm no, missing. That's not entirely true, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, you could have been called a nigger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're pretty dark. Yeah. Gary is very dark. Uh, and has big full lips. Uh, I thought he was black when I met him. <laughs> I'm You're not sure, sure now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, I think he's Robin. But who's going to bet against me? So what happens if we all say it's Robin? I don't no, know. No, no one's going to bet. No we one's going to say anything. Casey gives us yeah. each 20 bucks. You owe us 20 bucks. That's, That's right, Casey. True. You have That's to true. pay us so, all. So you guys are going to be easy. Uh, obviously, it's Robin. Robin. Uh, obviously, no. I'm going to go with somebody else. I wouldn't else, have put actually. that in. I'm going to go with somebody I else. I was actually thinking it was Howard. It's Howard. I think so too. It yeah. Can't be me. I would never. Uh, what, who? I. I would leave for a singing career. Yes, I said that. You want to be like the lead singer of White Star? Oh, all right, I think right, you'd be right. Up for that. That's true. And you certainly and I want think, a new body. And I think that but I wouldn't trade my fame in. I think you might. But you could. You figure you could get it again if right. you're Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's true. And I think that rap I have guys. To be convinced this is me. And rap guys that have come in here have called you nigger. I started to think that it was me, but then when I heard nigger, I said I don't think I was I called think it's nigger. So who is it, Casey? I've been called is nigger. Everybody done. And Roosevelt. Who else wants to bet? I'm reading the paper. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's end this game. Who is it? It is you. It is me. Thank it is you. you. But what I do I win? My money? What do you win? What do I win? Nothing. But were you bluffing or were you just were you not remember what you wrote? I don't remember he what I wrote. I remember yesterday. Uh, well, he did write. I that. consider myself sexy? Yes, yeah. you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> On that particular day. That's why I knew it wasn't See, me. That was the only thing that threw me off. Yeah. yeah. Maybe some girl had been talking to me. You filled this out before you saw the picture in the Dilly <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, you didn't win anything. Wow. I did. No, we, we were supposed to bet individually yeah, between us. But what? It didn't work out. It didn't work out. Oh, God. Casey is, is just... Oh, I, I didn't know that because I would have bet somebody. I would have bet 50 but bucks no, but everyone, Howard. But everyone thought it was you. But you guys, no, you guys I said are... I thought... Robin and I said we thought it was you. Oh. But nobody bet us. Nobody bet. <laughs> I would have bet you. Did Casey, anybody win any money today? No. Yes. I did no. on the last game. Yeah. And I did on you the game won, before. Yeah. Here's 20 bucks for you, and I'll give 20 bucks to Robin. So, Robin, you and I don't have to pay each other. Right. Oh, stupidest game. Oh, come I on. I still don't understand what it, happened. The, the way it went towards the end was great. If you all, Howard, you all weren't yelling. It was Robin. <laughs> Wasn't it worth 40 bucks to just hear Jackie tell that yeah, story? Yeah, definitely. I paid yeah, a lot of money for that. out a story. <laughs> all right. We got to take a break. We'll be I back with the news and everything that. else. And we got some phone calls. And uh, oh, never playing that game again. <laughs> the worst game. Barry more in about five minutes. I should just take all her clothes off and uh, screw her right on the floor. <laughs> she really wanted me, uh, Jade Barrymore. 
please. The day that, that we shot real... the picture for my book, yeah, that was we were song. naked in my office alone. And we didn't do a thing to each other. <clears throat> she said because I was married. You know, it's funny because you think like Jade Barrymore is like a big, well, not a big celebrity, but she's a celebrity of sorts because we have her on the show. And then Doug from E! has a party. Yeah. She shows up. Yeah. Well, she's not a celebrity. Her daughter's a celebrity. Right. You know. But I heard her on... But it's uh, funny as hell because she only wants to get in touch with Drew Barrymore and Drew won't get in touch with her. But I heard her in an interview, Howard. You know yeah. what her big beef is? What? She was saying that her and Drew, she and Drew both had movie careers concurrently. Okay. And that what would happen is she would go to... Um, Drew would come on the set of her movie while she was shooting and they would be together. And then Drew would have to be go shoot Drew's movie and... Jade would have to go do another movie, and Drew would say, Mommy, I miss you too much. So Jade's saying she gave up her movie career to be with Drew. Okay. And that, and then look what Drew does to her. Now Drew turns around and just dumps her. See? So what does that teach you? But she's saying she Don't had a movie. give up your movie career Right. Your daughter. Ignore your children and keep your career going. <laughs> but I got to be honest with you. I mean, I like Jade and everything, but I, I don't... What movie was she in? I don't think I've ever seen her in any movie. Exactly. But she is in a new movie. She will come in and give us her credits today. Yeah, she's in a big movie now. Yeah? She's in the last days of disco, and she's naked. Is she? Yep. <sighs> I got to see that. I actually read the script. She's perfect for the part. Yeah, I had her naked in my arms, and she's got a great pair of cans for a 50-year-old woman. <laughs> I pulled up some pictures of her. She's got a great pair of cans for a 20-year-old woman, and they're not implants. I pulled up great. a picture of her on the internet, yeah. and I showed it to one of the interns. I said, how old do you think this lady is? Is she nude on the internet? Well, here's what's really weird. Let's see that. It's, she's not nude. No, I don't have the website uh, handy. She's not Nuts? nude, yeah. she, but it's one of those like really graphic nude websites, mm. but she's the only one on the site that isn't nude. Well, she's got class. Is she in laundry or something? <laughs> yeah, she's, like, wear, she's wearing like a little teddy and her, you know, her cans are... Her almost, cans are nice. Almost exposed, but not. Yeah. So Jade, why don't you tell me what brings you down here today? I am down here to talk about this incredible new film I did, Last Days of Disco. And I'm so proud and so happy just to be a part of it that I got to come and tell everybody about it. Now, we, uh, we heard you were naked in it. Oh, my God. I have scenes where I'm dressed, and I have one scene where I'm naked, but it's very integral to the script because I'm Francesca the Tiger Lady, seducer of young men, one of whom is one of the managers of the club. And so we're caught in the act by the feds who come in and bust him. Uh, so at that point, since we're caught in the act, I can't be wearing too many clothes. So are you going to show Howard some of that nudity today? I think they brought a clip. I hope they did. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. so you're not going to show him live? Did you, did you make it for him live in the studio? <laughs> no, I can't. Well, I'm going to have a hard time keeping my hands off Howard. Why is that? Well, because he's so sexy. And you he's still, very cool, yeah. You still think he's attractive? What do you mean still? He hasn't changed. I think he's, he just gets better every year. He's, he's very sexy. I'm not the only one that thinks so, obviously. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm in a long line of women, but I have a lot to talk about, things that I'm doing. And especially after what Gary said, that I'm not what doing anything. Boy, I'm going to spank him. What did Gary say? Oh, he was saying that, you know, Drew's this celebrity and I'm not because I'm not doing anything. I work 24-7. I'm doing so much and coming into my own. So this is like a perfect place to talk about it. So you're not angry at Gary, though, right? You just want to say No, I just want to punish him and take him over my knee because he likes that. <laughs> So you just want to set him straight. Absolutely. I got Jade Barrymore here, the mother of Drew Barrymore. Still can't get in touch with her. Oh. Jade got herself a nice little acting gig. She's going to be in the last days of disco, a legitimate movie. She appears nude, and here she is. And Gary just said she's 51 years old. He goes, she looks like she's 18. Oh. And then we just had a discussion. Do you think her breasts are real? No. Yeah, because Gary says no way they're going to be real. One thing I remember about Jade, when I, when I got her naked, she wears like these panties that are way loose on her because she's so tiny and thin. And her panties never fit. Wow, look at the bottom. Uh, why is John holding your hand? What is that all about? You can't walk in those stilts. You, you can't walk in your shoes? <laughs> <laughs> she's wearing stilts. <laughs> Why are you holding her hand? Because she said for me to hold the hand so she can walk. <laughs> You're not loaded, are you? No, I'm just wearing very high heels. Did you have any work done any in your face or anything? I had some laser. You did? Because you look young. Do I look good? You look great. And what about your breasts? Your breasts are fake? I have gained 15 pounds. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Talk into the microphone. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Anyway. oh, she's claiming those breasts are due to weight gain? Are those breasts due to weight gain or are those real? Are those I think they're due to weight gain. You never had implants? Never. It's amazing. I've seen though. I mean, I've touched them. You really? They're not? Didn't I touch them when we did the photo shoot? <laughs> Hi, Robin. How are you? I don't remember, Jay. Did I Did I put my hands on them when we Yes, do? you did. Yeah, I did. You were my living bra, if you remember. Right. Remember, I put my hands... That's like, right. You had to cover her. I was like, well, Jade, I have to do this for the shot, because guys want to see me being provocative. But meanwhile, I uh, wanted to the do... The generosity of his nature. He, yeah. he covered them. We were, like, naked on the floor for about a half hour. Uh, you were naked, too? I was in my underpants. <laughs> or was I naked? No, you had your underpants on. I remember and it. And you were totally nude. 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You didn't seem to mind. And I was aroused. Uh, yes, he was. I was. Ah, it you was did a great get I did, did I? Of course I did. <laughs> well, oh, I was, man. I was honored to be one of your fantasy women. Yeah, well, you should be. Cool. Thank man, you your breasts look great. Are those those are not an encased in a bra, are they? Yeah, there's a bra on. Oh, there is. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, I told you I gained weight, so they got bigger. Is it true you gave up your acting career for uh, Drew? Drew? I heard what Gary said, and I'm going to give him a big spank. I studied Ooh. with Stella. Uh, yeah, maybe he, maybe that's why I did it. Mm. Uh, I studied with Stella Adler. Get over here, Gary. Estelle Harmon. I was doing a play called Playing for Time about mm -hmm. the Nazi concentration camp victims, mm -hmm. directed by Mimi Leader, nonetheless, Right. which ran for almost... Almost a year it was the West Coast premiere. Right after that, I did Night Shift when I didn't see Drew for two and a half months. At which point, I decided yes, I was going to give up the career because I never saw my kid and I wouldn't have this time to do over. Mm. So Boy, that was a bad move. There. <laughs> no, are you talking about yeah, Night Shift? Thinking about it, yeah. Night Shift, the Ron Howard movie. Mm -hmm. And what part were you in that? I played um, a hooker named Lucky. See, and she worked. See, she had a career. And the the uh, play that I did, Playing for Time, ran for almost a year at the Strasbourg Theater and was directed by Mimi Leader. Very mm. prestigious. This was right before I gave everything up. Mm. So I had some credibility. And now I just did three films. I'm going to be doing two more. Have my show, uh, Grandma Sylvie's Funeral, that I've been doing for two and a half years. I have two shows on America Online, Tuesday and Thursday nights. Wow. I and have, still Drew won't get in touch with you? I have a lingerie line coming out, an audio tape of my book. All these things are happening. So did you write Drew a letter and tell her? Yes, I did and got no response. How many <laughs> letters? The, the whole thing she has always said is that she's going to, once she's famous, then she can have an equal relationship with Drew. Is that true? Robin is right. That's yes. absolutely true. I'm working so hard towards that. Mm -hmm. Really? really you want you Drew? Think that'll push you over the top. That'll get Drew to talk to you? Uh, I don't know. Nothing else is working. <laughs> she must really hate you, though, if she will not. I mean, you seem like such a sweet woman. She must She must really hate you if well, she you won't get in touch Drew with you. you know what Drew is saying? Drew took in her father, right? Yes, she did. Wow. And I her heard father, you saying that, too. Robin had a good point with that. He, he did totally abandoned the yeah. family. He was an alcoholic. Wow. And, oh, yeah, and so Drew is basically saying that he's more reasonable than you? No, I think she just wanted his love and her dad's approval, which mm -hmm. she never got mm -hmm. because he has this uncanny way of withholding. Your jugs look great. Oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> you really do. You wearing panties? Yes. Mm -hmm. She wears panties that are like too big for her because she can't find a pair well, small enough. That's though, not are true. They I gain weight and I'm very voluptuous now compared to what I was. Really? Because I know your panties were always falling off. Yeah, I thought it was kind of sexy. <laughs> they were falling off for a reason. Let me see. Stand up. You really gained weight? Yes, I did. How much? 15? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah. Most of it is up here. Mm hmm. Let's see your ass. How's your ass look? Pull up your dress. Why did you decide wow. to gain weight? <laughs> Come on, let me see you naked. It's like a doll. Yeah, no. I bet you got here. You're good in the sack. I, think, I hear you're I'm very loving. Better. You are. Yes. I hear you're very loving. Thank Do you still you. get your period? Yes, of course. You're 51 years old. You bet. And you still get your period? I'm the baby boomer's wet dream. Are you on estrogen? Mm-mm. Really? I'm a very late bloomer. I'm I'm the great white hope for the baby bloomers. Really? When did you yeah, get like your if period? You look this good and have uh, this much of a career and a good life at this age. Why not? Hmm. But when did she get her period? She says she's a late bloomer. Did she got it at it forty. Oh. <laughs> oh man. No, I didn't start till I was eighteen. Eighteen. Oh. Oh. Mm. I started late and I'm gonna end late. Robin, you still get yours. Mm -hmm. I'm a, yeah. See, I'm a, Robin and I have our own timetable. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> right. Hmm. So you still have a good flow. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> Tell me why you're so interested. I'm just curious. I don't to know. Give me a child. That's what he wants to make sure I'm You're still fertile. capable of having my baby? Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And you were dating a 23 year old boy? Yes, I was. And what happened? Well, it ended, but we became best friends, and he's going to go on have an incredible, incredible musical career because he's a genius singer, songwriter, musician, mm -hmm. and um, he's going to be very, very famous. Why do you think Drew will not? How come she'll take in her father, but she won't get in touch with you? I mean, what could you have done that was so bad? You must have been awful. You know what I would like? I'll mm. tell you something. You always said that you would reconcile us. Yes. You would be the one, and I think Howard should be the mm -hmm. one to do it. I would love for you to get her here because you pull everybody's covers when yes. you're saying anything that isn't true, right. that lacks credibility. Right. And so, therefore, you would have the two of us here, and the truth would finally come out as to what did and what didn't take place. So how many times so have you contacted her? In the When is the last time you had contact with her well I go in spurts sometimes I contact her and then I don't for a while so it's been yeah, a while she hasn't responded at How long? all no wow are you starting to cry you are oh, oh good this is good oh, it's stop. like Barbara Walters <laughs> <laughs> no that's right I better stop crying no this is like Barbara oh, no. this is good that you're crying oh. keep crying let it all out I love oh, when people cry on the show stop it I hate that would it be a lot really hey Drew how could you do this to your mother look at her oh. she's crying on my stupid show <laughs> It's a stupid show. It is a stupid show. I yeah, it shouldn't show. make you cry. How come you started crying? Because, um, 
when I said I go in spurts, it's like, oh, I hate this. I don't. It's oh, proof I she has her period, huh? Right. Uh, that's it. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Are you on your period yeah. right now? No, not right now, but I guess that's why I'm crying. Everyone quiet. I want to hear Jade cry. No, it's just... <laughs> oh, God. You can see it. Yeah. No, it's just that I go in spurts, and I contact her for a while, and then I get no response, and... <laughs> This is great. Oh, who's making come. that now noise? Now you're making me laugh. Now stop. No, that's all. That's all, Jade. Yeah, it is. No, she was doing the. Yeah, she's snorting. snorting. <laughs> this is great. Go ahead, please. Not. That was that was right. Jackie. So this is very sad. That you're, was red. you're. No, no, no. I go in spurts and I contact her, and then I get all this rejection, no response, so I stop for a while, and then a few months go by, and I try again. This is the. This what, is the what period are you in now? Are you? contacting or, or not? For her birthday, I sent her this incredibly great music box with little fairies and flowers and I sent it to New World because um, New Line. Because, New Line. Uh, yeah. You don't even know her address. No. Oh. <laughs> so they were supposed to send it to her. And I said, don't you think it's time for us to resolve our differences, whatever issues we have? It's time to come to some resolution. Mm. I have no choice but to wait right. until you decide to do so. But, you know, I, right. I wait with open arms and... and well, your mother. Mm. Yeah. Oh. And so it hasn't happened. Has, do you think she got Got the uh, the music box? I heard she threw it in the dumpster. Oh, stop it! Yeah. <laughs> you didn't hear anything. I didn't. Trying to get her to cry more. No, I, that's why he's doing it. No, I love when people cry. Um, it shows that they have emotion. I didn't call them to see if they actually got it to her because I didn't want to hear that they did. Really? Oh man, you're a mess. You on Valium or anything? Are you in anything? therapy? No. You're not in therapy? No, I don't take oh. any drugs. Or you should be in therapy. I was in therapy. They sent me away for codependence when we were together because really? it was too much down her throat. Mm -hmm. When she said she was abandoned and there was no one there for her, I was too much there for her. In fact, they sent me away for that. Really? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I was too you know, you're damned if you do. If you're there too much, if you're there too little. You know you can't do anything right for the little urchins. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think when they... That's what I tell my kids. I go, I stay away from you because I know no matter what I do, you're going to be screaming when about me. When you turn 13, you're just not cool no matter what you do. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, I, being as enmeshed with her as I was, I was too much in her face and too wrapped up in her career. Yeah, but at 13, wasn't she already an addict? Um, oh. She start isn't Oh, Robin gets cruel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why your daughter had to get away from you, because like she becomes an addict when she's near you. No, she she was so independent when she came out in the delivery room. She had the renter's guide, variety reporter, and an agent's contract. I mean, she was already on her own, knowing what she's going to do and what she wanted in life. Mm. It was always a power play and a battle between us, because she thought that she should call her own shots. So what happened the last time? So so did you send a bunch of letters, or you only sent like one letter? Like how many letters? Like, when's the last time you actually saw her? Because the last time I saw you, you said you had had some contact with the her. The last right. time I saw her face to face was over two years ago. Really? Yeah. You had a luncheon, right? No, it was a dinner at this Nobu restaurant downtown. Right. And um. And that must have been we good. Had, we had a great time. She was there with her then boyfriend Eric. We were hugging. We were kissing. Right. Um. She had her arms around me the whole time. It was great. And the next thing I got from her was a fax at Christmas saying she had gotten her tonsils out and that uh, she was. Uh, having a restraining order against her dad mm -hmm. and uh, that she realized and she admitted that she was taking that out on me. Hmm. She always gets angry at me when she has problems with her dad. I think that I was always there and she always had to work for her dad's love. Uh -huh. So it gave no more importance than me who was like the St. Bernard. I think you're a great mother. I think you should breastfeed me. <laughs> Let's start over. Why don't you let me be the, let me be the child you never had? That's such a reasonable request. Yeah, let me be your child. <laughs> yeah, really? I'll come over and just hang out with you. Yeah, would you be good to me or would you abandon me? And, and tell no, me he'd abandon you. I'd be good to you. <laughs> and say I'm a bad person. Well, after I banged you, I'd probably abandon you. But yeah, you'd well, banged you. Then I better you. hold out. Yeah. <laughs> But why wouldn't you have another child? You know, you lost this one. Oh, yeah, because the first experience was so good, right? <laughs> yeah, she, she was mother of the year. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was in the cover of Good House. Today. All right, so now you've been in this movie, uh, The Last Days of Disco. You're yes. naked in it? I have one nude scene. I'm not oh. naked throughout the whole movie. Totally nude? Who, who said all? <laughs> I was not over here. That was Robin. back there somewhere. No. Totally nude? <laughs> well, it was. Well, Robin, I'm glad you know totally, it was not me. <laughs> totally nude? Did you know that? Do we, see, do we see vagina? Oh, oh yeah. You see the whole thing. You do. Oh. But Why are you nude? Very tasteful because at one point, Chris Eigerman, who plays Des, uh, the manager of this club, uh, is is being busted by the feds, and he's downstairs in the catacombs in his office having sex with me, Francesca, mm -hmm. the tiger lady. Yes. Uh -huh. And so when they come in and bust him and we're having sex, it wouldn't be too credible for us to have clothes on. Was he naked as well? He was allowed to wear panties. 
See? Oh, I tell you. Double standards. A man wearing panties? Is it, yeah, it's all right for him to wear sex. I, I mean underwear. I think he I was allowed to wear underwear? Yes, he was. But how's he having sex with underwear if it's supposed to be so real and credible? Well, he gets up and puts a towel around him so you don't really see that no. he has a little bit of underwear on. See, <laughs> the women always have to be naked. Is this That's true? It. Why is that? Why? Because who wants to look at some guy's Johnson? I do oh. <laughs> I All right. We're a little more interesting to heterosexual men. Some uh, people yeah. want to speak to you. Go ahead. What can I do for you? I just love to tell her that she is, she is a goddess. Oh. Mm. Uh. That's so nice. Oh. Oh, guys hear a voice on the radio right away. They're like. Oh yeah, they just go crazy. Hmm. That so doesn't sweet. take much to set. And Howard them. rules. Yes, I agree with that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There you go. That was sweet. See, I am climbing up the ladder. The things are happening. <laughs> this is the best time of my life. When does oh, last good. days... Wait, oh, it is? Oh, it is, because so much is going on, and uh, so many good things are happening. And before, it was pretty pretty bad. Mm. I'd like to use my hand on you. Oh. What do you mean by that? I'd like to like, molest her with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be kind of fun. Where he smiles. Okay. I think yeah. I think he'd be giggling through it. It'd be nice. You, would you like that? And what'd you do? Did you uh, you you put you say you injected something into your face? No, I had some lasering under my eyes. Doctor Thomas Romo, the mm -hmm. best plastic surgeon in New York, did some lasering under here. Took away the little fine lines. Mm -hmm. it looks pretty good, huh? I think you look great. You like? Yeah. Boy, do I fish for compliments? No, from Howard or what? And did you, did you have anything else done? Because you look so young. A little tiny tuck here. A tuck? Did you? A little tiny, yeah. Really? Yeah, pretty yeah. good. Yeah, you look good. Very natural. I have to because I have to be at the top of my game now. Absolutely. You're, you're in coming into your own. Yeah, the movie career is broken. Well, are you still working out? You used to work out a lot. I work out at Equinox. Mm -hmm. I still do my play eight shows a week. I just did another film called Go West mm -hmm. in which I play a character that's a cross between Cruella DeVille and Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> and so... All right. So yeah. you're doing well. I, have to, I don't have to worry about you anymore. Well, well maybe you and Drew will yes. get cast in a movie that. together. Yeah, maybe you and Drew will do a movie. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we going to do next to attract it? Why don't we send up smoke signals? It's only <laughs> <laughs> so we're down to that. Right. In this age of great technology, That's we're down right. to we're smoke signals. That's right, we're using smoke signals. Now, how, what do you suggest, Howard? What do you think I should do? Um, well, I, I think what you ought to do is find out where she lives, hire a private investigator, and stand outside her door. No, no. <laughs> That's what I think. That's the next thing. Don't do that. Yeah. You don't want to do that? Like Stalker, yeah. Like st a remake of Stella, the third remake of Stella. I'm crying outside her window. I mean, what else is left? You've sent her letters, telegrams, etc. Mm -hmm. And sent her uh, the presents. You've said, I love you and I want to be in touch with you. But actually, I think you should start ignoring her. Yeah, I did that too. Didn't she didn't work? She didn't seem to mind. <laughs> I, did, ah! <laughs> I did get a, a little bit of revenge because when I sent her this beautiful music box, inside was playing this song, uh, It's a Small World After All. Yes. And she hates that song because we got stuck in the ride, It's a Small World, for yep. 25 minutes right next to the speaker. <laughs> really? And we heard that song. So why would you do that? Why would you do that if because you're trying the, to make up with her? The music box was so beautiful that um, I just thought I'd send it to her anyway. She wouldn't mind the song. And I guess it was a little bit of passive aggressive. I think so. Uh -huh. I think. You know what I would do if I was you? I, I would. Um, admit it, but it's true. I, I think that at her next movie premiere, you should drop in wearing a parachute. You know, actually <laughs> you from a plane. Skydive in. Skydive in. What See, do you think I of that? I knew where to come for advice. You wouldn't do something like that. That'd be great. People suggested that when she was doing the wet. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> when she was doing the wedding singer, they had the premiere here. Mm -hmm. I was so tempted just to show up, but it wouldn't have been a very classy thing. I tell you, you look a lot better than your daughter, even. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, your body is. A lot tighter. She's a little Have you chunky. Seen her body? She's no, a lot she of. She's a little good. chunkier. She looks great. Yeah, she looks chunky to me. Yeah, but you know what? She, she's allowed to have a little weight because the Please. thin anorexia. She looks look chunky. Good either. She should knock off fifteen to twenty I pounds. She, she really thinks so. Absolutely. She looks like she ate her father. Oh. <laughs> Jason, you're on the air. Yeah. No, looks no, like no. she actually devoured him. Did you see? The <laughs> Jason, you're on the air. <laughs> Howard, I have to agree with you. Drew does look a little chunky. She really? sure does. Oh, she looks good. Not she's chubby. Her, her mother looks a whole lot better than she does. Absolutely. Her is a goddess. Oh. That's right. Thank you. That's Are why she's screening these calls. Or that's what? why she can't stand to be around her mother. Yeah. You think she's jealous? Of course. Ah, uh, yeah. Competition. Hey, I never it, thought that of could that. be. And I bet you keep your backside squeaky clean. Am I correct? Yes, I do. You do. Mm -hmm. But you smell real good down there. I smell good. Yes. Yep, I bet. What's the responsibility? After you move your bowels, do you um, do you um, mm -hmm. take a shower immediately? Oh. I, I clean myself very, very well. With water? Oh, absolutely. And soap. And soap? Oh, yeah. After each bowel movement? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Robin, I bet you don't even do that. Well, sometimes oh. you can't. There goes the water. I'm out uh, working. <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> have you moved your bowels yet today? Yes. You have? Wow. Mm -hmm. And what did you do? You actually, you, where did you move them? Here? No. At home? Mm -hmm. What, first thing in the morning? Mm-hmm. And then you showered? Mm-hmm. Oh, you did? Yeah. 
But what if you're, let's say it's the mid-afternoon hours and you, and you move your bowels? What do you then do? you get a paper towel or, or some toilet paper and you get some soap on it and you clean yourself. Really? I can't believe I'm saying this. Huh? My, that's <laughs> now, great. You keep yourself smelling very clean and you want to smell like peaches. Yeah, you want to smell like, you know, at any minute you can meet Drew. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Oh. Anything but that. Right. We were going to Guinness Book of being, you know, the, the longest estranged mother and daughter. Hmm. Now, Howard, is there anything that you can do to, to help facilitate this? What, you and uh, Drew together? Yeah, because you have an incredible We've done the, the, power. the message over the radio. Mm-hmm. We've done everything. Yeah, if any of my listeners know Drew, could you say something or something? Yeah. Do something like that? Do we know anybody that's friends with her, Howard? I don't know. Do you know? Yeah, you, you must have some connection. The only one I knew was uh, he just got killed last night, Phil Hartman. Oh, oh so that geez. went our only hope, right? Yep. <laughs> no, guys but when, the last time I did speak to her, which which was at the restaurant in New York, I asked her, why don't you go on Howard? Because uh, she was saying that she loves every time I'm on here, and she yes. listens. And she, oh, and really? She, she watches the E. Yeah, she right. does do that. Right. And so she admitted that. Right. Mm-hmm. And, um, so she I did admit she, that. Yeah. Yes. She watches all the time, and she said that she was going to even call one time when I was on and I said, why don't you go on Howard? And she said, I'm scared. She's scared. Oh, yeah. scared, my she ass. Said. What is she scared of? She wasn't scared of drugs. She, she wasn't, wasn't scared, scared of guys. Of, uh, she wasn't yeah. scared of anything. anything. Me, she's scared yeah, of. You are like a walking truth serum. And, and if anybody is, is, is sort of like bending the truth a little bit, mm-hmm. you'll, you'll call we can We can figure it out. Yes, mm-hmm. you can. Right. Now, do you ever listen to my online show on America Online? No, I don't listen I, to that. I talk about you all the time. Really? I have a love fest to you. Both shows on Tuesday and Thursdays, I talk about you constantly. Mm. People ask more Howard questions than any other. Well, why don't you do stuff to me? them when you're here. Alex, go ahead. Yeah. What's up? <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. Yep. Yeah, I tag teamed uh, Drew. Oh. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you did not. Yes, I did. We, we, well, Bill, what do you mean you tag team Drew? What does Henry, that even mean? Henry Rollins concert at Roselands, 1992. Me and a buddy of mine, Jim. Yeah. He was good friends with Henry. We were hanging out at the VIP section. We were doing ecstasy. Drew was hanging out with us. She had a little bag behind her. It was really cool. Really? Oh, we take. Well, I don't know if that's for real. I, I, I don't believe this. One second, you sound like you're about sixty years old. And sixty. She draws the line at fifty. She does. <laughs> look, look who's talking. <laughs> you're 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 like a bag of pizza cheese, lady. What? Oh, <laughs> now now che- we know. <laughs> you should look pizza that good. Cheese. What you ever, that? See, you ever <laughs> see cheese slide off of a pizza? That's what your thighs look like. <laughs> oh, oh no, they don't. Oh, oh, I've God. seen this woman nude. You can say anything you want about me. Let, it doesn't me, hold any credibility. Let me tell you something. You're not that bad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but, but, Gary is a horse tooth jacket. Oh, you. Oh, you. Now, listen, please don't bag on Drew like that, because that's not nice. He's lying. We know that guy. Horse tooth jacket. We know that guy. He's lying. We know that guy. That's not true. You need a spank. Jade Barrymore appears in the last days of disco, and she's nude. When does that open this weekend? Yes, it, it's had great reviews. Absolutely right. great. The well, director, Chris Gilman, is a genius. I'm really? So Everyone's a genius. Before. No, he is. This is no question I thought you said him. I was a genius. In a different way. In a different way. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll mm-hmm. see about that. And I've rewarded you for, <laughs> for your genius. You have? <laughs> yes, and I will do more. In what way did you reward me? Mm-hmm. Don't you remember our photo session? Yeah, How but quickly they you didn't do anything to me. Oh. <laughs> Not that I didn't want to. Oh, really? by the way, your whole family, including your children and your parents, came to see the show, Grandma Sylvia's, and they, you haven't been there yet. That's right. That's very true. Why haven't you come? It's too painful for me. I'm still thinking about how you wouldn't put your hand on my crotch. Well, I might if you show up. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, I'll go. All right, Jade, thanks. It's always good to see you. You look great in your dress. I hope you get in touch with your daughter, Drew Barrymore. Yeah, if you come up with any ideas, they don't even have to be great. Yeah, we'd mm-hmm. love to reconcile you on the show. We'll try to That'll be beautiful. Anyway. I think this is the place to do it, and thank you so much for having me on the show. Right. Drew, if you're listening, please get in touch with me and get cracking off and yum, okay? Thank you. <laughs> I like. Oh, wait! One more call for you. Whoa. I didn't realize. Yes, Gary, go ahead. Hey, Howard, aren't you aren't you sick of these parents that screw up their relationship with their kids and then they <laughs> get on the radio and start crying about it about the, how sorry they are? Well, I don't know. I'm not sick of it. I find it fascinating, and I don't know that Jade screwed up. Or well, maybe you did because no. Drew was well, drinking and doing good. Were you there? Don't you think most of the time it's the parents, or don't the children come into the relationship with some sort of innocence? They absolutely do, and do the, and so do the parents when they come into this life. And I think that you've been hearing way too much tabloid information. And if you had been a part of our lives, you might have seen a very different side of what took place. Mm. I loved her very much. I do, and I always will. I want to cradle you. Well, oh. <laughs> All right. Thank you. But thank Thanks. you for your concern. Larry Fine wants to talk to you. Oh. Do you know him from the Three Stooges? Larry, go ahead. Hey, yeah, this is Larry Fine of the Three Stooges. <laughs> boy, oh, boy. 
Jay Brownie Moore, you're so hot. I'd love to make Wolfie with you. Oh. <laughs> you are you are the hottest thing since Vivian Vance. All right. <laughs> wow, that's a compliment. All right. Anyway, good luck, Jade, with um, the last days of disco, where you are naked as a Jaybird. Thank you, Howard. All right. And thank you again. This is the best best show in the entire universe. I'm so it's happy. It's absolutely to be here. true. You're absolutely I'm right. About very that. proud to be here yeah. again. I think uh, it was Drew's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah. Why? Because he's so great. You get your eyes like welling up. Well, hi. It's Jackie. You are so gorgeous. Sweet. No, I was crying over Drew. It's enough with his crying. There's Scott. No, I was just so happy to see Howard. He's so good. But why were you crying? Oh. I decompose myself. <laughs> um. He's just a good friend. Howard, a comic genius turned television. What was it? What was he saying to you? He's very loyal and never forgets his friends. And he has me on the show and lets listen to me. I sound like a frog. He has me on the show and he lets me say things my way in terms of what's going on in my life as opposed to the written tabloids. And can I stop this? <laughs> This is uh, this is the only place where I can actually talk about what I'm doing, because whenever they talk about Drew, it's like they never say that I'm doing anything really, and I get to say, you know, what's going on in my life and that I'm accomplishing. And that that touches you a lot. He's a good person. I want to stop crying. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? I'm gonna be okay. I can't believe I'm crying like this. Oh. I haven't seen him in a while, and I miss him. Then he makes you feel real, feel better about the situation. Yeah, because um, he gives me credibility and allows me to speak about my side. Not that there's a lot I want to say about it, but. Uh, um, this is a place I feel comfortable expressing my feelings. He's not the kind of person that will, you know, tear you down. He's like really there. And I mean, you're really, you're really broken up. I mean, you're still, you're still, te you're still tearing and everything. Do you need a tissue? I want to get you a tissue or something. My nose is running. You yes, I do. Hold I'd on. like a tissue. Yeah, I think we have, I think we have a tissue in here. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Oh sure. You just needed a good cry. Yeah. I'll go get stuff from the bathroom. It's not that <laughs> There's no tissue here. Is there any tissue? There's no tissue. My nose is running and there's no tissue. You're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. This is John and he's wonderful. See, everybody here is like family. It's like I know everybody. Suck in that stomach, Howard. Now, what do you mean suck it in? You like look at my stomach right now. You want to do this? You're gonna like pull it as much in pull as you it can. As hard as you but can. like open up that ass, Howard. Get that hole open. All right, all right, all right. Easy. Pull, man. All right, pull. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you I anything? am teaching Howard Stern how to fart. I can't believe it. kid out there he's 18 years old gary says this is the most phenomenal guy he's ever met this guy really can fart at will hi 
Yeah. So you're the one that can do it? Yeah, hi, I'm Chris. Hey, Ben. Nice to meet you. Chris, what, what, what'd you come down here for? Uh, to fart on Howard Stern's show. Like, really loud and show my every. I got names for my farts and everything. All right, which, which is your best name? The duck fart. All right, let's, let's hear it. All right, hold on. See, here's my thing. You gotta suck air in. No right. machine, so you know, you know. Yeah, hold on. All right, hold on. Hold on. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> He could do duck sounds with his ass. Everything. He's coming up. A uh, crackhead Bob's gonna play with us. Yeah, baby. How you doing, crackhead? Do you I'm have something? Okay. You have something you want to promote? Crackhead. At the uh, my appearance. What? My uh, appearance. You have an appearance? <laughs> yeah. I never heard him say the word appearance before. You not know what? I don't know. What is your appearance? I really don't have it in front of me. Uh, I don't do, know. Do you know it offhand? I don't know. He uh, doesn't know where it is. What is it? We're trying to look it up right now. It, he usually comes with his appearance pinned to his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have it today. All right. All right. We'll find out what it is. Okay. So I got to meet this farter guy. This guy's 18 years old. He's the real deal. This is a guy who can do this at will? Yeah. Well, there's not very much of him. Yeah, he's not a, he's not oh, a real big on. guy. Let me sit next to Crackhead Bob. Hey, guys. Crackhead Bob. I can't hear anything. All right, the farter's name is Chris, is that right? Yes. Hi, Chris. How are you? Where do you go to school? Um, I go to Sacred Heart University in Connecticut. All right, cool. Yeah. So he's a university student. Catholic school. Hi, Robin. Hi there, how are you? It's a high school, right? No. Sacred Heart's a college? College, yeah. Oh, I didn't yes, know that. Yes, it's a university. I'm kidding. <laughs> what is that, a Catholic college? Uh, I guess, yeah. Sacred I mean, Heart always sounds Catholic to me. Yeah, man. but it's not like, you know, really strong with it or anything. What do you major in, feces? Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, I think media studies, hopefully. Let me really? tell you something. Yeah. I've been looking for a guy like you. Gary tells me you're amazing. Yeah. I you think all, Benji, you can, Benji said he's a virtuoso. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you, you're like the Stradivarius of ass. <laughs> he might be, because we've, we've interviewed a lot of guys, and he's like head and shoulders above the rest. Yeah. He put the ass in Stradivarius ass. <laughs> Chris, how long have you been doing this uh, talent of yours? I discovered it in about, like, eighth grade, maybe. That you could fart at will. Yeah. Now, but how do it's you not, do that? It's not like something everybody can do it. I've uh -huh. taught, like, four friends how to do it. Really? Yeah. You, Can you teach us? I could definitely teach you, but it, I don't know if you'll... It takes a couple, like... A about a week or so, you know, you have to. Oh, I'd kill to you have, have your to train talent. your ass. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are ass exercises. <laughs> wow. And what do you do? Do you swallow air with your ass? No. See, you you suck in air through your ass. It's just the air we breathe. It's not like it's, it doesn't smell. Well, sometimes it smells. I don't know if you have bad gas because it gets mixed in and stuff. But so, are you saying anyone can do this? Yeah, you can learn. And really? How did you learn to breathe through your butt? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in scuba class. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. No, really. Um, seriously, like. I remember, like, in eighth grade, a bunch of friends, like, were over, and I farted, and then, like, all of a sudden, I, like, flipped over, and I, I could, like, suck the air back in. Oh. Wow. So, like, we Spontaneous. Just, so, in eighth you know grade. Is, every once in a while in human history, there's a mutated gene, or somebody <laughs> comes up with an idea, and all of a sudden, by accident, you realize this stuff. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. So, like, in eighth grade, uh, me and my friends were sitting there. I did 850 in a row. Wow. And then, wow. In tenth grade, I decided to beat the record, and then I did 10,000. Uh, not 10,000. 1,050. You are a star. You're an official cast member of the Howard Stern Show now, and we will be calling you for lots of different work. Oh, this is great, man. You're going to be meeting a lot of naked I've been trying to meet you for like years now. It's been impossible. So this, Dude, today we're gonna we decided to be, we're going to become best of friends. Oh, this is he great. Hasn't uh, even demonstrated yet. You're already. I'm involved. excited. Take He's my word. Excited. Take, take my word. You ever hear yeah. of the Frenchman called Le Panto Man? Uh, no, I haven't. You should read about him. He's the uh, guy who could fart at will, and he became a huge star. He oh would, yeah. He, uh, this is a true story. Stage. I'm sure I can make my parents uh, very proud. With In the, me. I'm <laughs> telling you, you got a future. In the 1800s, I mean, there, was guy, there was a guy. Movies happen. There was a guy who could <laughs> fart at will, and it was a huge. Huge vaudeville circus circuit in uh -huh. uh, France. Uh -huh. <laughs> this guy was not a freak. He was in some of the biggest opera houses in France. <laughs> he would wear a suit and a tie. He classed up his whole act. He'd go there, and people would just watch him fart. <laughs> Howard, I think the pronunciation of the name was Lepetamane. Lepetamane, yeah. And I know that one of the big things he did was he could blow a candle out from like 20 feet away. Can you uh, do that? I don't think I could do that. Well, hey. The, then you have work to do. You're still young. <laughs> In all seriousness, away. you're 18. Just I would love to hear some of your work. Um, <laughs> uh, can I, can I, what I'd love to do is maybe hear a few blasts and then maybe play a song and stop it every once in a while. Oh, yeah. I can, I'll play songs with you. How, really? He's also got sort of an act in the sense that he's got regular ones and he's got ones that he... he yeah, I, I invented a, a couple. I have the uh, the duck fart, the famous duck fart. Would I you have, please... Uh, let, me turn, let me turn the show over to you. All right. You want me to fart now? Go ahead, Chris. Anything? Just watch out for uh, Crackhead Bob. He, he, he was threatening me in the... Uh, Green room. He said, "If he, if I fart near him, he's gonna kick my ass." No, he's not kicking I think, anyone's ass. I think ass. it's all right. I'm I'll kick really his scared. ass.
There we go, Chris. Our new 18-year-old discovery. Go ahead, Chris. Blast her right in the face. Mona, put your face right there. The Good. Let me turn the show over to you. All right, you want me to fart now? Go ahead, Chris. Anything? Watch out for uh, Crackhead Bob. He, he, he was threatening me in the uh, green room. He said if he, if I fart near him, he's gonna kick my ass. No, he's not kicking I think, anyone's I think ass. It's all right. I'm I'll kick really his scared. ass. All right, all right, go ahead. Wait, uh, come on now. This man's a great star. You no, know, it'd be nice too if I can actually put my ass on this okay, wood because it's good vibration. Hold on. You know? Please do. Hold all right. Oh, he's got it all worked <laughs> out. Wireless microphone is getting uh, hooked up right now. Oh, he's attacking right now. What? Right now he's burning. Ah, oh, okay. be quiet. He's warming up. You're jealous. <laughs> no. He's clearing his throat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, sometimes you suck in, though, and, like, you get an air pocket in your stomach. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but I'll just try Literally. to get through that. Okay, Howard, you got it? Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. go ahead. Do, right. do your thing. Feel free to relax. Oh, yeah. You want me to hold the mic? I ask for everybody's silence. Well, I'll actually, I'll put the mic near my ass so you can actually hear the suck in also. Please. Oh, wonderful. Right. <laughs> Thank you. I got the full effect. Oh, my. <laughs> That's wow. the suck in. <laughs> That's sucking in. I have all that air in me, That's so I can hold it in. for a few seconds. All right, let, let me hear it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Oh. Shh, shh. <laughs> hold on, I'll try to get one pretty loud. They're not coming out that good. And now, where's the duck fart? Oh. Let him do some of his specialty. <laughs> <laughs> was it, That's was it, sucking. That was was sucking. It, hold the microphone for the gentleman, Gary. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is a good position. Go ahead. Oh, damn. These are coming out hard. Oh, those are nice. Oh, they so much louder. Before. He's... <laughs> Yo, I am extremely disappointed right now. Why? Everybody you don't understand, here, Howard. Nervous. I can, like... It's different can, when you're on the air. You know, there's so many people who are funny in their living rooms, but then when they get on stage, yeah, they right. can't continue to perform. Hold on, let me get, let me try to like. The room That's is, why Lepetamine was such a sensation. Get comfortable a little bit. Well, yeah. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah, what's your suggestion? First of all, slow down. Oh, slow Relax. Down. You Relax. don't have to fill up every space with uh, fart. Well, you know, I think that's kind of excited. Crack a laughing. All right, go ahead. Relax <laughs> and take center stage. You're the focus of the show right now. Hold right. on a second. Stand up for a second. Do what you did, just like you did for me in the hallway. Stand up. So uh, let's, uh, you know, give, right. me, give me the, uh, give me the audition. See, he he didn't believe it was real before. No. So like I, uh, they made me strip down. Yeah, I don't really need to. All right, hold on. I do this because I suck an ant through my ass. Just turn around. Sir. All right. <laughs> I'll show you the duck fart. It's too regular. <laughs> <laughs> That's no problem with that. All right, you're in. <laughs> Sit down. I'll be back for you in a couple of minutes. Take your time. You don't have to sit on this table here. Oh, bend just, down. Yeah, just do what you did for me in the hallway. That's all. all. Right. You know, I got a stomach cramp, so I'm trying to look. All right, like you're trying a little right too now. hard. Go ahead. Uh, all right, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> My God. What a talent. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with the duck right now. You ready? Please. <laughs> what are you doing with your hands? I'm going to um, waff it, you know, so I can make the duck sound. Go ahead. <laughs> What do you think? Wow. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. Wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hero. Yeah. Yeah, I just got to get this, like, this pain out of my stomach. Once it's out and like, I get the excess air out, I can be ripping them for oh, hours so they, nice and I loud and stuff. Have you ever heard the farting record? No, I haven't. Let me tell you something. You have a skill. I believe I do. Yeah. Yeah. Can you stick oh. your face right up, right, right there? This yeah. is absolutely great. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Have you ever done this to a girl before? Put your nose right there. They were the envy of every teenager in America. Jesus, they think I'm wonderful. I must be wonderful. Eight young actors known as the Brat Pack. It was honestly like this runaway train. It was just happening. But when the 80s ended... The critics, man, they beat me up. What happened to these promising stars? It's impossible to get any kind of perspective on what's happening to you. And why did their lives go terribly wrong? I have only myself to blame for that. The Brat Pack, this Sunday at 8 on the E! True Hollywood Story. Wow. You are my hero. Thank you, Howard. I appreciate it. You're my hero, Howard. Thank you. I don't know how you do that. I could teach you. How do you do it? You, all right. It's like, see, I want to show you the position that I first started in. I mean, do you want me to go over there and just show you? Yeah, please. Right. Yeah, demonstrate. Right. This is going to be good for anybody who wants to learn how to fart at will. You should put out a video. Man. I'd buy it. <laughs> I'd buy it. All right. 
No, see, all, all I did was like, all right, how can't see me? How about over here? Please. Um, like I let I real I was I let out a real fart, of course. Yes. And then like immediately, hold on, I got some leftovers. All right, there we go. Letting the leftovers out. Right, go ahead. Yeah, I just out. uh flat back like this. Yes. All right, and then like you suck in your stomach. All right. So in other words, you're on your I back. I doing this. Right. You're on your back, yeah. and then you 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 roll up like almost uh, like in a, a a ball. Roll in, and yeah. then you pull it in. <laughs> Right. Yes, and, and you, you just, sort of put your you knees to your chest and lift your butt. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is the best I think position. that one would have blew the candle out. I don't <laughs> see how you get the air in there, though, but that's amazing. Try it. Why don't you get on the Thank floor you. and put your legs up right. like this? See if yeah. the air goes All right, let me, let me see if I can do it. All right. Get Go for it, can, man. Uh, sometimes if I, if I do it myself, right. I can learn. Right. <laughs> no. Now, check out how it's formed and tell him if he's doing the right thing. All right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I really do want to learn how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think this is I think this is great. All right, we hear you. Suck in that stomach, Howard. Now, what do you mean suck it in? You like look at my stomach right now. You want to do this. You're going to like pull it as much in pull as you it can. As hard as you but can. like open up that ass, Howard. Get that hole open. All right, all right. All right easy. Pull, man. All right, pull. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I am anything? teaching Howard Stern how to fart. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you look like you <laughs> Did you just have Did you just fart? Oh, that was no. me. <laughs> <laughs> who, who was that? Jackie did it. <laughs> the real one. Wait, let me try one more time. You're saying squeeze the stomach. And you got to get no, your... No, pull it. Pull the stomach in. Like, suck it in so okay. you can see your ribs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Lift your ass up off the floor. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, Howard. Is there any air going in? Nothing. Howard, oh, Howard, no. Howard. No. Nothing. A, a word of advice. If you're like, next time you have a real fart, like a real one, Wait. that's a good time to do it because your ass is like open already, you know? Dude, I'm, I'm, I mean, dude, you just dude, open up the passage. Dude, I'm starting to think like maybe something's happening. Hold on. Oh. I mean, one more shot, okay? Seriously, it's worth worth trying. Let me... Suck nothing, it. nothing. Oh, I, I and apologize. you didn't feel any air going in. This is the gayest look at the <laughs> I know, right? Sounds like he's giving birth. I know, you should have seen him. He was in the position. I so badly wanted to do it, Robin. You want to give it a shot, Robin? No, thank you. I have no desire. <laughs> Come on, Robin, go for it. I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a little activity in that area, but really? nothing to really crow about. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank my guest. I, I mean... Uh, yeah, I got a burp out of it. <laughs> There's something to that. The wrong way. Yeah, I mean, everybody's freaking out over this guy. Hey, you're on the air. Yes, hi. Hi. Good morning. Yes. I want to come down. I heard the farts are absolutely explosive. I want to come down to meet you, and I want to fart it in my face. But Howard... You want, you want me to fart in your face? <laughs> Let me tell you, you can meet a lot of chicks on this show. I want to drop on my knees. I want to come down. I heard the farts are explosive. Oh. Just you want to meet you, drop and on I your want knees. to all over my face. Where do you live? I live in New York. I'm five minutes away. All right, I'll tell you oh, what. No. You can come down here. Just Howard, only on one condition. Only on one condition. As long as his gas doesn't smell like Gary's breath. No. Oh, his, his, oh, his, his, oh, she does, you really don't want to come down here? I'm going to send it down for you anyway, Howard. Just send her down. She's one of my little bitches. Okay, send her down. Okay, you got it. All You're right. the biggest little bitch of all, Sal. Well, God, what a talent. <laughs> Can you give me one last one? Yeah, hell yeah. Give me one more. I love it. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, man. You got a microphone? Oh, no microphone. Oh, well, he just, right. he just uh, loaded up. Time this. Oh. oh. <laughs> Thank you. That, that was, was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you see Crackhead Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I fought it on Crackhead Bob in the uh, green yeah. room over there. The guy's got it on tape. <laughs> oh! I I fought it on Crackhead Bob. <laughs> I'm leaving right now. Oh, Bob. Oh, 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 oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Crackhead, don't you love this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you didn't love it before, man. Uh, oh, your talent, I'm so jealous. Don't be, man. I'll teach you. This is better than being in a rock band. I was say, who's more a scary talent, Jim Carrey or this guy? This guy. Let me tell you something. Uh, this is a great day in show history. Chris, are you giving your last name or are you keeping that a secret at this I'll point? I'll keep that a secret at this point right now. You got to think it through? Yeah, of course. All right. I know. You don't, want, you don't necessarily it's want your whole life to change. I mean, come on. His right? life as well. Right. His life is going to change. Right. Yeah. From this day forward, you're, you know, you're in. Yeah. <laughs> you're in. You're now judging beauty pageants. You're doing everything. Uh, whatever. You're a member. I'll give you my number. Call me up. Please. Definitely. <laughs> You're a member. This is the man we've been looking for. Let's yeah. just call you Chris Crap. 
Oh, All right, call me Chris Crack. Crack. Chris Crack. That's your new stage name. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, is that lady coming down here or what? I don't know. If she did hang out a little bit, and yeah. if she comes, we'll have you back in here. All right, definitely. Crackhead Bob, thank you. Right. You're appearing a couple of places. I don't know hey, where. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay, okay, good day. Congratulations, hey, man. Thanks a lot. You're now uh, an official member of the show. Yeah, I'm, I'm Chris Crap. <laughs> Are guess. you proud? Yeah, I'm, I'm extremely proud, man. You did good, man. You uh, didn't choke under pressure. Oh, uh, no, no, man. My, my stomach hurts a little bit. Though, Does it really? It hurts yeah. now? Yeah. So what's the next move? I mean, where do you take this? Where's, where's well, hopefully that lady comes. She wants me to fart in her face. I mean, that should be pretty fun. That's my next move as of right now. Okay, go ready? Go. Oh, 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 God. Oh. Hey, B, one Get more time. Daddy. That uh, some girl, that, that girl who was on the phone? Yes. With horse tooth jackass Sal? Mm-hmm. Uh, they can, she wants to be farted on. Wow. She's here? Yeah. Mona. <laughs> with uh, Chris Crap, the farter. This guy's an incredible find. We're going to stick him in an elevator and uh, watch him fart. Here he comes again. There's Mona. And here comes Sal, the uh, stockbroker. Oh, Hi, Sal. Oh, hey, hey, Mona. <laughs> hey, Sal. Wow. How you doing, man? Okay. Sal cut his hair real short. Yeah, I'm trying to be hip like you. Well, that was serious. Hey, Mona. Hey. You want to be farted on? Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> Where, where's Chris Crap? So I was going to get him now. John, please. Yeah. All right. Oh, there's Chris Crap. Come on. Hey. This guy's great. Did you hear him? It was incredible. I, it, and you'll testify that it's real. Look at this. Well, the whole the whole hey. idea and the reason why I brought Rhonda down, Amona down here, whatever the hell her name is, right. is <laughs> to, te mind. to discern between this man's flatulence versus Gary's, Gary's breath. breath. <laughs> okay. So once he falls you'll, in her face, she's got to get a whiff of Gary's breath. And you'll, you'll find, Sal, that uh, sitting there, that this guy doesn't smell half as bad as Gary. Yeah, this is a bad really? seat, I, I have to admit. I heard Gary can knock you right out. Mona, what's your story? Does this turn you on to have a guy fart oh, in your face? Yes, baby. It sure does. Can you get close oh. to that microphone? Are you married? No, not anymore. Right. husband farted yeah, too much, but yeah. it smells. So you don't mind that this case is going to blast you? No, not at all. <laughs> right I in your face. I heard it doesn't smell. It's okay. All right, let's 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 try it. Mona's ready to be blasted. Right. Chris, this is Chris Crap. Hold on, hold on. Okay, oh, go I'll ahead, Gary. Pants on, just in I'm case. not taking my pants off. <laughs> okay, get into Mona's... Wait, wait. He's sucking right. it. He's loading up. Everybody's trying to figure yeah. out how he does that. <laughs> looks like Gary's working him. That's not even the fart yet. That's loading in. Hold on. I'm having problems. Really? All right. All right. All right. All right. You ready? Mona, can you Mona? stick your can you can you stick oh. your face right up right right there? This yeah. is absolutely great. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Have you ever done this to a girl He's before? Put your nose right there. But Mona, how old a woman right. are you? Two old. Forty-five. Forty-five. Okay, go. You ready? Go. Oh, oh God. Baby, oh. one, one more time. One more time. Give her some more. She wants more. You're a freak, Mona. Oh, she, loves she had her face right there. Up. She does whatever I tell her to do. You're a sicko. I follow him. Go ahead. Here you go. Are you her boss? Absolutely. Right. Okay, good. baby. Boss of what? Right. She's a boss of the jackass follower. Oh, Look at her. She's oh, got her face right there, oh, Robin. Loving it. Oh, yes. <laughs> what does it scary. smell like? <laughs> no, no. Now let Gary breathe on you. Gary. Gary, Gary breathe, breathe, on. breathe on Mona. Okay. Well, it's, it's usually... Well, let me see what happens. Do this for Daddy. Oh! oh. <laughs> see, <laughs> see how it... It usually takes a lot more than that to knock out a woman you her size. Big lip right. douchebag, you. <laughs> Mona, is his breath worse? Oh, yes. God. It is. Extremely, yes. You smell, you smell oh, Chris Crap's bad. gas. Yes, and you he... are so much better, baby. Oh, my God. Sal, <laughs> what do you think of that? I think Gary's a, a big uh, buck tooth baboon. That's what I think. It's, pretty, it's a sad day when somebody's gas smells worse than Gary's, Gary's breath. breath. <laughs> wow. Take, take your gay haircut. I have been proven to, right. Take your gay haircut and go down to Christopher <laughs> Street. Sal, you're a stockbroker by trade, but you really yeah. spend most of your time thinking about Gary and his... That's it. All I do is... I, I put things together. I dream about Gary. Every time I go to the bathroom, it's Gary all the way. And it's more than a casual thing because you've been doing this a couple of years now. Yeah, yeah. Goofing I mean, on Gary. <laughs> yeah, well, Gary's a goof. I mean, he's an amusement park full of riddles. Look at him. You know, yeah, Howard, really. What do, you mean, what do you mean by an amusement park full of riddles? Well, you take a look at his hair. They got a Manchi Chi there. You take a look at his nose. You could park a Cadillac in there. His teeth <laughs> is just, you know, the Great Wall of China. You right. can go on forever with that. So, right. can, can we interview your wife? You call can't her up be, right now. You call can't be like this at home, can you? Listen, the bottom line is this. When I see Gary, it's like a trigger. You know, it's like taking a drug. You see the guy, I just explode. The euphoria <laughs> overcomes me. I, right. I see teeth. I see breath. I see bad things. Because you know? call in every day about Gary. You, you, I don't you, really call every day, except this whole horse tooth jackass phenomenon is just, just like running wild like Russell Manning. No, it's not right. always that. Uh, oh, my goodness. What's that my Hershey love? 
I said it's not always <laughs> you calling Look at and those glossy you, lips. Jackass. No, it's half of the time it's not me. Oh, wow. Like, Mona, uh, what's Sal like to work for? Is he always talking uh, about Gary? He's uh, All the time. It's great. Oh, I love it. All I the time. Too. I spoke to you yesterday. Oh, right. You're a real freak. Ass right next to your face. Yeah, what is wrong with you? Mona, get, get another one. Mona, Mona, get Mona one take one more. All right, here's oh, Mona oh, taking Mona. one more from Chris Crap. <laughs> there we go, Chris. Our new 18 year old discovery. Go ahead, Chris. Blast her right, right in the face. Mona, put your face right there. I tell you, after Gary's breath, everything <laughs> smells nice. Put it. Go ahead. Are you blocking it? She's, Don't block it. She's Don't block your nose in his colon, Mona. Go ahead. Uh, oh, <laughs> baby. Oh, man. Oh, you are sick. Girl. You guys are all super freaks. I want to thank you, Sal, the stockbroker. We'll be seeing you again soon. Sal, thank you. Mona, really, what a Any super freak you are. Yes, right? Thank you. Lovely Mona. She accepted Chris's guest like a real it trooper. It was a pleasure, Mona. Chris Crap, thanks once again. And I'm sure we'll be seeing you many, many times on this show. Definitely. I hope you're, you're ready for stardom. Oh, I'm ready, man. All right. Very right. good, oh, Chris Crap. Everybody. Yes, Mona, thank you. And Sal, thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a all right. Day. And you want to say goodbye to Gary? No. You don't. All right. <laughs> Strange news of being What a weird lady. <laughs> Chris, did you seem to enjoy that? Um, enjoyed yeah, it she, she sort of liked it better than his breath. <laughs> yeah. Mona, what, what's with that? That was fantastic. You Next enjoy, time you yeah. call me up for someone yeah. else's parts. <laughs> did you Did you enjoy, you know, her passing, like, gas, you know, him passing gas? Oh, yeah, it just wiped me out. It's better than Gary's Mona, breath any friend. day of the, the world, the life. But, I mean, it takes, it takes kind of a sick yeah. person to... to well, like I am absolutely sick. What can I say? <laughs> so what's your, what's your relationship like with Howard? I mean, do you have purely physical. It's purely sexual. Purely sexual. He's only. I. I don't um, do anything that a woman would do. <laughs> like what? You know, be. You know, just. You know, take it. No, you just don't take it? No, not from him. From other people? I don't know. I'm just trying to fit the theme of everything that goes on here. Oh, why? You think the theme on the show is sex? No, it isn't. It also has to do with, with sick sex. Sick sex? <laughs> so is that what you're expecting today? Are you expecting something sexual? I have no expectations. I'm just going to talk to, to my friend Howard. <laughs> do you, I mean, is there any, like, pre-show nerves, jitters, or any... No. Kind of, like, nervous going in there? No, I just was listening to the speaker and... I'm ready to chime along into whatever conversation anyone wants to have with me. Are you a big fan of the show? So you yeah, I'm, show? I'm a, I, I, I really uh, know in my heart that Howard is funny. And, do you ever hear him talking about you? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> what does he say? <laughs> All kinds of stuff. Sometimes, you know, it's that negative stuff, you know. How does it make you feel when you hear that? Oh, I don't care anymore. He's funny as long as he's not, you know, calling me some retard and want to kill me with a gun, you know. He usually <laughs> but, like, when he's trashing you and you're, like, in your car listening, I mean... I usually get in an accident. Do you, like, get pissed so off? Or you no, like, I don't I don't get pissed anymore. This is all that's left of me. <laughs> I'm a shell of a man. Bob Saget... America's Funniest Home Videos, they threw him off that. So they, full house. A, a, full house. <laughs> stand-up comic. He was a very dirty stand-up comic, by the way. Was he? A lot of people don't know that about him. I didn't know that about him. Now he's directing. But what really flips me out about Bob is that uh, he pulled the all-time cool move and got out of his marriage. All-time cool. And don't tell. And don't and try I want, to. I want you to join me, brother. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh -huh. Come with me. Well, it must be you your three children bonding. and your dog and yeah. your fish. Be wait honest. A minute. Uh, you two were oh, bonding on. pretty heavily on that family thing the last time you spoke. Yeah, we we looked at each other's eyes and went, uh, "Yeah, we're in the same club." <laughs> hey, how long had you been married? She's a wonderful person. Yeah, we know. She's got <laughs> half your money. Uh, I, I read more you were, than that. I, I read you were worth fifty million dollars. You walk away with all the million. That's what he was worth. Well, how could he be worth fifty million? Thank Phil you, Robin. Hartman, one point two three. Because nope. the man invested his money. First of all, <laughs> I'll let you guys talk about money that doesn't exist. No, wait a second. Right, you have I, be tabloid I believe that wait you're worth fifty million dollars. I would be if I'd written a song like Little Brown Ring. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that is the way to go. I'm going to sing you, that to my kids tonight. You, as a matter of fact, uh, 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 being okay. on Full House, yes, sir. for I think six seasons or eight, eight seasons. Eight seasons. Eight seasons. Yes. Eight seasons. You would absolutely be worth $50 million. Uh, Between no. that and America's Funniest Home Videos no. and being you, the host? You start at, like, double scale, and they give you carrots. Oh, don't oh, even don't on. play games with me. I know you some money, but $50 million sounded a little high. No, yeah. $50 million's quite a bit high. But let's not discuss more. Well, because he, he's embarrassed. It. All celebrities oh. are embarrassed. Is he going to Little Brown Ring to his children tonight? Is yeah, it visiting I'm gonna day? Act it out Is like it visiting day? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. When do you get the kids? I only talk to them over the phone. Tell me how great they your life is. me. I have a pager in my rec. I had heard for years. I didn't Little Brown Ring. The first time I met you. Yes. Let, let me get serious now. Oh. The, the first time I met you, I didn't bring it up, but I'd heard you fooled around. 
you know, well, you know, I did hear that you used to like. Who did you hear that? Various sources. The girls. <laughs> that you were a ladies' man, and I went, Bob Saget's a ladies' man. I thought he's like Mr. Family because in America's Funniest Home Videos, you're like, honey, I'll be home. Say, I would say, well, actually, I wasn't talking to my wife. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. Last couple of- the last couple of years of, of uh, our marriage, I was more of a flirter than I'd ever been in my right. life. Right. Yeah. It got to you, right? Because you were famous. You're How a nice looking guy. Being married. famous. It was about me being a, an idiot. No. How long were you married? Let's, oh, let's let me be do real. the self loathing Jew thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. I know what my problems Bob. are. No, yes. you don't have a problem. How long were you married? Uh, it, was, it would have been 16 years this May. Did you begin to feel. Even though you love Sherry. What did you feel? I'll tell you what he felt. He, oh, didn't even need to, he doesn't even need to be here. <laughs> okay. I'll you wait love in the car. You love Sherry. You probably still do. You yes. think she's a great person, a great friend. But yes. where's the but, but? You never got to have sort of the fun that it, being in Hollywood too, you see a lot of guys having a lot of fun. That isn't that I swear You see John Stamos going around with his model girlfriend. Actually I was dating John for a while. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> yes, well, he's a hum little brown ring under my arm. <laughs> he's very cute. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Man. You begin to feel like, wow, I'm missing out. I thought, it, you know, it, uh, you do second guess yourself. Is it, a, is it the midlife crisis? Am I living a Blake Edwards movie? And it wasn't, no. it wasn't that at all. It was actually, I'm just, I, I, I just wasn't, ha- we weren't happy together. We right. weren't like living an honest uh, past few years together. The trouble with Sherry was, she no, was no, Sherry every night. That sentence, you <laughs> can't, <laughs> no, you can't do that. That's what I mean, I can't, can't do that. can't a sentence with me, the, the trouble, trouble with, with Sherry. Sherry. <laughs> well, she was Sherry no. every night. And the problem with Bobby was Bob and every the, night. And what's the trouble with, yeah. I, that's true. By that's the way. right. I was my. I was trying to explain. It to Look my at kids. you blaming yourself. Oh, man. Look well, at you blaming he's yourself. What you do if you It's fifty fifty. It's fifty fifty. Left. She, you know, <laughs> Sherry could have been just as sick of you as you are of her. I but think that's accurate. You were willing to admit it. Yeah. Listen. Never mind that. Right. You meet tons of hot chicks. You just well, do. <laughs> You do. <laughs> Where were you locking yourself? For that, I was in my office a lot. Right, me too. It's difficult. Listen, you know, you're with your career. So you're, you're busy. saying it's all about, you know, hot chicks. Well, what happens? Who are you <laughs> dating now? Tell me no, the great. No, I'm not. That's what's so pathetic. How did you go home? But wait a second. What? <laughs> I wouldn't call it dating what I'm doing, and I wouldn't what? call it sex either. You had to go home and tell your wife you were leaving, right? That had to be well, very painful. I didn't painful. go home. I was home. You were home. Yeah, we've been. We talked about it all. You did. You walked in and you said, "Listen, I didn't honey." Walk in. We were there. Like, what did you say? What you were the words? To do an entrance of some <laughs> yeah. kind. What were the words it's you like said? Fifteen feet, made a left, and sat. What did you say to Sherry? What? After, why would I share that on the radio? That's uh, well, because her and I. Maybe I need to know it. No, for yourself. I'll tell no. you private. No, I know. I really want to really know. Need to know it, I'll fax Did you videotape it, you. it and put it on America's Funniest <laughs> Home Videos? Oh, no. I had Baba Booey there. <laughs> you didn't use an accountant to tell her. What? No. Bob Th- what is his name? Joe Theismann did yeah. that. I yeah. had my accountant's assistant call. <laughs> yeah. No, really, what do you do? You, you just go walk in and you say, "Listen, I believe it's over." And uh, then you have to go sit down with the kids. How long does that take? <laughs> no, you should tell the people <laughs> that you're involved with that you're going not be going to change your, everyone's life. And what do you tell? Tell the kids. Tell them. Do you say, I love you kids, we still love you, but we can't live together? Is that pretty much the rap? I wrote a song. I wrote a, a song, little brown ring. Little brown ring. I said, This is the problem, kids. <laughs> Let me tell you, kids, what the problem is. There's lots of hot chicks out there. Yeah. And dad. I would say, I'd be honest with you guys. I said, Listen, your mom's great. But there's so many hot chicks. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Look Get these, ready. Honey. You can pick these up at the store. These are these are called implants. <laughs> yeah. Now daddy's never really held one. Kids, get ready to meet ten or twenty ants. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Oh, that's the other thing. Have you introduced any girlfriends to no, the kids? No, no, no. no. Oh, yeah, of course. That's oh, fun. Guys, you're all just... Another one's how soon... So all right, let me ask you this. You tell your kids... <laughs> you tell your kids... You tell your wife... Are you officially you know, divorced? I a movie I'm promoting. I know. We're going to get to that. Big deal. <laughs> you're directing Norm MacDonald's new movie. That's great. Yeah, it's right, great. Good, 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 good. It's a funny movie. I, I, I heard it's funny, but... And you've been very supportive. I have. I, I'm a big fan of Norm's. I and know, uh, so am I. Yeah, he's, he's great. Yeah. Let me ask you something. <laughs> all right. So, wait a second. There's so many things in my life that you want to talk about. Like yeah, how, about I mean, the video show, how that went away. I'm totally fascinated. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got to get to that. And yeah, yeah. Daisy Finance and everything. Okay. Yeah, your replacements. I, yeah. That must be Never. fascinating. If She's I a, have sex with her, we could have a host for the year 2020. She's a phenomenal talent. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen the show, actually, with her. Well, it did take two people to replace him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> right, I'm let me, sure they didn't get the $50 million I got. <laughs> right. All right. Be honest with me. Yeah. Now you're officially divorced. No, no, oh, you're we're not. not. You're no. still you're separated. Uh, we, we're, yeah, we're we're going to be divorced, I guess, soon. All right, you've worked out the financial arrangements and everything. I don't know. You tell me. Does that hurt? <laughs> you is know that, more than I do. Is that hard I to ever. accept? I mean, after all your hard work, like it's I know, a very painful thing. I'm sitting yeah. here laughing, but it's it's hard. It is hard because yeah. you worked hard, and well, you know you know the odds of making it in this business is difficult. Except well, you know, Bob is having so much guilt and trouble with this whole thing. He probably <laughs> started out with the attitude, "Honey, take it, whatever you want, whatever you need." Well, and then when the, you sit around, that's real dumb guy. 
guys. about what that actually means. Yeah. Part, probably part that, but also yeah. I do feel that, I mean, I, she was my material, and my kids, you know, she was so supportive of me for so long. Yeah, but admit, she deep down in your heart, you feel like your kids don't deserve this money, and neither does your wife. You worked for they it. They didn't figure out how to make Boy, money I'll out of it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Your, your record of this whole thing is so different than mine. <laughs> you haven't been in therapy, have you? Oh, no, not at all. Oh. <laughs> my therapist killed herself last week. Is that right? How many days a week you going? Actually, my wife thanked me. Uh, I thank my wife for not uh, shooting me a couple really? times. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were smart enough to tell your wife you were leaving, and then you went to a hotel, right? Uh. <laughs> I mean, you don't lay in bed. Good night. I'm going to go lay down in bed. Go cut my penis off and put a bullet through my head. Oh, now man. That would actually do more damage to my penis. Aren't you, uh, in fact, kissing your wife's ass a little bit here now so she'll go easier on you in, in the divorce? <laughs> That's what this is about. Yeah. That's all this this is about. I said to her, you know, if the Howard Stern thing goes well, will you not uh, slam me too hard? All right, no, but be, be honest with me. Yes. Do you think you're, do you think you June 12th. Do you, I know. Do you think your wife will join ladies? Have you seen that, like Leonard Nimoy's wife, that organization <laughs> where they badmouth their famous husbands for leaving them? I don't think so. I know. Right. I know. Is she dating yet? Um, I, d I don't even... I should go out with her. Oh, you know oh that'd be funny. <laughs> she, would, she would like you, actually. She thinks you're really uh, funny and hot. Really? We have something in common, which is three girls and a relatively small penis. Yes. <laughs> you too, huh? Well, the thing is, I, what I've been saying about the movie is it's like my penis is short, but you get two more performances a day out of it. <laughs> yeah. That's the, joke. That's the only joke you'll hear me do, and she won that in the settlement. Right. <laughs> now listen to this. What if she did a black guy? Would that make you nuts? Oh. Not if, not if I had it on tape. Really? No, is it going to bother you if you know what her, you know, I mean, because you guys are pretty possessive, even though you're leaving. Right. No, it's her life. <laughs> really? Entitled to what? You really thought that through. Think about my kids. Yeah. Talk. Yeah, see, that Imagine guy's going to be living with them. Right. <laughs> that guy's going to be daddy. You mean the, I'm your daddy now? <laughs> yeah. Well, how often are you going to get the kids? Have you worked that out? Get the kids? No, yeah. it's like half to half and half. Well, how well, are you going to do you that? Living? Who I'm wants that? I six minutes from uh, then. Oh, okay. I how was you living in Malibu, and then El Nino came the day I moved. <laughs> and took away your house? I took away the stairs that I was renting. <laughs> really? I couldn't get down to the beach, and I, was like, I would take the kids. That's nice. Thanks. And so I'm now you bought a house? But, uh, no, I'm, I'm actually, I rented another house for a year because I didn't know what I was doing. Right. I was in a sea of oblivion. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to, I, I could imagine what that sea of oblivion is. Yeah, I know. Hot chicks is all you think about. You're not getting laid. What? Is that what you're here to say? When, when did you go out on your first date? Um, I, I, got, I guess about uh, six months ago. So oh, like man. That must have been a bit. You did Dana Delaney, right? No. no. I wouldn't go. Only no. in the scleroderma makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Dana's a friend. Dana's is she? Cool. You never got it on with her? Uh, well, her boyfriend, Henry, played me in the movie, so... Oh, is that right? I, I did him, so through the transitive <laughs> theory, if A does B and B does C, then A equals C. So you went out on a date? I went on a date. Oh, it was, like, God. not eventful. Anything. How to be weird? It, it's all weird. And I'm not... I'm actually just trying to figure out... I mean, I'm a heterosexual guy. I'm not okay. going to go think about a winking and blinking little brown round ring. Right. Uh, <laughs> little, little brown, little brown, brown. And uh, I, I just, you know, I, yeah. I like girls, you know? Right. That's a cool Me too. Thing. Yeah. I know you do. You're just a horny bastard in your I basement, am. aren't you? I am. I'm horny. You got to get out of your basement. I watch porno. You got it. That's that's hot. You ever watch it backwards? <laughs> yeah, for a happy ending. Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's a lot cleaner that it's way. It's like impossible. It's like a vacuum penis. <laughs> so anyway, what you're here to say is... Uh, dirty work. Norm MacDonald, uh, June 12th. Yeah. How was that directing Norm? Good? It's great. Yeah. He's really, really funny. Yeah, because yeah, Robin asked me how you got what to be a director. What is directing thing? How well, did this happen? I, did I told you, you, know, you could do... You could be a director. I did two TV movies. Mm. You know, that yeah, but how do you sisters. even start that? You were a stand-up comedian. No, I went to film school. I did oh, an you HBO did? special that sucked that I produced, that I directed and uh, starred in years oh, ago. The one yeah. about the one about your sister? No, 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 that was like seven years ago on yeah, HBO. Right. It wasn't. So he good. went to film school, Howard. So oh. I won a student Oscar when I was in. Is that right? Yeah, it has like acne on it. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I did win that thing. It's yeah. a little, little teeny thing, and it says on the plaque, "You will never win a real one of these." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's a mutant uh, little piece of crap. Directing is easy. Divorcing is tough. Oh, wow. well, actually. I was, get an Oscar for that. It was yeah. all happening at the same time, so I was doing dirty work right when all that was going. Wow. All oh, big was, deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, well, who cares? You're in your basement on the web. So do you got your own place? Uh, yeah, I do. You have your own pad? Yes. And people Is that can come good? Over. You like living alone? I, I do like it. You yeah. were talking about being alone in the bed and not wanting anybody in there. I kind of, I really do like that. You relate to that. Well, nobody, you know, is there, you know, farting or snoring or... Yeah, no one's waking did. you up. She did. If it is, it's you. Did. did your wife fart and snore? <laughs> never. She, hers were silent but deadly. No, she never made a sound. Ever. I see. She's a dainty, sweet, that's sweet. She was a lovely, right. adorable... Because in America's Funniest Home Videos, you always said, honey, I'll be... I always I figured her. you were... I love her. I'm just the, what I am, and she's what she is, and we kind of grew apart. I just mm. try to tell the kids, it's, you know, I was sitting there 
could do one of those father kid lectures, you know, right? Would on Full House, except I was. I can't imagine the crying and screaming that went on. Oh, they yeah. get upset. We talk about it. Yeah. How really old are they? Eleven, eight, and five. Uh, just like my kids. Just about the same. Just about the same age. Like, Daddy, it's okay. We're like over it now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be in the therapy three, four days a week. Uh, if we stayed together, it'd be even worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Either way, you go wrong. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's hard raising kids. You so just you, want to love them as much as you can. So the kids come over on the weekends? No, I have them. Uh, yeah, I have them. I'm with them. <laughs> yeah. yeah okay, on the ahead. weekend. I can leave now. <laughs> yeah. That's it. No, I said, but I said those words. You're with them on no, the weekend. I'm going to draw blood from my own body now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm, I'm hurting. But it internally. is difficult. How do you. You, you know, can't... dirty work opens June 12th. I know. Yes. Right. But you can't really raise them anymore. You yes, know, I am. You're that's not, not going to be there when everything happens. Oh, not when everything happens. That's a drag. Well, isn't it bad to have them on the weekends when no, you can be dating? I'm, no, that's what I don't want to be dating. <laughs> yes, you do. Listen, I go out. You're like, you, what, what do you go to like Burger King with it, some hot chick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we go to Howard premieres. Stern. I'm like Big Bird when I walk around. Everybody knows me from TV. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a, like two hours a day. I'm not going to go anywhere. But weekends. Like, besides that, the weekends are the time I can really have. Qual- 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 I can't say. Qual- <laughs> <laughs> this is hard for you to talk about. Stuttering John. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't quality, time. quality time. Little brown ring. <laughs> no, I, 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 I want to be with them and really enjoy my time with them. They're right. great. Man. This all started me trying to say that I was I sat down with them and said, you know what it is? It's like, mommy's one of those, you know how you listen to the FM station? It's real sweet and nice music. And then you listen to another station. It's like really hard edged, you know? Right. And then uh, somebody comes in and they buy the station and they change the format and right. like, their eyes are crossing and they're like, why is daddy talking about this? You know, <laughs> bad metaphor, dad. After all the years, though, smart, though, of being with the same woman, when, it, when the woman, when you're on a date and a woman puts her hand down your pants for the first time, a new one, it's got to be, oh, Zip-ity How do we know that has happened? Oh, please. How do we know that's happened? Because you're Bob Saget. Oh. <laughs> you're a famous guy. Oh. You're directing movies. My zipper sounds like some kind of <laughs> zip whiz. I don't know what that was. <laughs> All right, let's take a couple of phone calls. Now, the new movie with Norm MacDonald. Norm wrote this movie. What is this with, movie with, about? Uh, he wrote it with Frank Sebastiano and Fred Wolf. Right, you know Frank. Yeah, Frank uh, was in here. In fact, Frank wrote some bits with us. When, right, um, okay, yes. Frank's yeah. a funny man. Frank's very funny. Yeah. Frank used to write the, all the weekend update stuff for right. Norm on uh, Saturday Night Live. So now, what is this movie about? This is two guys, Norm and Artie Lang, who's been in here also, right. and, uh, who go into the revenge business because uh, Jack Warden is Artie Lang's dad. He needs a heart transplant. Right. It costs 50 grand, and Chevy Chase is a doctor who's going to... Yeah, Norm idolizes Chevy. You is know why? right? Why? Chevy's funny in the movie. Because... because he did the original yeah. weekend update? No. No. That's the obvious answer. <laughs> He idolizes him because, and this is a good reason, he says the thing he loved about Chevy Chase was when he used to do the Gerald Ford impression. Yeah. Chevy would never even try to do the impression. He would just be Chevy Chase. And and just yes. fall down. Yeah, and that I was agree. Gerald Ford. Yeah, I agree. And Norm thought that, thought that was hysterical. Did you think that was funny yeah, when you used to Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. I really did. I, that we thought he was, you know, he's funny. Yeah. So you put him in the movie. Yeah. So they put a lot of he people was, like well, Norm. They were nice to do it too. I mean, it was like Chevy and Chris Farley and uh, right. and uh, Chris McDonald and uh, Artie Lang and Trailer Howard's in it. And uh, Don Rickles did a bit. Don was fun to be. Yeah, he's cool. They're There's funny. a bunch of guys who, um, who the, the premise is a bunch of guys who. They screw people over to for revenge. They screw people over, so they open a, oh. reve- a revenge. It's a revenge business. Ooh, Ooh, you like hire this. them and you get revenge. Okay. It's yeah. a funny premise. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Norm's very funny. And, and he's how'd you get the job man. directing that? I mean, it's a good question. A lot of people. I, I read stuff, and it's like people are just dying to like trash me. Oh right. yeah, the video guy. Yeah. Well, no, you're a real funny stand-up comic too. People don't yeah. know that. And and actually, Bob was real dirty as a stand-up comic. Yeah, I still am. I'm like yeah. filthier right now. I've been going up and doing stand-up, and I don't know where I can do it because all I want to do is curse and fall down because I've been on eight o'clock television. So yeah, right. People you know, think you're like this. I had. I like would. I'd Tourette's. have been shocked. Yeah. I would have been. No, shocked. that's what I'm like though. <laughs> no, he's real filthy. <laughs> and I was even filthy while I would do the shows. I'd get on stage and curse and stuff. His hair would like <laughs> yeah. children of the corn. Their eyes would roll back. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they're like, hey, who's this guy? It's Michelle's daddy. Right. No. So it's got to be weird too now. Now you got to make up all that money you lost. <laughs> but you know, it's got to be weird. I gotta, I gotta he has work. had a tough life. He had to work with those twins. Oh, oh no way! Oh, oh please. Oh, How are they? Have you seen them recently? No, I haven't. Are they getting good looking? Are they still good looking? Or they're getting cuter? Do you think those kids are going to grow up to be good looking, or are they going to be little trolls? Let me ask a question. They probably won't grow very tall. Serious. I'm getting aside. How would you like it if somebody went to you? Hey, how your kids doing, Howard? Oh, you see, look now. Is the middle one still ugly? I don't know. My 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 kids are actually really all good looking and really super smart. But he's saying, what if somebody said that to you? And I'm 
so lucky. My kids, the noses haven't come in yet. Yeah. My, they, all three of my daughters have nice noses. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, you're not kidding. Oh. <laughs> Sam was a friend of mine. That's what that, my comment. Who's a good friend? Oh, Sam Kinison. Yeah, 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 we yeah, were great the first guy. HBO special that uh, we were both on. Man, he was great. Yeah, he was a funny man. Yeah, he was a lot of fun. He was nice. I wish he was alive so I could take him over and meet my kids. Yeah, <laughs> he's being good influence. Actually, Sam came over to my house and partied with my kids a few times. Mm -hmm. My kids were so afraid of Sam Kinison. He was at your house? Yeah. Oh, my God. Sam was doing a show one time at Westbury Music Fair out of Long Island, and I said, Sam, why don't you come over for dinner? Was, I remember this now. He was with Malika and whatever her His name two was. girlfriends. <laughs> right. He was having menage a trois, two sisters, you know. What was it, Malika and Sabrina? Yeah. <laughs> and I said, why don't you come over for dinner? You know, you probably never get a good dinner. Of course he doesn't. He's always coked he, he up. He didn't need food. He didn't. <laughs> I don't even know how he was fat. Do you have any water? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm on heart medication. <laughs> so uh, he comes over to my house, and my kids took one look at him, and they disappeared. I they ran you. out of the room. They ran. It was like Satan had entered the home, and I'm pretty scary looking. I just want to know why funny people always die. Nice, funny people, and the ones that, you know, the bitter, mean, non-funny people are just walking around till they're 90. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's not fair. You're not kidding. So anyway, so so this uh, dirty work, I, th I want to thank you for your support. You've yes. been really, really uh, Well, I'm great. a big fan. I think Norm McDonald. first of all, they're not letting Norm advertise his movie on, on NBC. NBC. See. Which is totally outrageous. But the meanwhile, the press doesn't hurt because it's kind of geared to the movie. I mean, yeah. it's about guys getting back at, you know, bureaucracy. Yeah, yeah. I said, you know, maybe you ought to thank Don Olmeyer. <laughs> right. <laughs> maybe he's doing something good. Yeah. Who knows? No, but, who does know? All right, here's some people that want to talk to you on the all phone. Right. Yeah, Howard. Yeah. Those uh, Olsen twins, they look like a couple of flying monkeys, huh? Oh, come oh, on. Come on, they're little kids. Oh, little what kids. Do, what do you look like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think they're going to grow up good looking in the Olsen twins? They're, they're lovely. getting cuter. They're they are. lovely they are, children. Yeah. And you know what? I you could date them. That show. Oh, okay. They'll be old enough I soon. I did that show for eight years. No. So, like, I can't go and trash the people. No, of course they're not. They're like family to me. What's the youngest girl you've dated since you've been divorced? Seven. Seven years old. <laughs> yeah, but it didn't look. It wasn't really a date. Like I'm saying. Did she have hair? Date. Oh. Yeah, because I brought her. No, I, kids I haven't answered your question. <laughs> oh. why, do, why do you guys cut me off? No, really. What was the, the youngest? Was, does she have hair? Yeah, I had a merkin. I a had merkin. Yes, a, 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 a wig. Yeah, he really a child's, want a child's, them child's wig. Right. That's sick. <laughs> what? Uh, seriously, what is the youngest you've dated? What? What is the youngest girl you've dated since you're oh, a free man? Why do we want to go in that young? Oh, please. Twenties. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh man! You, look, you need like a depends now, don't you? Hey, you know why divorce is so expensive? Uh, because it's worth it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, no. That's right. No, but hey, it's Howard. not. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah. Howard, uh, he's denying it, but he's dating that Dana Delaney. She's hot. Well, I guess you read it, huh? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that's right. And you know what? What's wrong with that? Yeah, yeah, uh, oh, I'd admit, if I was single, man, I'd admit that. That's Absolutely. a major score. Yeah. But he says he's not. I'm. I'm he says he's not. What I'm a not. rack she's got, huh? Hey, well, yeah, you got yeah, a beautiful that, rack. That's great, buddy. Let's I'm talk like, racks. I'm not, <laughs> uh, Don't act like you're above this. Ask Bob this. Ask Bob this. She says that she's got a room in her house called the breast room. Hey. Yeah, and what is that? With all paintings of breasts up on the wall. Is that true? Go ahead, ask Bob. Bob, <laughs> does Dana Delaney have a breast room in her house? Uh, I, I don't think so. I've been to her house. She doesn't have a breast room. How did you meet her? Um, I met her like 15 years ago or something. Nice. No, no, 10 years ago. We were doing, um, she was doing China Beach and I was doing all those uh, family shows. All right. So we were at those uh, junkets, those ABC junkets. She I might just want to know how this guy has got his <laughs> hand on the pulse of everyone. He's, uh, he's a high-powered guy. What's your name, sir? You don't even recognize his voice, do you? What's you know who this is? My grandmother? This is Sherry Lansing, the head of Paramount Pictures. <laughs> wow. What's your name, sir? Tommy Shalami. Oh. Tommy Shalami. Oh. oh. I see your no, this work. is Mike Ovitz. Oh, oh, my God. You bought me a watch. Thanks. Now, actually, Dana Delaney has a brush room, and Bob has a penis room. Oh. I That's how they met. I keep all four of mine in it. <laughs> right. Thank you. Jesus. Anything else you want to say, sir? Uh -huh. I guess he's gone. Good. Mm, I like when you hang up on a guy who's on a crane 150 feet in the air. I know. I'm on a crane. <laughs> Bye, loser. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Lindsay, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Hi. I bet you didn't know about this, but uh, Bob Saget's wife died. Literally. No, my sister did. No, it was your wife. Uh, sweetheart. His sister. How do you know whether his wife is you dead had, or not? You had two sisters who died. two sisters have died. Right. And, and you wrote one, and you made a TV made movie. a TV movie that Dana Delaney starred in. No, no, no. Your wife died during the birth of your first child, and you were there because she died because of the medication they gave no, her. No, we had a traumatic first ba child birth. Yeah, and, you, and, and her heart and stopped. And her heart stopped, and, they, and after a, a, a series of horrible times, she came out of it that day. Yeah, you brought terrible. her out because you were upset. And you pounded on her chest. 
So you saved your wife's life. Were you there? I did not pound our chest. The doctors did. What is this woman talking about? No, she's saying that Bob saved his wife's life. He did. We had a traumatic first birth. Yeah. But why are you saying Bob? Your point is what? The Bob saved her life, and therefore she shouldn't take all his money. The doctors. Absolutely. Right. He deserves nothing. You ought to have this woman in court with you. That is not true. She deserves exactly what she's getting, without even any Jewish guilt involved. Really? I don't buy that. You know, saving her life cost him twenty-five million dollars. I don't figure out what this woman is saying. Saying. Right. That is She's so cool. Saying no, wait a second. If he had let her die, right. there'd be no need for no, a divorce. I got absolutely. Didn't that no, cross your mind at no, all, Bob? No, no, no. Oh, no, my no, God. So cool. I can't believe no. this. Oh, every, every, no, no. I think I find it so cool that everything that I thought of that could have been asked in this show, yeah. that is like this. I didn't expect you to come up, lady. That's like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's like so cool. You brought me into something I didn't think I'd be going on. <laughs> yes, I am a member of the Communist Party. Yeah. Yeah. It almost happened with the second child. Is that not right? That is not right. Oh, you Oh, shut up. Oh, you shut up. you know. Recognize, you don't recognize this woman's no, voice? Who is this? This Sweetheart. is Dana Delaney. Oh. <laughs> Sweetheart, there was, a knot, there was a knot in the umbilical cord. So, so the baby was in trouble? No, everything no was it wasn't, Robin. What are you, the nurse that's up my ass my whole life? No, no, right. no, 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 no. <laughs> I am good friends with your neighbor. Uh, well, that's first good. Name, Barbara. Well, these are good friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's as soon nice. as something a, happens in your house, she calls this woman. A good All friend right. calls a radio station. So, Bob, what you're saying is, at uh, the birth of your first child, your wife almost died. Yep. Yes. She did die. I held her heart stopped. Really? So, yeah, for a couple minutes. Wow. And if she had died, you would have been free and single at that point. Is that true? I probably wouldn't be doing this show today. If really? <laughs> that would have been devastating. I would have gone and uh, owned a deli somewhere. No, I think you would have recovered and you'd be dating. I think that you'd be in the same exact place with all of your money. Well, as long as there's hot chicks in your mind. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> if there's hot chicks involved. Oh, waste of time. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, there's a woman with inside oh, information. How did they do that? <laughs> and then they call up and say, a good friend of yours. Well, there you go. Oh, my God. All right. The new movie is uh, Bob Saget directed. It's your first feature film. It you is. directed uh, the, only, the thing that we know you directed before was a story about actually a serious movie yeah, about Disclare the death of your Dermo. sister, Disclare Dermo, which You had two sisters who died. Why did only one sister get a movie? Because oh. uh, the other one was an aneurysm, and I really don't know much about them. But I researched. Can I option her rights thing. because maybe I will make a movie yeah, about her? You know what? It's just it's that's very, sad. I was. Uh, How many really siblings sad. did you have? Uh, that was it. That's wow. it. Wow. Yeah. So I, anybody else who wants to call up, <laughs> do, you, do you ever worry? Destroy what's left of me. Do you ever worry about your health? I mean, yeah. Well, I had all my uncles died from like uh, three of them died from heart attacks at like 38 to 40 wow. you won't mind if I don't shake your hand at the end of this interview <laughs> it was interesting we, uh, Norm and I were in Good Morning America yesterday and, I watched uh, it it was very funny I watched the tape of kind it kind of interesting and, yeah. and, and uh, she said something about you made that serious movie and Norm said yeah about your dead sister <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good oh, oh man oh, that, that was bring funny Good Morning America to a halt well, <laughs> that, that, that woman's wig almost flew off oh, we're on, uh, we're on uh, he's on he's on Regis today and I popped in at the end of his uh, oh did you yeah oh that must have been fun and then uh, I'm on David Letter tomorrow night. Yeah, Norm is so dark. I thought you were on Letterman tonight. No, but they're taping it tonight. Oh. Uh, so, but nobody knows that. Uh, yeah, right. Until this second. Yeah. Uh, what the hell? They're talking about you know, like near-death experiences. <laughs> Bill, you're on the air. Hi, Bob. How are you? I'm cool uh, now. Bob, now that your wife is, is available, I, I would like to ask her out. Is she good at oral? <laughs> oh. oh. Is she open to the third input? Oh, come on. What That's outrageous. That be? You have like a flegal <laughs> for a penis? Uh, she is uh, a wonderful person, <laughs> and you sound incredibly... Uh, not yourself. By the way, that was Andy Dick. I don't know if you oh. recognize that voice. Thank God. Bob Saget, it's always a pleasure hey, to is see your you. Is wife available? <laughs> yeah, well, you got to deal you with know, that you now. You've got to think about moment. that. His wife will be a target because she's going to have a lot of bucks. Oh, yeah. She's so oh. cool, too. I th you know what? You know what's weird? Done for me? You want to date her? Back. I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> hey, look I'm at the guy from Love Boat. The bald guy from Love Boat. He went back he to his wife. He went back after uh, a few years. You put me in the wrong company. He found Jesus Christ. I don't want to live with three people. It's. You know what's weird? It's like you do have to think about that. <laughs> Your wife now will be a rich woman, single. That's right. Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, a degree of fame be being married to you. And uh, now, uh, the, you know, your money, all the money you, you earned, will probably go into, like, some guy's mail order yeah, she'll, business. she'll marry, like, the pool boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't love hey, it. The pool guy's nice. We have the same pool guy. He's great. Is that right? Mike. He's Mike, really nice. Mike, the pool guy. Yeah. He's, he better he's, not be too nice. He's probably the next guy that's going to call in and tell me stuff I told him in confidence. <laughs> you bet. Well, thank you. Thanks for helping us with uh, dirty work. Absolutely. And, uh, oh, here's one guy. He saw you in Hawaii with a hot babe. Uh-oh. All right, Jeff, where'd you see Bob? Mr. Saget, hi. Hey, I sir. I'm at the Manolani with yes. this tall woman who was really gorgeous. Was that your wife? Um, you know, it's she interesting. She was wearing like a long brown cover-up and she hung out with you and your kids on the hammock. 
Um, I don't know who that was. <laughs> that was, that was yeah, one of my kids. Close. You would have to know who you no, took to I, Hawaii. I can tell you this for certain. When I'm with my children, there's no, uh, there's, I turn off my gonads. Oh, kind of. really? Well, I turn, I couldn't on. do that. Well, I mean, that's because you're, you know, in your basement. I couldn't, I could not turn them off. No, I don't turn them off, but I'm, I mean, that's admirable. When you're with your children, it's well, not time to try to hit on someone. Does really? he have a nanny? Think. Is the nanny Maybe that was, out? was that a nanny maybe, perhaps? Oh, the, uh, I had to get rid of a nanny. she was Oh, you did? No, there was some nanny that was going, uh, and then later I'll come over. Please don't let me go now. Oh, <laughs> like a, boy. I had oh, really? an nanny. Oh, really? Yeah. Was, was she hot? Uh, to some people, but not to me. Really? Mm. Now she was real hot. She was tall, slinky. Oh, she suddenly she's the nanny, no according to him. Hey, dude. No, this girl had no cover-up on the one we got rid of. If I was single, my nanny would be Miss Hawaiian Tropic. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. She was on the beach on the Manalani in Kona. <laughs> Really? Yeah. And you don't remember who the woman was? Yeah. No, I talked to a lot of people. Uh, Somebody might have people. just come over to yeah. visit. The good news is she was in a cover-up. There. Right. <laughs> there you go. In front of the kids. Oh, I like God. that. Oh, God. A woman in a cover-up near the kids. How horrible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Look at that. It's all in the papers. Well, listen, Bob, you're having a great time, I can tell. <laughs> I can really tell. You're here trying to say it's terrible, but I understand. No, it's great. I, I'm glad I came on. I'm a big fan of yours. You look. It's, I'm the like, same here. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the movie. It's I'm, really funny. I'm very proud of it. And I'm looking forward. Worked hard. I'm looking forward to hearing more stories about what's going on with In my your sex new life. life. With your sex life. <laughs> and maybe if we can let all this past behind me go away, right? I'd be more than happy I to understand. share. You know what people I well, I like having intimacies in the future with people, and then coming on here to talk about it. You see how many girls <laughs> you can nice score with. Just think of it. Next time you come in here, just bring the chicks with. You. Oh, absolutely. That'll be you know, good. I hear when time, you do that with people. That's right. me. That's the next I, time he's with a woman, he can think to himself, is she going to make the clip reel? You know, is she going to be in the <laughs> oh, story? God, she's right. perfect for Howard's show. <laughs> yeah. Hey, she, we could audition her. <laughs> right here with my kids. <laughs> Man. Oh, that's so great. They call them a cover-up for a reason. What is it, Anna? Hello? Yes. Howard? Yes. Oh, my God. I just wanted to have an intimate ass-kissy moment with you because I love you so much. There you go, baby. <laughs> I'd like to take you to Hawaii with me. Put oh, you in a cover up. I love to hear you laugh. Yeah. I can't. I mean, I've never Thank loved you. any celebrities more than I love you guys. And How's I your little brown ring, honey? Oh. Attachment. <laughs> yeah, she's oh attached to us. She has a but you see how hard it is. This woman it's adores me, and she must be very beautiful. Are you very beautiful? Oh, I'm not very beautiful. I'm cute. I'm not beautiful enough to come on your show and get oh, a spanking. You're not, are, are you fat? My fantasy. Are you fat? No, I'm not fat. Are you ugly? Well, I'm not ugly. Now I'm just average. Well, isn't it weird if someone goes, "Yes, I'm ugly and no. fat." What do you do with that? Well, it, so you're saying you're average? Yeah. All right, we're gonna hang up. On oh. <laughs> no, no, why waste time? Oh, Who needs dear. average? Just remember so. that was Howard, not me. <laughs> yeah. You never asked me about the video show. Why? I, why I'm not? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, I um, couldn't watch people get hit in the nuts anymore, basically for a living. Is that true? Did uh, you part quit? True. You know, it's weird. I did that once with CBS. They wanted. I, I wanted to leave that show, and I was on this thing when I started in the morning right. program. And the day I went in and said, I can't do this anymore. They said, Bob, it's time to leave. Really? <laughs> it's just not working So you out. were not fired from America's I Funny was kind of. It was like, I, I would say probably yes, because they didn't pick up the option. They right. didn't want to pay me. But they knew they you didn't. wanted to leave. Uh, I think they did. It was pretty obvious from my attitude. <laughs> right. I wasn't difficult or anything, but it took eight years of it. It was, was enough. wonderful. And I liked doing it because it was kind of funny. But I See, I would I love a gig like that. I thought it was funny on it, like, you know, not a lot. I right. thought it was funny some of it. I couldn't be the kind of funny I thought because it was 8 o'clock at night. So I hear you. I liked it sometimes. I like watching people get hit in the nuts. Did you have to write all the stuff that you I wrote said? I two guys, Todd Thick and Bob Arnott, but I did write it. So people come up and go, who writes your jokes, man? Oh. And I go, I don't know, your mother? I don't know. You know See, that's so. the difference in the it's show hard. now and the show then. You can tell. Uh, somebody's working those two people who do it now. And I did the voices. I think Daisy Fuen like, Oh, really yeah, right. Crappy. The little high voice. Look out. Oh, no. Just like crap <laughs> voices. Like eight <laughs> bad retard voices. You just got sick of yourself from oh, that. Oh, I can't. I'm sick of my... Yeah, it's hard. No, it's, okay, I admire that. All right. Personally, I would have hung with the show. <laughs> oh, you do until well, it dies. Until it dies. It it dies. I don't, I don't. All I got to do is show videos and talkovers. Put it in the grave. Hey, man, pay me, <laughs> pay me. You're not like that. You have integrity, damn it. I do. Yeah, you talk None. to beautiful people all day long. I've heard <laughs> yeah, some of your I got some integrity. I know a lot about you, Bob. I'm your neighbor's <laughs> friend, and I want to tell you things that happened. Meanwhile, was a true story. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, but uh, she uh, died. Uh, Wait a minute, she's alive. <laughs> yeah, but she died. It's such a good <laughs> argument. It's good. Hey, you know, take uh, that into court. You know, Daisy Fuentes' material is written by Don Allmeyer. All right, listen, Bob Saget. Thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me. Good luck me. with the movie Dirty Work with Norm MacDonald, Bob Saget's first feature film. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. All right, Bob, you're all set? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Man. You really? Thanks. You had a good time? <laughs> He's got a claw for a hand. <laughs>
I had a real good time. Yeah. Yeah. You think your wife is going to? Uh, your, I mean, I'm sorry. Your ex-wife is going to be giving you any phone calls? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I was just trying to answer honestly to the questions. She's great. It's just very weird because it's personal stuff. That right. Nobody really should know about. Aren't we too close to that radio? You can't really hear me. Yeah. All right. Let's go in here. Look at all this stuff. This is great. This is where they. Uh, we're going to do a quick scene from Body Double. Um, I just wanted to get away from the radio, so there's one in here. Right. Of course. I don't know. I have no idea. So I, it's tough to answer those personal questions. Like yeah, you know, you don't want to answer those personal questions. But if you don't answer them on this show, then you're not doing this show. So unfortunately, I, I did this show. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. I love Howard. Okay, you want to figure out which lesbian never slept with a man? All right. Want to play that gold game? Gold star lesbian. Gold contest. star lesbian next. Right here, baby. Hi, I'm Andrea. Hi, I'm Amy. Hi, I'm Kate. Uh, we're all lesbians, and we're down here on the Howard Stone Show today to, so that the gang can figure out which one of us has never slept with a man. What is it, Pop Pop Fall Night? I was just going to tell you, we're like a half an hour behind. Oh, okay. You want to play the game? Yeah, let's play the game. All right, what are you going to do? You're going to march in three women. Right, they each have a statement to make. Okay. And then you can ask them questions. All right, go ahead. I like this game. We're going to try to guess which lesbian did mm -hmm. not ever have sex with a man. All three of the following women all say... All these are bona fide, dyed-in-the-wall uh, lesbians. These are all lesbians. Two of them have made love to a man. One of them has never even touched a man. All right. I already know which one it is. I got it all figured out. I was going to ask you a question a little earlier. I'm just doing... I bet you're doing the same thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm sizing them all up. <laughs> There's one that looks like she never touched a man. Right. But she must have touched a man. Yeah. See? You think that's, uh, it's not going to be as obvious as it looks. All right, let's hear from, this is Amy first. <laughs> Amy, hi. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. Very pretty. Very pretty. Amy's wearing a short dress with little combat boots, nice legs. Uh-huh. Does she uh, look like a lesbian? No. No, I would, would love to, I would I love to bang her. Yeah. All right. I'd love to convert her, but I don't have time right now. Oh, that's too bad. I'm a lesbian. You're a lesbian. I've never been with a man, never kissed a man, never touched a man. Is that right? Yep. That's your statement. That's my statement. Keep going. Keep going. What else is the rest of your statement? Um, the only time I ever came close to actually being with a man was um, going to the prom. My girlfriend from high school didn't want to go. It was too touchy. My mother was a teacher at the high school, so it was a little uncomfortable. Um, I went with this guy, and we had a great time. We were friends, and at the end of the night, he dropped me off, and... He tried to kiss me, and I was like, yeah, whatever, and got out of the car and never talked to him again. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Just because he tried to kiss her? How old are you? I'm 22. And you say you've never been with a man? Never been with a man. You've never even kissed a man? Never even kissed a man. When was it that you knew you were a lesbian? At the age of six. Were you ever embarrassed, or did you admit it in school and stuff? Or did you go around saying, I'm a lesbian? If people ask me, I'd say, yeah. Really? You never I, were ashamed? You never were in the closet? Nothing? No. You are what when did you have your first girlfriend? My first girlfriend at the age of 13. How'd you find a girlfriend? <laughs> they all do. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, my goodness. Well, how'd you, how did you meet your girlfriend? Um, it was a sleepover and... Always. We were... <laughs> <laughs> Typical story. You know, I don't know why I let my girls go out on sleepovers. You do that, don't sure, you? Sure. Well, After yeah, hearing all these stories. I do. I figured they're out there having lesbian sex. Oh. Hey, well, I don't care. Let them do it. <laughs> So, so you never felt strange about it? You never even got curious and said, hey, I'd like to try a man? No, I enjoyed being with a woman. So in, essentially, you're a virgin. Yeah. The first time you were with a woman, like, like this girl, like, what did you do? You had to seduce her. Like, you were attracted to her. Did you used to see her change and everything? You get naked? Yeah. And you'd go like, wow, I really want that? Yeah. And you'd probably be like, wow, this is great. But did you, did you know she was a lesbian? You didn't even know. No. Yes. How did you seduce her? Oh, well, you just sort of, well, at a sleepover, it's easy. You just move close to them and oh. put your hand into their sleeping bag and and if they don't stop you 
then you go in. Weren't you afraid they'd stop you and then tell everyone in the school that you tried to get it on with them? Uh, it didn't matter. Didn't matter. Oh, yeah. So you were out all your life? Yep. Okay, Amy, thank you. Thanks. Mm. You wearing panties? <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> Another very attractive woman, Andrea, almost wearing the identical short skirt <laughs> with combat boots. Yep. I'd say a C to a D cut breast. I'm not sure. You don't even know? Well, you're wearing no. a bra. My mom always buys them. <laughs> your mom buys your bras? How old are you? 29. And you've never bought your own bra? Uh, no. You live at home? <laughs> no, no, no. You're telling me your mom buys you all your bras? Yeah. And she I won't tell you what why. size they are? She always <laughs> buys them, so then I never... Do you ever look to see what size you are? Uh, no. Never been curious? I think I'm a B. I don't know. B? Sweetheart, you're at least a C. Oh. <laughs> that I know. Well, you're probably the expert. <laughs> I, I'm, if there's an expert in in this area, it's me. All right. Well, let her go ahead and make her statement. All right, make your statement. Okay. Um, I've never been with a guy. I uh, had a girlfriend when I was 14, and um, she decided to run away from home. And uh, she came to my house, and I didn't know she had written a letter to her dad saying that she was with me and she was running away. So uh, his, her dad phoned my parents, and I had to come out. And mm. I've been out of the closet ever since. Wow. And you've never, ever been curious to kiss a man? No. Uh, never succumbed to the pressure to even date a guy to try to look like you were like everybody else? No. I like girls too much. Not too that. curious to see what a penis would be like? Not mm. like. I've, mm. I, I have my nursing diploma, so that's about the closest. Yeah, but, <laughs> you know, to, to, to never felt like something was missing? No. You never had a man's hand go up your dress, your mini dress? No. My brother's friend went. I went to the movies with my brother's friend once, and uh -huh. uh, when, I just thought it was a f night out, but he thought it was a date, and on the way home, he stopped at the place where everyone necks in mm -hmm. city, and um, he, tried, he leaned over, put his hand on my leg, and that was about it. I just pushed it off and laughed. That was the closest you ever came to having sex with a man? <laughs> wow. And you pushed his hand away, and you laughed? Yeah. So you never even kissed a guy? I had... He had to go to counseling after. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You no guys wonder, are easy to push up. No wonder I'm at a psychiatrist's office. I've had tons of that. All right, very good. Thank you, Andrea. Fred, Jackie, how we doing back there? Pretty good. All right, you guys are in the game. Yeah, we're here. All right, we're looking. Hello. All right, kind of now, Kate, now. you look to me like a real masculine woman. Wow. You dress like a man. This is how I dress. Right. Yeah, she's in like the jumpsuit a mechanic would wear. Yeah, are you a mechanic? No. You've got almost like a crew cut. That's correct. I bet you a lot of people do mistake you for a guy. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. So it, it, my guess would be out of the three women, you're probably the one who's never ever been with a man, but I know I'm going to be wrong. I know you've been with a man. Howard. Go ahead. I have never been with a man. Never? Never. Never kissed a man. <coughs> have always been more male identified mm -hmm. since the time I'm like six. Right. Um... I used to steal my brother's underwear. Really? Yeah. And I was stupid enough not to put it back in the dirty clothes where his clothes were, so my mom figured it out. You always wish you had a penis? I have a penis. I have one on right now. You do? Yeah. You Get out of here. A prosthesis. No. You wear a fake one? <laughs> well, it's mine. I don't consider it fake. But you walk around all day with a... a, a no. I did a special for you today. You kidding? Oh, but no, you, but, but you actually don't, for Robin. But when you're with a woman, do you uh, strap on apparatus so that oh, you can feel like you that's, do? That's how I have sex. That's your thing. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. But but then again, there's no sensation. Oh, sure, there is. In the in the in the device, in the plastic device. No, where where it rubs against. Oh, really? And you know, like in your head. In your head, it gets yeah. you off seeing yourself like a man. No. Would no, you ever consider a sex change operation? No, never. 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 Because you could lose sensation down there. Well, yeah, it's it's just it's stupid. It's I think, too bizarre, right? You enjoy I, I, having. I don't want to diss anybody that's done it, but that's. I mean, I'm a woman. Right. But and you enjoy having female private parts. Absolutely. Right. Hmm. Definitely. But uh, you would not have a uh, addictomy. No. Oh. Right. Okay. <laughs> and how old were you when you realized that you had this? Um, I didn't really know what a lesbian was uh -huh. when I like when I actually I guess I thought I knew, but when I started wearing my brother's underwear, uh -huh. you knew. Was at, was at seven. Uh huh. And then you know I I never quite could walk down the block and fit in like you said yeah. to the other young lady. When did you get your first broad? 
My first broad. Yeah. Um, I guess I was 11. 11 years old. Yeah. And do you go for very femme types? Very fe I only date very feminine women. Right, so you're the man in the relationship? <laughs> no, it's not like that, Howard. I We're see. both women, but I'm, I'm butch. You like these two girls that are down here today? Yeah, they're cute. You like them, yes. Sure. Yeah, I, I do Make it any connection? But I wonder if they like you. I, I mean, because a, a lot of like the cutie types like your type, like yeah. look like a guy. Yeah, we're lucky in that way. You attracted to Kate over here, girls? Is she your type? Uh, I, usually date, I usually date feminine. Oh, you do? The one of in the thing. brown is shaking her head yes. Yeah, oh, yeah? All right. She's yeah. cute, yeah. I'll go out with you. I'll go out with both of you. <laughs> I'll go watch you. I'll tell you. Hey, can all three of you make out? <laughs> Somebody's got to be attracted to somebody. Come on. All right. So anyway, You're so you. Such a perv. I am. I really am. <laughs> so you, uh, you don't have. A, you have a girlfriend now. Yes. You do. Yes. And um, uh, what is the closest you ever had uh, to making love to a man? Anything that any guy ever come on to you? No. Nothing. Oh yeah. I mean, guys have come on to me. I work at. I work at a dyke bar. I work at Crazy Nannies as right. a bartender <laughs> and a bouncer. Mm -hmm. And we get a lot of strays off of Seventh Avenue. I see. And they come in, and I, you know, I tell them to the deal and stuff, but. They like hit on me. To they try do. to come in the bar, and I'm like, <laughs> you obviously are not getting this. So you've never so had a. Uh, there was one time. There was one time in high school. I was at a local bar, and this guy was hitting on me, hitting on me. And I told him, listen, I don't do guys. I mm -hmm. only do women. Right. And he was really persistent, and he was a little twisted, like drunk. And um, he leaned over to kiss me, and I hit him. You did. You wow. slugged him. I, yeah. I because you look like, you know, you're a heavy set woman. You could pack a punch. You've yeah. had fights before, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. I'm a bouncer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And she's a tough broad. <laughs> All right. Oh, now, man. the obvious choice to say who would never had her. would be Kate. Yes. Right. But they I think they're trying to throw us off. They wouldn't make it that obvious. I say, Kate's, uh, I say Kate was married. Oh my God! And had I children. Say, and had children, and then Robin. been lesbian. And then rejected Robin. the whole thing. <laughs> That's right. You know what? Don't always um, dismiss the obvious choice. Huh? Really. Don't. I'm Let's telling meet you, put Andrea. your money where I am. Let's put Andrea and, of course, Amy right next to you uh -huh. and uh, try oh, and figure out who it is. All right, Robin, you, who wants to go first and vote? I don't want to go first. I'll put money on this one. Are we betting, really? I'll bet it ain't Kate. Uh -oh. You will bet it ain't Kate. Because yep. if, if it is, Gary's fired, right? Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fired every day anyway. I'll bet he gets fired anyway. <laughs> I'll take that bet. All right. Um, Amy, you like uh, Kate? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Kiss her. Yeah. <laughs> You wouldn't do that? No. no I'm no, sorry. No, too bad. Are they in relationships, Andrea and Kate? Are I you mean, girls? Andrea and, and what's the other girl's name? I'm in a relationship. Everybody here is in a relationship. They are. And some of their significant others are here. Yeah. Oh. Well, everybody's got, uh, I like the mini dress look, yeah. too. That looks nice. And the boots. Wow. Yeah, I like that. Well, lesbos in their mini dresses. And Awful the legs. combat boots. Yeah, okay, that can't be beat. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Andrea, you're a nurse? Uh, yeah, I work at a school in the day. Okay, oh, and, what, and Amy, what about you? I own a restaurant. You own a restaurant? Yeah. All right, Robin. Can you tell which one has no. never really been with a man? If it's not, how would you know? Kate, I don't know. I mean, Kate looks like the obvious choice. Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm no. going to say that. Um, Are we going to bet? How? I, here's what I think. I think uh, Amy has been hit on by so many guys that eventually that she, she had to try. Had to she it. had to try. Yeah. Curiosity. <laughs> And Andrea, too, though, has been hit on guys. And she probably said, hey, let me see what this is like. And got nauseous and then threw up and then... And then stopped. Yeah, Kate, Kate's had a man. You should look at all you guys. You look stumped. I am stumped. This is a very hard game. You look like Mount Rushmore. I'm going to go with... Um, I'll go first. All right. I'm going to say that um, Amy has never been with a man. And you just... That's wow. a toss-up. Yeah, Amy is uh, the girl in the short mini dress. She's the one who looks least likely. To me, she's probably been with tons of men. That's why I would look at her and uh -huh. think she's been but with she tons of men. she hated men eventually and yeah. then went less. All right, I'm going to say Amy. So you're going completely opposite. <clears throat> right. And what are you going to do, Jackie? I, the, the thing about her mother buying her bras immediately sent up a red flag for me that maybe she was somehow sheltered from something. I, I, my gut feeling is number two. Like you said, number three, it's that would be, obvious, that'd be yeah. crazy. Yeah. All right, so you say it's Andrea. And uh, Fred, who do you say? I bought the way she told that story about being in the car with the guy, so I'll say Andrea. Andrea, okay. <sighs> Fred and Jackie agree. And Robin? You know what? I'm just going to say Kate just, <laughs> All right. just because. Just because. Kate, the one who's like got on the typical uniform, yeah, you would imagine? I'm wrong, but okay. I'll say it anyway. All right. I say it's Amy. You say it's Kate. And, and the uh, two guys agree that it's Andrea. Andrea. Okay. All right. Gary, how do you want to handle this? I'll tell you right now. The woman that's standing here that is a full-blown lesbian that has never made love to a man or even kissed a man is Andrea. Andrea in the middle. Oh, nice. oh my. Yeah. And as a special added bonus, 
Andrea and Amy are a couple. Oh, you are. Oh. oh. And as, as an even bigger bonus, yeah. Kate's girlfriend is out no, there. No, she's not my girlfriend. Oh, she's not? Because there's a really good looking girl out there with Kate. <laughs> oh, really? That's not your girlfriend? No. Oh, too bad. That's my brother. That's your brother? <laughs> yep. Your brother? And she's a girl? She's a girl. Her name is Tracy, and she plays in The Wives. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I have a gift for you, Howard. Your brother's a transsexual? No, she's really a girl. Yeah. Because we're both butch. Because she is butch. She is? We call is it really other... your sister? No. Oh. It's a friend it's of mine a... that we call each other brothers. Ooh, because because they're so butch. Oh, right. my God. So I instead am of being so... sisters, they're brothers. I Thank am you, so Robin. confused. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a present for you. I, can't, I cannot figure I this out. I have a copy of no. your yeah. tape for you. So you've Lots. made love to a man? One time. One time? Was it bad? <sighs> it was horrible. Really? How did really that bad. happen? <laughs> it was so bad, Robin. How old were you? I was, um, I was 18. And I was like, I was in a relationship already. I mm -hmm. was in a five-year relationship. Right. And I had all these straight friends, and they were like, Kate, how do you know you're really gay? Right. You've never slept with a man. And I was like, I don't know. I just, I'm not attracted to them. Right. So we all wind up going up to my mom's house in Pennsylvania, and we went to the straight bar because they're all straight. And they were like, one of my friends was like, why don't you just do it once and see how it is? Okay. And I was like, all right. So we, I picked up a guy. It's so easy. Oh, my God. Yeah. Guys, are, the guys will do it so with anything, easy. anyone, anytime. <laughs> right. All right. And um, <laughs> basically what happened is we went back to my, my house and, um, you know, I was the aggressor. You were. Because I am the aggressor. Yeah. yeah like you're aggressive, aggressive type. Right. right. And, you know, he started doing his thing mm -hmm. and... Did you perform oral sex on him? No. You would not? No. Because Aww. penises are disgusting. No, they're not disgusting. I just... Not attracted. I just wanted to know what it felt like to be to, penetrated. To be, okay, fine. So that was the whole, like, it was an experiment for me. Okay, so he, he mounted you, I assume? <laughs> wow. He got on top of me. Yes, and, and, um, and he did it. He was doing did, his thing. Did it last a long time? No, I didn't allow it to. You didn't? You didn't oh. even let him finish. No. No. Because oh. when he was doing... I know, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. But, um, You're not offending what happened, me. What happened was he, he said, I love you. Ooh. Oh. He and loved you. I was like, you. what? <laughs> guys can make an emotional connection so very crazy, easily. though. I was yeah. like, I don't even know you. <laughs> and you and love I said, me. just get off me. This is ridiculous. You did. I grabbed, I, him, I grabbed him by the neck and I just like kind of threw him off me. Wow. Oh. That was it. That was my one-time <laughs> That poor experience. guy must be in rehab. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh man! I'm not just saying this. I really love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, that well, was my experience. I see. Now, uh, Andrea, you've never been with a man. You're not even curious. Uh, no. Really? I've always had a girlfriend, and I see. I've so that was all true that. about your mom buying your bras and everything. <laughs> yeah. I'm <personally>. Really? <laughs> and Amy, you have been with a man, right? Yeah. I figured as much, but <laughs> I figured they. I don't know. I don't were you? Were, were any of you girls molested when you were young by a man? No. No. no? That would have been good. Yeah. <laughs> when were you with a man, Amy? In high school. You were? Yeah. Just I bet you were real popular with the boys, right? No. No? No. You tried it? What did he do? He uh, took you out on a date? Yeah. Where did he take I you? I dated him for a while and ended up sleeping with him. Where did you take, where'd he he take you to do you? His house. You went over to his house? <laughs> yeah. His parents were gone, so. And you were naked? Yeah. And he climbed on top of you? Were you nauseous <laughs> the whole time? <laughs> Pretty much so, yeah. You were? It was like, oh. <laughs> now, now, was that the only time? That was the first time. Oh, you did it with him <laughs> more than once. Not him. <laughs> and he, and, he, and you climbed on top. Of, he climbed on top of you and, and did his thing. Did it take a long time? I felt like it. It did. Oh. Yeah. And were you not, were you even excited while he was uh, with no. you? No. Oh. No. So he so that must have been a that must have been a tough situation. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> that hurts thinking about it. Oh. <laughs> Bad audience. And then you did it with him a bunch more. Not him. Not him. Different guys. You thought it was just him, so you tried other guys. So you tried him, thinking that like maybe he's just not good at it. Yeah. But the whole time, were you thinking about girls? Yeah, that's what turned me on. So. Yeah, so you would lay there thinking, oh, I wish I could be with a girl. Yeah. Had you been with a girl yet, or you just kept trying guys? I fooled around with a girl. Never had a girlfriend then. Right, and when you were with a girl, it was exciting. Yeah. Hmm. Great. And then you kept going to guy after guy saying, gee, why can't these guys turn me on? Did you know deep down inside you were a lesbian? Yeah, but my family was really religious, so I didn't. Were they a bunch of Jews? Oh. No. What? No. Catholics? Christians? Christians. Just Christians? Like, yeah. Oh, boy. Die hearts. Regular yeah. Christians. Yeah. Regular Christians? <laughs> Did the guys know what they were doing? I don't know. She it wouldn't know. <laughs> I think I could get her off. Yeah. I always like a challenge. Hell yeah. I really, truly do. Yeah. Oh, stop I always it, think that. You never liked a challenge. What are you talking about? Women like that laugh at you when you say that. I don't know, man. I think I flip her around a couple of times. Give her. You know. You know what it is. With a broad like this, you got to be very. You got to be very sensitive. 
Oh, 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 that's your butterfly thing again, yeah. huh? Yeah, you got to treat, because they love when girls touch each other. <laughs> I could touch a woman like how women touch other women. How would you know? I know. I've, I've been told. <laughs> Get her over to our side, Alex. I'm okay. telling you, I could take her in the back room and convert her. Not convert her, like, but at least give her a good time and get her but excited. she doesn't like hairy bodies, probably. I'll shave them down. <laughs> <laughs> What's the big deal? What was that, Kate? Women smell a lot better, Howard. Do they? Yeah. yeah. So I'll wash down there. <laughs> I'll put some of that perfume soap. It's not just down there, Howard. Really? No. All right. I, do? I know I got a lot of tuchus hair, uh, and things collect. Uh, <laughs> That's what causes the smell. But before I'm with a babe, I uh, scrub up pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Always take a nice shower. <laughs> Clean out those hairs. Oh, no. <laughs> you just got to like that smell. Huh? Yeah, you got to just dig it. Yeah. Well, you like that smell, right, Robin? I like guy? the smell of a man. You yeah. do like the yeah, smell of a man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you didn't realize it was all the hairs. <laughs> Both sides. <laughs> Wow. Well, anyway, hey, listen, girls, um, congratulations. You uh, stumped two of us anyway. Do we have prizes for the girls? Of course. They're all going to get a $250 gift certificate to Princeton Ski Shop. Oh. Jackie uh, the Joke Man book. That's wow. it? Wow. Those are pretty meager. I had I had to save everything else for the intern beauty pageant. Oh, you did? Aww. Yeah. We'll see if you can get them some more prizes. Yeah. Yeah, they're I'm nice ladies. Bang around. Thanks, women. Thanks for uh, playing uh, Guess Which Lesbian Really Never Slept With a Man. <laughs> Maybe I'll give them a dial a mattress because these two can just pull one. That'll be good. <laughs> That's a nice gift. Would you like a new mattress, ladies? Yeah. Sure. Sure they want it. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs> You did a good job. You guys, you guys did a good job fooling him. Good. Did yeah. you guys have a good time? I had a great time. Howard's really, he's cool. He's great. Good. And I'm glad Robin picked me. Why are you glad? <laughs> because, you know, they, they thought I was too obvious and I said that. I said, I don't know, maybe I'm going to be too obvious. But I think Robin actually thought I was attractive and she was, you know, hitting on me. Do you think Robin was digging you? I think so, just a little. Why? What, what gave you that impression? Um, she, she was smiling at me a lot to the, to the booth. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why? You, you, you dig okay. Robin? I think she's yeah, I think she's attractive of them. Yeah, you would, you would but she likes she likes the smell of okay. of men, so I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. But would you do her if you had the chance? If I wasn't in a relationship, I'd probably do her. Yeah, you do her. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> do her. All right, guys. Thanks for coming down. Thanks. Thanks. All right, guys. Take care. Natasha, why don't you tell me what brings you down here today? Um, I don't know. The publicist called me up and told me I had to come, so they forced me. No, you know I you? love Howard. And, do you, really? you know, I'm on the show. I do. I listen to him all the time, and I love brutally honest people like him, so it's going to be fun. So you knew who he was? and Oh, well, I think I'd have to live in, like, Bora Bora not to know who he is. <laughs> so what are you expecting? Uh, I'm expecting to get harassed quite a bit, you know. I'm what's that? pressed for it. You can tell. I came in already in the defense, you know. Can you tell? I'm like... <laughs> I'm ready to get, like, harassed. <laughs> in what sense? I'm sure there'll be some, uh, you know, the usual comments about nudity that he has for everyone. But, I mean, the fact that I've done, you know, movies with a little nudity in it probably will even make it worse. So. There would be no way you, you would get naked for him in the studio. There's no chance in a million what years. What would it take? I did the next best thing, though. I wore a nude-colored dress. Really? Yeah, underneath here is a nude-colored dress, and it's the closest I could do to naked. Did you did you pick that out specifically for I did. I did, for just the for the show. Oh, yep. I was actually thinking about painting nipples on it, but I didn't go that far. No. <laughs> Natasha Henstridge is here right now. She's the star of Species 2. If you saw Species 1, she's like naked in the whole movie. It's perfect. Always trying to get guys in bed. I mean, she yeah. wants it. She don't mind being naked in the movies. I oh, dig sorry. that. Hey. Would you also love a girl who was that beautiful who was constantly trying to get you into bed? Wow, you are a knockout. <laughs> 
Get out of town. Oh. I need you. Oh. I, I need, need you. you now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jeez. Beautiful woman. <laughs> you are a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. Thank you. Man. <laughs> what are you, a model too? I used to. I bet. Yeah. Made that switch into acting? Made the switch, yep. Man. My God, I'm obsessed with these mannequins. Hi, Robin. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> okay. See, I don't think I'm I... not always naked, Robin. Oh. Pretty much. Oh. You're, you're naked a lot in the movie, though. <laughs> and you are wearing the tightest dress, and I don't know if your breasts are real or not. Maybe it's none of my business. Oh, real, real deal, baby. Are they real? Oh. You're not wearing a bra, obviously. Oh, my God. I mean, because it's, it's a little cool in here. <laughs> your breasts are incredible. Oh. I wore a nude color dress. That yes, was as close did. as naked as I would go, you know? How tall are you? Five, nine and a half. Perfect. Yeah. And, and you have a natural chest like that? Natural, yeah. And you're thin? <sighs> well, you know, I got, I got some hips. I got a little meat on my Yeah, head. you're a freak, and that's good. A freak? Yeah. Because no real women look like that. That's a good thing. That's a real good thing. Yep. What are you, Russian? Natasha? No, just a Russian name. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Where are you from? Canada. Alberta, Canada. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You got a boyfriend? Uh, yes. Sort of. Mm. Sort of. What's a it's sort a of boyfriend? Well, it's a complicated issue. You know, we're really good friends and we're off and on a lot. But, you know, we, we yeah, we, we hang. Hockey player? No. No, he's an actor. No, oh, yeah. Shakespeare, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, what's his name? Liam Waite. Oh, Never heard of him. him. Never heard of him? Cruiser. Oh, oh, oh No offense. Howard. <laughs> Another actor? Ouch. Ouch. Is he bi? Of course. Yeah. Buy what? <laughs> you know what I mean. A lot of these actors go both ways. ACDC. Right? Good biceps, if that's what you're asking. He has good bicep. 100% old man. 100%. You are some knockout. Well, thank Loved you, you in Species 1. You look better in person than you do on TV. Really? Oh, you know, my God. I was going to say, before you walked in, I'm sorry I wore short sleeves today. I think oh. it makes... Makes me look bad. You don't, you're no. not bi. You don't have good biceps. No, oh, I don't. Oh, no. Those forearms. They, you, <laughs> Where? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. The right one's especially uh, built, I've noticed. Is that right? Ooh. Ooh. Damn, just hey, like now. <laughs> so let's talk species, too. All right. Let's talk it. All right. I never thought they'd make a sequel. You didn't? No. Well, the movie made a lot of money. You know, that equals sequel in Hollywood. And have you done movies since Species 1? Uh, I have. I've done th this, this, yeah, Species was my, like, sixth movie, so Species mm -hmm. 2 was my sixth. So mm -hmm. I've done, like, four or five in between, and I've done a couple after. And you have no yeah. problem with nudity, right? I don't have too much of a problem with it. You know, uh. if it's shot well and I don't look, you know, as long as I don't look too heavy, I'm okay now. <laughs> do you demand a closed set when you're naked? Absolutely. You yeah. do? Yeah. When you do nude scenes, if you're on your period, oh, will you wow. not shoot that day? Oh. Well, honestly, that's yeah. a good question. That's a good Thank question. You. I thought about Thank things you. like that when I was starting. I did. Right. I mean, you want to string... Um, uh, uh, you know. Excuse me? You can always tuck the string here and there, yeah. but... Oh, yeah. but um, <laughs> this is getting really disgusting. Oh, God. Mm. Um, snip off the string. Snip oh, the string. Yeah, right. That's but then how do you get it out of there? You yeah. gotta do the little reach to get it out. No, um... <laughs> what do you do if you're... Uh, what do you do, Natasha? Yeah, if, have in you fact, ever tried you know those what? tampons with no string? I'm yes. Like, what is that all about? I use those. I know. That's that's a little, that's weird. Well, what you do is you ask the director to try to work it out so that you can do it around that time. Interesting. You know? But sometimes they can't. And I, right. I have done a scene like that before. And the string yeah. is uh, visible? Do no. a I mean, obviously, they're not going to be seen there anyway. Do you know what I no. mean? No. 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 Uh, that I've ever done, you've really, you know, seen that no, kind of no. close No. Up. So you do not see the vagina. not producing movies yet. That's, that's a better, uh, better question for a porn star. I've yeah. often wondered, you know. You grew up in Canada? Yep. Any sisters? No sisters, Howard. Oh. Sorry. Nothing home? brother, though. Oh, yeah? yeah. He's hot as you? He's a, he's a hottie. He's a little musician. He plays guitar and sings. He's a cool kid. God, when you take your clothes off in Species Ooh. 1, I just want to do you. Oh, Howard. Oh, Howard. my God. Yeah. I can't he didn't I even care effect. if he had to die yeah. afterwards. Mm. Really? Would it be worth it? I, 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 wouldn't I, said, I said big deal. <laughs> Perfect time to die. I know. And um, I hear they're even th talking about a Species 3, if this one does well, where... You actually divorce a guy and take half his money. Oh. That's the scariest premise of all. It's the scariest premise, yeah. yeah. So, um, that would be scary. And, what, and, and how come I'm getting a note here that says you're pregnant? Is that true? Oh. Is that true? Where'd you get a note? Um, I get a note. Why, you are, are you pregnant? Unbelievable. Yeah. Are no you pregnant? Barred. Yes, I am. You are. I, I, I thought am. I saw a little tummy. And yeah, you're not married? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not married, no. And telling us who the father is? Oh. Liam. Really? And what about your parents? What do they think of you not being married? Well, they're okay with it. My they parents, don't care? They know me. You know, I'm not, I'm not the most traditional person in the whole world, so. I didn't see any belly. That's a real tight dress. You must be, yeah. like, in the first trimester. I'm three months right now, and I'm yeah. starting really? to get a belly. But Let I me see. Stand up for a second. Howard, I sucked oh. it in for you. Let me see. Stand up. 
God damn. Wow. But if uh, I let it out, you know, it yeah, comes out a little yeah. bit. Oh, look at your butt. Turn around. Let me see your ass. Oh, God. Come on. A pregnant woman. Act a like mother. I'm a, <laughs> ooh, what a butt. You are full. <laughs> I am full. Yes, I'd do I'm you right? even with the baby. I'm full. Oh, how? I would. Oh. I would do you with the baby. <laughs> I know. Usually I wouldn't do it. <laughs> but this you'll do. I heard you talking to Heather the other day, the, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Had a lot clearer? Breastfeeding and stuff like that and how horrible it Are was. Are you going to breastfeed? Said, Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. You're a natural girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Can you imagine oh, your mother you has have breasts like that? If you have fake breasts? Uh, you could. You could? Yeah. Uh, I don't have a problem with that, but you know that's why I'm yeah. full right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your breasts are huge right yeah, now. Yeah, they're, they're a little big. Do you think they've grown since you got pregnant? Absolutely. Beautiful. Absolutely. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. I'll enjoy them while I have them because after <laughs> breastfeeding, they probably won't look quite the same. <laughs> imagine those monsters full of milk. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? What a buffet. Hubba hubba. <laughs> buffet. Uh. That's a buffet. <laughs> oh. What are you having a baby for? Uh, well, I was mean. Was this planned? Or it was, was this... not planned. No, I can't say it was planned. You guys don't use but... protection? Uh, well, God, how... I wouldn't with you either. I have to feel how you. How personal can we get here? I have to feel you. Ay, 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 I don't want anything ay, ay. between me and you. So this was Nothing. an accident. Now, what happened? All of a sudden... Rubber broke? Uh, mm, something like that, yeah. Really? Yeah. What do you use, a diaphragm? No, how you can't stop? You use a sponge, don't you? A sponge? You can't trust the goddamn sponge. She, you know what? She didn't use the contraceptive sponge. She used a regular sponge. Yeah, you, you can't use a sponge from your sink. Oh, my God. They didn't teach me that. I mean, your man is so big, he broke his rubber? Is that what you're saying? Liam, if you're listening, I'm sorry, man. Oh, Liam, mellow out. She's doing better than you. Oi. <laughs> How do you think the baby's going to feel if father's never been heard of? Oh, no. You know what father's I mean? father's going to be heard of. You yeah? count my words. How old the guy is this guy? Mark my words. Um, he's 27. 27? We haven't heard from him yet? No. How <laughs> that? For a man that's young. You think? Yes. This is the year for him. This is his year. I you better hope. <laughs> God cross my fingers. No it's hard getting a new man with that baby. You know what uh, I mean? I don't think on, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so for you. <laughs> so you going to marry this guy or what? No, I, mean, I don't have any desire to get married. Really? No. Is he no, responsible no, no, no. financially for the baby? He's a very responsible person, yes. So let's say you break up. Yes. Or will you hold him responsible financially, or you're just raising the kid on your own? I would hope that he would want to be, you know, financially responsible. Guys, but if uh, he didn't, you know. So that, everybody's happy about this baby. Everybody's I'm happy. Not. Sure. Oh, you're I not. I am. I'm not that thrilled. <laughs> so, so when did you realize you were pregnant? Uh, February, I guess, last yeah. couple months ago. Yeah. And you were probably like, wait a second, I use protection. Well, I was a little shocked, but uh, you know, happy anyway. Can I be? I really want to know. Is it a bad rubber? Do you think? <sighs> Can you sue a rubber company for that? Howard, maybe I your man's so big. A I was a little, I was a little careless. I have to admit, I was a little careless. Pill? And uh, no, no, I was a little careless all around. I have to just diaphragm. Howard, stop Tell me. already! I, don't I wanna... am pregnant now, and that's all you got to know my now. Audience, how it happened? I'm sure. My audience wants to know. They don't want. They don't want to get pregnant. <laughs> Well, tell them to use the pill and they'll be all right. Okay, the pill? <laughs> Condoms work too, don't worry. They do? Yes. So what doesn't work? What doesn't work is Not being careless. Oh, so you didn't use anything. He withdrew. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of... Oh, uh, honey, yeah. believe me, I'd be so careless with you. Oh, how oh, He wanted that to happen. Once I'm there, it'd be very difficult to stop. Uh, oh, man. Here we go. Baby. <laughs> I want you. Once you dump that loser, you come over to my side. All right, Howard. All you right. know what I'm talking about. I'll be knocking about. on your door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got some cash. I'll be like, I need some help. I want to stay home now. You'll be signing a prenup. Faster than oh, you know what hit you. Are you making her sign a prenup? Yeah. I don't think so. You can hold out. He'll he'll let you go. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, so you used to go out with John Stamos? Um, uh, what? I heard he banged you. Is that really? true? Is that true he had sex with you? Howard? Come on. Here, I have proof. Wait a second. Here's Ralph. Wow. Ralph hangs out with John. Hey, Ralph. Yo. <laughs> what happened? John told you he had sex with Natasha? Well, he said they went out, you know. Really? What does that mean? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty yeah. sure he banged her if he went out with her. Yeah. <laughs> Stamos got everybody. Who the hell's Ralph? Ralph, uh, one of our cronies. Ralph's a leech. <laughs> you guys are sick here. Oh, my God. So that's a yes, right? Stamos got Ralph. <laughs> that's right. He slept with him. <laughs> what happened? So, so you only date famous people? No, no. I never date famous you people. You think Stamos like is that good looking? He's Come a very on. sweet, handsome man. Yes, you know he's good looking. Tell me he's bad in bed and I'll be happy. <laughs> he's good? Yeah. Shaky? Nah! Good. <laughs> good looking guys don't put out. I, I oh my to. God. No. This is horrible. He expects you to bad. look at him naked and go, oh my God, I'm, I'm having an orgasm. No, he's a very, he's a sexy and... But not a great lover. Some, I don't know. I Who dumped I who? I didn't have sex with him. Did know. you dump him or he dumped you? 
<laughs> you dumped him? Nobody dumped anybody. It just yeah. sort of didn't go anywhere. What's the story on it, Ralph? I got to stick up for John. He's pretty good. Oh, you like <laughs> it. He was good in bed, Ralph? <laughs> How do we know it's not Stamos's baby? Very. <laughs> that you're carrying. Oh. Well, that was a few years ago, so uh, really? I'm pretty sure there's no no chance of that. <laughs> Delayed reaction. <laughs> Who else have you had sex with? Uh, Howard. Seriously. I haven't had sex with anybody, and I'm, really? it's immaculate conception. Ever sleep with Bob Dylan? Dylan? No, 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 I'm I just fishing. No fishing. <laughs> Thank you, Ralph. You don't have any more in the gossip movie with on me. Do him? Yeah, what about the guy in the movie? Yeah. And, uh, who, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> it's Ralph. <laughs> Everybody hates Ralph. It's Michael Matson. boyfriend Ralph. Yeah, Michael Matson. Did you do him? Michael Matson, I definitely did not do. Oh, really? I guarantee you. But he he's a he's a great catch too. He's married. He's got a wonderful wife, Deanna, and he's got a couple kids with her. And uh, you know. Oh, so she can't say. How about Forrest Whitaker? Oh. Forrest Whitaker. The black guy? <laughs> He's in the movie, too. Yeah, he was in the last one. What's he got, a lazy eye? Yeah. Yeah. God damn, that's the laziest eye I ever saw. <laughs> He's an alien, I swear. He should have played the guy from Mars. Wasn't Somebody he good in that, though? God, he was so good. He's, He's a good actor. He's a great actor. Yeah. I love him. Because you know why? He's, He's good. such a great guy. You look at him, you go... How could he be on in the movies? Yeah, how did he get on film? Yeah, well, he can. He's like he's such a chameleon. Have you seen him in other things? He's oh yeah, crying game. Leave him, yeah. man. Oh god. In every so movie, though, he plays a guy with a lazy eye. <laughs> that he can't do anything but that. Huh? <laughs> it really bums me out. All of his characters have lazy eyes. <laughs> well, why can't he change that if he's an actor? <laughs> hey Howard, you know who else is in those movies? Who? Gandhi. Ben Kingsley, ben that's Kingsley. right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ben, good. I, ben, I did have sex with. No, oh, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Natasha, does he walk around I'm going, kidding. I was in Gandhi, what am I doing in Species? I have an Academy Award. You know well, what I mean? You know, they, they paid, probably paid him some bank, you know? <laughs> Whitaker has a lazy eye, and he has a lazy career. This, uh... Oh, no. <laughs> I think if ben, if ben Kingsley has a lazy career, it's because he wants to have a lazy exactly. career. He wants no. to take some time off. He great actor, a great life. actor. He needs a life. He does need a life. He should do Gandhi, too. Any talk of that? <laughs> you know, no, there's no way to go. Yeah, that's, that's a tough one. Man, are you pretty? Oh, let me look at you. you. I don't want to talk. Let's have a moment of silence, like Jim Cameron had at the Academy Awards. <laughs> to honor Natasha's yeah. beauty. We're just going to look at her. All right, one. Oh, you're two, everybody, be silent. Three. <laughs> oh. Natasha, I'm trying to be silent. You're ruining it. <laughs> oh, you look good when you smile. <laughs> I always thought my Ralph, you should see her. She's all sophisticated. Is it, is it, do you have something sexy on? Or no. Yeah, it's sexy. It's you can almost, see through it. It's like you a nude see it. dress. I see your um, I your headlights are on. Somewhat wow. Oh, yeah. You're aroused. No. What, do you got band-aids on those things? God, no. <laughs> you got bra and panties on? Yes. You don't have a bra on? No, well, I've got panties on. What do you wear, a thong? Yeah. Mm. Well, with dresses, certain things, certainly I wear a thong, yeah, so you can't mm. see a big old line, uh, you know? That, that wouldn't wow. be good. Can I see your legs? Please? Oh, yeah, Let me see. Howard, you can see one leg. Right. That's it. Ouch. Wow. Look at I those. I hate my legs. Ah, why? You do? Why? No. Let me see that again. I'll tell you if they're good. All right. I'll judge you. Oh, perfect. Are they good? Yeah. God, if you're saying that, I'm all right. Long and thin. on bodies. Let me tell you. Can I touch them? No. Uh. I didn't shave for you, Howard. So really? Okay. No. Mm. Now, how did you get discovered? Did somebody just see you somewhere? And no, I was. I lived in New York, and I was doing tons of TV commercials. I was really into the commercial market, and I sort of wanted to get in there. Get in. You just got excited when I looked no, at your I legs. No, I mean, as a model. <laughs> Wait a second, Robin. I'm a little flustered. You're missing it. You just nervous. got excited when I looked at your legs. I'm looking at. Oh, here we go. You're the size of a frisbee. <laughs> you know what's great, man? What? She must be a wild chick if she's pregnant. And she's not married. Yeah, she's loose. Yeah. What the hell does that mean? Oh, please. Yeah, baby. Yeah, no. baby, you know what that oh, means. Geez. These are hicks from the sticks, yeah. and they don't know anything. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> no, when you before when you before you started modeling, how did you get into that? Um, I. God, I don't. She probably walked down the street and everyone That's noticed. That's what her. I yeah, want to know. Hot. Well, I started in Canada years ago. Like my mother sent a picture away to this company, and they sent oh, me. Oh, So your mother contest. knew how beautiful. Robin, well, yeah. she, I look at her rack. Boy. Who wouldn't discover that? She was probably. I was twelve. At I twelve, did you have breasts like this? Thirteen. They grew. <laughs> they grew at thirteen. When did yeah. you get your period? Twelve. Thirteen. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. nice. Thirteen when she on first Christmas. Have sex. Um, honestly, I was fifteen years old when I had sex with. Really? With a girl. With no, not with a girl. You've never gotten on with another girl? No. I don't believe that. Oh, shut up. Howard, you know, you know how you talk about everyone yeah. must look at her? Yeah. Before she was famous, um, I was in a restaurant. She was eating in the same restaurant, mm. and everyone was staring at her. I mean, Are the you whole, serious? The whole restaurant was staring at you. Is I, it I, weird? I, mean, I was introduced to you. Obviously, it was very memorable. Is it weird? Is it weird to be that good looking where everybody just stares at you? 
Uh, people don't stare at me. Sometimes, you know, I walk into department stores or something, and you know, I'm uptown New York or whatever, and I walk into department stores, and people won't even serve me. That's how I look normally. <laughs> okay, people, they won't even. They're like looking at me like, oh, okay. Uh, Gary, maybe they weren't the rich girl. <laughs> maybe they weren't staring at her. Maybe they were staring at your no, big no, fat no. ass. No, I was on, I was on <laughs> the other side of the restaurant, and she was really dressed up, and she looked. Really? Gary doesn't notice people staring uh, at him either. Ready to goof on Gary's super <laughs> wide. Gary's good. teeth. No, but you know what? I know that. You know, sometimes I feel like a beautiful woman because... You're stared at. I'm stared at all the time. <laughs> the hair. You sort of have a... You, you, have a, you have a thing, right? You sort of want to be a woman, kind of? Yes, very badly. Halfway? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pre-op. What, 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 what's your sign, uh, Howard? I want to be a woman? Yeah, a little bit. No, you got Please. a little bit of that going. Well, obviously, she's very attracted to you. I'm so manly, it's not even funny. <laughs> she's even flirting with you, Dad. She's teasing you. Yeah. Should have worn the long sleeves. Howard, what sign are you, though, really? What sign am I? Yeah, Zodiac sign. Capricorn. Oh, yeah, that's a dead giveaway right mm -hmm. there. What does Half that mean? Part woman. Part woman. Part woman? No, I'm just kidding. I, I like naive my women. My father's a Capricorn. I like naive women who believe in astrology. <laughs> no, astro I, I believe there's a little something to the stars. Absolutely. Adam, you're on the air. Yeah, uh, I want uh, Howard to ask Natasha about her first, I think it's probably her first marriage to some oh. guy from Columbus, Ohio. God. Really? Yes, yes. You were married? How old yeah, were you when you were married? It's all coming out on this show today, isn't it? How this old were you when you were married? Um, I was 19 and 20. I married him twice. Um, wow. Really? <laughs> and the fact that uh, she cheated on him with uh, his brother. Is that true? Oh, <laughs> oh wow. God. He's wacky. And the guy, is the, her Oh, good. You're screwed like, up. I like you better. No, 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 She's no, a Howard. candidate no, 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 for no, no, the no, no, Jerry Springer Not true? Show. No, this is all about you. Go on, you're on the wrong show. You should be on Jerry Springer. This is a total lie. I'd like to get you uh, here right now in the studio. Kick his ass. So, uh, so I can throw a chair at you. Dated, you're saying you never... Sister. That is absolutely untrue. What's that? I went out with his sister. Whose sister? Well, you know... The guy's sister. Her husband's. Her ex-husband's. Oh, is that right? Yeah, who I'm still very good friends with, and he knows very, very well that I never <laughs> cheated on him with his brother, Mike. Hey, that's a good story. Hey, that's Howard, a good I one. That's a good thing. try. I good thought try. on the last day of you guys' show, mm -hmm. what you and uh, Robin should do, sign some kind of agreement that you're going to show your penis, and Robin will show you her breasts. Why would I do that? On the very last show. No, so you're going to humiliate myself for the rest of my life? <laughs> no, just not, you don't have to show it in public. Laugh. You don't have to show Get it. off my show. <laughs> You've insulted me and my guest. Yes, thank you, Howard. Yeah. Hang up on his ass. Wouldn't you like to kill that guy like you do yeah. in the movie Species? I would. I'd like to. I'd like to have him here right now with some of my special effect makeup on, and we could film it. How long does it take when they um, when they do that? Like you know, aliens coming yeah, out of that your chest. Transformation. Uh, kind of thing. They. Uh, you know what they do? It's an outfit. It's like a, a costume that you put on, and I mm. actually don't wear it. A stunt double wear. Oh really? So, yeah, I don't have to do that. How long did you shoot this movie? I'm. You know, I'm really pissed off at this guest now. <laughs> oh no. No. Oh. Cheated on him with his with his brother. What the hell? Is hey, it's that an about? allegation. Oh, my God. What are you gonna do? It's a such a lie. My God. When they when they apply this. These uh, special effects on your chest. Does uh -huh. the uh, guy ever accidentally feel you up? No. The guy who applies it. No, no, no. no? They're very professional. Yeah, very, right. And they've seen it, uh, you know, a thousand times. And but they're no, still they're, talking about it. But you're nude. Ralph, but you're nude, you're nude when they do that, right? What's that? You're nude when they apply it. Uh, you know, sort of. I have a robe on, and mm. like they do a leg, and then I cover, and they do another Ooh. leg, and then they do the rest. What lucky bastard gets to apply that to you? <laughs> Just the specialist. He works it. for free? I believe it. No. He works for free. <laughs> All right, listen. Trust me, after that many hours, honey, they don't, it doesn't matter who you're putting that stuff on. They want to get their money, that's for sure. Well, let me tell you something, Natasha. You're a beautiful woman. Thank you very I much. I am very excited about your new movie, Species 2. Species 2, on Friday, April 10th. Have you seen the movie yet? Shameless plug. <laughs> I have seen the movie, yes. You, you have? Happy with it? Uh, I am. It's really, really scary. It's a much, it's a much scarier movie than the first one. Cool. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I really, really am. Looks cool. really good in the uh, promos. Mm -hmm. Cool. And um, uh, nice you. meeting you. Appreciate it. Nice and to meet. Congratulations you on your baby. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll end up being the Thanks. stepfather. Do you I know, know if it's a boy or a girl? <laughs> Did you do no, that thing? I don't. I don't know yet. Yeah. No. Do you do me a favor? Would you consider naming it Howard if it's a girl? <laughs> if it's a girl. If it's a girl. Yeah. A girl named Howard. I could name her Howie. You know. Any names picked out yet? Um, for a girl, I'm thinking about Anastasia or Ooh. Tatiana. Ouch. Tatiana? You like that? No. Terrible. Anastasia, though. What about that? What are you going to call her? Tati? No, Anastasia. Stasia, for short? No, Stasia? Yeah. For short. You know, you that's 15 that. letters, Stasia. No, when I was a little girl, I had this fantasy, this weird thing, and I used to pretend that my name was Anastasia, and I, I don't even know where I heard the name. But well, I, used I to think pretend. Anastasia's good, but don't shorten no. it. No. I don't want to shorten it, but I mean, if somebody has to, I don't want Anna, you know? You know that the name Anastasia in Russian means stupid name? Oh, stop. No, it does not. It does. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's true. You know that the name Natasha means firstborn or daughter of Christmas, but Natasha backwards spells out Ah Satan? Really? Isn't that weird? No. Strange, right? No, it's a little odd. I really think so? Yeah. Uh, Let's get ready to stare at those big torpedoes.
Oh, you. <laughs> Natasha, want to hug goodbye? No. Hey, oh, okay. Just, it's so cold in here, I just got to put my jacket on and get out. <laughs> really? Before somebody else calls in with some lies. Natasha Henstridge, she did not yeah. make love to her husband's, husband's brother. brother. Or John Stamos. Or You do really didn't make love to John no, Stamos? Oh, God, I'm just egging you guys on. <laughs> you really didn't? No. Him? We just went out a couple of times. And you never made love to him? Mm-hmm. Kiss him? Yeah, we kissed, yeah. yeah. He felt you up? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, come on. Jeez. Stamos didn't feel you up? No. He's kind of frigid, you know? No, is I'm he? just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I bet you he is. <laughs> Ugly guys make the best lovers like me. That's what they say. You oh, know yeah. I believe that. I Trust believe me. It. And girls with small breasts, they say, because they work harder to be sexy, you know? That's true. There you go, Howard. That's true. So it's not all it's cracked up to be. That's why you and Robin just lay there. <laughs> Thank That's you right. That's right. giấc mơ em để không còn phải hơn ghen dần dối với tình nghịch trong giấc mơ buổi tối giấc mơ ngọt ngào còn môi mình anh anh dắt em đi trong bát ngát tươi xanh hoa anh đào như bức tranh huyền thoại anh đưa em quay về tới con gái nụ hôn đắm say với những lời thề mình luôn bên nhau say mê đắm đuôi lúc lên đôi giấc mơ em để không còn phải hơn ghen dần dối với tình địch trong giấc mơ